Alrighty guys, let me go ahead and check everything is all working. I've actually uh, redone some of my uh, OBS stuff real quick today and to see what's going on because, uh, yeah, I've been uh, trying to do some multi-RTMP output thingies and seeing how that all works together. So hopefully it's going to still be smooth. Just let me know if any of you guys experience any random issues or anything going on. But yeah, apparently this actually helps me save CPU power, which might mean you guys get a smoother stream, which is going to be really, really good. So let's go ahead and make sure we're inside. Um, so we got, we got the well done to Coffee Queen for getting the for getting the golden cookie well done baby thank you so much for popping in everybody so we've got um we got over here let's go see so we've got uh we got coffee queen we got d2 dubs we got ebt thank you so much ebt for the raid dude very much appreciated uh we got segment we've got uh huggy wuggy we got naughty shadow uh we got tyberus let me just make sure we've got everyone here because there's a lot of people coming in. we've got fady fade we got neon welcome in over there guys as well um we've got uh we got ebt coming in as well death illusions welcome in slade sushi bun hey, oh my god how you guys all doing holy shit <laughs> the gang's all here guys how's it all going guys i hope you, everyone's having a fantastic weekend a really good start to the a really or a really good end to the weekend because you know it's sunday isn't it so yeah, you know, ah fucking hell who did that tyrus <laughs> oh, bruh <laughs> maybe, maybe jumped on it uh neil is uh working on the new video and stream series for me and how are you going going okay uh, going okay over here neil i'm glad everything's going over there Ooh, going well over there for you as well uh sushi says how are you i'm doing all right sushi Bun. how are you doing today? He, says, he says i'm alive <laughs> fatality <laughs> it's like i'm alive and now he's dead ah! <laughs> all right let's just make sure uh make sure everything is coming over clear on both sides because yeah I'm, I'm testing a new i'm testing a new obs configuration to see if this is uh to see if this is working um so hopefully it is uh you know hopefully it's still working fine over and then so yeah i'm gonna play i'm gonna i'm gonna play the game just as normal just for a minute i just want you just let me know guys if you experience any kind of flickering or lagging or anything like that just let me know if anything uh anything happens um because yeah i got i gotta make sure that everything is looking good on both sides so i'm just gonna like walk around a bit does this look smooth to you guys like is it is it looking smooth as i'm moving around or is it like is it like terrible and it's not very good? Because if it's if it's bad, then I'll switch back to my old configuration that I was using before. Oh, yeah, look, we got some uh, spoiled meat here. Yay, spoiled food! Yay, we win! <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Hey, Carnage, welcome to the stream, dude. He says, "How did I? What the?" <laughs> well, okay, it says, uh, "Smoother than the Greek stuff, Goblin." All right, uh, Kai says, "Hi, how are you going, Carnage? Welcome in, dude. Thank you so much for popping in. <laughs> How's it all going?" And uh, how, and uh, and Yuri, how you doing, Yuri? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Kai says, "Raid." Yeah, uh, if you were an EBT he raided over here so thank you again ebt so much for that raid it's very much appreciated and i hope you had a really good stream we played some granite as well um let me see and we've got um we got a, a, a emote meme okay oh tiny pete needs uh, tiny pete needs drink okay we need to we need to go drink something so yeah i'm now i'm now in my ladybug armor so you know we're, we're doing good like last time we got the ladybug armor, we actually did the pond lab last time and a bit of the haze lab so that's good um and well we didn't do a bit of the haze lab but we did a bit of the haze so yeah we can kind of go over there in a little bit and see how we go how you doing you have Welcome to the stream. Uh, I saw EBT die. Oh, EBT died. Why did EBT die? <laughs> EBT, why are you dying, damn it? <laughs> okay, so yeah, everything I seems... Everything seems okay on that side of things. Oh, guys, here we go. Well, here we go. Gotta, gotta twerk away. Well, guys, you've got to twerk it, to work it, and take it butt for Angelic Commander. Because if you trigger it hard enough and smack your bugs back and white, then they're gonna turn into pandas. Wait, how can a bug turn into a panda when it inherently has more legs? What? Twerk it? What? To work it? Well, man, I don't want none unless you got fun, son. How you doing, Angelic? I hope you doing well. Welcome in. How's it all going, everyone? All right, so before I go ahead and get, like, fully, fully started over here, we do, of course, have to give some shout outs and those shout outs are going to go, of course, to the one and the only uh, we got. We got one for uh, I think Dubs has done the kind already. Thank you so much for that, Dubs, as well. But we do have to give a shout out, of course, over here to the one and only Coffee Queen. So, guys, if you haven't seen Coffee Queen and you want to find another amazing streamer, you've definitely got to go check out Coffee Queen because she likes to do gaming just like I do. But she also does crochet and uh, she's currently working on making like an entire set of uh, an entire set of crochet Yoshis in different colors. So uh, hopefully at some point we'll get a coffee soon she's not feeling like too good these past couple of days so can we send us some love and chat to hopefully help us feel a bit better that'd be awesome if you if we if we could um because yeah she's uh she's she's not been feeling the best uh the last couple of days so uh hopefully she'll be feeling better soon enough though to give us a stream because we uh we miss the coffee streams um and uh Yuli says maxo i'm so doomed on my new game plus one world did you uh did you get all the molars from your regular new game uh Yevely, before you went into plus one um if not your best bet is to try and get as many molars as you can in plus one before doing any of the content so just look around the world and try and find as many of the molars as you can 
um because that will help you with the uh that'll essentially help you when it comes to like your max health and stuff because once you get into new game plus one um all the molars get go into randomized areas so if you're still if there's still upgrades you can do in plus one do that before you start going into any of the bosses and try and kill some of the infused bugs to get to start working on the uh the crystals and stuff like that because that will allow you to upgrade your weapons beyond uh essentially you'll upgrade your weapons beyond tier nine uh now i had to uh, now i had to find more yeah in new game plus all the molars get reset essentially so um you won't get mega molars but you'll get the regular white molars and they'll get pushed like to random locations in the yard so you should find like when i went into my at least at least i know everyone's new game plus is different but when i went into my first new game plus i li i found like five like in the starting area like there, there was one like right in the starting cave so uh let's see the black hair the black widow got harder now i have to now i have to find more yeah the black widow has got harder isn't it now so like i don't i know last update they made it a little bit more tricky um but yeah i guess if you got like an infused one now then yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be something else entirely isn't it so yeah you gotta be good. you gotta be super careful over here um but yeah when new game plus starts happening with like you know infused creatures essentially your best bet to get easy to get some easy infusion stuff at first because every time you kill like an infused creature you have a chance of getting like a crinkle a cone or a waffle which will give you um it will give you like a random one to three extra perks a bit like how the uh how the trinkets work now but they're randomized right and you can dupe those to uh you can dupe those trinkets as well to re-roll the effects so your best bet is to try and kill a lot of infused bugs early and try and get at least a at least a waffle which have two effects on it and then you can start duping that and then you get some randomized effects on them because some of them are actually really good like so like there's one that actually prevents fall damage completely um i think one provides gas immunity you know there's there's, there's lots of different ones that you can get um so yeah you want to try and like roll some trinkets and get a couple of really good ones before you go into your first boss fights like so if you're if you're looking to the brood mother for example like you might find a um you might find something with like you probably and the other the other thing i recommend as well is the fungal charm um when you when you're first getting into new game plus use the fungal charm um, because a lot of the infused bugs in New Game Plus 1 have explosive damage, and unfortunately, because there's no way to block explosive damage, you know, the only way is to, like, mitigate it. The Fungal Charm is, like, your best, uh, your best trinket going in. Um, I never got a Cone Trinket yet. You haven't got one yet. It's, I think the tougher the bug is, the, the more chance you've got for that trinket. So I think, I think most of them will drop the Crinkles, which have one on them. But I think if you start fighting some of the tougher creatures, they can drop the, the waffles. And then if you get, the, I think the cones, I think cones only come from bosses, but I'm not sure on that, actually. Um, but as far as I'm aware, cones only come from bosses. Uh, but there might be some other creatures that drop them as well. Um, so yeah, I just go and kill a lot of infused creatures and see if you can get, at least try and get a waffle with two effects on it. And then you'll be a little bit better set for the boss. Because then what you can do is just put that in the super duper. And then once you put that in the super duper, it will give you another waffle with two different random effects. So the effects don't get duped. They get re-rolled instead, which is not very well explained, but that's what happens. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get started, guys. Uh, Tyra says, uh, so I had a wall spider bug out on that orange leaf by the stick. Oh, yeah. Okay. Did it, did it kind of like get stuck under it or something? And uh, it says, oh, that's pretty cool. Evt says, today I found out that the Broody has random elemental damage. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Yeah, once you get into New Game Plus, like, the effects that they that the bosses have are completely random. Um, So they get, like, one random effect that happens, as well as, like, extra... Like, so, sometimes they'll just have higher defense. Sometimes they'll have, like, spicy projectiles that come out on certain attacks. Sometimes they'll just blow up um sometimes they attack faster right so and, and everything is everything is random um on the bosses regular bugs usually have like similar effects but yeah bosses will have like in new game plus one they'll have one random effect in new game plus two they'll have two random effects um and it's so yeah if you get unlucky with the boss just re-roll it and you might get a more favorable outcome um i have my broody shoot lightning at me yeah that i've seen that as well yeah they and uh and that's the thing like in some bosses like some of the uh some of the oh we got a new follow from uh we got uh osiris one king thank you so much osiris for the follow very much appreciated <laughs> uh let me make sure i'm not missing stuff on the other side as well just want to make sure we're all good there yeah we are cool but yeah the um but yeah, the, the bosses essentially have more and more random effects every time you go through New Game Plus. So yeah, when you're in New Game Plus 3, the bosses will have three random effects on them, right? So, and yeah. But yeah, honestly, like, at least in the first couple of New Game Pluses, you can sort of, you know, if, you, if you're getting, like, insta-killed by the boss in New Game Plus 1, just, like, re-roll, like, reload the save, and it will re-roll the boss, and it will give you a different one um, with random effects on it. So yeah, I th honestly, though, I do think they need to, they do need to nerf some of it, though, because, like, 
some of I, I've seen like I've seen uh, I think I was watching like C Dinky doing Schmechter up there, um, and he was on like New Game Plus three. And at one point Schmechter just goes, um, at, at, at one point uh, Schmechter just goes, yeah, I'm just gonna make the entire room explode in spicy stuff and insta kill you. And like literally he had like full health and he wasn't even on woe mode. He was just on medium and he just died instantly. <laughs> so yeah, that can uh, that can happen. Uh, Fate says uh, ri ri Rimworld cats, <laughs> Rimworld cats. Uh, they need to nerf. Uh, they need to nerf the mantis. Is, 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 yeah, I, I know you were having trouble with the, uh, with the... Is that New Game Plus 1 Mantis Carnage? Because apparently, like, when you get to, like, plus 2, you get, like, like baby mantises spawning in as well. Um, that's what happened to me when I was against that, when I was against the Broodmother. Yeah, it can happen. But I think that's what they need to do. They, they kind of need to nerf it just a little bit with some of the... Or at least give you a trinket that can give you, like, oh, you're resistant to lightning damage or you're resistant to spicy and sour damage or something like that. You know, maybe a really rare chance for an immunity. Because that'd be really good. And uh, Faze says, uh, sorry, wrong chat. <laughs> are you watching a are you watching a Rimworld stream, Faze as well? <laughs> with some uh, with some of those fancy Rimworld cats. <laughs> She's like, I'm watching a stream with the Rimworld kitties. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh Faze says, uh Faze says too many windows open. It happens. I've I've done it before as well. Yeah, he says, uh, I'm scared to meet the mantis and the wasp queen. Honestly, yeah, me too. Like I did I've I've in my own like card luck world that I was doing before, I rolled that into New Game Plus One and I've got past all the labs and done the assistant manager but yeah even at one point he killed me with like a load of spicy projectiles so yeah he was just like i was i got like nearly to the end of him and he just went yeah i'm just gonna make the room explode and i was like okay <laughs> like i think i think he launched like five projectiles in a row like in the same place uh okay says that says no no it's what i'm working on ah okay that's what you're ah, okay doing some rim also i see i see makes sense <laughs> uh but yeah that's the thing when it comes to when it comes to the bosses i think they just need to nerf the damage a little bit um, I'm honestly kind of, I'm honestly kind of surprised though that considering like some of us got early access to playgrounds in 1.3, they didn't run it past a load of us for like they like not like a public test but more like a private test server. Like they they did it for 1.3 before the public test came out. But it, I think I think it would have been in their interests really to have done that for this new game plus because like people who've like got like completed saves you could just like roll through it and give them feedback would have been pretty good because like I think you know even even people that are like amazing at grounded say that the bosses in new game plus are too overpowered like especially when they get the spicy effects or anything like that like some some of the effects that they can roll out are way too strong <laughs> so you know that's the, and that's the thing is like. It's it's all well and good them giving you extra health, but without any other way to tank damage, Nose. the extra health doesn't really mean much. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, you get like double the health in New Game Plus One, but considering you're going to be going up against something that can fire ten spicy projectiles on you, and two and and at and at plus uh, two hundred percent health, two spicy projectiles are enough to kill a player. You know, it's like we need better. We need either better armor or some way to improve, like some way to like, either improve the armor or give us trinkets with, uh, or mutations with certain resistances. Like, you know, maybe like, maybe like the spicy safety mutation could give us resistance to spicy stuff, you know, you know what I mean? And then the fresh defense one gives us like resistance to, you know, the, the, the fresh attack and stuff like that. And then if we have, um, maybe like if we have corporate kickback on, it gives us like a, a resistance to the shock damage. Or like if we have shocking dismissal, for example, it gives us resistance to shock. It gives us resistance to lightning damage. You know, so it's, I think they need to roll that into the mutations or like have, or have like a hidden fourth level of the mutation that you can only get in new game plus. So like, say like for the, uh, so like for spicy safety or something, you have to eat, a, you have to eat like three more sour candies or spicy candies or something in New Game Plus to get like a hidden extra level of it, which gives you some kind of resistances. They they need to have something like that, I think. Because right now, yeah, the bosses are like, you know, if you, if, if you roll a, a boss that doesn't have any of that stuff, it's not so bad. Like, yeah, they're infused and they have more health and do more damage, but you know, at least you can perfect block the hits. Whereas, like, you know, if you have, you know, if you have them where it's like spicy damage, you can't perfect block the projectiles or anything. And even if you do block them, they'll still damage you. Oop. Hello, exploding lava. How are you doing? Yeah, we gotta start killing these guys today. So how are you? How 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 are you? We gotta we got we gotta explore the haze today, so we're gonna see how that goes. All right, we're just gonna. But yeah, luckily we got assassin on now, so he can like he can actually bleed out pretty quickly now. And assassin, honestly, I'd actually recommend for the uh, for the haze. Uh, he says I'm. Yeah, scared to eat the Manson Wasp Queen. And never says, I think my Steam achievement is broken at the moment. I remixed my world, but I never got that achievement in. Hmm, is it, is, does it happen on the first remix, or do you have to remix it from a new game plus? 
It might be an achievement if you like go twice. I'm not sure though. I've never I've never checked it honestly. Like the new achievements. I know they added like four new achievements, didn't they? But uh, they said two for regular and two for new game plus. But I never actually uh, I never actually checked it. Get okay, back up here. Oh, careful. Okay. Oh, guys, oh, here she is. Well, guys, we gotta, we gotta go from here. Well, guys, it's time to raise your coffee cups and stick them in the air and give Coffee Queen a good father. Hi, Coffee Queen! There she is. <laughs> How you doing, baby? I haven't had that one in a while. Alright, let's just back up here from these explosives. Sorry, here we go. Haha! There we go, right now we can start dealing with this guy. Okay, ooh, okay, ooh, okay, back away. <laughs> back away! <laughs> Run away! Run away! Okay. There we go, block that guy. Yeah, I really should be taking some, like, upgrading weapons into this area, but... <laughs> okay, shit! Okay, run over there. <laughs> right, we're good. There you go, stun him. Right, okay, now's a chance to get some, like, bleeds on him if my stamina recovers a bit. Come on, stamina. Recover. There you go. Just stack some bleeds on it, and then we should be able to take this guy out. Oop, careful of that one. Aha, you missed. Aha, you missed again. And now you're dead. He's dead! He's fucking dead! <laughs> Robin's like, Max! Robin! How you doing, Robin? Welcome into the stream. How are you today? Thank you, Comfort for giving Robin a shout-out, baby. Very much appreciated. I hope you're doing well, Robin. How's it been going? How's your, uh... I know I spoke to you, like, a little bit yesterday, but yeah, I hope your, uh, I hope your return to streaming is going really, really well. Um, because I know you said you were, like, pretty much trying to stream every day now, so that's good. Um, but yeah, um, are you still, are you still, are you still just gonna be doing, uh, 76 for now, or are you gonna start, like, going to, like, random games as well? I hope it's so. Uh, I was meaning to ask you the other day, how do I make someone a VIP again? It's been too long, and I don't remember the, the command. It's just in the Twitch chat, it's just forward slash VIP, then, then put a space, and then put the name of the channel that you want to, to make a VIP. IP. So, for example, if you wanted to make Coffee Queen a VIP, you'd say forward slash VIP space Coffee Queen XX, and then it would give her the VIP stat, and then that's pretty much all you have to do. And then if they've or if they're already a VIP, it will just let you know that they're already one. Um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, uh, that's it. Yeah. So what what Coffee Queen said? Yeah, slash VIP in the in the chat, and then the name, and then that'll give you the uh, that'll give you the VIP. Um, it's going good, but I can't remember anything. I did the wrong raid command and had to go back and do it after I raided alone because I did the <laughs> because I did the wrong command. Yeah, it's, sometimes yeah, because that's the thing as well. When you, when it comes to like some commands, like a lot of chat bots use exclamation mark, whereas Twitch uses forward slash. So like sometimes I get like even 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 I get them confused sometimes. I'm just like yeah, exclamation mark raid this channel and. It's like and Twitch is like that command is not accepted. <laughs> I'm just like, oh wait, shit, no, that's a, that's that's a bot command, not the Twitch one. <laughs> but yeah, Twitch commands usually if you type if you just type in forward slash into the Twitch chat, it will also bring up a list of all the commands that you can use as well. So that will also help you. It, it, it also like help you with like the different things that you can do with them. So yeah, that will help too. Uh, and uh, Twitch uh, says that yeah, an old Twitch did all exclamation mark, and that's the ones I'm most used to. Yeah, they've cha they've changed it all up now, so it's it's all just like forward slash stuff now. Um, so yeah, it is a bit of a it is a bit problematic <laughs> when you're trying to when you're trying to go in and be like, yeah, I'm just gonna do this thing that I've been used to for the last like God knows how many years, and then like Twitch is like, oh yeah, by the way, we changed all that shit, and then you're like. Wait, why? <laughs> you're like, why, why did you do that? You're just, you're just making my life miserable. And Twitch is like, we know. <laughs> All right. Uh, Robin says, uh, anyways, how is the, uh, how's the yard treating you today? We've just got in. Um, last stream we did the haze uh, or the, uh, the pond and a little bit of the haze. Like we kind of like explored the haze area, but didn't do the lab just so we could get a load of bombs. And as you can see, like I got a load of brat vest on me now. So yeah, we're probably going to do the, uh, probably going to do the rest of the haze, explore that and do the haze lab today, hopefully and maybe the blackout lab if we get that far um because yeah we've still got like a few of the auxiliary chips to get so yeah probably gonna do that today and see how we go so yeah so far though everything's going all right oh dead weevil i'll just take that guy for free food there we go um but yeah i uh, i've got to watch out for these infected lava i need to get a uh poison thing to recover uh, to restore my dagger as well hello there hi infected lava how you doing he's like i want to blow you up oh here comes the second one there you go yeah, there you go, back away while these guys bleed out. This is why I like the dagger for this area as well, because like while they're like busy exploding and stuff, you can like bleed and poison them. There you go. Okay, have we got three now? Yeah, we do. Right, there you go. Just go and keep backing away, bleeding out. There you go. 
Oh shit. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> okay. Hi there. How, how is it going? Yeah, I'm on like I'm on like one health. Okay, we gotta be big careful of it. Okay, there we go. Alright, bleed him out. There we go. Alright, bleed him out and back away. Okay, got a crit. Nice. Okay. Okay, there we go. Right, we got him. <laughs> That's crazy. I got I got like I got like half blown up. There we go. Right, I need to need to eat one of those and then we heal up. There we go. <laughs> that was that that was that was lucky. That was that was very lucky right there. Okay, we got it. We got it. <laughs> uh, so big question. Now that they've had several updates that I've missed, is there anything that even closely resembles uh, the old the old spider outfit buff? Okay, I'll tell you one thing they have done, which in a, in a way kind of does, but in like so you're you're on about like the speed boost, right? They've they've actually buffed natural explorer now. So if you have natural explorer level one, it's uh it used to be like uh, level one used to give you a three percent boost, and then level two was a uh, I think a six percent, level three was a ten percent. What it does now is level one is a plus fifteen percent boost. Uh, oh no, I think actually no, level one's a plus twenty percent boost, which essentially is the same effect as the old spider armor, and then level two is a thirty five percent boost. A level three is a 50% boost. Um, so yeah, all you have to do now is find little locations and then you can just get your speed boost with the mutation now, which is really, really good. Uh, I was like, oh my god, yes! <laughs> so yeah, the, yeah, because the quickness is a really good effect and it also pairs with uh, aphid slippers and things like that as well. So if you wear like aphid slippers and use it as well, then yeah, you'll get really, you'll go really, really fast. Uh, hello, Weevil. Uh, I actually need to peep you, don't I? I don't think I peeped you yet. There you go. One infected weevil. Thank you. Yeah, we need to uh, try and peep all the creatures in this area as well. But yeah, they've they've done a lot of work on the uh, on the mutations. Um, so yeah, there's uh, there's a lot of good there's a lot of good stuff in here now. All right, hello there. Oh no, back away. Yeah, don't get blown up by this guy. But yeah, you can you can see how quickly infected lava can like finish you off. All right. Well, do, do, do you mind, good sir? Right here, another one coming. All right, he's probably gonna bleed out. Yep, got him. Yes, yeah, like I said, this is why I like the daggers for the haze because, like, the the bleed out effects. Like, if you don't have the black hand sword, then the dagger is the next best thing you can use here. Although I would say, if you can get a black hand sword before coming to the haze for any new players, get a black hand sword before coming here because it will literally decimate the infected lava just so easily. I just found out how the good mint mace is against the ladybug lava. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the the mint mace yeah is an amazing weapon against them. Like, it is is so it is super good. Right, oh another another infected ladybug lava. There's some threats back up here. Try not to get blown up. There you go. Right, it cleared the grass for me. There you go. Then we can just stack some leaves together. There we go. Try and get a couple of uh, accents on it. There you go. Okay. Oh, run away! <laughs> now, rather the only the only thing you have to bear in mind though is if you're in combat, the speed your speed buffs get nerfed a little bit. So you can't like just hit, run out, and then hit again. So that's the only nerf to Natural Explorer now is that it doesn't proc while you're in combat, which is a bit of a shame. There you go, just see that one, and then give you that one for a bleed, then we'll switch to this thing, and hopefully we'll stun it before it can fire some stuff. Oh yeah, we stunned it then, but unfortunately we already fired two explosives. Okay, that's fine. Get the bleed on it. Oh yeah, Spiky Sprig bleeds opponents now, which is really good. Got him. There you go. Yay! There we go. He's out of here. Right, we need to grab a load of this stuff as well, because yeah, dry grass will be good for extra bombs and stuff later, so I may as well grab some while I'm here. But yeah, this area, this area, this the, the haze area is like probably the first real tough area that you guys will come across, especially if you're new to grounded and you've like not really seen any of the infected creatures yet. It's probably like the first, the, the first real, the first real challenge of grounded starts in the haze. Uh, that's when it, that's when it really picks up. Um, uh, so, so, and let's see. So Yuri says, um, I don't really want. Atlas says, uh, how's the yoga going? It's going well so far. Uh, nearly just got killed by some infected lava, but we're doing okay. We ma managed to managed to hold on. Uh, we, you know, we're still we're still ticking so far. Right, so you got a field station over here. Uh, I hear some kind of buggers after me. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, there's some infected gnats down there. Uh, oh, is this guy? Okay. Yeah, infected weevils just use the uh, use a dagger on them with bleed out, and it will uh, it will be really really good. Uh, Dove says uh, I die I die in the hedge lab. Forget the haze area. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I die in the hedge lab if I like fall out of it. Sometimes like that that has killed me a few times. All right, so we got another weevil over here. Okay. But yeah, if if you use the uh, if you use the dagger on the weevils, like 
it's very fast to attack and then you can bleed them out before they really have a chance to blow you up which is a really good thing so yeah once you get in the haze haze there the haze the haze there's a fuel station with two good other bars in here so we're going to take those uh there is an analyzer in here as well just in case you need it but more importantly there is a note in here that you will need to get for 100 percent. so remember you have to gather all the notes for 100 percent. is that an infected ladybug or is that a regular one that is a regular one, so don't have to worry about it. But yeah, there is a note in here, so we're going to go read that and see what we can do and see how this goes. Um, so here we go. Uh, hedge lab is... Uh, and Alice says, the hedge lab is difficult. All right, so here we go. Pipe problems. Well, Trudy took it upon herself to call an outside help to fix our sprinkler leak. I'm more than capable of fixing these things myself with time. Just a little time is all I ask. The damn fools she hired traced in here with zero regard for my work below the surface. They were working near the pond clear across from where the issue is. I shooed them away and attempted to dig myself, but things took a turn for the worse. If Trudy notices, maybe she'll suspect it was those it was those geniuses from Scapes Amalgamated, which I've never even heard of until their van pulled up at the house. But she does have a keen eye for my specific brand of handiwork, as she likes to say. One of these days, I'm going to program Taste Tees for maintenance work. <laughs> Wendless is like, Wendless is like, I can fix it, I can fix it, I just need time, and I, I, I've got science to do. I, I don't have time to fix it right now. <laughs> And Trudy's like, but Wendell, the house bill, the water bill's getting so high, we're paying extra money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me uh, grab this thing. Right, get this infected mite out of the way. Oi, don't you, don't you start playing funny buggers with me? There you go. And then he'll probably just die from here. Oh, we have another one. I got him. All right, let's have the bleed on these guys. Really, are you like hiding under the leaf trying to snipe me? Yes, you are. Okay, the dagger is much faster at killing these guys. There you go. And uh, Tiny Pete is uh, Tiny Pete needs to drink badly. Okay, uh, let's do that to heal, and then we will drink a couple of these, and we should be good. All right, there's one. And let's do that again. Now we're now, now we're now we're fully full. <laughs> we are fully full, and I'll just eat these mushrooms as well, just to get my food up again. There you go. And let's go use the axe to take out these things. You will need, uh, by the way, for anyone who's new to Grounded, you will need a level 2 axe to take these things out. So if you don't have an insect axe, you probably want to get one of those before even coming into the haze, just so you can take out the uh, the exploding funguses. Um, plus, actually, another thing is uh, every one of these you see, you want to try and break it. Oh, a ladybug just died. Okay, free parts. Thank you. Um, yeah, ladybug just died in the haze. But yeah, this stuff here... Take these out because every now and then there is a there is a one percent drop chance for a fungal charm, which will give you uh, resistance to any explosive damage. Okay. okay, get away from that guy. Yeah, just let him blow up. Yeah, these 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 weevils are nightmares. So they'll like run in and try and just blow you up, <laughs> which can be a little bit crazy. Okay, so we've already been through that first trench in the last stream, so I'm not going to redo that one because we've been through there already. So we're actually going to head back this way because over here there is actually an area where there's a, there's like a spider over here. Um, so if we go back along to here, we'll find like uh, we'll find like a rake and some stuff over here. But there is a, there is an area just up here where there's a spider. Uh, there it is. So there's the wolf spider there, and there'll be a lot of spiderlings here. So I'm just going to take these guys out if we can, and then we'll try and take out the wolf spider in a bit. But yeah, this area has a lot of spiderlings usually. So we're probably going to find some more in a minute. Yeah, here comes some more. Hi there. Right. Here comes the wolf spider again. Get rid of that one. <laughs> the wolf spider's like, You're destroying my babies! How dare you! <laughs> right, I need to probably switch weapons now. There you go. And now we gotta kill this guy because I can repair my dagger. Ow. There you go, stunned it. Nice. And this wolf spider is also taking gas damage as well, so that's a good thing. Okay, an aphid just died too. There we go, make it bleed. Haha, -ha, you missed! Right, yeah, you definitely want to block that move because of uh, Venom. Got it, there you go. Alright, now we can repair our dagger and we are all good to go. There we go, so that's better. <laughs> that's better, Harry. Yay, there we go, free dagger repair. And we're ready to continue on. So yeah, that would have dropped some Venom for us. And there we go. Uh, freaking parry god, says uh, Atlas. <laughs> thank you, uh, thank you, Atlas. <laughs> uh, my multiplayer save isn't working. We spent about 12 hours and don't want our entire save to be gone. Um, is that from, uh, is that, are you coming from console, um, Derek? Because I think uh, I think there were some issues with some of the console saves, um, which they'll probably be fixing in a hotfix at some point coming, uh, coming soon. 
Um, uh, oh, you're on PC. Okay. So is it a is a have you got a sh is it a shared world or is it just a regular multiplayer save? If it is a if it is a uh, regular multiplayer save, you're probably going to want to tell the uh, you're probably going to want to uh, contact Obsidian support with your save file. Um, so yeah, uh, okay, you're on a shared world. It could also be if it's a shared world, it could just be that the shared worlds are experiencing some downtime. Sometimes that happens as well. So what I would do is I'd like wait a few hours and then see if they fixed it. Because sometimes uh, is it uh, it says uh, is uh, it says uh, is it because because uh, it's shared. Yeah. So sometimes shared worlds do go down every now and then, um, and they usually what what if if you tell them about the issue you're having with it. Um, because there's a if you if you contact support at obsidian.net hang on I'll uh, I'll actually share the email with you in here um hang on uh support at obsidian.net uh, there you go um if you contact them through this support form essentially you just send uh can I can I turn the share off you can download a local copy of your world yeah so if you have a shared world you can go into uh I, I don't know if I've actually got any shared saves in mine um I'm not sure I probably have somewhere uh let me see so we're going to loading saves if I've got a shared one here let me see um because there should be can i see all the saves oh that's that's the save one uh where is my load option it's that one there is it? nope not that one uh yes yeah, this one here nope that's save where's load that one is it that one yeah here we go uh no it's not that one or is it that one uh yeah here we go load here let me see real quick uh if i got a share world here yes yeah, so i got a sh i've got a share world here right so this one i th i think this is my uh my share world here so yeah once you go into here um I think it, it, you have to do it from the main menu, though. There should be an option down here for create local copy, and that will then make a copy of your shared world to... Um, uh, it, uh, but if, if I try to leave, the, sa uh, the save will disappear. I'm not. I don't think the. I don't think it should disappear unless unless the share world is having downtime. But it should have. Um, it should have like a make local copy um, somewhere down here once you select a shared world. But I think you got to do it from the main menu. Um, if you're in a shared world and trying to save from within the game, I don't think it will. Uh, I don't think it will save. Unfortunately, um, if the, especially if shared worlds are going down at the minute. Um, hey, Melorock, thank you so much for the bits, dude. Very much appreciated. Uh, it says uh, Alpha 22. Uh, it says uh, five minutes to that again. Um, it says, uh, it says uh, Alpha 22 will be beta 1.0. And Derek says, dang. Yeah, that's. I'm not sure, though, um, with the share. Because that's the only thing. Yeah, share walls are like going, uh, are like currently exp uh, experiencing problems and stuff. Then, yeah, the uh, the only problem is when you when you try and save to them, then, yeah, it can be a bit of a, a bit of an issue. What I would tend to do, honestly, uh, says, uh, says, uh, says, uh, says, uh, I, I know we got to deal with our loss. <laughs> I'm sure you're. I'm sure that you'll be able to get back to where you were pretty quickly the next time around, right? So, I wouldn't worry too much about it. And uh, what I would do is like, if you're having issues with shared worlds, just make a local one yourself, and then just like host it, and then after that, turn that one into a shared world, like from the main menu, because then you have your main save. And then if people want to continue on the shared world, they can. But if not, you've still got your local one as a backup from that point as well, right? Um, Clement, uh, Clementy says, says uh, wait, new update. Yeah, we're, we're, we're grounded 1.4 now. For the fully yoked update with new game plus and queens and a whole host of other things. Um, uh, Experimental apparently is coming next month for seven days today. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. And, and grounded, of course. <laughs> All right, so we're going to drop down here to get some raw science. There we go. So we got that one. Now, once you drop down here, there is no way to get back out from here. So essentially, if you drop down here, you're going to be committed to going down into this area. Now, if you haven't taken care of the wolf spider that's down here, you will most likely have to fight the wolf spider on your way out. So before you get the science here, just bear that in mind. Now, there are some infected gnats down here as well. We'll try and deal with those as well. Uh, granted, added, uh, and granted, added all new stuff. And, uh, and Darius says, I'm just going to place another one again. Ah, oh, man. But yeah, I would, I would still contact Subsidian support about that because that's something that that would be something that would be a, a good addition actually is to be able to share a local version of the game whilst uh, whilst in the share world just in case the shared feature has issues right hi there take care of this guy goodbye spider there you go, taking care of him and get some mobile here. Yeah, sorry if it's a little bit dark here. I don't even know if I have a light on me. Oh, I do. Hang on. I have a... Oh, wait. No, I don't. <laughs> I thought I had a light. Oh, wait. Do I have one? Uh, let me see. Do I have a torch or something here? Uh, yeah. The power of there we go. Champion of the sun. So once you come down here, there's a couple of things that we can find. Uh, the main one being, uh, it's going to be some uh, these little spiderlings down here that want to try and eat me. So 
Uh, I'm gonna switch to a dagger, then we'll just deal with that guy. There you go. And then you'll also find like some sturdy marble and stuff down here as well. You'll start finding a lot more sturdy marble in the haze as well. Uh, Max, I got tier four. Very nice. <laughs> Yeah, you get, you get, like, random tier 4 weapons from bosses, don't you, in New Game Plus 4, I think. Um, there you go. So we've now got another mutation for Rockcracker. Very nice. And then if you look on the hamsters, uh, the hamster skeleton's teeth here, you'll actually find another scabby. So, guys, guess what? That's something I'm supposed to deliver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like says, uh, 22 twinkling shells from four scarabs. And finally, the gold car from the scarab. Hey, nice, dude. <laughs> wow, 22 twinkling. Did you have, like, the, the loot luck boost on? Because, yeah, that's, uh, that, that sounds like you had the loot like me. So that's really good, though, for the, it says that uh, nothing is safe. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, nothing is safe. It's actually New Game Plus. Not, not, not even you are safe. <laughs> All right, so I think I peeped the infected gnat already, didn't I? So I'm just going to shoot this guy down. Yeah, the infected gnats are pretty nasty. If you if you go near these guys, they'll actually knock the weapon out of your hands. So be very careful with these things. Because, um, yeah, they, they, they like to do that. They're a pain, they, they, are, they are the biggest pain in the butt, especially when you're, like, fighting other infected creatures. Like, they can just knock the weapon out of your hands and just make your life miserable until you find your weapon again. <laughs> so, yeah, watch out for those guys. There's lots of lava down here as well. Uh, let's see. Uh, get this question. Shit. <laughs> you're questioning my shit? How dare you? <laughs> All right, let's go make our way out of here. But yeah, usually if you've not fought the wall spider, you had to fight it on the way out of here. Uh, but because we've already taken care of it, we don't have to worry about it. There you go. And uh, let's see. And Big Wolf says, uh, says, are we doing good? We are doing good, Big Wolf. How are you doing, dude? I hope you're doing good. What are you up to today, dude? How's your, how is your Sunday going? And uh, for everyone else who's joining as well, hope you guys are having a fantastic Sunday. What are you guys all up to today? Apart from, uh, you know, spend, spending your uh, spending your once-in-a-lifetime time over here with me, which I do very much appreciate, by the way. What are you guys doing? Um, is every new infused weapon available in New Game Plus 4? I believe so, yeah. I, be I believe it is. Like, all, all the bosses have, like, a set drop for them, but, like, oh, like some, like, single... I think, like, some of the ones you can only fight once, you might have to go through more New Game Pluses to get those drops, right? So... But, yeah, I think for, yeah, the most part they do, yeah. Uh, I want the, uh, I want the, uh, the, the Fungnir. Oh, is that the, uh, is that the, uh, the new spear, isn't it? I'm not sure if that one actually has a drop, though. I'm not sure if that one exists as a spear drop. It might do, but I'm not too sure. Because I, I know, I know not all of the weapons exist as tier 4 variants, but that one might do. <laughs> it's like, no! It says, uh, no, uh, no, no sicknessing for you. <laughs> Yeah, that because yeah, that that uh, that new spear and it's like a new spear and a shield, isn't it, for the infected ants? And Comic Queen is uh, Comic Queen is doing some crochet. How's your crocheting going, baby? I hope it's going good. All right, let's go down here, and now we need to come down here because I think there's another molar down here as well as a lot of upgrade rocks. So we want to try and grab all these. Cause yeah, the haze is a good place where you find a lot of upgrade rocks for your weapons and armor. So definitely one place you want to go before really proceeding on is down into these uh down these areas because essentially you'll be able to like max out a lot of your weapons i'll get that one that one hurt a bit ouch okay luck, luck, luckily for me though you know the explosion don't hurt that much there you go got him there you go make sure we get rid of these things before they blow me up too much uh let's see what else we can find on here are there any other upgrade rocks on this side i don't believe so right okay so we should down here have some more infected lava um i have some infected mites up the top as well but yeah, we should find some more infected lava down here. And I think I think there's a molar in this one. I can't remember, honestly. I think there is, though, at the end. Oh, yeah, there it is right there. So there's a mega molar in here as well. So we're going to grab that one, too. But yeah, most of these uh, haze trenches will have some good loot in them. Either molars or feathers or, like, mint chunks. And back up here, because I don't want to fight you. Uh, not when you're going to explode, anyway. There you go. All right, come back here, you. Right, wait, where are you going? There's one. Okay, back away. <laughs> there you go. There you go, get some bleed on him. Oop. Okay, back up from here. There you go. Okay, there's one now. Okay, now you. And got him. <laughs> yeah, this is why the dagger's good, though, for, like, when you get into, like, multiple fights at once, you can kind of, like, hit them back away, then, like, come back in to hit them again, and they can bleed between them, which is really good. Oh, my fucking God! Uh, coffee queen! <laughs> Fuck! Um, let's see. Uh, says, I should not, should, should not swear, should not swear it's healthy for you. That's um, something I'm supposed to deliver. Let me see. Merit says, uh, says, uh, Max, I'll be, I'll be learning Seek and Destroy from Metallica. Oh, very nice. And Guy Green's, uh, crocheting is good, good, going good at working on the body. <laughs> Stop laughing at me, coffee 
queen. I don't have a coffee right now. I got one of the. I got one of these. Though, so I'll, I'll, I'll drink this. So I can have a. Um, I can have a tropical blast zero sugar break. Zero sugar. Mel <laughs> says, "Do it again." Yo says, uh, "Just beat an ox beetle." And when I was cleaning up all the ladybird lava, I got the insulating lava spike. And now I'm gonna go even smoother into the cold katana fight. Oh yeah, I definitely recommend getting that before you go in. Yeah, it helps so much in that fight. The other thing you can do to like give you more sizzle protection is also get the. Uh, there's also the case of the antlion as well. The meal that you can get from the from the sandbox. I would also get that one if you've not done the sandbox lab outpost. Get that as well. That will help you a ton. All right, let's go and delete some of this stuff. I can see some of that because we're getting uh, we're getting thirsty and so I don't need a pebble. Let's get rid of that as well. <laughs> there's a, a lot of a lot of random crap I'm holding on to that I just don't need right now. So we'll just get rid of them. Drink one of those. There you go. That'll keep me going for a bit. There you go. And Mara says, zero sugar, that's it. I, uh, says, uh, I, I, I will, uh, it says, it says, quit all social media, leave the planet. Uh, Musk, get that rocket ship ready. I'm leaving. <laughs> says, uh, says, uh, and says, uh, quit, yeah, yeah, quit all the social media. <laughs> Don't quit the social media. What will we do without you on social media? Then advertisers can't use your personal information against you to market products that you probably don't even can't even afford because the you know the whole the whole situation with money in the world is going to shit and like the poor people are just getting poorer. So you know then it just kind of like shows you personal things that you want that you know that you can never have and then that makes you feel bad about yourself and then the depression kicks in and then the whole world just goes to fuck. <laughs> says a shout for joy, shout for joy, shout for joy. Probably, honestly, I'm not I'm not on much social media. Honestly, like I'm on. Um, the only real one I use often, like apart from obviously Discord, but I don't, I don't have like Discord doesn't really. Well, in in some ways it can count on social media, I guess, but it's not like a, it's not like a website, is it? It's like it's more like a load of forums and chat rooms, isn't it? But I think the main the main one I'm on is Twitter. Um, I do have a Facebook as well, but I like never use it. I I'm only on Facebook because some of my family members are on it, and that's literally the only reason. Like if if that and and Facebook Messenger wasn't a thing, I just I just drop it all together. But it's like some of the only content I have with certain family members, so it's just like yeah, I'm just I'm just on there for that reason. Uh, oh, we have oh, there's a juice drop over here. Oh yeah, here's the peach fuzz puncho can right here. We want to discover that as well. And hopefully, if we've discovered all five of them now, we should get the juicy mutation. There you go. So juicy is actually a really good mutation, especially in a later area, because what that will do is it will make your thirst degrade 50% slower, which is super useful. In WoW mode especially, it's super useful. Um, all right, hello. I got him. Aha, thank you for your for your contributions to the Foxy Fund. Right, hello. Oh, there you are. All right, got him. Right, and another one of you. And they're still coming in. These guys are everywhere. They're everywhere. All right, come on in. And I hear another one. Yeah, there's lots of infected mites up here. So we definitely out that one hit me in the. There you go. And I think another weevil's coming. All right, come on then, weevil. All right, is that it? No, there's apparently still something after me. Uh, sounds like it's over here. Is it stuck in the ground? Oh, it's in the rock. Ooh, okay. Okay, there was a, there, there was a random infected weevil that was just like inside the rock there. Um. Hey, when it does that, like they'll like spawn in the rock and then still blow you up anyway. And Kinetical, welcome to the stream. He says, Max and Chad, hope everyone is doing awesome today slash tonight. I'm doing well, Kinetical, how you been? I hope you've been keeping well. Thank you so much for popping in. Uh, says, it's not me, it's Snap. <laughs> uh, says, uh, I'm banned from uh, I'm banned from Facebook because I can't upload my ID. I can't upload my ID because I lost that. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, honestly, being banned from Facebook is probably not the worst thing in the world. It's just like, yeah, that's just one less social media platform I have to worry about, right? Clowney says, uh, does the assistant manager drop infused weapons? I'm not sure, actually. I don't know the Mant does. I'm not sure about the assistant manager, though. I don't think it does, but I could be wrong. All right, hello there. Okay, jump out of the way of that. Yeah, that guy's just gonna like blow up in the ground. Thank you. Oh, did you drop a mushroom chunk? You did. Uh, right, I can get rid of weevil noses. We don't need those. I've got so much mite fuzz on me from here as well. Uh, right, you know what? I don't need this dry grass really, do I? I? I mean, I could use it for certain things, but I don't need that. So we can get rid of these. And what else do I need? Spider chunks. I mean, we could use those for spider slide later. Oh, I do need the lava spikes as well. Acid glands. We don't need those. There we go. Get rid of them. Save a bit of room. Nice. Okay. So let's have a look and see what else we can find down here, because I'm sure there's a couple of other things we can find um, around this area. There's a couple of trenches we haven't explored. And look, there's actually a um, there's actually a thing here as well, a sturdy marble. So we'll get one of those. 
because that's more uh, armor upgrade materials that we're going to get later on. We can't use the sturdy marble like immediately, but later on we will be able to use it for upgrading our armor, which is going to be really good. So yeah, we got to try and make sure we stock up on a little bit of that if we can. All right, let's see what else we can find around here. There's going to be a few more things. So we're coming to like the other side of the haze near the sandbox now. So there's a couple other trenches we need to explore and then we'll see how we go. Better stuff it, Max, or I'll de Facebook you. Oh, wait, I can't. <laughs> Like, I can't do Facebook you. But yeah, so, so does Facebook actually require ID now to use the, the platform? Because that, that's new. Because I remember when you when it was first thing, you didn't need any of that. You just like sign up to it and make an account on it. I guess it's to stop like spammers and bots and stuff like that, which would make sense. Which I think is a good thing. So we're going to run down between the stepping stones. There is some science here. I think I have already done these trenches here. I believe, I believe I've done these ones already, but I'm not sure. Actually, no, we've not done this one. I think I did the last one, didn't I? Right, so Infected Love's gonna jump up here. Okay. Jump up there. Right, there you go. That guy should hopefully die soon. There you go, he's down. Ah where'd you come from? He came from behind me! <laughs> Shit! Okay, uh can we just reload? And uh, we'll just respawn right now. Okay, we'll just reload. Okay, yeah, he came out of nowhere. Like he he literally just came out of nowhere, like from behind me. I wonder if he was like stuck in a rock. Like sometimes that happens. Okay, let's go let's run back up here. Uh actually, while I'm here, actually, I could probably um probably get some more food, couldn't I, while I'm back here? Uh let me see. Uh is there any like tap holes or anything I can just cook up real quick? Uh tadpoles. Are there any? Nope, they're done. Ah, okay, they're in the temples here. <laughs> of course, the one time I was like, yeah, I can, I can get some more food. And then the game's like, nah, you're not going to get any more food. <laughs> and the game's like, F -f -f fuck you, you're not getting anything. <laughs> ah, that, that lava just came out from behind me and got me. I think I think he was in the rock because I couldn't see uh, I couldn't see where he was coming from. Clavin says, uh, should I fight the assistant manager a few times in case he does drop a few weapons? I mean, you could do. Yeah, you could just like you could just like um, make a save just before the uh, make a save just before the fight. And then, you know, just essentially essentially just like you know save reroll um oh there's another one give me that thank you okay there we go we've got a couple of acres now right so we've got some acres we can cook those up before we head out and then i can see if i can go grab the uh lava yeah i, th I think that lava was behind me because yeah it got me from behind i think i think it was in the rock either that or it like jumped from lower down into a different area and then dropped back in because sometimes that happens too like the <laughs> the, the lava are really weird in this sometimes there you go oh, i think that i think one of those aphids actually dropped uh two aphid meat which is pretty good but yeah, we'll wait until this cooks up. Let me drink from here as well. There you go. And that should be good. Then we'll just wait till it cooks. Uh, drop off any other stuff in there. Can I... Uh, oh yeah, I've, I've got most most of my weapons are now back there, aren't they? So I do need to repair some of my armor though, because that's nearly gone. And I guess I'll repair my gas mask. Yeah, may as well just repair everything while we're here. But yeah, the other thing that's helping as well is I do have the fresh, uh, the uh, the suspicious mint here. Uh, that gives me extra fresh damage against uh, infected creatures, which is really nice. Um, actually, it does fresh damage against everything, but infected creatures are weak to fresh damage, right? So that's another good thing. And ah, thank you, baby. <laughs> and uh, hey, now I can have a coffee break. <laughs> thank you, coffee queen. <laughs> All right. So let's eat some of that. There we go. Okay, let's let's run back and see if we can get what we need to then. Okay, so yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, if infected lava, like, they will most likely get a lot of kills on you early on. Like, they, they, they still kill me very frequently now, and I'm kind of used to fighting them as well. So yeah, they're one of the more... They're one of the more annoying creatures to try and fight off. But that's fine. Let's go and make our way over here then. We'll go back through here. Are the wall spiders back here? I guess I can get some more venom if they are. Uh, if they are. Uh, it doesn't look like they are, though. Okay, so they're not back yet. That's fine. Then we'll keep going over this way. We'll keep heading this way. Um, oh, wait, no, I do hear a wolf spider. Ah, there he is. Hi there. How you doing? All right, come on. Actually, one thing I did forget is to bring a bubble helmet, because I know I'll need that in a bit. Right, haha, you missed. There you go. Yeah, sometimes we get like critical hits like 1% of the time, which is really good when it happens, but it's not often. There you go. Got him. Hey, there you go. He's down. Right, so Wolf Spider's out. I'm actually going to go back and get my bubble helmet because I do actually want to use that. Um, uh, no, and uh, Huggy Wuggy says, I love the telepotty. I know, it's really expensive though, isn't it? It's like 100k for a pair of them. Um, so yeah, it's like su it's super expensive to buy them. But then again, I guess like if you're getting 3k raw science for every infused creature you kill, it's not that bad. So it might actually, it might actually be all right. 
I'm actually not be as bad as like I initially <laughs> think it is. Because yeah, like 3k per infused creature, especially if you like fight a load of infused mites or spidlings or something like that. Like th those are like the easiest ones to kill. So I guess it's not as bad. All right, let's see what have I got here. So do I have my bubble home in here? Uh, yes, I do. And I will actually take a um. Yeah, I'll, I'll take my regular slime lantern just so we can light the area up a bit, just in case we need it. But yeah, I'll use the bubble helmet to show you guys something else in a little bit as well, just in case you haven't seen it. So let's go back over here now. All right, so we got everything we need. Let's run back to the haze area. We will find all the stuff again. We'll go get our bag, and then we should be good. Unless another wolf spider decides to show up as well, which it very it very well might, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> uh, right, can I... Oh, are you... <laughs> this one piece of lab here is just going to, like, stop me getting in. It would be nice if we had, like, these destroyed pieces of lab to use in playgrounds as well. That'd be nice. Like, we could, you know, make it look like an explosion has happened nearby or something like that. You know, there's a lot a lot of things that you actually find in there. It, like, playgrounds does have a lot of things, but a lot doesn't come through the playgrounds. I swear to God, the upper yard insects have the weirdest attack patterns. Some of them do, yeah. You will get used to it though. Like it, it does take some getting used to. Like, I think the, I think the, the weirdest ones, like, are the ones that are the variants of the originals in the lower yard, like the green shield bug and stuff like that. So sometimes you'll have like, sometimes you'll have like the green shield bug sort of do. It's not like a, it's not like a body slam attack, but it's an attack where it would like jump backwards, but still hit you on the way back a bit, like what the brood mother does. Like there, there's attacks like that that they have, and then like the ladybird has like two body slams. No spider, I don't want to fight you. No. Okay, haha, you missed. All right, Tiny Pete, we need stamina. Okay, owie. Okay, I don't want to, I don't want to fight you guys. I, I want to get back to my bag, please. There we go. Right, now we're out of it. Right, we're out of the undergrowth area. So now I can go get uh go get our bag and we should be good. Alright, hi soldier ants. Just 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 passing through. <laughs> the soldier ants like he doesn't look like an ant anymore. Get him! <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> that was that was close. There we go. Uh, three three <laughs> combo off the spicy lava still gets me. Oh yeah, that, yeah. They they do a lot of damage actually. The um the um ladybird lava. They do a ton of damage per hit. Yeah, those those, th those things are evil. I hate them. Um, uh, this is the black ox feel. Oh yeah, that that one's a bit weird because like a lot of his attacks kind of like he'll do like a little wiggle before he actually attacks you. So you th so you're like ah, I'm gonna raise my shield. Then it doesn't actually attack you. Like oh, it's not attacking. Then it's just like ha ha, <laughs> and then like attacks you after that. Yeah, it's a th th those ones are a bit of a nightmare to deal with. Yeah, but you you will get used to the attack patterns though. It does it just takes a little bit of learning, right? But you will get used to it eventually, right? So I can't get anything down here at the minute because. Unfortunately, my axe and stuff is over here. So we're going to have to come back to this area, which is fine. We'll run back up here, get all our stuff, and then we should be good. Uh, especially the infused variants. Uh, uh, it says, uh, until I level up in New Game Plus, they are my worst nightmare. <laughs> That's the thing, yeah. The uh, and, and the fact that they can just have like random attributes, and they're just like, oh yeah, by the way, you're going to explode now. And it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Is it? It's, it's almost like the. It's almost like the infused creatures just have a. You're gonna die right now button, and they just push it randomly. It's funny. All right. Okay, keep going. Yeah, get out of it. All right, let's go and take revenge on these. Uh, on this lava, shall we? Uh, was it down here? Yeah, there it is. It's down there. All right. So let's see if we can get my. Uh, we can get my bag back. All right there it is. Yeah, yeah, get get down there. <laughs> I, well, I actually I actually double crit him down the thing. All right, aha. Get back down there. <laughs> right there we go. Yeah, no, no, that, that, that's what got me. It must have been, it must have been one that like walked in up there. Right, are you gonna jump back up? There you are. Ah, you tried to blow me up, but you failed. <laughs> infected tried uh, infected lava tried to kill the max box. <laughs> they failed as they were thrust to the ground. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now I can uh, drink that. And uh, we can get rid of this acid gland. There's a couple of things I've got to get rid of now. Uh get rid of that. We need to get rid of that one. There we go. And now I should be able to get the other stuff from the bag. There you go. There you go. Right, there you go. Now I got everything back. There we go. Now I can go and start going through these. Says, uh, yo, no way. I looked at my inventory and didn't even realize I got another insulating lava spike. They are, honestly, I think they are actually pretty common compared to a lot of the other trinkets. Uh, which is why I'm nearly dying. Every encounter is clouded. I know, right? Who did that? <laughs> Kick at. 
<laughs> How dare you? Oh, hello. Get away. Hi, Nat. That was a, that was a, this guy's a very a very quiet one. Yeah, you're you're not knocking the weapon out of my hand. Go away. <laughs> he's a, he's just, he's just like flying and just like <laughs> just not sure. <laughs> just trying to fly. Oh, hello, hello, hello. What what you want? What you want? Oh, okay. No, pick up the weapon. No, stop it. Hey, get out of here, you bastard! <laughs> you stupid bastard! Right there we go, you got him. That stupid infection out. Right, I get. I guess I can get rid of the gnat fuzz as well. I don't really need all that. I guess. Yeah, I get a little bit more room in my inventory. There you go. Right, so yeah, we got some feathers through here as well. Right, let's see what else we can find down here. There's, there's usually a few things down here. Lots of uh, dead ends. Oh, there's another one of these. So we can get some more uh, extra fungal growths as well. All right, I hear another lava. Right here we go. Another lava coming in. Hi there. Aha, you missed. I got him. Right, another lava down. Excellent. Slim! He's like, hogwash! <laughs> How's it going, Slim? Welcome in, dude. How you been? Okay, oh, some science here. Grab that, so 500 raw science down there. And then we've got some quartz light right here. Let's go grab that one. There we go. There's some uh, extra quartz light there. Is that everything? I think so. There we go. Thank you, uh, thank you, Comic Winner Dubs, for giving uh, Slim and Slade a shout out. Very much appreciated. Uh, Yuri says, uh, Oh no, that's about to get the extra one as well. Slim says, I'm good. Just got done with some gardening. Fair enough, dude. <laughs> were, you, uh, were, you squash were, you, were you squashing bugs in, 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 whilst doing the gardening? <laughs> oh, hello. Nice try, fungal infection growth thingy of explodiness. You didn't win today. Oh, that was close. I nearly, I nearly got blown up by that one though. <laughs> that one nearly did win, but the first the first one didn't, and that's what's important. All right, so that's all. That's that all done there. Um, so we're gonna go and see if we can find. We're gonna go see if we can find some more raw science because I know there's a little bit more around here. Um, there is like a, there's like a light somewhere up here, isn't there, with uh, some science on it? So I want to see if we can get that one. Uh, I don't think it's in this area though. It's somewhere. It's, it's somewhere a bit further. Oh, it's, it's down here. Yeah. So this light right here does have some raw science up on it, and you can get to it, but you have to do some uh, some pretty fancy jumps to get there. Um, and by doing pretty fancy jumps, I mean, hey, remember this weed that we had to climb up for the laser? There's another one right here, which we can climb up to get onto that light and then get the raw science from it. So yeah, a little bit of a uh, little bit of parkour later, and we should have ourselves a little bit of extra science from here. Um, so yeah, I think we've got to go all the way to the top though. And we'll get it from there. Um, let's see. And uh, Kalikul says, uh, do it, doing awesome. Thanks. And so it's like, doobs. <laughs> and uh, Kalikul says, hey, Kalikul, how are you? And how you doing? Uh, how you doing, Pyro Official? Welcome in. How are you today? Uh, says, uh, what the fuck? My infused infected brew mother tools disappeared. Those took forever to get. They disappeared? I wonder if you lose infused weapons, like, if you go to another new game. Did you, like, go to another new game plus or something and then they disappeared? Or did they just, did they just disappear randomly? Hmm. Or did you just accidentally store them in the box? Because sometimes that's happened to me. Like I've been like, oh, I need this, and then I've been like, oh, wait, I can't, I can't do it because it's in the, it's in the box. <laughs> right. So the raw science is over there, right? So we need to kind of jump from here to get to it. And if we can, oh, I got knocked off. Okay. Oh, I didn't, I didn't actually get any uh, damage though. Okay. But yeah, there is some raw science up there that we need to get. I need a, I need a dandelion for it. I think so. We're gonna have to go find a dandelion, and then we'll come back. Once I found a daddy lion, I will be back and we'll redo the parkour. I have a question, says Pyro. All right, then, what is your question, dude? Go for it. <laughs> and his question is like, why do you look like such an idiot? <laughs> I'm like, good question. Wait a minute. I think he's trying to insult me. <laughs> All right, so let's go make our way down this way. And actually, we've got to be careful of a bombardier up here. I mean, there is a bombardier around here. Uh, oh, yeah. Actually, yeah, here's the shovel. We can actually... Uh... Okay, let me take care of the bombardier first, and then we'll go and like, lower the shovel. Okay. Hit him in the butt! He's weak, it's in the butt. He doesn't like it when, it when you hit him there. The bombardier does not appreciate anal. <laughs> he, does, he does not like it at all. Right, come on. Right. right, hello there. Fight me, bitch. <laughs> there you go. Got him. And now he's dead. Hey! Right, did we get any... Did he drop any boiling glands as well? Uh, yes, he did, but I can't pick them up because my inventory is, like, completely chock full of stuff. Oh, hang on. Acid glands. We don't need... 
No, I want to get rid of those, not see the recipes. <laughs> I know what they can be using. There's hardly anything. There you go. Get rid of the acid glands. There you go. Pick, that, pick up the boiling glands. We do need uh, we do need those, uh, anything. Um, so it's going to play with you because it's hard to play uh, uh, because it's hard to play multiplayer in this game, you know. Um, I do have a channel point redeem for uh, joining in game on stream and stuff. Um, so if... Uh, and it's... Uh, only available for people who are over 18 as well because i do run an 18 plus channel so yeah if you uh if you save up the points and you want to play along then that's uh that's something that we can do <laughs> so feel, feel feel free feel free to do that if you want to um but yeah that's the thing or if you uh if you want to like just play like off stream and stuff then i can do that as well at some point if you join my discord um then i might be able to help you through some grounded if you're struggling with certain things i don't mind jumping into a game at, at some point um so yeah when i'm when i'm like not streaming at some point then yeah i could do that as well if you don't want to if you don't want to join on stream then we can do that um so yeah if you hang on let me go grab my uh let me go put my discord link in the chat as well just in case you want to join there because then you can just pretty much find me anytime and you know you'll also find other grounded players as well oh there we go comic queen's got it thank you baby very much appreciate it <laughs> there you go so yeah if you want to join my discord um you'll be able to find me on there as well uh let's go grab, grab all these there you go now i got them and yeah, then, uh, and uh, Kogun, thank you so much. Uh, so, and uh, Paris says, so many words. <laughs> I uh, I can words. <laughs> I can sentences. Have you guys tried sentencing? It's one of those sentence enhancers. <laughs> hey, Squidward, how the to... hell are you today? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Wait, where's Teddy going? Where's Teddy? Teddy, what are you doing? Dad. What are you doing? Come up here. Come where I can see you. <laughs> okay, gotta, gotta keep an eye on him because he likes to poop in the house sometimes. There we go. Uh, I found him. Hey! <laughs> I'm glad you found them, dude. <laughs> Good boy, Ted. All right. I might have to I might have to cut to a BRB in a sec because he might want to uh he might want to go O U T S I D E. So yeah, I might have to Might have to cut to a BRB and do that in a minute. Let's just see what he is. He's he's currently sat next to me though, so he's alright for a minute. But yeah, I know. I know when he starts like moving around, and you know, out comes the old sniffy sniffy. Then you know, then then, then you then you know he's like, hmm, well, I I might need a poo. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I've I I, I can actually get the stuff down in this trench now, can I? Because I didn't get all of the stuff down here. So we can go down here now and get whatever's in here. Because there's a few a few other things in here we can grab. So there's a milk molar right here. There's the exploding thing right next to it as well. Gogan says, uh, want me to come down and let him out? No, you need to you need to rest, my love. You rest and keep doing your crochet. I'll let him out in a second. Shouldn't take me long anyway. That's something I'm supposed to deliver. And Yuri says, uh, underrated mutation, uh, underrated mutation barbarian. The barbarian mutation can be good. I find it so best I find it's only beneficial like when you're using it with a one-handed weapon and a shield, though, because the the inability to perfect block is very very bad um it kind of it kind of reduces your ability for that as well um oh back wait come here you so yeah you also find some supreme stuff down here and unfortunately i can't get that because i don't have a level three i don't have a level three hammer yet so the supreme stuff we'll just have to like remember where it is and come back to it later right we get rid of those and get one of those Get one of those, and then we can get a load of these fungal growths as well. But yeah, I'm on. I'm on the hunt for the fungal charm as well while we're doing this as well. So yeah, every fungal growth we see, we're gonna break. Because yeah, if we can get the fungal charm, that'll be a rate. That'll be amazing. But it's only a one percent drop from any of the uh, any of the things here. And I think that's everything in this trench now, isn't it? Yep, that's everything down in this trench. So now we can head up and out. So yeah, let me make sure I've got all the molars in the haze as well, so that we should have we should have four, I think. Um. And I'm only seeing three right now. Okay, I'll have to check in a minute. Who's going after me? Hello. Ooh, okay, just got him. <laughs> just got that wheel. Right, I think we've got... Um, have we got all four or have we only got three? I, th I think there's four in the haze, isn't there? So there's one... That's the one in the main trench. That's the one we just got. I could have sworn we got one up here as well. I could have sworn we broke one up here. Maybe it just didn't register on the, on the thing. But if not, we can use a molar scan later to find it. We got the two scabbies over there. Um, in and above the rock. So I think we've got most of the things here. Um, so yeah, I, th I, think, I think we've got most of the stuff, which is fine. Uh, Cloudy Git says, I found them. <laughs> I'm glad you found them, dude. But yeah, Barbar Barbarian is a good mutation if you can uh, if you can deal with like the inability to perfect block. In like mild and medium, I guess it's okay. In WOMO though, where like you kind of need to perfect block or you die. I don't know. I don't I don't think it work I don't think it would work as well. Alright, so we've got all those. 
Because, yeah, I think I think Barbarians as well is the only mutation that has a negative side effect to it. Like, if, if it would just, like, be a flat damage increase, I think it would be better. But, yeah, it's just like, yeah, you're in a fit of rage, and now you can't perfect block. And it's just like, well, that's not very good, considering, you know, Barbarian does heal you a bit, but it also doesn't raise your block, your block gauge or anything either. Right. Oh, maybe I didn't go in this trench here yet. I might not have gone into this one. Stay away. Right, hi there. Okay. Ouch. Nice. Let's deal with this guy. Okay, back away from that one. There you go. Hi there. I got him. Right, you. How dare you. How dare you fire your dirty blue projectiles at me? I don't want you to fire them projectiles at me. That's mean. That is so mean. All right. Let's go down here. So yeah, there is another trench down here uh, that we can venture through, I think. Yeah, so there's, like, all up and around this area, there's extra trenches to go through. So let's see if we can find it. Oh, I hear some, uh, I hear some science around here too. Do you mind? Do you mind, good sir? How about you? I got him. Nice. Right, see, so yeah, here it is. So there's a trench down here. There's this one. I don't know if we did this one already. If not, this might be where the last smaller is as well. And I just didn't get it yet. Let's see if we can uh, go in. Oh! Hi. Just woke up the other guy. Right, there you go. Just try to deal with these guys one at a time. Okay. Oh, I critted him out of that explosion. Nice. Got him. There you go. Yeah, with this uh, with this dagger strap, the best thing is, like, run and get a few hits and try and, like, back out of there again. And then let him bleed out a bit. There you go. Nice. Yeah, I do I do love the daggers in this game. They are so, they are, they are so fucking good. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, oh, my God. They're so, they're so, like, awesome. And, like, I, I just love the way they feel in my hands. Like, how squishy they are. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> All right. Let's go chop out this thingy. See if we get a chance of a uh, fungal thing. Inventory pull. What? Damn it. Um, okay. Let's see. Is there anything else we can delete from inventory that we don't really want? Uh, I guess spider webs. We don't need all these. And yeah, I keep, keep yeah, get rid of the spider webs. There you go. I'd rather take extra fungal growths because we do need those for like fungus macho and other meals and stuff later. So that'll be a good thing. Uh, imagine if in NG plus ten you can get uh, grilled science infused bugs and tools. Oh my god, that'd be nuts. <laughs> I still like I still like that line from like uh, when Wendell first mentioned it. He's like grilled science. Are you like grilled science? He's like grilled science. <laughs> Is it? It's that, it's that, it, it like sounds like it's his like proudest moment ever. <laughs> it reminds me of the barbecues we once had. <laughs> I just I just love the way he says it. He's like grilled science. Uh, Max, remember, trinkets are little, to, uh, uh, let's say, um, say a, a, li a little lockets now. Yeah, they've, uh, I still think they show an icon, though, don't they, for the trinket? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> okay, hang on, we gotta back away. Oh, we, had to, we had to back up a little bit. Hello. Right, there we go. That was, uh, that was lucky, right. I got a double kill. <laughs> One blood out. Okay, that was uh, that was like a load of them down here. Inventory full? No! Okay, let's see what else we got down here. So yeah, we've missed uh, quite a lot of stuff down here. So, oh, there's actually a mint down here as well that we didn't get before. So that's another thing we have to do. Uh, Kai says, is Coffee Queen about? She is crocheting, but she is, in, she is around in chat as well. All right, got him. There you go, try and focus on one of them. There you go, get in the numbers. There you go. Yeah, the good thing with these guys is, like, essentially, if, if you get surrounded by these, like, the be your best strat is to try and thin the numbers out a little bit. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to need to drink very soon. Uh, is there anything I can just get rid of here? I'm going to have to head out. I think we're going to have to head back, actually, because, yeah, I can't really collect anything else down here. Uh, yeah, I might be able to get some of these, though. Yeah, Tiny Pete now needs to... Tiny Pete needs to drink badly, so... Right, so not in there. Try and grab this one. 
Okay, any down here? Nope. Okay. Bit of marble here. There you go, just run out of these way, guys' way. Oh, there's the muller right there. We didn't get it yet. So try and get this one real quick before the gnats come after me. There you go, right, got it. Right, run, run. There you go. Right, now I gotta get out and find some uh, find something to drink as well. Because yeah, my character is uh, very, very thirsty now. My character is thirsty and that's nasty. Alright. But yeah, I got 75 seconds to find something to drink, so we should be should be okay, technically. Alright, can I jump from here and then get over to that side? Yep. There you go. Now I can kinda shortcut my way over here. And then if we need to find dirty water, if we need dirty water, then we'll just use dirty water because it'll it'll keep us alive, and that's the important thing. Then I, I need to go back home anyway and drop all this stuff off, so yeah, it doesn't really matter either way. Uh is there any water up in the grass here? There is... Oh, I see one out there. Hang on. So, smack that. Knock it down. Drink it. Hey! There we go. Alright. Let me just uh, wait in here for now. Okay. So, yeah. I think uh, I think Teddy needs to go O-U-T-S-I-D-E. So, I'll be uh, right back, guys. So, give me a sec, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Uncaged Squid. Happy birthday to you. There you go. The smarticle? Oh! Oh! I clap a lot early on. Alright. So let me go ahead and put a bed like right here. Let's see. So we want to get a lean to. Here we go. So make a lean to, and you can sit like up there. There you go. Oh, for f God damn it, Pete! Did you see that? Like, I put the bed down. He literally fucking threw the accident. I, I, I pressed, I pressed R before going into the thing. God damn it! Fuck. <laughs> hey, Yevly. Oh, yeah. Hey, buddy, turn my camera on. Let's try to move it. <laughs> Wait, what? <where> the... <laughs> I have no idea, he's up there! He's got up there! Nightmares about this. I pinch. What? I pinch. pinch. What? <laughs> you pinch? God damn it. <laughs> Maybe a little pinch, old guys. <laughs> You've got to twerk it. To work it. When blowing your ass up with Brave. Because if you twerk it hard enough and you shake it really good, then your butt is going to need a shape. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Because it got synced right off when the barrel exploded in your face. Twerk it. What? To I'm work it. Uh, one guy that you got bun, son. <laughs> Just like twerk on the barrels. <laughs> right. Okay. Spending more of his time being stunned. He's jumping out the way of that one, though. There you go. Wait for his stamina to recover. Yeah, you got got to manage that stamina. Oh, two two of them down. They're doing they're doing some significant damage here. He's running. He's running. He's running and trying to heal. Because you've got to twerk it, to work it, and twerk it, twerk it, twerk it. But that is gonna be cool. So make sure you come here, and then you're gonna kill the termite kings if you shake your ass at them. Cause it's super sexy, curvy. So you twerk, twerk, twerk. There we go. <laughs> All right. So there you go. Obligatory twerk is done right. So can Mr. Fox take down these termite kings? Oh, a perfect block right there. 188 minus 861. Okay, 188, 120, 127. There you go. There you go, got it. He said, like, no, I didn't. He said, like, crap, you got it first. No, I didn't. There you go. Easy. Yeah, 127, that one. I think that one was not too bad. I see. I'd like to say 127. There we go. Yeah, we got it. Yay! <laughs> I wasn't wrong! The best! It says, uh, says, no, no, calling Queen, uh, calling Coffee Queen out on, set on Carrot Soup. I didn't call her out on Carrot Soup. What are you talking about? Shelby, don't call Coffee Queen out on, on Carrot Soup. <laughs> says, uh, says, I know, who is she? <laughs> what? No, no. Kind of says, uh, ne ne never heard of me. I taught you all the TVP you know. This is how you repay me? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, Shelby and Carnage are now friends. They are very good friends. So, when uh, Coffee and Carnage say, hello, friend. <laughs> They are very good. They are very, very good friends. Marissa to help cheer her up. 
you've got to twerk it, to work it, to cheer up Larissa. Because if you twerk it hard enough when you shake that butt, she's going to find it really funny. So Larissa, you've got to smile and feel better very, very soon for us. So we got to go and twerk it, to work it, and shake that tiny peat butt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Fox. You are welcome. I have the dog out. No worries, suits. Take your time. It's all good. We'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and wait for you to get started. Uh, guy kind of says, "What's he crafting?" Take a look around. I don't think he is. I think he's just. I, I think he's just like in a box or something. But you know, I don't think he. I don't think he's crafting anything. It's fine. But we can. We can go have a look. Let's see. Oh, hello. Alrighty, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for staying around while I was going to take Tay out. We have, uh, he has officially been taken out, and I think everything's good. So we're good to go ahead and continue. So uh, let me just catch up on chat first before we get started. Uh, so Clone says, uh, hopefully there's no, uh, th there's, uh, there's no gaming uh gaming control in the submarine uh hotel air balloon wait what uh what, 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 what oh wait, there's some questions here uh okay uh would you rather travel in a uh a, ho uh, a hot a hot air uh, a hotel air balloon or a submarine uh i'd probably go to the submarine honestly personally coming quiz is none <laughs> coming quiz you can't just say none you gotta you gotta like choose one thank you coming quiz as well uh make sure i could not miss anyone here okay guys guy's like Fwee! So it's not gonna happen. Uh, trying to make Coffee Queen see again, guys. <laughs> uh, let's see. Says, uh, did anything uh, interesting happen? Uh, last de uh, Kai says, uh, last dev stream. <laughs> I just trying to like, I just trying to catch up here. I was like, I was like, what? What's going on? Who, like, who, who's going where? What's happening here? Uh, let me also make sure I've caught up on here. How you doing, Fear? Sorry, I missed you coming in there, dude. I hope you're, I hope you're doing okay. Um, thank you so much for popping in as well. Um, I don't know if I, I don't know if you came in like while I was on a BRB or not, but yeah. <laughs> Hopefully everything's uh, hopefully everything's going well for you as well, and hopefully you hopefully you're feeling good today. Hopefully your Sunday's going great. Um, right, let's keep going. Coco Queen, uh, uh, Coco Queen's giving, uh, doing a math. Oh, that's one thing I haven't uh, done to my night bot, isn't it? I need to, to I need to do that as well. Seven hundred eleven plus nine hundred six uh, plus nine hundred six uh, sixteen uh, sixteen oh seven, I think. Yeah. <laughs> No, sixteen. No, sixteen one seven. My bad. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, one thousand six hundred and seventeen. I believe is the answer. Yeah, <laughs> that'll be it. Yeah, I need to actually uh, pull that math thing over because it doesn't show up in my chat thing. You see, if you if you do your math thing, I'll just like cut out and have a have a quick look. Um, sixteen seventy one. Uh, I think I think it's six one six one seven. I think. Um, if I can, if, if I can, uh, if I can work it out quicker, oh, quickly. Anyway, uh, let's see. It's uh, Kai's, uh, Kai's is it's sixteen twenty three. <laughs> and oh, there's a fella over there. Hello. Look at that random fella. We well, definitely want to grab that. You know, we can use that for. Oh, I fell. In, I fell. In, I fell in, I fell in, get 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 <laughs> Right there you go. Uh, get, get, <laughs> someone's gonna clear that, aren't they? It's like uh, Max struggling. Max struggling with his, with his spacer. <laughs> Right, I need to chop this grass down to lower it because it's currently like way up there. Uh, you coming down? Uh, oh, of course, it's just gonna stay there. Okay, there we go. Now I should be at it. Now I should be able to get it. Right, can I get it now? Nope. Nope. God, God, God damn it! I'm stupid. Okay, there it is. Right, there it is. Now I can get it here. Right, we got it now. Yeah, there we go. Now I can get all the uh, all the cre all the feather pieces. I'm so glad that the feather pieces are like much larger now, and they don't drop in little bags anymore. That's so much nicer. Uh, Coco Queen says, uh, Coco Queen says it's 76. <laughs> How you doing, Mims? Welcome to the stream. Here we go. What? 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 Maybe a little pinch roll, guys. You've got to twerk it, to work it, and shake that butt for Mims. Because if you twerk it hard enough in the virtual world, then damn it, no, we are not playing The Sims. We're actually playing in grounded, and we're gonna squash all the bugs from now. Hoo hoo, twerk it, what to work? Okay, what? And shake that Mims roll butt. What? <laughs> How you going, Mims? Welcome to the stream, dude. <laughs> yeah, 76. Uh, you know I'm going to hit that pinch to say hi. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> How's, how are you doing today? Hope you're having a really good Sunday. And hope uh, Grave, Larissa, and everyone else is doing well as well. All right, let's go make our way back over here. And we're going to make our way back to base now, drop everything off first, and then we'll head back to the haze after that to continue on our very grand adventures. And by very grand adventures, I mean hopefully not getting our ass chewed off by an infected lava. Oh, we got we gonna fight something now? Okay. Uh 
Alright, I'll try and find something on the way. I wonder if there's a wolf spider. Let's see. Alright, where is the wolf spider? Let's see if we can find one. Where is this wolf spider? Cause I want to kill him now. We're going to fight you even if you are not there. Come on, find that spider. But I'm out of stamina cause I need some water. Tiny feet is thirsty. That is not good, but now we're gonna find them. <laughs> no, they're not there, no! <laughs> Where's the spiders? Wolf spider, you're letting the side down. Okay, it's fine, I'll find another one. I cannot find a spider and that sucks because I just wanted to fight a spider and I cannot find a spider. There is still a seeping spiders. I think I killed all the spiders. That's not good because I want to fight one spider spider. Where the fuck are you? Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll find uh Oh, here you go. It's a little spider. Okay, I'll, I'll fight a few things uh, to make up for it. Right, here we go. Right, come on, you. Yeah, there's one. Right, I'll, t I'll tell you what. I'll fight. A I'll fight a few, uh, few different things to make up for it. There we go. <laughs> and uh, Pyrus says, uh, "Pyrus says pizza tower. A pizza tower. That sounds actually quite tasty right now." <laughs> all right, I'll tell you what. I'll fight. I'll fight the mosquitoes over here. All three together. There you go. That'll, that'll be that'll be an equivalent fight. Right. right one. And we've got a raid from uh, from uh, from, uh, from uh, Mute, uh, uh, Mutant Art Cat. Thank you so much for the raid. Very much appreciated. How is your stream? Welcome on in. All right, let's go and uh, go and aggro these mosquitoes. Is there only two here? Oh, there's three. Okay, I think. Oh no, there's only two here. Okay, well there you go. Two mosquitoes at once. There you go. That'll be it. That'll be our Mortal Kombat. Hi there. How's it going? Oh no, there are three. Okay, there are three now. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Okay, ow. Okay, there we go. There's one, and there's two, and there's three. There you go. Three dead mosquitoes. There we go. And uh, Mutant Arcat, I hope you had a really good stream. Says, uh, I said the music is like, uh, is, is, oh, the, the music is like pizza tower music. <laughs> uh, it kills little old me, man. Mortal Kombat! <laughs> yeah, I know, right? There you go. I tested my might against three uh, three mosquitoes. There you go. Did, did all three at once. And I probably need to eat now to heal up. And I guess I can grab some of the drops from here. Hang on, what are they dropping? Oh, I can't get the mosquito beaks. Actually, honestly, the mosquito beaks aren't as important as the um, as the blood sacks anyway, so we're fine. Uh, let's see. I uh, guess who decided to give it a shot again? You did. <laughs> but how's it going? How's your Sunday going as well? I hope it's going really good. And uh, we've got uh, we got uh, Windows uh, Windows CE two two one one. Thank you so much for popping in. And uh, we've got a gift sub uh, offered by uh, uh, Charisma Troublemaker. Thank you so much, Charisma Troublemaker, for giving a gift sub to me and our Welcome in, by the way. Thank you so much for popping in. So for anyone who doesn't know who I am, I'm Maxwell Gaming. I'm a UK survivor stream uh, grounded is definitely my main game um and i play a lot of it so yeah you'll find you'll find a lot of it over here hey moon how you doing by the way and sorry i missed you coming in there i was like i was i was, I was more concerned about like okay someone's redeemed mortal Kombat. i just gotta go fight something how you doing moon welcome in and we got a new follow as well from uh windows c 2011 uh, thank you so much for the follow as well i'm probably like butchering everyone's names really badly right now but <laughs> Is it, yeah, fuck, uh, razor punks. <laughs> so, it's like, so now we have razor punks sneezing in my ear, scaring the shit out of me. And the, the, you're redeeming the uh, redeeming the Skelby sneeze. Uh, the Skelby sneeze. <laughs> no, the Shelby sneeze. The Skelby sneeze. I can words. I can words. Yeah, I know. you see, you see what you did. I'm tripping over my words now. You made me find all this shit. Now I'm tripping over my words, and now I can't sentences anymore. And and like I sound like an idiot, even though I probably just am an idiot anyway. I don't need to sound like one because I already am. But yeah, <laughs> I guess it says I have to go though. Have fun. All right then. Well, thank you so much for popping in. And oh no, oh no, who did that? <laughs> oh what? Next three minutes. Oh, what? Right. <laughs> the first letter of every word. <laughs> oh. oh, how I have U S M R and is her erst etters of birds. Who oh, I? I'm in a ig out of rubble. Un as I have had effect on people. Oh, ooh, ooh. So if anyone, if if anyone is un glorious in her dream, I have u o it on thing. Oh, <laughs> and uh, uh, Habanata <laughs> Habanata Jaja. <laughs> uh, Uten Art adds, as I old him u oti into Evan A's odding. Ah, L, I hope her odding is owing Eri Ud. And I apologize if people are not understand Ot her arc I am aying at his Eri Oment in I. At Rust Rust E, I am aying Ormal Erds, ust ising her erst etters. For example, if I have U A, hello everybody, 
I would have you a instead Elo Rebody. <laughs> Eggs lots of ends. Am I erect? A am I erect? Ooh. <laughs> Offy Queen, am I erect? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-oh. laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, I love it. He's like hit. <laughs> and uh, Ims is uh, Ims. Are you asking? At I is fortune having U is her erst etters of erds. I'm I'm truggling Ims. I'm very much truggling. And if all rave enters her dream, and as I'm having a troke, El rave. I'm not having a troke. And Arnage, who are not autoshed e or a um thing. <laughs> Arnage. Auto shedding E is ot loud. Because I ut ot elp, he's erds, I'm aing, I ising her erst etters. Our air oo. <laughs> Arnage is auto shedding E or umthing, I anot and troll. If I a am I erect, I een erect as in ot eing incorrect. <laughs> Lamity says, I f him infected and a mention is out. <clears throat> Aching or I add enough infected arts or another epon and healed. I'll hopefully in her future, you hal eind enough tough or a oo epon and healed. You hal have oo e infect her her urkatens or her unt ween. <laughs> and hopefully, if oo e infect her unt ween, and in her ex oo aim lus, another infected unt ween, I'll appear. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, I eat oo heck I inventory. And hopefully I oo have enough tough in my inventory. I do. Or I oo, I add. Uh, oo I have movies. I don't have movies. I eat movies. Air are I movies. Aha. I have lots of movies. I eat hair. Airy ood. Okay. Let us continue. And e are owing oo ed ak oo her a's. Because e till eed oo o hru o's a's wrenches. And complete her a's ab. <laughs> Jeez. And hopefully, ot I in her rosas. If I I in her rosas, I I shall have u orc all her a ak u her a's ab, and hat is owing u uk. <laughs> Eri Eri Adley. Okay, let us continue through this ig earthy uden uden re. I her uk am I orking through a ig earthy uden re? Oh earthy earthy. <laughs> Utent ut at it as eat u reate um ud and tretch. Oh, I'm owing u erk. Enjoy or treem. Thank you, Eri Arch Utent ut at for her aid. And hopefully u enjoy or ud. And hope and hopefully also u enjoy or erk. I Eri Arch appreciate her aid. And e hal e u. Hopefully a ta mm. <laughs> uh, as uh, onted u ai. Edding off u extract. Uh, edding off u extract elf. Uh, Aza Onk says eight, because a word uh, shit without us etta is then hit, as actually have u remove her h, adding it into it, and then also him u remove it i, aching it just. <laughs> if 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 you are able to ache idim, double removing us etters, then had would probably e umthing at i would have u. S O oh, shit, it comes hit, it comes it, it comes t. <laughs> Eventually, I hell asked e ang her asked etters of words and hat ill e airy ad. <laughs> Offy Queen, as it in three in its et, and I and I and I peak oozing, uh, and I peak oozing us etters early at east. I have oh idea. Uh, I, I or sorry, I have oh dear, oh dear. If I am peak oozing her uh, oozing earth etters. Okay, I'm ear pida. Oh hello. Oh it it. At herb eva and ink its angs, light in u in a it ons. Us as on as I and u her aim at him. Goodbye, Herb Eva. It was ice owing you. Come on, hen. Come on, hen. Stupid biter. <laughs> well, I think at least it's been three minutes, so I can finally say the first letters of words again. Although I still have to ASMR, so enjoy this ASMR spider fight as I introduce my girthy dagger to its face. I think these old weavers like to bite on my dirty body. Come on, man. I 
as you can see, as you can see, my big girthy dagger is to die for. <laughs> well, it is time to make our way back to the haze because, well, I need stuff from the haze. So hopefully we can find some from there. I also need to check on the other side of things to make sure stuff is coming through. And uh, Fate says, uh, I have to live with this. Don't, I had to live with this, don't forget. Uh, I'm going to go grab some... Uh, I, I'm going to go grab some Tylenol to sphere. Sorry I missed you there. I hope the. Uh, I hope my chat isn't uh, missing some stuff on the YouTube side of things. But I guess we'll find out. Um, I'm actually going to do a really quick test run on that. Oh, hello. Hello, Mosquito. Where did you come from? Oh, and we found the Jabby Cola. I thought I'd discover this place already, but I guess not. Aha, well, this guy is now dead. Right, let me just check something real quick. I'm going to post myself a test message on YouTube to make sure my chat is still responding. And... Let me see. Uh, let me just do that real quick and just see if it shows up into my thing. Hmm... Looks like my chat app is not showing uh, is not showing the YouTube chat anymore. Hmm. Uh, thank you, Fady, for testing as well. Hmm. I think my uh, I think my chat app has uh, frozen up on me. Right. Hang on a minute. Let me refresh my chat real quick and see if this is going to work. I need to shut it down and restart it because something, for whatever reason, has decided that it doesn't want to connect to YouTube today, and I don't know why. So let me let me sort that out real quick. Uh, let me just exit this thingy, and then. We need to, yes, sure you want to quit the application. Yes, I am. And let me just restart that and see if it works. Uh, there we go. Go into there. And let's see if this, uh, let's see if this works now. Uh, so let's run another test in the YouTube thing. Uh, it's, it's doing the beeps and stuff, but for whatever reason, I think, uh, I think my Streamlabs has decided to disconnect from YouTube and I'm not sure why. And, uh, Hmm. Oh, there we go. So, so fades one came through. Um, let me just run another test through here, see if it's maybe reconnected again. Uh, <laughs> ah, it's not showing messages through me. Oh, there it is. Okay, it is coming back through now. Thank you, thank you, thank you for helping me test on that side of things. Yeah, sometimes the uh, sometimes for whatever reason it sort of disconnects every now and then. So yeah, it's a little bit weird. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's the so yeah. Sorry, sorry, fear if I was missing your messages and fade as well. Um, sometimes it does that for whatever reason. I haven't managed to find a better. I haven't managed to find a better like aggregator for those kind of things yet. So yeah, see, uh, fade says, fade says, says so so it's, it's doing mine, not yours. Sometimes then, sometimes it's not doing mine. Yeah, bots, uh, but bots are fun like my cow bots is fair. I know, right? Yeah, there we go. Now I'm seeing, now I'm seeing you guys over there. Uh, fade says, how rude. <laughs> Yeah, it, it does that sometimes. It'll like it'll just randomly disconnect me from the YouTube chat, and it won't like send messages through uh, to my main bot thingy over here. I don't know why it does it, but yeah, it's not very useful, especially when I'm like you know trying to read two chats at once. But unfortunately, I don't have two screens to do like double chats on, so I can't really see both. Oh, hello, hello, lava. Right, let's just deal with this guy. Deal that one. Right, one mate's gonna die. Right, come on then. There you go, go on. And now I got a whole load of lawn mates to take care of. Right, there's one down. Now I'll, that'll one on. get taken out of it. Ah! This guy keeps firing projectiles at me. How dare you! Right, there you go, got him. Yeah, these these little guys are annoying. They'll just continually fire projectiles and stuff, um, which is not so good. Right, there we go. That's better. That's better. But it says, uh, oh, excuse me. I've been doing it for so long, I wouldn't survive without my extra monitors. That's the thing. I've only got one to work with, right? And, you know, I can't afford another one. I still need another graphics card as well. So, you know, it's just it's just something I just have to deal with and lump and diagnose problems as they, as they show up until things happen. So, yeah, I don't know why it does it, though. Like... I'm about to see if I can make like a because I've I've got like a transparent Twitch chat overlay and I use a custom I use a custom thing thing through Streamlabs to then display chat. I wonder if I switch to Stream Elements if it will uh, if it will do something. I wonder if I switch it to like a Stream Elements one if I can do it through there and it might show some stuff maybe. Uh, Kika says Max, why? <laughs> so yeah, maybe maybe it'll do something through there instead. Um, I might see if Stream Elements has something similar that's more reliable because yeah, Streamlabs every now and then just cuts out um, for whatever reason. I don't know why it does it. 
Um, but the only the only thing is I can't have a, a chat app that pushes chat from YouTube to Twitch because that's against their TOS, right? So because that then essentially says, hey, I'm also on this other platform, right? And then, you know, that's like a way that Twitch could be like, oh, you're just trying to like get viewers to other platforms and stuff. And this is like... I think Twitch is like the only one of the streaming platforms as well that has like still some sort of exclusivity with it. It's a little bit weird. This says, uh, I've got my monitors on a credit-based thing through Amazon. I wouldn't be able to afford it in one lump sum either. See, I can't even get that. You know, my uh, my ex screwed over my finances so badly that no one will even give me a chance with that with credit or anything like that. So yeah, I'm I'm screwed on that kind of front as well. So unfortunately, I can't actually do anything like that. I wish I could though. Uh, Fed says uh, Twi uh, Twitch is basically Sony. <laughs> says Fed, yeah, it is. Uh, says I can't I can't. Uh, let, let's see. Uh, my, my 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 fizzy drink deprivation will be fixed. I found fifty p and twenty five p. I can get my two liter diet. I can get my two liter diet cola. Yay! <laughs> See, I, 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 I don't really like the diet versions because they have like a weird aftertaste to them. But speaking of, uh, speaking of drinks, though, I got this uh, wonderful coffee that Coffee Queen made me a little bit earlier, and now it's just right to drink it all. There we go. And uh... oh, it's got the, it's got the caramel stuff in it too. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Hmm. This is a very good coffee. Oh yeah, it's like so true. <laughs> yeah, the uh, I, I always find that the, the diet and the zero variants have like a I don't know what it is. Just like a really weird aftertaste they have. I don't know why. It says uh, she makes uh, let's see. She she makes two happy. That's good for both of them. <laughs> All right, there you go. Grab it. All right, come on then. There you go. This one. And come on, you. Gotta get this guy as well. There's another one. And where's this last one? Where is this last little bugger? There you are. Right, do you mind? There you go, got him. Nice. We win! There you go. Oh, and another one. What do you want? Okay, actually, I, and the reason I'm taking out all these guys as well is so that I can work on getting the third level of the assassin mutation. Because, yeah, once you get the third level of it, the mutation becomes really good. Like, it gets really good. But, yeah, we found that lab. Yay! We win! <laughs> uh, hang on. Moon says, uh, 75p for a two liter. Isn't that like a dollar uh, USD? About that, yeah. R roughly. Um, I went the whole game one time um, forgetting to plug up the haze. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Fade says, uh, same, for, same for me also, I'm afraid. Uh, it, took me, it took me a decade to get my credit back to almost 700. Yeah, that's the thing. It's just, it just sucks, isn't it? So. But yeah, and, and that's the thing, though. Once, once, your, once your credit gets, like, that low, it's, it's so hard to, like, even get it. It, it, it's so, and, and sometimes your credit score just lowers for no random reason at all. It's because, like, it's like, oh, yeah, use a credit card and your credit score will go up. Then you use a credit card and then your credit score goes down. It's like, why? I, re I did my repayments. It's like, yeah, but you spent, like, but you didn't spend enough or, no, you spent too much. It's like, but why? <laughs> and Moon says, that's cheap as hell. That's like, but honestly, Moon, that's, like, that's probably the only, that's probably the only thing that's cheap. Like, food over here is fucking expensive. Like, you know, m most food and stuff and everything over here now is super expensive. All right, so we're going to drop a bomb in the haze door here and then run away. There you go. And we're just going to blast that door open because, yeah, that, that door will be locked by a bomb. We're going to blast that open. Uh, for, uh, it says, yeah, yeah, use the credit card, but not over 50% or oh, you get knocked. But that, that's stupid. It's like, well, why give me a credit limit if I can't use the credit limit? But without, uh, so that when I run up home in London, my ex was supposed to pay the staff's insurance every week. Turns out he packed a lot over five grand. I had to pay back as it was my as it was my name on the license. Ah, uh, yeah. That's yeah. That's that. That's, that's the thing. It's like yeah. Uh, pe pe people like screwing. People like screwing people over with money. It's just it seems to be. It seems to be the norm. It seems to be the norm. Honestly, like it's like okay. <laughs> the world we live in. Right, can I get that guy? Aha! Got him. Nice. He's out of here. And now I just got to put our thing on the biometric scanner and go through the door. Here we go. All right. So this is the haze lab, guys. We finally made it here. So let's go through the door, and then I'll go. I'll walk you through the haze lab. So if any of you guys are new um, to the haze lab, essentially you want to make sure you're well geared up before you come in here. Now the the first room and the couple, first couple of rooms is not too much, but there is at the end of this lab a kind of a mini boss that you have to go through. So you want to make sure that you have, I would say, have ladybug armor or like some kind of level two armor that's at level five, um, and uh, that will help you through this area. Another tip as well, whilst you're in, at least unless they've changed it, whilst you're in the haze lab, you can actually take off your gas mask. Safer. So you can actually wear your full set of armor whilst in the lab itself. Uh, you better drink that water. Yeah, I'm gonna need to. I need to do a refill as well. But yeah, there's a water thing right here. 
Uh, if it's like, drink, man, drink! What a cool that. There you go. Right, we're good now. There you go, that's better. I'm, uh, I'm all full up. Am I full on my thing here as well? Uh, yeah, okay, we're full on that too. Okay, but yeah, essentially in the Haze Lab, you can take off your gas mask. So uh, whilst you're in here, at least, you have your full set bonus. Set. Hang on. Daddy, come up here where I can see you. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Stay up there. <laughs> I know, I know what you're like for sneaking about, so stay up there. <laughs> stay there. All right. So, yeah, we can also find some chests and stuff in here. So, uh, Fade says, be right back. PC restart. All right, then, Fade. So, we got a uh, thing in here with 10 quartzite in it, so we definitely want to grab that one. Uh, let's see. Um, a one kilogram, ro a one kilo rose here would be about uh, 20... Be about, be about 20, pa 20 pounds for a cheap cut. Yeah, that's the, that's the same. It's the same over here, honestly. Like, it, like for cheap cuts, it's just expensive. <laughs> uh, over here, we got some bandages and a few more bits of quartzite and marble. So we're going to grab a lot of them. And then we also got a couple of things in this room to find as well. So yeah, don't forget to look on the table because there is actually a letter over here called Goodbye Wendell. So let's go and uh, uh, be right back. Rice cooker clicks says fear. No worries, fear. Ah, <laughs> uh, you got to, you got to, you got to go check rice cooker <laughs> for you. <ya. laughs> All right, so let's go. Everybody have rice cooker. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> All right, let's go and read this one. Goodbye, Wendell. Wendell, what can I say in this letter that we haven't argued about these past few years? Is there even anything left to talk about? It breaks my heart to admit it, but we need a change. I'm sorry, I just can't take the tears anymore. I can't bear the look of disappointment on our children's faces night after night while pretending it's all going to get better. So, we're going up north to my sisters. I need time to think about and uh, think and decide what happens next. Please don't call me. I won't answer. If you want to talk about where we go from here, you have to pull yourself away from your work and make the drive. I'll always love you, Wendell, and I hate that we've ended up here, but here we are. Please take care of yourself, and don't forget to eat something healthy now and again. Your not-yet-ex-wife, Trudy. All right. Moon says, uh, be right back, because everyone else is going on BRV. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll be right back, okay? Right. Uh, there is a bird. There. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> there you go. I, I just, I just wanted to be part of the club. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, See, so let's go and uh, let's go and read this one. This letter is called. This uh, is a cassette called Trudy Blues. Here we go. Trudy was right, as always. Perhaps she should have been the inventor and not me. I should have listened to her when she insisted that I stop the experiments. But if I pack it up now, I will have nothing to show for it. No Trudy and the kids, no spacer, not even my own health. The longer I'm here, the more I'm lumping up, aging, folding, raisining. <laughs> why? What am I becoming? A wrinkly virus flailing helplessly in the dirt with the mushrooms. They are my family now. <laughs> Though we only branched on the evolutionary tree a little over a billion years ago, I can feel us getting closer again already. We're all a bunch of fun guys down here, aren't we? <laughs> oh, don't look at me like that. At least no one ever heard of a raisined mushroom, did they? Did they? <laughs> did they? Uh, Moon says, uh, yeah, uh, 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 hang on, you says, that's a sad letter. I feel bad for both Trudy and Wendell. I know, right? All right, let's go through it. So yeah, once you've got that cassette, you'll come down this hallway and there's a new room in here. There are going to be a couple of taste teas in it. Um, you ever have a pet just uh, just poof? My aunt disappeared last night while cleaning out all of the sandbox. I had to revert to an almost hour old save. I don't think I have, but that could be that could be an issue introduced in this version. I am not sure. But yeah, I've never had any of my pets disappear. I've had them like get lost, but never like fully disappear. I think, don't the pet houses now have like a recall function as well? So I think they added something like that. There you go. So now we got these tasties. There you go. We can take these guys. Get a little bit more raw science for them. Very nice. Fade says, uh, "Oh my god, I thought I thought you I, I thought you meant Ducky." <laughs> so, so Ducky disappeared. No, no, Ducky, no. <laughs> All right. So yeah, you can go through this way. There's a button that'll open this door. But before we go that way, we're actually going to go through this way. And we'll find another cassette tape right over here. So, big brain time. Attempts to reverse cell age in mushrooms seem to be going well. And this room is full of explosives. So, here we go. Volatile, but productive. The shift from phase one to two was almost a blur. There might be a reason it seemed like a blur, if I may be so bold. <laughs> Oh, fuck, I that. <laughs> Grave! You tending to your tasks instead of eavesdropping to the intercoms? How you doing, Grave? Welcome in. 
<laughs> I like Burgers. Like, you want mushrooms with that? <laughs> Grace says, Agent of Chaos reporting for duty. Welcome, Engrave. And thank you so much, Elite Agent 22, for the follow. Very much appreciated. Sorry, I just wanted you guys to like, be able to hear the cassette tape so I'd, you know, chill out for a minute. <laughs> Doesn't happen often, so, you know, just just revel in that moment. Uh, says, no, Ducky's fine. Snoozing on my recliner right now. Fade says, with his cucumber in between two pillows. <laughs> and how you doing, Ron? Welcome in. Um, Russ says, can I join you? I have a Discord server if you want to if you want to come into Discord. I have, like, a channel redeem uh over on twitch where i do like joining games and stuff for stream but um for just for just like random joints i i usually have to get to know you first a little bit but if you want to like join my discord and that and get to know me then uh i think i, I have to post it through over here because we're gonna have to I'll, I'll post it in both chats just so you guys can find it just in case you want to come in there um and i'll post it in both here we go so here is one and let me go grab the other one over for this chat as well uh let's go do that one and there you go yeah i need to i need to redo my bot over on that side of things as well because for whatever reason it's like it doesn't want to work on youtube i think it's like disconnected because i've not used it in so long but yeah if you want to join my discord there's the link as well um and then at some point i mean if you like want to join off stream and everything then that's fine i can like come in and help you in game or whatever um but yeah if not then i do have over on the twitch side a channel point redeem where if you're over 18, because I do run uh, 18 plus streams, uh, then you can save up some channel points. Then uh, you can uh, you can essentially join in stream for a day. <laughs> so yeah, the uh, the choice is yours, whichever you want to do. Um, here we go, grab that one. All right. So yeah, one thing that you will find in here, uh, you will need to actually to you will need to actually use the light to really see it. But you can actually find in this room there is behind this area in the black area there is a weevil statue here uh, or a weevil figurine. This will allow you to build one at your base as well. Uh, Grave says, uh, all right, overslept and trying to wake up quickly supposed to play with calamity of it today oh, okay well what are you guys gonna play today uh grace says how's it going how's it going with you my friend it's going pretty good thank you dude i hope you're doing well and uh hope you feel a little bit more awake soon <laughs> but yeah i got up a bit late today as well i i kind of like well i woke up at like nine because i you know i was busting and i kind of like laid down again and fell asleep to like 12 <laughs> um right let's go and grab this one so we got a weevil figurine let's grab this guy Thank you, Wheel Figurine. So yeah, that's the third of seven figurines that you'll need to get in order to level up your Rascal Rogue mutation to the highest. So yeah, the next the next figurine we can't get for a little while, but that's the third one. So now we can go and open this guy. And then we'll end up in another room right here. There is another folder here, which is actually the poison mushroom sandwich recipe. So this is something that you can feed to the ant queen for the red ant queen. And if you do, you will actually poison the red ant queen, killing it, which means you'll get access to her drops. But also, it will also make all the red ants hostile. So if you want to get the strategist's armor, then you'll need to feed her a poison mushroom sandwich. Here we go. So a recipe detailing how to cook the red ant queen's favorite food, laced with poison. There you go. So yeah, that's something you can feed to the red ant queen um if you're looking to get the strategy summer you will need to use this recipe so that's where you can find it in here uh if we go over here into this chest as you can see we've got some more uh quartzite and marble and then we've got a little lever over here this is going to open another door a little bit later on into the lab so let's go and open this one right here uh we're supposed to be playing this to be honest as we go oh, okay <laughs> well i hope you have fun are you doing some new game plus or are you guys going to start a fresh uh, a fresh save all right, so now we've come through here. We need to press this button right here, and this will open another door. Now, be careful in this room, because there's a lot of explosives and weevils in here. So if you've got a dagger with the bleed mutation on it, it's probably the best thing to use, because it's a very quick, uh, quick attacking weapon. Oh, I didn't see that guy right there. He, he, like, snuck up on me. But yeah, lots of exploding weevils in here, so just be very careful. Um, right. right, there's another one here. Okay, blow them up. Yeah, you can, if you don't want to deal with them, you can also just, like, run in. 
and then you can like let them blow themselves up so that's another thing you can do if you want to but yeah more explosives in here so we're going to take these guys out first there you go so yeah we'll take out all these little explosives here and get all the fungal growth from here as well because there's a lot of it in here the haze lab probably has the highest concentration of fungal growth in the entire game so if you're looking for a lot of it you know come in here and you'll grab some uh, but there's a couple of other things we can find in here so here we go uh fresh she's attempted to try and make me not as much trash as i'm a granite great you're not a trash granite you're fine uh, i went the friendly route her scepter uh, says uh, i went the friendly route. her scepter sucks the best part at least is the pet yeah i think so yeah if you go friendly route with the ants you'll get the pet if you poison them you'll kill the anthill and get the other ant queen drops but if you infect them which you can also do then in new game plus you will have uh an infected colony of ants to fight later on so yeah it'll affect uh, uh what does the red uh, does the red arm still give the human effect if so does it make it kind of redundant if you befriend the red ant queen in some ways yes but in other ways you can uh if you befriend all three ant queens you get a mutation um called ambassador and that will make it so that while you have it on if you're at level three none of the ants will attack you even fire ants they won't attack you if you have level three so it's worth befriending all three just to get the uh just to make the the upper yard not as like crazy with the uh, you know because you, you probably know in the upper yard wherever you go like there's a fire and after you you know you 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 know you, you you turn to pick something up there's a fire out there you go to chop a donut there's a fire out there you try to fight a wasp there's a fucking fire out there you know what i mean so it's really useful for that um but yeah the uh the the anti the the human bonus only works for the red ants right it doesn't work for black ants or fire ants so it's only the red ant armor that affects it so it's still worth getting all three all three for friendly uh are you so sure about that uh wolfie and Orby eat my brains with barely any problems for them i really am trash max is great i don't think you are dude i think you're fine Trust me, it used to happen to me all the time as well. But, you know, you'll, you'll improve, though. You'll get better. And that's the thing. You just as, The more you play, the better you get. Um, so if it says, uh, Wasp, those guys suck. I haven't figured out a nice way to kill them yet. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you some. I'll show you some neat ways when we get there eventually. Uh, right. So now we've got another skeleton here. So you will need a light to see this guy. But on here, you can find a couple of other collectibles that are required for 100. percent So you got the defense badge, which essentially will raise your defense by. I think you get a 25 percent uh, damage resist, but it also weakens your attack power by 25 percent as well. So essentially, it's like having a shield on. You you'll get like less attack power. But you know, if you're using like a bleeding type uh, type weapon then it can be kind of useful and it will make you very tanky as a, a, even for an assassin build it's pretty good um you also got a suspicious snapshot three and then we've got ourselves a recon journal for special forces all right expedition member d reed uh department external special forces december 21st 1989 if i ever get my hands on that schmecter i'll snap him like a dry billy hog he was breathing down the commander's neck for months about that wackadoo orc project jumped up his bun so bad about it being the future of warfare not sure how I drew the short straw, but ended up getting vol volunteered for what seemed like a pretty normal mission. Occupy an established base camp at the drop site, lay groundwork for the orc operation, babysit a pack of pencil necks in an untamed wilderness, do some light recon, don't spill the beans, don't make contact. Simple enough, when the fight print didn't read like a horror novel, the reality? The wilderness is some is some fire dude's large hostile yard packed with nightmare predators and crazy experiments. Your base is casually visited by a 400 inch child, and none of the nerds you're stuck with want to work together so you're on your own out in the, you're on your own out in there small arms and light weapons don't work at this scale hope you're good with sticks and stones oh and also you're gonna sh you're gonna shrivel up like fingers in the bath here's your one-way ticket thanks a lot ominent you think the pucker factor would max out right about there but that brings us to the current situation i find myself in I was snapping a pic of some weird glowing cartridge just as an emergency shutdown message echoed through the subterranean lab. Ran to beat heck out of there just in time to get caught in a blast that shook the cavern like a hungry kid shaking the crumbs from a bag of chips. A thick haze is rolling in, bringing with it an army of creepy exploding bugs. They haven't caught wind of me, and this pocket I got knocked into seems to have breathable air for now, but I'm not counting my chickens just yet. If I don't make it, tell Mama I love her. Big D, over and out. <laughs> Big D? <laughs> All right. So yeah, that is the uh, that is the recon journal for the Special Forces one. So yeah, you will need that one for 100%, so make sure you find that one. All right. So uh, Moon says, uh, basically, other than carry capacity now, 
the red ant armor isn't really needed once the first stage of mutation is reached. Exactly, yeah. Ravid says, uh, alrighty, Max, I need to head out. Good luck with the rest of uh, the cast. Thank you so much, Ravid. And if you're going to stream, I hope you have a really good stream as well. Or have a really good day, whatever else you're getting up to. And thank you so much for hanging out with us. Uh, Max, going to show that waspishy bitch. The waspishy bitch. Fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> uh, says, uh, back. Sorry, I was writing down another pattern to Scarf Queen. Welcome back, baby. So, what, so now what pattern are you writing down? <laughs> Alright, so if we come up here... Here, there's uh, you can actually jump on this you can see there's some raw science up here you're gonna have to like crouch under here and then you'll get some raw science right there there we go and then we need to jump back up here and there is another way down here i think we can they they used to be quartzite down there but i'm not sure if there's actually anything down here anymore oh there's actually some water down here so you know nice and clean. if you need water then you can find some down here but down this area of the lab there's really not much so you know just jump back on the stick and we can just make our way out again so yeah we're gonna kind of come back up here kind of duck along it and then we should be able to just make our way out of here and there we go right so we managed to get through there and then we're going to make our way down into this area. So yeah, there's a, there's a little area down here where we can swim through. Um, so we're going to go down here and we're going to swim through and make our way over to the left here, right? So we're going to go to the left and then I'm actually going to turn my light off here. Cause, well, it's, it's almost out of durability anyway, so that kind of sucks. I probably should have brought a second one or, you know, turned out my light. Right, so this next room, when you open it, it's actually going to lock the door behind you. So just be prepared for that. This is where Aaron says, thank you, X. See you tomorrow. All right, then, Robin. See you soon. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if I'll be live tomorrow, but if you are, then I'll try and pop into yours. Uh, basically, other than carry cap now. Yeah, yeah, the exa exactly. Yeah, the red ant armor now is... And I think the, the, the red ant pet also increases your carry capacity as well, right? So... I think, yeah, the red ant armor kind of becomes obsolete after you've befriended the ant queen. But you are you can't really befriend it until you've got, like, the oven and everything, right? So it will still... It, it doesn't make it useless early game, but for later on, then it's not as it's not as needed, right? Plus, you've also got, like, the intern badge and stuff as well. Um, so, yeah, once you're in this room, you'll find two granola bars there. And then you'll also find this one here. Phase 3 results. Explosive. The mutations in Phase 3 are progressing at a rate I can't begin to quantify. And they spread to the local fauna. Where's kind of express the sorrow I feel for these simple creatures warped and manipulated into ravenous, horrible, exploding beings. Attempts to reverse or even slow the changes in the strange spores or the creatures it has spread to haven't been fruitful. I'm tasking Burger with keeping an eye on all of this and introducing security defense procedures to keep this lab safe. Catastrophic as it may be, my confidence in raw science as a catalyst for growth and change is sealed now. All right, uh, let me also make sure I'm still caught up on that side. Uh, hey, Zod, welcome in. Sorry I missed you coming in there. Uh, he says, uh, have you got the infected mushroom uh, thing in the Red Ant Queen? Uh, it's in the pipe right at the part where you enter the pipe. Um, I haven't got it yet, but I'm sure we'll get that pretty soon. Um, and uh, if it's like, what's the, like my new my my new mosquito? <laughs> yeah, my, uh, my 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 YouTube thing is uh, cutting out again. So sorry if I miss messages again. Um, let me uh, let me just like spam the chat a little bit um, to see if I can make it to make it like process again. Um, there you go. Uh, Zom says, uh, is it is in the is in the pipe in the lab? There you go. Okay, yeah. So my yeah, my uh, my app is again cutting out on the YouTube side of things. I don't know why it's doing it. It's it's really weird. So uh, yeah, but we, it's back there in the pipe, isn't it? We'll get it on the way out. But I hope you do it well, Zom. Thank you so much for popping in. Sorry I missed you coming in there. Um, but yeah, it looks like my uh, looks like my YouTube thing is going a bit weird. Uh, Orc red ants are still hostile, right with uh, right with the mutation. If I recall, they aren't technically ants once controlled. Yeah, when the orc ones will always be hostile. There's nothing to uh, there's nothing to sort that out, unfortunately. Um, right. So let me. Okay, let me refresh my chat up again um because yeah th today it's like just going really really weird um i might need to see if there's like another app i can use i really don't want to use the restream chat app though because it's sh it's shit um but let's see let me let me x out of the chat and come back in again see if that see if that fixes it uh give me just a second guys yeah having a having some problems today um right, let's try that again um <laughs> right Let me just like put some messages in the YouTube side of things and see if that comes through. Um, there we go. Is it gonna is it gonna work now? Is it's it's kind of it's kind of making some kind of sounds when it comes. There we go. Right now now I see it. Okay, it's it's kicked back to life again. Yeah, there you go. I should be able to read messages from YouTube again. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't know why. It's 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 a Streamlabs thing. I'm gonna have to see if there's some way to. Uh, 
I'd have to see if there's some way to kind of circumvent that without posting messages into the Twitch chat to get picked up by the app. I'm going to have to see what's going on. And someone says, yay, there you go. Yeah, I can see you now, Zom. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Um, but yeah, once you press this button, this room is going to lock. Th this door behind you is going to lock. So be prepared for a fight. Um, so you want to make sure we're full food and water before you go in. Water filtration tablets needed. Because this fight can last a little while, so you want to be a little careful. And I probably want to... Choke it down, Pete. Use one of those to heal up fully. There you go. So we're, we're fully healed. Everything's good. And yeah, I think we're ready to go for this. So here we go. So the first thing we're going to need to do is actually get out our insect axe. Because before we actually do a fight, there's a few things we have to take out first. So we're going to open the room. And you'll see that there's an infected ladybug in there. Okay, but what we want to do is we want to actually take out these spores here. And then watch out for this thing because it will start to chase you around the room and throw explosives at you. But we're going to take these things out first. And you'll see you'll see why in a minute. Now, if you're playing on mild, you don't have as much to worry about. If you're playing on medium or woe, though, things are going to get uh, things are going to get a little bit hairy. So what we're going to do is as soon as we start attacking this thing, then other stuff is going to spawn in. There you go. So now I got mites that are spawned in. So we're going to take these guys out. You also have lava as well to deal with. So essentially, we just want to move around the room and try and bleed the lava if we can. Yeah, worry about the mites and the lava first, and then we'll worry about the ladybug afterwards. And this is why the dagger can be super useful, because you can sort of bleed them out over time. There you go. There's one down, at least. There you go. And there's the other one. There you go. We're just going to uh, keep backing around the room here. But yeah, now we've taken out these explosive things, we can essentially walk around the side of the room relatively safely. Now take this lava out. There you go. Now we work on each of the mites in turn. There you go. Back up here. But yeah, this fight is like absolute pandemonium if you're not used to it. Now, you have to be careful of the mite projectiles as well, because every time you get hit by one of those, it actually weakens your resolve against explosives. So that means that the ladybug's attack will do more damage every time you get hit. Yeah, if we can get some bleed damage on a load of these, then run out of there. There we go. But yeah, the bleed is useful on the mites as well, because you can kind of like take them out bit by bit. There's another one out. Okay. Right out of here. Yeah, I'm taking a bit of damage here, so I'm gonna heal up with the bandage, you know. Take a little bit over time. Alright, we're just gonna stay back in this corner here. But yeah, just from bleed out, the infected ladybug's like down to half health. There you go. There you go, now we're gonna run out. There you go. Right now, I can just take it on normally. Don't have to worry about any of the creatures now. Okay, that one hurt. Ow. Okay. I was lucky I kind of got out of there just in time. And there we go. Infected Ladybug is out of here. But yeah, deal with the lava, then the mites, then the Infected Ladybug, and that's it. Then we get Truffle Tussle, and everything's uh, everything's all good. So, hooray! There we go. And uh, Faze's like, like, hello. And it, it didn't pick that one up either, goddammit. Okay, yeah, my, my chat today is just being crap. <laughs> so sorry about that. Um, if that's uh, if it's still an issue, then I'll have to see what else I can do about it um, for next time. I'm not sure uh, I'm not sure why it's that bad. Um, right, here we go. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure why it's like being that bad today. It's just, like, the past couple of days have been all right, but today it's just been, like, really crappy, so... Yeah, I have to see if there's a way I can deal with that at some point. Uh, right, but here we go. We can get this one. We actually get Truffle Tussle as well, which is a mutation that if you're using unarmed, it will give your unarmed attacks a chance to do explosive damage, which is kind of nice. Um, so yeah, if you it's, it's only really useful for, an, for an, un, an unarmed build, but if you're not doing unarmed, it's you know not really that useful. But still, it's it's still fun to play around with. So we get the rest of the Mike Fuzz here, and there we go. So that's the uh, that's essentially the mini boss in here. 
So yeah, you want to be prepared before you come in here, because otherwise, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna suffer if you're not prepared to come in here. <laughs> so yeah, upgraded ladybug armor is usually the best thing to come in with. Uh, Huggy Buggy says, uh, "Hey, I'm back. I started a new grounded playthrough. I'm gonna infect all the ants first because I didn't do that before in my other one that has 140 plus days." Ah, okay, fair enough. Well, I hope you managed to find all the infected recipes. <laughs> I'm not sure what all of them are, but yeah, I know I know you can. All right, here we go. So here we go. We can go and unlock this thingy. So you use the biometric scanner right here. That will then open up this door here. But behind this door, there's going to be more mates. So we're just going to kind of run in here, bleed them all out with the dagger. There you go. And they should all uh, die out pretty quickly. There you go. There you go. So yeah, they'll hit me a few times, but it's fine. We can just kind of face tank it. There you go. And all the mates are out. There you go. We'll just pick all these up. Maybe get a gold card if we're lucky. We did not. But yeah, there is one more uh, cassette tape right here. The Blazed Earth Protocol. So we're going to go grab that one. See how we go. Someone says all the infected ants give the same thing no matter the ant type. Yeah, I, th I think they're just like, they're kind of like classes of one faction, aren't they? But if you want to get like the maxed out stuff that you can make on the sausage, you do need to infect all three, uh, all three ants and then feed all three ant queens a hoagie when they're infected. And that will give you the, uh, that gives you the, um, what is it? The Globasa stuff. So the first one's Globasa link, then the ring and the necklace when you do all three. Um, and then the necklace has, uh, three, it can have three mutations on it every time you make it, which is good. All right. So here we go. Blaze Earth Protocol. Let's grab that one. This has gone poorly. Very very poorly the essence of failure the pinnacle of its craft there you go duper disc and a burger chip berserk mushrooms exploding <laughs> my condition like a baby toe after a long bath burgle are you there is this a test <laughs> yes burgle it's a test <laughs> now listen carefully I'm abandoning this facility immediately. Initiate the Blazed Earth Protocol. But Dr. Tully, simulations indicate a 95.283% probability of catastrophic failure. I assure you the percentages are much higher than that. Now do it. Beep, beep, boop, beep, 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 boop. <laughs> Why did you make fake beeping sounds? You said this was a test. I was being sarcastic. <laughs> Complete the lab lockdown, blast the canister per protocol, and meet me in the Black Ant Lab. All right, so that's the last cassette we can find in there. But before we leave, um, I've got my bubble helmet because we're actually going to swim through this pipe here, right? So if we swim through the pipe, you'll see that we actually get another recipe right down here. So if we read this one, this is the infected mushroom sandwich recipe. So if you want to infect the red ant queen, then you need to go and get this one, right? So we're going to make that one. And Zom says, remember to grab the infected mushroom it. thing for the red ant queen. There we go. We got it. And uh, how you doing, Shiny Green Merrill? How you doing? Welcome in. It says, uh, I hope you're doing, uh, hope you're doing hell. I am doing hell. <laughs> How's it going, dude? Thank you so much for popping in. And I hope you're doing, I hope you're doing hell as well. <laughs> hell! <laughs> How's it going, dude? And uh, Delusions, welcome back as well. Uh, it says, uh, it says uh, oh, doing well. No, I, I know what you mean. It's fine. All right, let's go and uh, let's go and grab this one. And here we go. Infected mushroom sandwich. A recipe detailing how to cook the Red Ant Queen's favorite food laced with infection. All right. So yeah, I'm going to get my air back real quick. And now we're actually going to swim through the pipe because there's a couple of things we can grab going through this pipe. So here we go. Moon says, uh, I'm guessing uh, voice to text because uh, H and W weren't even, aren't even close to each other. <laughs> uh, I recommend infecting the first time so you can get the infected stuff early. Um, I might do. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. I might do, though. Cause yeah, that'd be kind of nice because it offers you another shield, doesn't it, as well? All right, so we're gonna swim down here and look, we got some diving bell spiders. So, we're gonna take care of this guy. There you go. So, diving bell spiders are out of here, and now we're gonna essentially continue down this way. Now, you will need a level two dagger to come down here. Um, there's more water fleas, too. So, let's go and just kill that guy, and we can actually just eat the uh. We should be able to just eat the water flea meat as well. So yeah, water flea meat is a type of meat you can eat raw. It's the only one in the game that you can just eat raw. And it gives you a little bit of hunger and a little bit of hydration. Cooking it is, of course, better. But, you know, you can just eat this thing raw as well if you want to. There we go. So we'll just grab those two. And then again, I'll just eat these to get some hunger and hydration back, which is really good. And then we're actually, there's actually a place you can breathe just down here. So we're going to go with that. Now you can either go left or you can go straight. We're going to go left first. 
because there's actually something down here that we can get. Uh, you will need the bubble helmet to come down here because there's no breathable air any uh, any other point down this pipe. So you will need the bubble helmet to come down here and get what you get. The gill, the gill tube and Mertine might just about be enough, but you probably have to turn around every couple of times after you chop through some of these roots. There you go, let's go and take out these guys. Say so more water, please. Have I peed these guys yet? Uh, I have, okay. Yeah, I think I have, right? Yeah, I peed these guys, okay. So yeah, let's go and grab these to eat them. There you go. Just eat these raw. There you go. Might get the gold card from it as well. Alright, Ted, come here. Come on. Teddy, come here. Stay there. Probably barking and going after some... <laughs> I try to breathe here! Right. Let's keep going over this way. So now we've killed the water fleas, we can make our way through here. And as you can, yeah, as you, as you can see, I'm already down to 90 seconds, right? So yeah, we've, uh, we're going to need to swim through here. Now, it gets very dark in this area, so yeah, a light would be recommended, but you can come through here without one. Now, the other thing is, there is a diving bell spider here, so we can actually get some air off of him. So we'll just kill him, there you go, that'll refill our air. And now we can go down here, and you can see there's actually some science and a mega molar down here. So we want to get all this stuff. And there is also a scabby right here. So guys, guess what? We got a scabby. Yeah. There you go. We can get the mega molar. Then we can kind of use the light to sort of swim our way back through. And we can kind of make our way back over here. And then just swim towards the light ahead of you. And then you should be able to make it out. So you don't necessarily need a light out of here. But it can be kind of useful just in case you need it. But yeah, once you get to this next section of the pipe, it will light up again. So you don't have to worry about it. But yeah, that part of the pipe there is uh, particularly dark, so if you're not sure where you're going, essentially it's just straight, but if you're not sure how to get around the roots, then a slime lantern would be very good. Faze says, uh, Faze, how many hours do you have in Grounded now? Um, over 3,280, I think, so nearly 3,300 hours. <laughs> uh, if you infect them the first time, you only have to worry about fire ants in the first playthrough. Then, second playthrough, you have the gear and you can quickly infect the rats. I mean, that's that's true as well, yeah. I, I, I guess either way has its pros and cons. Gray says, uh, Gray says, hang on. Uh-oh, I think the Calamity wants me to work today whilst we're playing. Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did, Grave. You totally saw it coming. <laughs> All right, there we go. Grab that one, and we get some more water flea meat here. But yeah, now I can swim out of the pipe this way. And here we go. Let's get out of this way. Oh, there you go. Grab that one. There's one. And finally, we'll come out of this way. And let's go out this way. And as you can see, everything now brightens up a bit. There's one last water flea here. So we'll go take this guy out as well. There you go. I broke to my dagger. Shit. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll just mend it later. Consume and consume. There we go. And that is pretty much everything. All done and done. And we're out of there. Nice. So that's the last time we're going to need the gas mask. Well, at least for, at least for now. Um, we might need it at some point later on, but for now, that's like the last time we we'll need the gas mask. And same with the bubble helmet as well. We don't really need that anymore. So yeah, we can probably put those away when we get back to base. Safe. Save ourselves a few slots. Safer. And yeah, we're going to head back now. So yeah, we, we, you kind of come out of here near the sandbox. Um, there is another area we're going to go to around here because there's another, there's actually another burgle chip we can get soon, but I need to drop off a load of my stuff first. So let's go do that. Let's see how we go. Uh, I mean, uh, but yeah, I think I think like I either way you go you go about it. There's pro there's pros and cons to everything, really, isn't there? Like, if you infect them first, then yeah, you don't get the mutation, but you also get access to like the infected ants early. If you befriend them, you get the mutation, right? If you, I, I think honestly, poisoning them all first is the worst of the three. Like, I, I can pretty safely say like by yeah by by poisoning all three of them first. That's like that's like the worst thing because honestly, like the strategy summer is kind of cool, but. I don't know. It seems like summons are still not very powerful compared to like just fighting things yourself. So I'm not sure how good this. I'm not sure how good it'll be because the strategy summon doesn't even give you any buffs. It's all for your all for the summons. Oh, so I, just as I say, I'm not gonna need the uh, gas mask for anything. Here comes the stink bug. Uh, right. Okay. Okay. I know a way we can get rid of the stink bug. We'll just go in the water here. Yeah. If you, if you go into into water, any ground based insects will stop chasing you, and a lot of flying ones too. So yeah, good way to uh, good way to get sting bugs off your back if they're chasing you in this area. Just run into the water, and then you can get rid of them. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Hmm, I don't know. With the right inf with the right infuse setup, um, says uh, well, yes, because uh, you can't you can't invent the fire ants till the later playthrough. Yeah, it it depends. Uh, also, if you want to get the sausage early as well, right? So 
Because, yeah, that, that would also unlock the sausage early if you infect it the first time. So, yeah, that's that's another that's another thing to take into account as well. Uh, it says, uh, from a perfectionist approach, should I befriend all the queens or infect them first? Uh, you can't with... I don't think you can do it with the black ant or the fire ant in the first one. But if you want to get... Uh, it depends what you'd rather have. If you'd rather have the ambassador first... Um, just to like make all the ant factions friendly, then befriend them. But if you would rather have access to the uh, the infected spear and shield, then infect them first. Uh, can you summon ants though? Can you summon ants though in your first playthrough? You can, yeah. You can um, once you get the pheromones, you can make the ant queen stuff, and then you can. And I think that lets you summon in ants, right? I think that's how it works. As you attack, you summon in ants. Um, and I think the strategist armor makes you summon soldier ants as well. But how you been? How you been, Wavy? How you been keeping well, dude? Thank you so much for popping in. Right. Right. I'm also gonna make sure I'm all caught up on uh, this side of things as well. Make sure it's not. Uh, make sure it's not doing anything. Oh yeah, my. Uh, there you go. Uh, let's see. Some sort of recommend. Uh, yeah. In fact, okay. No, it seems to be working over there now. <laughs> okay. Everything seems to be working over there at this point. So I'm gonna keep keep just like periodically checking just to make sure I don't miss anyone coming through. Uh, all right. So we're gonna make our way back, and we are gonna hand in the burgle chip. And, oh, hang on, we can get those mosquito beaks now. Hey, <laughs> Nice. But yeah, we can, uh... Let me see, Wavy says, uh, life has, uh, life has been shooting non-stop lemons, and I'm tired of making lemonade, to put it likely, but we are making the best of it one day at a time. Ah, oh, I'm so essentially things aren't really going well in the way you want them. I'm sorry to hear that. But I do hope things start to get better for you guys. But yeah, I'm sorry to hear it's not going, uh, not going to your, not not going in your favour at the moment then. But you know, if there's any time you just want to like talk and shoot the shit or anything, you know, because I know sometimes talking about stuff can help. Then you know, we're always about. So you know, we we're, we are all just a DM away. So just let me just let me know, or you know, I, and I'm sure Coffee Queen would say the same as well. Uh, some says, uh, yeah, but if you get, uh, if you get Mant, Mumkins, and all the other summon stuff, uh, I use it while I'm in world, it's broken because the AI of the enemies breaks and just targets the closest enemy instead of the strongest. Oh, okay. Hmm, interesting. Um, so, and uh, Dubs, thank you so much for giving the shoutouts as well, dude. Very much appreciate it. Moon says, um, yeah, but you, you can summon us the first time around. Yeah, in the first playthrough, you can do. You just get you just get the staff, right? And then you can summon them with that. Uh, Cockroach says, always. There you go. Right, so now we can uh, chat with Burgle. It is nice to see a friendly face around here. How can I help you today? I've got one more super chip. Mr. Peter Boggs, your survival scout training has proven me wrong. You continue to live. Hand over the super chip and let us hope for the best. One more time. Processing. Processing. Woo! The Haze Super Chip. Dr. Tully tried deciphering the ageless properties of mushrooms. Disaster struck before he was able to finish. All of these great m -m memories are coming back. Well, well, well. Some good news. A piece to the Ambigan cocktail recipe is now restored. But not all of it, unfortunately. And I have some strange memory fragments of a Java Matic. Does that mean anything to you? The coffee maker? A coffee maker. Interesting development. Although I cannot say I love the taste of coffee, and I certainly have no clue how this fits into the equation. Well, we do. <laughs> However, we are making progress solving this mystery. But we are still not done. There is one more super chip to go. All right. Well, goodbye, Burgle. Please refrain from being eaten by spiders, Peter Box. Okay. Uh, and he's like, he's like, be, it's like, please refrain from being eaten by spiders. But then he's like, ha, but you can get eaten by something else. <laughs> Anything else is fine. All right. So we've got some more science here. So let's go and get the next thing that we need. So the next thing we can unlock now is, of course, the oven. We definitely want this because that's going to unlock the uh, the mushroom slurry and the mushroom bricks as well. And that's where we're going to essentially start building our base. As soon as we get an oven, we're going to start building like properly after that. Um, so we get one of those. And then let's see what we get. We get feather roofs as well. I do want to get that one. Um, so we're going to buy that. And is there any? other things i can get um let's see we can also get the juicy mushroom sandwich the red ant queen's favorite food so if you want to befriend the red ant queen then you'll need to get one of these right um being able to summon ants though and have the potential for them to explode seems 
appealing to me, says, uh, says, says Moon. I mean, that does sound pretty good. Uh, let's see. The, the Ant Scepter doesn't allow summoning. Uh, oh, you need the armor set bonus. The Ant Scepter just makes it so your summons spawn with more health. Ah, okay. That's, that's what I thought. I thought. I thought the Scepter was actually like a summoning item as well. So, okay. So, in that case, yeah, you can still... Okay, so if you poison the Ant Queen or infect it, then I guess, then you can still get the, uh, the Strategist armor. But until then, yeah... Um, says, I appreciate that really and truly. I miss hanging out with everyone and we'll be making getting back into that now that there's some stability coming in the near future. But I cannot wait to get into this update. Oh yeah, it's, de it's definitely it's definitely a good update and like it's been it's been fun so far. Um, so yeah, you're definitely going to enjoy it. <laughs> uh, actually, we're going to get the uh, upgrade to the Finflops as well. We're just going to like try and get some of these science shop unlocks done. Um, and we can also spend some more molars as well. So mega molars. Let's go put those into resource stack size. And we've also got regular molars. I've got three of these, right? So what do we want to put it into? I guess we'll just put it into health here. Um, because then any extra health is also going to be kind of handy. Uh, so you can still summon with the armor on and no scepter. Yeah, I think it's kind of works like how Mum Jeans does. Like if you attack and block and stuff, then uh, then you can essentially summon stuff in with that, right? So essentially it would, it would then involve you attacking stuff to get the summons in. Which in, in, in a way is kind of is kind is kind of like it's kind of like the reverse of how you would expect a summoner build to operate. Like the summoner is kind of meant to stay out of combat and let their ads do all the combat, if you know what I mean. So it's kind of weird that as a summoner you would have to attack stuff to make things spawn. But yeah, that's kind of how it works in this one. <laughs> it's a little bit a little bit weird, honestly. But yeah, a little bit strange. All right, so we're gonna go drop all that stuff off because I need to uh, I need to go get some more food. We need to get prepared for where we're gonna go next. So let's go do that. So first of all. Drop off all the things, make sure I'm pretty much emptied out. And there we go. Right, so I don't need now my gas mask, and I don't need the don't really need the defense badge. I'm not gonna use it. Don't need the gas mask, that can stay here as well. And we don't need the bubble helmet now. So that stuff can all stay together. This can all stay together as well. Um is there anything else I don't really need? Uh you know what? The pe the pebble spear I'm not really using, am I? And we're gonna get a better spear before long anyway, so I'm gonna put that into here as well. Um other than that though, let's just make sure we can make sure like we're as good as we can be like repaired and everything so let's just repair all the stuff there we go and that definitely needs repair all right so is there anything else we really want to upgrade weapon wise i honestly don't think so maybe apart from the red ant club i might upgrade the red ant club just so we can like have that upgraded um yeah we'll, we'll do the red ant club to level five um because that's going to be kind of useful uh hang on wait no that's the oh that's my rotten stinger sphere as well we don't need that either that can go in here uh so rotten stinger sphere can go in there and yeah, I'll upgrade the I'll upgrade the Red Ant Club to level five, I think, and that'll be pretty good. So we need thirty brittle plate uh, brittle whetstones, so we'll get thirty of them. So that's going to be oh wrong tab. It's going to be all the way down the bottom here. So we need thirty of these, and currently we have a hundred and thirty-four quartzite, so we've definitely got enough to get these upgraded. So let's do thirty of them. Very nice. And then come on here, and then we can just upgrade all of these. There you go. And now that's at level five. Cool. There you go. So our Red Ant Club is now level five. I need to reassign that to my hotbar under slot two. There you go, because otherwise it won't reassign. And we just need to get a little bit of food on the go as well. Um, so let's see if I can find... I guess we'll look for tadpoles, see if there's any under here. Uh, sometimes there's tadpoles around here, sometimes, and sometimes there's not. Uh, I see a tadpole over there. Yeah, let's just go kill this tadpole. And then we should be able to just eat that and then make our way. Because the next area we're going to go to is going to have... Uh, it's going to be where the bees are, up on the picnic table. Um, and we can use that to get all of the bee fuzz that we're going to need. Because we will actually need a little, bee, a little bit of bee fuzz for some tier 3 armor. Not too much of it, but a for a little bit of tier 3 armor, we, we will need some bee fuzz. So I do have to try and get a little bit of that in if we can. And now we've got that. Apple, we can go cook him and then we'll head over to uh, we'll head over to the picnic table so let's go do that so let's jump over here we've already uh i actually did i lower the shovel or not i don't think i did actually uh but yeah we'll cook up the tadpole here get that guy sorted out and then we'll be good to go so it looks like i've got work in a couple of hours it's great guess i should start making sure i'm ready yes grave yes you should um so uh you're gonna be you're gonna be doing so you're gonna be doing some grounded now that's gonna that's gonna be good so you're gonna be you're gonna be doing the ground the stream that's how that sounds fun all right, so yeah, we're going to cook this up, and then we'll make this uh, we'll make this into uh, roast apple. Then we'll just eat that, and then we'll be on our way. And then when we're on our way, we can essentially go... We're essentially going to go back to where we kind of came out from in the haze here, but we're going to go over this area here. So we're going to go to the where the shovel is, just here, 
and there's actually the picnic table just up here so we're gonna go and essentially go up there so let's go grab that one Yum. Teddy, you're fine. <laughs> Teddy's fine. The cat is not. The cat is being a little bitch and scratching the furniture again. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and make our way back. Okay, so we got everything we need. So, yeah, there's a couple of other places we need to discover, but let's go and make our way back over there. There is also a... We, we do also need to sleep twice to get two more of the dream sequences, but that's fine. We can do that another time. Because uh, I've, I've already eaten now, so we may as well just go make our way over. Let's see if the wolf spiders came back as well. If they did, then we can uh, we can go fight them. If not, though, then it doesn't really matter. Uh, yep, looks like they're back, so... Here we go. Hello, wolf spider. All venomous and all deadly. Yes, you are. You're not as deadly as me, though. Aha! There you go. Got it. And uh, we got It's Just Rosie. Thank you so much for the raid. Very much appreciated. Thank you so much for popping in. How are you doing? How was your stream? Were you playing some ground today? Or were you playing something else? And thank you so much for trusting your community, coming and bringing them all over to me. Hope everyone's doing well over there. And uh, for anyone who doesn't know who I am, I'm Maxwell's Gaming, UK survival streamer, and Grounded is pretty much my main game, so you'll see a lot of it over here. So if you guys like Grounded, then yeah, come come on come on over and uh, see us uh, and uh, and see see us take on wolf spiders with their own fangs. You know, we we rip off the fangs of wolf spiders, then use them as weapons against their brothers and sisters, and then we rule the backyard until an infected lava bites us in the anus and insta kills us. Then we don't really rule anymore, but it's okay. <laughs> but uh, how are you enjoying the update? Uh, I, hope it's, uh, I hope it's going well. Carl Green says, welcome in, Raiders. Hey, thank you, baby. But yeah, if you uh, if you guys like Grounded, then yeah, we play a lot of it over here. So yeah, we, uh, we are very much uh, we are very much Grounded fans as well. And uh, how are you enjoying the uh, how are you enjoying the new update, Rosie? Um, have you got into any of the new game plus stuff yet, or are you still in your or are you still doing like stuff in the main in your like main new game at the minute? Because they've added like a load of stuff now for new game plus, and you know everything's now infused and just nuts and <laughs> it's like it's like everything can just kill you faster kill us faster oh no i can relax <laughs> if you move it'll only kill you faster <laughs> all right oh yeah actually there is a um there is one of the uh burgle flags up here isn't there that we need to get for one of the quests so we can go to that so to do that i think we gotta jump up the weed stem here um so i think we gotta go like up this one I essentially use this husky weed as a as a platform, I think. So we go up this way, and then we gotta go to that one. There you go. And then, yeah, so we can get the raw science over. Yeah, so we get the raw science over there, and I think we just jump across. There you go. I'm holding raw science in my hands. There you go. And then we get another flag right here. Then we can go get this one. There we go. Uh, grounded. Now we're relaxing ways to die. <laughs> this is great. I know, right? Uh, this is awesome. I'm still finishing off the story bits, but I found some new doors for updates. Ooh, <laughs> new doors. Yeah, so I, and I, I think uh, you're, are you talking about the one like behind the pond there? Because um, if that's the one, then yeah, that's your uh, that's the new thing that was uh, that's the new thing that was added this time around. It was in 1.3, but it didn't actually lead anywhere. Uh, yeah, so that 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 door essentially will be well. When, when you open that door, you'll discover how to activate New Game Plus. Essentially, I won't give away too much, but yeah, that's essentially the things you can discover. Help! I'm stuck. Right. Hi, Spider. Right? Did I get the uh, Mega Mall up here? Let me see. Did I get the one up here? Uh, yes, I did. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Gotta fight it anyway. All right. Test the might. Spider, 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 spidey, 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 spidey. More spider! I will go and kill the spider because he is wanting to fight me. So now the spider must go die. Spider, 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 spider. There you go. Got him. All right, I'll try and fight something else then. Uh, let's see what else we got. It is a spider, now it is gonna die. Now we're gonna fight a bomber. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> All right, come on. Hi there. Aha. There you go. One dead spider, one dead bomber there. We win! Yeah, Grace, uh, Grace, that's a good song. <laughs> Glad you liked it, Grace. And how you doing? How you doing, Sludge? Welcome in. I haven't seen you in a while. I've been keeping well. Okay, well, you're dead spider. Oh, and now we got a mosquito coming in. 
Yes, die, mosquito. Die now. <laughs> Feel the bleed. Feel the poison. Feel how my fang inserts itself into your anus. Wait, what? <laughs> hey, Chaos Dragon, thank you so much for the raid, dude. Um, um hi, hi Raiders. <laughs> totally wasn't talking about sticking my spider fang into something's anus. It's, it's fine. We don't. We definitely weren't talking about that. Welcome in, everyone. How's it going? Thank you so much for the raid, dude. <laughs> Victory Screech! <laughs> Man style. <laughs> and uh, th how is your stream, Chaos? Were you playing? Uh, were you playing some Grounded Day, or were you doing some Seven Days? I feel like I should make a wish or something. No pish. Uh, pish? Pete. No Pete. Never make a wish on a firefly. Okay, yeah. My, my character's name is now Pish. <laughs> Are you taking the pish? Make a wish. <laughs> Oh my god. And hey, crazy fish, welcome in, dude. How's it going? So, for anyone who's coming from uh, Chaos Dragon and doesn't know who the hell I am. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I, my, my, na my name's Bert Sir Burps a lot. No, I'm Maxwell's Gaming. You guys are from Australia. I play a lot of Grounded over here. So, I'm making games. So, if you like Grounded, uh, then you'll see, uh, you'll see a lot of it going on over here. Right. Oh, I got that one. Right. Before I go on too much, I just want to check on the other side of things, make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, nope, looks like everything's fine over there now. I think it's just my chat having a bit of a funny five minutes then. Uh, let's see. Kestrigan says, I honestly think that was the best time to pop into hear Max about that. Don't you, do, do, do you got more detail? <laughs> well, what you do is, uh, you, you know how, you know how the, you know how the fag is like curved, you know, that just, uh, that, you know, it, it's like curved for her pleasure, do you know what I mean? So what you gotta do is like, you don't stick it straight up, you kind of go on a little bit of an angle, and then it makes it go, oh! <laughs> That's a that's how that's how you use the spider fang dagger up someone's anus in the in the right way. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Kai says uh, Kai says oh pish off baby boy. <laughs> no carny boy. <laughs> no for no for you carnage. You're, you're, for, for you carnage. You're chili con carnage. <laughs> uh, let's see, grave, uh, grave, 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 clever, it, damn it, grave. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Because it says, oh, oh you played Fallout 4 on my stream. Uh, after watching the TV show, I've been playing. I've been playing. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, Copy Green and I have watched it. <laughs> Copy Green and I have watched it as well. No carnage. Okay. <laughs> carnage, carnage San Diego. <laughs> it does like, fuck Watershed. That guy is like, grave. <laughs> yeah, Kai Ka 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 is Watershed agree again, but it's fine. We all know it doesn't really have power here. We just like to make him think it. We just like to make him think it has power here, but it, we we know it has none. <laughs> all right, so I do need to actually go back here because for whatever reason, uh, we didn't discover the exposed pipe when we literally came out of the exposed pipe. Um, so we gotta go back and discover that again. So let's go back over here first, and let's see. We should have the exposed pipe just down here, right? Oh, and I should have brought some silk rope with me. I didn't do that, but that's fine. We can come back and do it in a little while. So we can go into here. No. There we go. Let's cover the exposed pipe. Nice. And hey, look at that. We got now. Ah, oh, we have Natural Explorer 2. I could have got that earlier and like saved, us, saved myself a ton of time. But there we go. So discover the exposed pipe. And now we've got enough locations. I think that means we've discovered 50 locations now. So now we can run it even faster, which is awesome. So we're going to make our way to the leaning shovel. Because to get onto the main table, you actually need to use a bomb on the shovel. There's actually a rock underneath it. Um, so you can see this rock here that's got a crack in it. You need to use a bomb on one of these, and then it will break that and make the shovel fall over. And then with that, you can make your way up onto the table. So I'm just going to drop a bomb here, then run the fuck away. There you go. And then there we go. We're good. So now the shovel has fallen over, and we can now make our way up, off, up onto here. And this will essentially be our direct way to get to the picnic table straight up here. So there you go. And this is how you get on it. You can build to the picnic table if you want to, but it's far easier to do this one. So there's a, uh, yes, Max, show us your exposed pipe. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Only Coffee Queen can see my exposed pipe. Uh, Kogu says, uh, Kogu says, yay, and I'm being good today. <laughs> We, we, know, we, we know you're not really being good because we know the things that go around in your head. Right, so now we got some bees. So let's go start fighting these guys. Hi there. Aha. Hello, Mr. Bee. Right, so he'll just bleed out, which is fine. There you go, done. So yeah, there you go. Got our first bee kill, and we got ourselves a some bee fuzz. Nice. Do we get a stinger from that one? No. Okay. Hello. Hi, bee. Aha! You missed. Now we're just gonna slash it with this one. Aha! I got him. 
Very nice, there you go. So yeah, we're going to make our way along the picnic table. Essentially, you, you can find a lot of feathers up here as well. So if you guys need feathers, uh, the picnic table usually has a good a good amount up here you can just get and harvest. So that's what we're going to do as well. And that one gave me... Oh, I actually got six out of that. Very nice. But yeah, so you get some, uh, get some feathers out of here as well. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I like I, I, I like that side I like that side eye coffee queen just like mm. <laughs> coffee queen giving the side eye. Grace says uh, for once the only chaos I've caused was a sneeze and the clip I made. I know right? You feel okay, Grave? It's like he's, he's like shut up, Max. I'm just tired. Okay. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let's go drink one of those. And we've also got our first uh, black ants up here as well that we can take out as well. Um, <laughs> who did that? <laughs> Death Illusion's like, no! It's like, it's like, save the bees! I'm like, kill the bees! <laughs> All right, so here we go. We got some uh, black ants over here. Haven't fought these guys yet. These guys are going to be a little bit harder to kill compared to the other ones. So we're best off just like smacking them with uh, poison because they will try and run away. And when they run away, the poison will get them. There you go. Got ourselves our first black ant pass here. I think I peeped these already, or we just haven't bought them yet. All right, stay safe, right? Okay, it's probably better to use the spiky spring and then use the red ant club. There you go. There you go, got him. Yeah, there you go. We got a black ant head and we got some black ant parts. And yay, we got cardio fan three. Look at that. Very nice. And Wavy says, uh, says you're PTSD. Uh, what what are the ant lines in the, <laughs> the ant lines in the pits? Um, <laughs> apart from PTSD. Well, they give you the same stuff as the regular ant lines that roam on the surface, but when you go into the pits, you can usually find like treasure in there. Like you can find like salt in there. There's like the salt mines you can go into. Uh, which is probably the main reason you go in there. Uh, oh hello. <laughs> Hi there. Okay, this isn't good. Okay. Ooh. Okay, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. <laughs> yeah, I fell off the table. <laughs> Why are there so many bees there? Right, one's down? Okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. Right, get the bee stuff, there you go. Okay, yeah, he knocked me off the table, damn it. Okay. I've never seen that many bees there in one spot before. Okay, that was close. That was very close. Okay, there we go. Got him. Yeah, the, the bees can be very tough to deal with as well, especially when like they group up on you. I should have brought a shield, really, but I don't think I did. Oh, wait, or did I? Did I bring a shield? Uh... My, oh, I have my Weevil Shield. Yeah, we should we should definitely use the Weevil Shield. It means we do a bit less damage, but we still we're, it's it's better to have a shield against these guys, honestly. All right, so unfortunately now we got to run all the way back up to the thing again and get back up on the table. But yeah, I was definitely glad I got out of there. Definitely glad I got out of that because <laughs> that would have been a, I would have died if I stayed up there. Grace says I'm okay. I can always have a drink to alter my mental state. Uh, so out of grass to touch. Otherwise, I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> then Grave's like, wait, I could drink grass. <laughs> then that'll do both. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you go. So yeah, the the and uh, Dove says the bees knees. It would be, it would actually be kind of cool if it, if the bees were weak in the knees, <laughs> like, and then you'd literally be like, yeah. So to kill the bees, guys, you got to target the bees knees. <laughs> Bombard your beetle. Watch out. As long as it's not the bees sneeze. <laughs> Ow! Yeah, okay, come in. Come on in. Come here, booty panzer. Oh, okay, nearly went right in that acid then. Now, <laughs> got it. Yeah, that, bo that bombardier I may as well just take. Yeah, my, my daddy line didn't actually open when I was trying to come down in the... Uh... For whatever reason, it was just like, yeah, I'm just not going to open this time. I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, daddy line. Just don't open then. <sighs> Fine. It'll be like that, you bugger. <laughs> you stupid bugger. Uh, there we go. Let's go up here. Gray says, uh, don't give me ideas, Max. Is now trying to figure out how to mix his amber drink with the grass he loves to touch. <laughs> the grave. That's how we get more chaos. I meant to give you ideas, right? Yeah, let me just check on this side of things. Uh, yep, everything's fine. Yeah, just, that's, the, uh, that, that's the thing, though. Okay, there's another bee over there. Hello, Mr. Bee. How are you doing? Great. Can I... I was going to see if I can shoot him, but I guess not. Yeah. Oh, I got him. Nice. 
Hi there. There you go. So yeah, you can see I'm not doing as much damage while I will I shield out, but it's definitely worth it for safety reasons. Don't slow me down with your pollen. Hi there. I got him. Nice. There's another bee. Oh, here's another one. Yeah, these bees will drop pollen off their legs as well. Like the ones that have the, the stuff on their legs will actually drop it. So you can essentially pick that up as well, which is very nice. Hi there. Aha, now you're bleeding. There you go. Knock, knock it out. There you go. Nice. Hey, there we go. And this time... Oh, we actually got our first bee stinger. <laughs> wow. We, 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 they took us all that time just to get one bee stinger. That's bad. <laughs> uh, it says, uh, honestly, I need to quit that train of thought. Uh, mixing those two has never worked out for me. Don't want to end up visiting the, uh, the, the, the porcelain goddess all night. <laughs> the, the, the porcelain goddess. <laughs> so, so that's what we're calling Auntie Lou now, is it? Grace is like, yeah, I'm just. I, so, so we, so we got we got Michael with with Auntie Lou. We got we got Great with Porcelain Goddess. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna go over this way first, and we'll see what we got here. Kind of says, uh, ne never mix those two. Uh, Auntie, uh, and yeah, kind of says Auntie Lou is a goddess. Well, I guess so. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna run down here because there is um, a load more bees down here. We can get for you know bee furs and stuff. Beware! There's a bee. Yes, there is a bee. And you can actually shoot these guys in the eyes for, like, critical damage as well. So, if you, like, line up a shot with their eyes, you'll get a uh, critical. There you go. And you get, like, a little uh, flash there. There you go. <laughs> I don't know how I really blocked that one, but, yeah, somehow I did. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think that bee just gave up. He's like, yeah, I just got an arrow in my head. I give up. Oh, no. Hi there. Aha. Now take him out. Wait. <laughs> nope. Okay, he died. And then he's gonna die. Okay, got him. Oh, here's another one. There you go, right. Do a load of damage to this one. Oh. <laughs> Hi there. Yeah, you got a load of bees around here. <laughs> okay. Right, go on. You got that one? <laughs> okay, so that, that one like kind of flinged itself over that way. Hey, we got the Vigo card. Nice. Hello. Uh oh. Okay, that's why I have a shield for these. Because <laughs> that can happen sometimes. Hi. <laughs> Hi there. How you doing? There you go. Big attack. Ugh. Oh, okay, he's cycling. <laughs> he did like a circle movement and died. <laughs> right. Come on. Alright, do we win? We win! Alright, we got him. Nice, that one's out of here. Moon says, uh, so Max, what do you think of Spore Lord now? There are a lot more random buffs that could be applied. Honestly, I never really used the original Spore Lord. So I can't really say. I have to try. I have to try it out and see what it's like. That's been a term for over thirty years here in the states. <laughs> well, great. I'm not in the states, okay? <laughs> I never. I never heard it while I was there either. Hello. Is that, oh, thank you very much. Aha. We have a. Uh, we have hydration. <laughs> thank you. Speaking of hydration, did I finish the coffee? I did. Good. There we go. So yeah, the the the, 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 the coffee queen coffee has been finished. There you go. Um. So. Uh, but yeah, I've not checked out. Like I didn't really use spoil that much before. So I'd have to check it out now and see. What, so I use it like a little bit to like see what it was like. I on, I honestly found like the the buff proc was too slow to like really do that much though. 
But I don't know, like, it depends what the random buffs are and how much they stack, I guess. Alright, so there's three zombies over here coming to investigate. Hi! Alright, how you guys still doing? I'm probably gonna get a B rate at this point. Which would be quite funny if I do. Okay. Oh, hello. This one will probably die now. There you go. There's another one down. Right, come on, B. Okay, oh. Hi there. Right. One more. There you go, got him. <laughs> one little hit there. Another one's going in. There you go, got him. Okay. Okay, now there's like four B's on it. Oh my god! <laughs> They're everywhere! Okay, now down to three. Okay, we can handle three. Maybe. Maybe. As long as we block that main attack, it's fine. All right, back over. Okay, we're, we're doing okay. Right, there we go. As long as they don't do the pollen thing, we're okay. Okay, yeah, the beads are annoyed now. Okay, there we go. Now I can get this guy. There you go, knock that one out. There you go. It's like the bees are coming from everywhere. But at least I'll, I'll have a load of bee fuzz out for this, so. Never be short on bee fuzz again. Just come kill bees with me. There you go. Hey, we win. <laughs> Grace says uh, they come with bee so Oh, behave. <laughs> uh, there's a much larger pool now if they include all the new buffs added. See, I know, like, there is that I know, like, there was something else that also could apply, like, random buffs. I don't know if it was, like, to do with the summoner set or something, but I know there's, like, there was some other ones as well. There's more bees here, too. <laughs> there's still more, but yeah. Let's get all these feathers first. There you go. And I missed one over there, but that's fine. All right, here we go. There you go. Get this guy while he's down. Hi there. There you go, keep the bleeds up. There you go. Or try and keep the bleed up before they get out of there. There you go. Haha, <laughs> have that. There you go. Now we got him. Yeah, as you can see, the bleed the bleeds really do help with the with the daggers for, for these guys. My dagger's nearly broken, but yeah, that's the thing. Oh, okay, there we go, got it. Oh, more bees are coming. More bees are coming. Okay, let me back up here so I can catch up on chat as well. Um, and let's see. Can I just give a wave to crazy shout out? Thank you very much for giving a wave a shout out. Where it says, uh, I just need to know what I need to do for 100%. I know mutations count, so all that means... Uh, I know mutations count, so that means befriending the ants. But does infecting them add to it as well because of uh, the crafting recipes? Um, honestly, I'm not sure, like, now. Because, like, I what I'll have to do is go through, like, my old card lock save um and see if i can like get everything in that main game and see if new game plus is actually a requirement for 100 percent because i don't even know if it is yeah i'm, hung I'm hungry now that's not good Oh shit! Hi there. Right, here we go. Right, another one. Oh, there you go. These guys aren't giving me a break, are they? Okay, there's one, another one. I got it. Right, come on, you guys. There's another one, and you. Haha! <laughs> I like how I beat him to the side first before I actually killed it. That was awesome. I think there's a bee under me as well. There you go. Kai says, uh, one super big, a 100% remix world. Oh, okay, so you, so that's the 2D one. So I'm guessing that if, if one is like, uh, 
So if what is to like grow big again in the so okay, so that's grow big in a, in a remix yard then. But then the hundred percent in a remix yard. So I'm I'm guessing that means that you don't technically need to remix to get the hundred percent for like the main world. Then I have no idea. <laughs> he fell really slowly then. Hi. Come back here, you. Ow. Okay. Oh, that one knocked me over. Okay, keep the bleed going. Yeah, as long as you block that attack, we're okay. I got him, and here we go. Right, come on, B. Oh, there comes another one. <laughs> There's another one. Why are there so many bees? I think, I've been, I think I'm going to destroy an entire hive of bees at this point. Yeah, we need to eat and drink soon. Tiny Pete needs food badly. That's not good. Okay. <laughs> I can eat a bee! Hey, we win. Right, okay, let me try and... I think I had some mushrooms on me, didn't I? Yep. Yeah. Okay, that'll save, that'll save me for a minute. And... Okay, here comes another one. Man, these guys are over. I think, that's a, I think that one's a regular flying bee, though, so that won't really do too much. Oh, there we go. That was pretty good. Uh, Kaya says, there's a new note and trinket to get before you can go super big. Yeah, that's, that's true, yeah. Um, you can still get super big. Uh, you can still get super big before the remix. Order. Okay, because, yeah, there's, the, there's, like, the deuces note and then the... Um, yeah, so it's that juice assigned note, and then the scabby in the remixer room, and the yeah, it's the scabby in the remixer room, and the note in the remixer room as well, isn't it? Those those three you need, and then you probably need all the uh, ant queen recipes that are available in that in there as well, because they they're like new science shop purchases, aren't they? And I know you need all the science shop uh, the science shop purchases before you can uh, before you can actually beat the before you can like beat new game 100% right so yeah for new game plus then i'm guessing and then it's just you got to get everything from the i don't know if you have to get like all the weapon unlocks and everything or even if that counts i don't know hi my dagger might be about to break but i'm still in it get back here b oh, oh, no. oh that one hit me ow Thanks to spicy safety there, I didn't really do that much damage. Yeah, because I got spicy safety, like, uh, as a mutation right now, like, the bees don't do that much damage, so that's pretty good. So yeah, if you're struggling with bees, put on spicy safety, and to get spicy safety, uh, level 2, eat 3 spicy candies, um, and then you will be fine. Because yeah, things like bees, mosquitoes, ladybugs, and stuff, it'll protect you against all of them. Right, so Billy Hog Bites, let's go eat some of these, there you go. And we got ourselves some apple bits, very nice. Uh, is there anything else on this little plate? Nope. Okay. So yeah, you can you can find a little bit of food up on here, but there's not a load of it. But yeah, more importantly, black worker ants. We need these as well. Hi there. I want my uh, I want my club. Damn it. Okay. Hi there. Yeah, they're gonna run away now and bleed out. Bleed out and die. Thank you. There you go. There's one. And let's see if we can get the other ones. Well. Yeah, I need to get some more food up here. I think there's actually a Mac and Bees up in here as well, isn't there? We can get. So that's the thing we need to get. Where'd the, where'd the other guy go? Where is your dead body? I need to find it. Is it over here? Ah, did one of the others like die and disappear or something? I have no idea. I don't, I don't run off, but it died somewhere, and I, I can't find it. Damn it! Um, guys, I think the unlocks uh, the unlocks count, but crafted is not needed. Oh, okay. Uh, so the new notes for the infected recipes and all that count for 100. So that means to get real 100%, you need to get at least New Game Plus 3. Yeah, yeah I think if you want to get, like, the real 100% from the New Game Pluses, yeah, you would need to. So yeah, you do, you do need to go a little bit further on. Um, so so uh, this is um, let's see, this is a uh, and uh, this is a newly created 1.4 world. Yes, um, I'm like on my full stream full stream in now for this uh, for this world. So we've got three of the uh, three of the burgle chips so far, and we're going to be going for the blackout one probably a little bit later on. Um, but yeah, made made it a fresh one so that if uh, if people were like. You know, if people like coming in on from console or anything were like new to it and they were just like, oh, how do I do this? I'd be at a point 
where I could like show them like here, how, here's how you go. So yeah, essentially I'm trying to like do all this so eventually I can make like a, a walkthrough of uh, a walkthrough of like how you do like everything to get 100% and then how to get to new game plus, etc. So yeah, kind of kind of started like that. And look, we actually got some fresh believer hog bites here. I think those are our first ones. There you go. So lots of analyze now. Guy says uh, you can get infected. That's a new game one. Yeah, you 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 can um, in new game plus one, but I don't know if you need. But that's the thing, though. If you get Infected Dance in New Game Plus One, that means one of the baby Fire Ant pets you won't get, right? So that means then you would need to go to... You'd probably need to get to the next one to get those or something. Or something like that, I think. Um, if it kind of says you get... But yeah, if you, if you infect the Red Ants, then yeah, you can get them in uh, New Game Plus One. But I don't know if that means then, because you forego the pet, the Red Ants in New Game Plus One are going to be infected, right? So that means the Queen will be infected, so you'd have to go to New Game Plus Two to um yeah but yeah so so yeah you'd have to befriend yeah if you if you befriend them before you remix though you're not going to get the infected dance in new game plus one right so if you befriend all three and then go to new game plus one then that's it that then that's it so you need to then go to new so either way it's uh either way it's plus two isn't it because i don't think you can infect them after you befriend them um hmm Okay, Mac and Bees, there you go. So we'll go and get those ones. But there we go. But uh, and but how you how you doing by the way? Uh, 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 Light Rat Max, welcome in. Thank you so uh, or Light Rate Max, thank you so much for, pop, for, for popping in as well. I hope you're doing good over there. Kind of says, ah, yeah. You see, you see what I mean. So either way about it, you've got either way about it because the because if you befriend all three in New Game Plus One, you then have to infect to then get the infected in New Game Plus Two, right? Now if you befriend two and infect one. Then in New Game Plus One, you can't befriend in New Game Plus One because that queen is now infected. So then you have to go to New Game Plus Two. So it's it's minimum New Game Plus Two, I think. Uh, so befriend them pre New Game Plus, then New Game One, and infect them, and then New Game Plus, then New Game Two, they're infected now. Yeah, I'd probably do. I'd probably do it that way. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna say. Yeah, I think. I think because you have to. Is is it's because like when you infect an ant queen. It, uh, it it counts as the infected ant queen. So when you feed it the sando, it doesn't give you the ambassador mutation or the or the or the ant pet, right? So yeah, so yeah, new game plus two. I think is the minimum you need. If you want to infect all three, though, I don't think you can find the fire ant recipe for, to infect the fire ants until new game plus two. So if you want to see all three infected factions, you need to get to new game plus three. I think. Uh, right, so there's that one done. Can I analyze that one? There you go. Bee first, bee stinger. And then I guess I'll analyze these for the human food. There you go. So it does give you human food if you have it already, but we already have it anyway, so it's fine. Okay, so before we really proceed on too much, I'm going to actually go over to... There's, a, there's actually a cooler box that we found on the pit table earlier. You actually want to drop into this because there is a milk molar in here, right? So to get a milk molar, we can just drop into here, uh, use a... I don't have a deadline. That's fine though. Doesn't matter. And we'll just go break up uh, milk. A uh, milk molar. There you go. There you go. And there is another milk molar just for us right there. Nice. Okay. So yeah, but because we got mac and bees now, and we've eaten the mac and bees, we get uh, we actually get full defense. So that's gonna help us. I don't know if we can actually make this jump without a dandelion. Usually, I'd say get a dandelion and make this jump. Can we make the jump? Let's see. Not quite. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Um, I'll go to the field station. There we go. We'll just respawn at the field station here, and then we can just get our stuff. There you go. <laughs> I see. I was thinking maybe I can make the jump, but not quite. Yeah, needed any line for that. I was. I was very. I was very slightly short. Okay, so we'll go down here. <laughs> but yeah, I think I uh, something broke. What broke? Was it my armor or was it? Oh, my shield broke. Okay, that's fine. That's not. Uh, that's not a hard thing to fix. Okay, so drop down here. Yeah. Grab my stuff. Yes, yeah, so I need to get some more dandelion tusks before I really explore some more. Left. There you go. <laughs> that was that, 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 that was funny though. That was like I was like I just I just missed it. I was like ah, oh. but yeah. So yeah, if you have a dandelion, you can kind of like jump back over. But if not, then yeah, you'll have to drop down. It's obviously safer to drop down from the lower points, and you won't die like I did. But there you go. I've never I've never tried to make that jump without a dandelion, so I was thinking yeah, maybe Beware. we can. There's a bee. Hello, bee. How you doing? More bees? More fuzz. And more fuzz means... Well, I don't know what that means, but... Uh, more, more bees, more fuzz. More fuzz, more good, right? Something like that. All right, can I repair that? Yes, I can. There you go. Repair my dagger. Uh, let's go get this guy as well. There we go. And come on in there. Wee! Clunk. There you go. Aha! You in? And I think we got a new sub over on YouTube. 
thank you so much for the sub. I'm not sure who that was. Uh, oh, I'll check in a second because uh, I wonder if my uh, I wonder if my YouTube chat has decided to stop working again. Uh, come on, you. Uh, wait a minute. All right. Okay. Oh, I want to check my chat. Damn it! You. How dare you? Ah, stop it, you. Come here. Now, can I check my chat, please? Make sure I'm not missing anything. I'm not. Uh, let's see. So, a new, uh, new one from uh, Lin uh, Light Ray Max. Thank you so much for your sub, dude. Uh, Asylum, eh? <laughs> yeah, we got. Uh, we're, we're all a little crazier. Yeah, I, again, my uh, my bot is deciding not to uh, give me YouTube chat messages again. Hang on, guys. Let me uh, let me reset this thing once again. Sorry about this, guys. Let me uh, let me go reset this um, one more time. It won't take me like two minutes to do it. Um, I'm just gonna be like, hey, um, I wonder if there's like, I wonder if I can use. Um, uh, mix it up to kind of push messages or something. Let me see. Uh, let's see. I need to go to here. And we need to close down this thingy. And then just reopen it again. It should make it work again. I, I have no idea why it's having so many issues today. Um, it's just being, it's just being like really crap. <laughs> um, so here we go. Let's go and do the Twitch show. Yeah, it's, it's giving me, it's giving me a lot of problems today. I think this is why I started like streaming back over here and then I ended up just ended up being like, nah, I can't be bothered with it. It was too much. It was, there was too many issues going on. Um, let me just, let me just type some test messages for myself over there. Uh, and let's see if the bot picks it up. Let me see. Cause yeah, I can hear the, uh, I can hear the, I can hear, I can hear it like, uh, doing stuff. There you go. There you go. It's coming back through again. There you go. So sorry about that. Uh, sorry about that Light Remix if I missed you there. Uh, yeah, my bot's deciding just to be like, hey, you don't need to, you don't need to read your YouTube chat. No one cares about that. <laughs> and I'm just like, but I do. <laughs> Stupid bot. It's, it's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to see if there's a way to like, try, like push messages or transfer messages or something and see how that goes. Cause yeah. I don't know why it's not uh, doing the chat. I mean, I I could use restream chat, but I really don't want to use restream chat because like you can't customize it in certain ways, and it sucks. Um, like for 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 customizability, it it, it actually sucks. It's terrible. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna need to figure out like it's definitely an issue with streamlabs though that's what it is. Like the re the restream chat does pick up all messages, but the the format is crap. Whereas the uh, whereas the streamlabs one doesn't get all the messages but the format is better because you can like customize it with your own html and css and stuff which is a lot better so yeah it's it's kind of a it's kind of a bit of a problem at this point but yeah i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to see if i can kind of come up with a way around it um because yeah i really need to get that sorted so otherwise someone will come, someone will come in and say hi and i missed them and i'll feel really bad because then you know they, they took the time out of their day to be like oh hey and then i just like from their point of view they might think i'm just ignoring them and i'm not it's just you know the the bot that i have is just being dumb um <laughs> so yeah i need to i need to figure out what's going on with that honestly i mean if i have to use restream chat again i'll just use restream chat again it's gonna suck but i will if i need to because the thing is the thing is as well with the um with the youtube and with the youtube and twitch chat app i have I can configure it to make a little a small. You probably hear every time a chat message comes through, there's like a small beep, and that lets me know that I got a chat message. Because like as a as a half blind person, it's nice to know when something's come in because I don't see what happens on my left side. So you know, if I see on my left side, if I hear it, then I look to my left and then I see the message right, and then it will it will come through. Um, so yeah, it's it's really helpful for that. But unfortunately, restream. The restream chat app does not offer that kind of, uh, you know, new sound on chat received. It well, it, it kind of does, but it, it pushes it through a Windows notification, and it's and you know, and for that, then you've got to like, it shows up in the bottom right, and that kind of overlays on your game. And they did it in like the worst way possible. <laughs> so yeah, as it went. Not not to mention that every few days you've got to log into it again, and it's like, why do I need to log into my chat app? It's literally just posting messages. It's like there's no sensitive info on that apart from like messages people post, and you know, if they leak their own sensitive info, then that's on them. Do you know what I mean? It's like, why do I have to log in again? <laughs> Let's get this out of the way. Right. Let me just check over here. Yeah, okay, everything seems to be working by now. But yeah, it's a little bit weird, honestly. Right, come on, you. Come on, then. Right, there we go. Now I can stun this guy. Aha! Face my girthy ant club. <laughs> I mean, red ant club. That's also kind of girthy. Um, oh, I found an Easter egg! Guys, we found an Easter egg! Ooh! Ooh, we got to harvest it! Yes! All right, Mike, we might get some chocolate. 
We might find some chocolate. <laughs> right, see if we can get these. So yeah, you can. So there you go. Confirmed. You can get a new game. You can get Easter eggs in regular new game. You don't need to be in new game plus to get one. Very nice. All right, what are we going here? We got ourselves. Okay, so we got candy corn. That's nice. Um, so we got some. Oh, you can get sour lumps in there. Nice. Uh, chocolate. There we go. Mint shards uh, and some plant fiber. Not sure why we got plant fiber in there, but okay. Uh, I guess I can get rid of the plant fiber. There you go. Yay, we got, Easter we got an Easter egg. We win. Okay, let me eat this mac and bees as well. Oh, I didn't eat the mac and bees. Okay, I thought I did. That's that's why we that's why we died to that fall, because I was thinking, yo, guys, we got balls defense right now, so everything's fine. And I just, like, die. <laughs> uh, Moon says, I live at 123 Main Street, any town, USA. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, uh, it says, could you check your in-game time, please? I heard that that had something to, that had something to do with the eggs. Um, in-game time, day 20. I'm currently on right now. So yeah, and uh, also my actual time time is 7.03 in the morning. So like 7 7 a.m. was when I roughly picked it up. Um, so yeah, day 23, 7 a.m. Or day 27 a.m., sorry, was when I got it. Uh, so can we analyze the chocolate that we get? Uh, no, okay, we can't analyze that. But we can analyze this stuff, so that's good to do that. So we get a little black ant helm. This is going to give me the black worker ant mount and the stuffed black worker ant. And this is going to give me shinobi sneeze and pollen arrows. Yeah, don't, guys, don't, don't use pollen arrows. They're terrible. Just don't, don't bother with them. So, it's, and honestly, so is the Shinobi Sneeze. Both of those items are, like, they are just really bad. <laughs> Especially the Shinobi Sneeze, considering it actually hurts you when you use it. So, yeah, just just don't. Um, but, yeah, we actually we actually got a uh, we actually got a Sour Lump, which is very rare at this, uh, to get them at this point in the game. All right. So, there's a lot more bees over here. And I need to drink water soon as well, because we're running out of... Uh, Run out of hydration. Eight feathers on that one. They've definitely increased the feather drops again. I like that. Um, so that's really good. So I need to drink something. Nice there we clean. go. That'll sort me out for a minute. There we go. Ah, fucking Nora. Who did that? <laughs> Great. <laughs> There's a. I think the plant fibers are meant to represent the confet the confetti like wrapping paper and stuff that's in Easter egg baskets. I mean, I guess, I guess so. It's just it's just kind of like random though. You you think though it'd actually be dry grass chunks in there? Um, because it would have all dried out, wouldn't it, if it was in there for a bit? Grace is keeping you on your toes, my friend. I know. I know you are. Yeah, bugger. <laughs> right, hello, bee. Right, see, so yeah, we got to take out these bees to get... Uh, there's actually a can over there with something in it, which we need to get, so come here, come here, bee. Right, can I... Uh, can, you, can, you, can you, like, not fly away so I can kill you? <laughs> the bee's like, no, I'm using my evolutionary advantages. I have, well, I have got the evolutionary advantage of being a fool. Wait, that's not really an advantage. But you're still dead, so I still win. <laughs> It's still an advantage if you die. Right. So, yeah, there's a can right here. And if we get into this can, there's actually a thousand raw science in here. So, we kind of, you got to like jump from the, from here to get into it. And then you kind of land there and you jump inside there. Yeah, yes. Yeah, it's, it's a bit difficult to get inside. But, yeah, thousand raw science right here. Very, very nasty one to get into. And then we need to kind of come out this way. Oh, can we? Come out of here. Yeah, let's see if I can come back down here. There you go. We can kind of lower ourselves back down here. There we go. Nice. So there is, a, there is another one. All good. And let's see. And Carnage! She says, and I'm here. Welcome over there, Carnage. <laughs> Welcome to the other side of things. <laughs> and Lauren like, like, says, hi, Carnage. All right. Uh, Grace says, get it right, Max. I'm a, bl <laughs> so, so I'm a, I'm a bloody bugger, remember? I mean, yeah, you, you're probably, and that's the thing. The, 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 there's so much you, you cause so much chaos of like everyone, and like everyone's eyes probably like uh, start bleeding. So yeah, they, so there's a lot of blood around. So starving. yeah, that that would probably turn you into a bloody bugger because then you'd have their blood on your on your hands. So yeah, you are a bloody bugger. <laughs> you're a bloody bugger. <laughs> He's covered in the people's blood due to too much chaos. <laughs> uh, right here we go. Come up here, and we got a new follower as well. From uh, we've got uh, Indo. Uh, uh, hang on, In Indominus Voids or Indo Minus Voids? I'm not sure which is the correct pronunciation, but thank you so much for the follow. Very much appreciated. I think I probably need to change my follow notification, don't I? Because um, I where where I used to play a lot of Seven Days to Die and like Left for Dead and stuff. Like the Hunter thing really worked, but like I don't know. I think I need to change it now to something else. I don't know. Maybe, maybe like a, maybe like an aphid or something, 
Or, may, or may, well, no, no, may, maybe the uh, maybe the infected broodmother scream or something like that. that that'll work. Larry Vet says, uh, oh, man, it's been to, it's been too long since I heard a hunter scream. I know, right? <laughs> but yeah, I used to play a lot of like Seven Days to Die and Left for Dead and stuff like that. So I had that as my follow thing. Um, let's see. And and Grace uh, and Grace says, uh, it says, uh, it says welcome in 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 Indominus. Is is it Indominus or Indominus? Uh, Indominus. Okay, there you go. I was, I was gonna say yeah. It's, it's, it sounds like it rolls with the tongue a bit better. Right, hello. <laughs> that bee, that bee was just taking its anger out on the honeypot then. It's like stupid fucking honeypot. I hate you. Hi there. Bee clunk. Hello. <laughs> One dead bee. And hey, you were meant to get stunned and fall to the ground so I could kill you quicker. There you go. Did did he just like fly into the air then? <laughs> I I swear they I swear they carry their physics over in some weird way. Hi there. <laughs> He's gonna circle me now. It's like Nyeow. <laughs> I love it when it does that. Uh, yeah, they, sometimes they slightly miss and they'll circle. It's great. Hi there. Come here, bee. Yeah, all these bees are gonna fight us up on this plate here. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Picnic Plate Arena. We have our gladiator, Max Fox. And facing him is one swarm of very angry bees. But what would prevail? Will the bees' evolutionary advantage of flight give them the win? Or will Max's evolutionary advantage of being an idiot give him the win? Probably him being an idiot, because then he doesn't feel pain, and he has the he has the DNA makeup of a slowpoke. Not able to feel pain, even when a bing, uh, even, even when a bee stings him right in the penis. Hey. And as you can see, one more bee has come into the arena. They want to fight him, but they're staying in a distance because they don't like Max with that dagger. He's cheating by making the bee bleed, and he's poisoning the bee, and kills the bee, and down he goes. <laughs> come in. One! Two! Three! <laughs> uh, says, uh, hey man, thank you for your seven days to die money tutorial. It says, uh, and uh, how, you, how you doing, Destro uh, uh, Welcome in, dude. It says, uh, I've learned a lot of new things. I'm actually uh, I'm actually doing a reform of the videos at this point um, with like a new plan. I'll be making, a, I'll be actually posting the episode list like publicly so you guys can like essentially say, yeah, we like this new format of it or no, not, le not, not like that and keep it as you are. Uh, a lot of people have said like the, because I post like a community post for it. A lot of people said, yeah, we like the new idea better, but I'm going to post like the new episode list and uh, essentially it's going to allow me to like interchange. Like, so say when Alpha 22 comes out or well, it's actually beta 1.0 now, but when that comes out, if then if there's things that don't have any changes, I won't have to re-record the episode to be like, hey, this is the Alpha 22 version or this is the beta one version. I can just be like, I can just take out the parts that need to change and then swap them back in. And I can just say, hey, welcome to my money tutorial series for seven days to die, right? And it will, it will just carry through and work together. Uh, Cousin kind of says, um, seven seasons behind, best be free on Game Pass. <laughs> seven seasons behind. I mean, the dev cycle is a very long time, isn't it? But yeah, guys, if you come down here, you will actually find a scabby right here. So guys, guess what? We got a scabby. Yeah. All right, so that's that first one done. So now we need to come over here and we can go through the Minotaur maze because we haven't really been through here yet. So let's go see what we can find. So we're going to come through here and here we go. So we got a Minotaur maze. Let's go and explore. See where we go. So you got four different paths we can take. Let's take the one on the right first and see where that goes. And as you can see, there's lots of these mant figurines in the maze here. So yeah, this is essentially Minotaurs and Myrmidons is like uh, D and D but in grounded. So there you go. So we're going to grab our raw science from over here. And let's keep going down this way. Grace says that uh, from what I hear, kind of Xbox is taking seven days. Uh, Xbox is taking seven days from Game Pass. All right, then we come over here. As you can see, there's actually a gum nugget over here, but we do need a tier two shovel to uh, to dig that and harvest it, which we haven't gotten yet. We actually need some ant mandibles to get that. Um, now, if we come over here, you'll see there's another man that's actually here, kind of in the dead end. But don't just walk past this, guys. If you go behind it. There is a crusty roly poly leg plates right here. So uh, it's it's actually like your your first one of your first tier three pieces of armor. It is crusty, so it's like not as good as like the the regular roly poly armor. Um, it doesn't have as much durability and it doesn't have a set bonus. But for defense wise, it's 
just a little bit above Ladybug. So there's a heavy armor, slightly more defense than Ladybug. But other than that, you know, if you've already got Ladybug, there's probably no reason to switch to it. But say if you come here early and you're just like, I need some better armor, that's one piece of armor you can get. The other the other parts of the Krusty Rolly Poly armor are not on the picnic table, though. They're actually in they're, they're all in three different locations. All right. So when we come over here, we can uh, we'll, we'll find a dice over here. Now, if you can roll a d if you can roll a d20 on this thing, you'll get another level of coup de gras. So we're going to see if we can do that. So if we just hit it with our Red Ant Club, you can see it kind of rolls a bit, but not much. But let's see if a charged hit will work a bit better. If we give it a, if we give it a charge strike, as you can see, then it will actually roll. So we want to try and roll a 20 on this thing. So yeah, we're just going to look in the corner and we're going to give it a charge strike and see if we can get up to a 20. And yep, there we go. We actually got it on our second roll. So there we go. And this will give us coup de gras level two. There we go. And we can go get the raw science from here. So yeah, that's how you get level two. If you're regular, um, kind of says, uh, kind of says, that's what I'm saying, Greg. Keep up, dear. <laughs> that doesn't mean it'll be. That doesn't mean it'll be on game pass. <laughs> but yeah, that's the thing. This, if you're struggling, like if you're like using your club like normally like this, and it's not rolling, or if if any of your weapons don't really make it roll that much, use a charged hit. But the more your weapons upgraded, the the easier it will be to roll this thing. Uh, if you're playing on mild or medium, you'll have an easier time rolling it. If you're playing on woe, your damage output is less, so it will be harder to roll it. Um, and that does affect, like, the rolling as well. So, once we get to the end, as you can see, we require a Minotaur Maze Key, and there's actually an Auxiliary Chip inside this chest. Unfortunately, we don't have it. So, let's have a let's have a little think about where the key could be, right? So, we need to find a key, but we haven't seen it on the table. Now, if you think about it, when you're... When, when, when like, when kids are sat at this table playing Minotaurs and Myrmidons, well... They may have uh, it may, maybe the maybe the dungeon master who is sat in this space right here has the notebook right so this this is this is probably the seat where the dungeon master sits right so if we have a if we have a look at where he would probably have been sat maybe he kept the key in his pocket so what would happen if maybe he stood up and the key fell out the pocket where would it go Take well that's kind of a big set of eyes looking down at this little area right here so maybe the key fell out the pocket and fell in that little puddle there. So let's see if we can find it down there. <laughs> Kai says, uh, Kai says, uh, look up under the book. Let's see. I I've not actually read under the book here. What is it? What is inside the book? Uh, is it just, a, is it just blank notes? Uh, let's see. Looks like it, it looks like it's all just blank inside the book. Unless there's like something hidden up here. Um, oh yeah, you're talking to, uh, or unless you're referencing the zip line. Yeah. Uh, see if there's a, uh, see if there's any text. Uh, there's, there's, there's no text under the book, unfortunately. No, it's just, uh, just blank notes. But yeah, essentially, if you think about it a little bit, you'd think, oh yeah, the dungeon master would probably have the key that then they give to the players when they, when they get through the end of the maze or whatever. So yeah, if he was sat right here and it fell out his pocket, maybe it kept it in his pocket, it would probably end up like over there. Right. So let's go and have a look over there to see if we can find the key. Um, kind of says that's definitely sus. No DM notes. I know, right? So yeah, let's go get our dandelion and we will essentially hover down here. And I'll just drop a little bit faster. So let's go and see if the key perhaps fell down in this little hole over here. Because that would probably make the most sense where it fell, right? So let's have a look and see if we can find it. So let's investigate this little area here. And you can see there's actually a little bit of a gap over here. So if we look under the water, as you can see, well, there's no key in the water here, but there is an exposed pipe. So why don't we have a look down here? So in the exposed pipe, oh look, we actually found a little bit of a uh, little bit of marble over here. So brittle marble, free uh, free upgrade rocks. We definitely want to take those. And let's see if the pipe goes anywhere else. There's some quartzite over the other side as well. And it also looks like there's actually a, a, a gap down the bottom there as well. So let's go grab the uh, quartzite right here. Dub says your pipe is exposed. <laughs> I gotta cover myself. <laughs> uh, says it. Yeah, if I understand it correctly, uh, if they don't change uh, the ID and names of skills, for example, so my mod, which is mostly skill based, will still work fine in a twenty two right. I'm thinking so. Yeah, as long as the skills don't affect like armor, then yes, I think it will be fine. Um, guy says uh, that's uh, that's not marble. That's a glam rock. <laughs> Yeah, it's a it's a it's a, it's a it's a rock of style or something, isn't it? Like they, they, they remember when they used to be called like stones of toughness and like rocks of style and stuff like that, and a, and a, and a cool stone of toughness and a, a rad stone of toughness, and they were just like, why are we calling it that? Let's just call it quartzite and marble like we used to. <laughs> I don't know why they changed it to like stone of toughness and rock of style, and then like, they were just like. Yeah, let's just change it back <laughs> to actually to, to just reflect the materials it actually was. It was such a weird change. Tidy, how's it going? How's it going? How's it going, Tidy? Welcome in. And uh, Yuri says, uh, Yuri says, spoiler alert, it's in the broken pipe. Indeed, it is. So if we swim down here, and we swim back here, you can see there's not much here. But if we look over here, 
Oh, well, what do we have here? We have some thistles and thorns and stuff in the way and roots and things. Let's go chop these out of the way. And if we chop, uh, if we chop our way through this, then we will see there is actually a key right here. And there is the key to the Minotaur Maze End. So that's what we're going to grab. And then we can take this back up and unlock the box. So yeah, that's how uh, that, that's essentially how you can like logically work your way through to find the key, unless you haven't defined it by chance before. There you go. And Tiny's like, guys, doves, graves. I hope you're doing well, Tiny. Let me make sure everything is uh, caught up on that one. Uh, it's uh, yeah, I've been too long since I've been done, so. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad the the, uh, the mining tutorial has been useful for you, by the way, Destroyer. I'm glad they've been helping you out. But yeah, I will try and uh, I will try and do like I, I'm going to try and like finish the episode list of what I think that would be useful for people because I think the the only problem with my current morning tutorials is they're very long, aren't they? They're like an hour long per episode. So essentially, I'm trying to break it down into like shorter chunks to be like just to cover like one thing rather than being like oh you're gonna need to go into all these files to do this one change right instead of doing that i can just be like you know how to remove a recipe or how to change the ingredients of a recipe you know something that's going to be a bit shorter it'll still be like you know maybe 20 to 30 minutes long per video but it will be you know instead of also in every video me having to explain like what append does and what set attribute does and remove and you know you know insert before and stuff like that instead of me having to explain that in every episode i'll just have one episode where it's just like hey this is an episode with all of the modding operations so if you ever get stuck on them and what they do come back and watch this episode right and then i can just cover all of them in one episode and like i can show exactly how they work so that when it comes to like an episode about you know adding recipes i can just be like you use append and you this is the x path you need and then this is what happens rather than me having to go so now if we look in the xml over here you can see that the append operation does this right i, I don't have to explain that in that episode so then it'll be a short form content right um kai says yeah just getting awakened and Graves like I felt that like yeah, Graves like that that was like that was me like 90 minutes ago I feel your pain <laughs> all right oh actually wait there's some science over here on the uh cooler box isn't there I always miss this one so yeah if we run back down here um it blends it blends in like super well like it's very difficult to see that science. one but yeah we got the science over there nice and now all we gotta do oh, this is so cool like a real life minotaurs and myrmidons adventure ah I feel like a real adventurer now Yes, Tiny Pete, you have now gained adventurer status. <laughs> Grace says, uh, yeah, no, that was him about 90 minutes ago. Yeah, Grace, Grace is just like, hey, hi, guys. I'm too tired to cause that much chaos right now, so hi. <laughs> All right, so now we go open the Maya maze. And there you go. There is the chest at the end, and as you can see, we get a few things. So first of all, we get some upgrade rocks, so we'll get some of them. So that's for our armor. And guys, guess what? We get a scabby. Yeah. There's a mega molar right there. There's also a burgle chip right here, an auxiliary one. And then finally, we've got so we got ourselves a couple of bits from there as well. Excellent. So let me see what quests I've actually got to do as well. I need to see what we've got. We got to build a grinder, make slurry, and craft nachos. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna need to get some of these done for some more science. But that is how you get the burgle chip up here. Coco Queen says uh, food won't be long. Max uh, says uh, I feel I I I feel so bad. I got you a pineapple pizza. Oh, thank you, baby. Why why do you feel why do you feel bad, my love? I, I don't know why you feel bad. Like the, the like the, the the sheer weight of the fish and chips is like still in my stomach right now. <laughs> like come and made fish and chips earlier, and yeah, like the, the plate was so heavy that I could I I was like holding it up like this, like just on my lap, like with one hand while I was eating with the other one. It was that heavy that I was just like I can't hold it up anymore. I literally just had to put it on my knees because <laughs> there was a, there was so much uh, there was so much good coffee cuisine in it. As thing, not only does Coffee Queen make amazing food, she makes lots of amazing food, right? And it's it's, it's so good, it's so good. I was I, I was like stuffed after her. I'm just like, oh, and then Coffee Queen's like, I can't eat all of mine. Do you want do you want do you want the rest of mine? I'm there. I'm sat there just like, no, I'm fine. <laughs> uh, let's see. Gray says, would you rather be high octane chaos, trying to constantly find ways to mess with you and the stream? Uh, pineapple pizza is amazing. No need to apologize for that, says Graves. <laughs> and uh, goes to see pineapple pizza. What do you mean, ew? Pineapple goes great on pizza. I could use something to drink. Ask Carnage. She agrees. <laughs> Carnage is like, what? <laughs> so, what bullshit is this? All right. So one thing I'm actually going to do as well is I'm actually going to glide. You can actually glide to the upper yard from here as well. Um, I think the cooler box is the easier way to do it, but if you want another way to get to the upper yard, you can glide from like the cooler box or from here and you can make it to those stones right there. So I'm not actually, I'm not, actually, I'm not going to do that now because I need to drink. But yeah, that's one way you can get to the upper yard without blowing up the rock to get to it. Uh, Coco is like, totally wrong. No, it's not. 
It's not wrong at all. There could be, there could be nothing more right in the world, apart from a coffee queen's love. Like that's the most right thing ever. But you know, well, pineapple piece is like a close deliver. second, right? Um, says uh, you says also. Can we all appreciate the banger OST the game has, especially the menu music? I I love I love the OST of this hey, game. Like I like. Just, just all the music I like. I like in this game. I don't. I don't think there's any one. Uh, I don't think there's any one track in this game that I dislike. No water filtration tablets needed. You know, because I think it was because uh, like Justin Bell was like the guy who composed most of the soundtrack for this game. Like at least, at least for the early game. Like all the RPI music and like the sandbox and stuff was made by Finishing Move. Like he only did like essentially the first half of the game, and then they, you know. For what for whatever reason they decided that they were going to use like another studio rather unless Justin Bell works there as well. But yeah. Honestly, if they did though, I don't know why. Because like the like some of the, the there are actually a couple of tracks that Justin Bell made that aren't included in uh, the game the game the game track. One of them being Shine and Rise. That's one of them that's not uh, the, the credit song is very funny. It's so funny. Yeah, I like the credit song. Uh, I somehow managed to merge two mods, modifying skills to work correctly. Um, so the the Winchester mini overhaul and custom perks, prestige skills. But I don't know how to add. Uh, I don't know how to add the next tab for new perks only. That that will probably be under UI. You'd need to add like a paging header to the uh, to the UI. I would have thought. Um, I'm not very well versed. Uh, not very well versed in UI, however. So I'm probably not the best person to ask. Your best option is to, if you're part of Guppy's Discord, um, ask someone on there who does UI because they'll probably be able to help you with that. Um, so uh, you don't have to waste one here. Yeah, you don't have to. Um, I'm going to do it anyway just to make getting up here easier. This is the normal way you get up. He can blow that rock up out of the way and get up to the top. But yeah, there is another way to get up, and I'll actually show you this way as well. Um, there's Well, there's three ways to get to this part of the upper yard. You can use the bomb over there. You can glide from the cooler box on the picnic table to get up there. Or you can actually parkour up there from over here. Now, I don't know if I can still do this because it's been a while. But yeah, essentially, you can actually, you'll can actually you see that there's a little bit of a gap right here. And you can actually parkour across this grass to get up to there, right? Guys, there's pineapple and pizza. You fucking disgust me. <laughs> uh, right, so here we go. So what we can do is we can jump over to this one. Right here. So if you got Natural Explorer, it helps. Then jump to this one, and then jump to this one. Now the trickiest part is to get to that little bit of grass there where my crosshair is. This is the trickiest jump. You gotta like kind of land on that, then back up, and then do another jump, and then you're there. And once you're up here, you will be in the upper yard. Now if you come here, be very careful because you because there are wolf spiders just up here, and everything else you find around here is gonna be tier three. So there, there. This this is essentially where you'll find tier three creatures. And a lot of wolf spiders too. So yeah, if you're coming up here, just be careful. <laughs> so the only thing I'm going to do while I'm up here is I'm not actually going to go into the grass over here. We're actually going to run along the, uh, the, the top here. Uh, I think there's actually some raw science around here, isn't there? Uh, the upper yard ascent somewhere. Because we can grab that raw science that's over here. Yes, yeah, so there's a bit of raw science here. So the normal way you come up, you'd actually end up like right on this leaf. But there is actually something else that we can get from being in the upper yard, so that's what we're going to go do. Says, uh, I don't know if I can do this. It's been a while. Maximum. <laughs> oh, uh, Yuri says, uh, says uh, we're upper yard now. Uh, there's, uh, we're upper yard now. Strap in and may God have mercy on us all. Yeah, exactly. It's, it get, once you get to the upper yard, things get really rough. However, there is actually one scabby we can find for the lower yard from this point here so you guys might remember the, you guys might remember the franken line just over here i'm not even sure if i discovered that as a place of interest yet but the franken line actually has a scabby on top of it and the easiest way to get it is to actually go to the upper yard walk back across the stepping stones and then just jump onto here there's the franken line and there is a scabby by the same name we got a scabby yeah there we go so yeah another another scabby you can get right there that's the franken line one uh, let's see, I think I, I think I want to try. I can add in then vanilla ones with some X uh, to add in vanilla ones with some X path thing. Now I have them with action skills together, so it's working fine. Because yeah, you can also use that. Uh, you can also do the UI stuff with X path as well. Like you can add like you can add new elements in with X path as well for like if you need to like page it. But yeah, you can uh, you can try you can try and uh, you can try like making it like maybe a, a separate skill so you can or like adding it to one of the existing skill trees perhaps so that it shows up in the same window. Uh, I want to draw something really cool on the Franken line uh, sometime. See, I remember when we had the I remember when there was the Franken art competition as well. Like there was like there was like you know people that were doing like solos and duos on the Franken line and. There was there was some really good entries on there, but yeah, it's re I find it really hard to I find it really hard to use. I find it really hard to use the uh, Franken line. It is, co it is cool though, but it's a, it's a difficult thing to use and master. 
Um, okay, so I'm going to go over here. And uh, by the way, Comfy Queen, how's your crocheting going, baby? I hope it's going well. Are you still working on the body, or are you working on a different part of the uh, a different part of the Yoshi now? And oh, look, there's actually a bit of quarter down here that I missed, so let's go grab that. We definitely want to grab these. More quartzite, yes, please. Thank you. Uh -huh. Give me that. Thank you very much. All right, so yeah, we are getting hungry and thirsty. We need to sort our food out, but yeah, we need to make uh, we need to make nachos as well. So that means we're gonna have to make nat jerky first, and then we can make some of those. And then we want to make a grinder and you know do the the plant slurry as well, because I think the game's gonna like direct us to like get a pet aphid or something. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to go do that at some point. But yeah, first of all, we have a uh, we have a burgle chip to hand in. So let's go hand in the auxiliary chip and actually give us some more raw science. And then once we do that, we should be good. Right, can I get in here, please? Yeah, thank you. There you go. Come through the door. So yeah, let's go hand in the auxiliary ship to Burgle. Right, hello, Burgle. Always happy to see a repeat customer. How can I help you today? I found an auxiliary ship. Ah, more chips. Thank you. Hand it over and let us see what I can remember. Alrighty. Mm, much better. Check the ASL Terminal Science Shop for the new recipe. Woohoo! Kogreen says, um, says uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a, uh, Kogreen says, uh, I'm a, I'm a twitching to, I'm, I'm a twitching to low grounded. Oh, you're, t you're twitching to low grounded, Coffee Queen, are you? And God is like, play it, Coffee Queen! <laughs> uh, are you, are, you, are we gonna have, are we gonna have a, a Coffee Queen stream with Grounded? Are we, are we maybe gonna have a coffee stream with, 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 with you in, in Grounded? And then, like, I can, I, I can join in as your sidekick, and like, we can, we can do more on your world and and, and stuff. Like, are we gonna do that? Maybe, maybe. Can we, can we, can we do, can we do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> uh, so there, Carnage. I think your anti-pineapple campaign is all at work. You probably absolutely love pineapple on pizza, and just realized you can cause carnage just by saying that garbage that uh, that, 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 that garbage that pineapple on pizza is disgusting. Kogan says, uh, no stream. My belly hurts. Aww. All right. I could really use some good grilling right about now. Oh, you want some good grilling? Okay, well here, here we go. Like, like, have my fucking spatula like in the ass. Like, like, like oh, does that, that does that feel good? Like, uh, uh. And then what I'm gonna do is like, oh, you, you, you want some more grilling? Like, I got, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hammer you now. Like, oh, oh, well, there we go. Oh, that, does that feel good, Burgle? Do you like that? Do you like that? Oh, he fucking loves it. <laughs> he, he's, he's like, ow, it hurts so good. <laughs> Nino says, I just had pineapple on pizza. Yes. <laughs> well done, Nino. <laughs> Uh, right, so now we're going to go into the ASL science shop. We can get ourselves a couple more of these. <laughs> Will it grind? And we, yeah, so we got to do these three and one of them is to tame a pet, isn't it? So yeah, I think I've done a load of the quests around this. So yeah, there's, there's a few here. And then we got a load of these, uh, a load of these other ones. A lot of these other quests I've actually done even to like quite late, late in the game as well. Like I've even done something towards this. I'm not even sure what I did there. Um, and yeah, some of these challenge ones I've already done as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, this is a head cannon. Burglar's a masochist. I know, right? Kogreen says, I wish I could turn raids off and still get achievements. I know, yeah. It's, it's annoying that you can't in there, but yeah, that's just the way it is, isn't it? Reach! My food's ready. Alright. Alright, guys. I'm gonna have to cut to a, uh, I have to cut to a BRB because, uh, food is here. And, uh, then we should be good. Right, hang on a sec. Um, so I'll be, uh, I'll be back, guys, in just a minute. Uh... <coughs> Sorry. Hang on, is that ant able to eat? I want to see, is that ant able to eat this meat here? It is! The, the ant is able to eat. Spending more of his time being stunned. He's jumping out the way of that one, though. There we go, waiting for his stamina to recover. Yeah, you got, got to manage that stamina. Oh, two, two of them down. They're doing, they're doing some significant damage here. He's running. He's running. He's running and trying to heal. Because you've got to twerk it, to work it, and twerk it, twerk it, twerk it. But that is gonna be cool, so make sure you come here and then you're gonna kill the termite kings if you shake your ass at them, cause it's super sexy curvy, so you twerk, twerk, twerk. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so there you go. Obligatory twerk is done right, so can Mr. Fox take down these termite kings? Oh, a perfect block right there. Control, guys, you've got to twerk it, to work it, and she give up a natural garbage. Because if you target high enough when you're older, what you're going to say, Charity Burbage, the lover of muggles, wants to teach the students that we should respect them. Ha! Twerk it, what to work it, what? Oh, bad, oh, fucking go, Dabra, what? <laughs> guys, like, wow. <laughs> what? I think I, did, I think I did pretty good then. Got, got on the old Harry Potter reverence. Uh, 
And uh, Dumpy says, clear throat uh, to go to go Petra star. <clears throat> Lee, 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 lee. <laughs> I know, I know the reference. Let me see. Come on, Jelly, join me. <laughs> Hell says, uh, I traded web ventures program not to work. I deleted and restarted the same round gem I've said ten times. Yeah, I'm telling you. Tell me, baby. No. Tell me. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> guy is like, what the time? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so essentially we need to go ahead and uh, start putting all the stuff around these and Ew. getting... Uh, <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, that was perfect. That was awesome. <laughs> I'm not doing that again. Oh, why not? That was great. Do it again. No. <laughs> Coffee Queen, can we get a... No. Oh, that was so fucking good. I like it. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, okay, this is bad, this is bad. Okay, oh god. Iron bars. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that wolf! No, 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 no that, that wolf that wolf got it so bad. No, no, I didn't. That wolf got it so bad. That was hilarious. That wolf ran right into the cop as he blew up. The cop blew up. And... I don't know. It should, it should either make you drop all your stuff or drop none of your stuff, not just part of it. <laughs> it's like, make up your mind, damn it. Okay, so yeah, I'll probably die in this main hallway here. There we go. There we go. Alright, we're dead. So yeah, I'll probably have to go back to collect like the depth modules and stuff like that. So that's fine. I need to make a new. Uh, I need to make a new one anyway. Goodbye, Mr. Vox. Says TS. <laughs> there we go. Uh, there we go. See, so, yeah. there, there, there is a difference. I didn't. I didn't pay. I didn't pay for that boat. I happened to find it. I was. I was. I was. Whoa! <laughs> whoa! I made that shark fly. Okay, this this shark. This shark can fly. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, I got, I got, I got a cock shot. I actually got a cock shot on this guy. Look, 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 look at, look at the place with that arrow, guys. That's my pet, my pet Nats marker. I pinch. But it's not actually my uh, thing. Pinch. What? What? I pinch. What? What? Leave a little pinch well, guys. You've got to twerk here, to work here, and shake it to the left. Because if you twerk it hard enough, when you shake it to the left, then you don't need to go to the right. But I'm going to go right anyway and twerk it like this, and then I'm going to go so backwards. What? Twerk it to work here, and go a little bit forwards too. <laughs> we twerk in all directions. <laughs> Mine is the anus of many directions. <laughs> Welcome back to Gran Turismo 3! <laughs> Alright, what we got here? So that is very fucking slow. Um, okay, well, let's get in it. I can probably win that last thing in the Beetle Cup. It says, oh my god, good impression. <laughs> uh, someone clip that. <laughs> no, don't clip it. Don't, <laughs> don't do it. Okay, let's, uh, can we put a Tevo kit in this thing or is it naturally aspirated? Um, oh, it's not, it's not even like... <laughs> uh, no, so I it says, I pinch. What? I pinch. I pinch. What? Maybe a little pinch shell, guys. You've got to twerk it. Very working. And shake that buff on the shadow. Because if you twerk it hard enough and you shake it hard enough, then you're going to fight one big widow. Because she's dead. The queen is dead. She's fucking dead. <laughs> twerk it. What? Do you work it? What? And shake that naughty shadow buff. Say so what? <laughs> oh, man. Can you imagine that? Says, uh, it makes sense. Uh, there's a mode for us when I'm going soon. Yeah, that would be. It would be nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good block. Good block. Okay. Right. He's. Uh, he's. Uh, he's. Oh, he's going for it. Okay. Wait. Don't turn on me. Don't turn on me. There you go. Okay. Oh. Got hit right by the. Uh, right by that giant laser ball. Look at that. Okay. Here we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Lasers. Lasers. Okay, two lasers. This is tough. That's it. That's it. Jump over. Jump over. Oh, he's gonna get scissors. Oh, he did get scissors. Oh, 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 he's gonna get scissors. Oh, he got scissors. Okay. Oh, he's still. He's still going though. He's still going. That's awesome. He's still going. Who says uh, suggestion is it? I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities, the Hedge Lab. Oh, <laughs> I died. <laughs> I talked to Virgil too long. <laughs> Pete thirsted to death. Yay! <laughs> well. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, like turn my game around. Let's try to do it. <laughs> Wait, where the? <laughs> I have no idea, he's up there! He's got up there! Alright, let me see. Oh, what is coming over here? Oh, a wolf spider! Uh, wait a minute. Wait, oh, you're coming this way, okay. Let me get you over here. Hello! Are you. Did you. Did you see. He, he was walking backwards! Did you see that wolf spider? He fucking Michael Jackson moonwalk backwards. What the? Uh, players, says, I have the dog out. No worries, dude. Take your time. It's all good. We'll go ahead. And, uh, I'll go ahead and wait for you to get started. Uh, guy kind of says, "What's he crafting?" Take a look around. I don't think he is. I think he's just. I, I think he's just like in a box or something. But you know, I don't think. He, I don't think he's crafting anything. It's fine. But we can. We can go have a look. Let's see. Oh, hello. Hello there. <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? <laughs> huh? Smithing station? <laughs> Ooh. Fella says, uh, the, best part of ground the best part of grounded is breaking it. And Kaya says, nah. Says, wow. Oh, man. Kaya says, I'm out. I think I think that's a disqualify. I think that I think that's immediate disqualify. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I think I'm, so I'm sorry, Black Widow, but... If you're upgrading shit in secret, yeah. I'm sorry, dude. I'm gonna have. <laughs> oh crap. Oh crap. Where do we go? Where do we go? Oh god. Oh god. This is actually really bad. Okay. Um, this is really bad. This is really bad. Okay. Get out of the way. Oh, we, we've had it. We've had it. We've had it. No, I miss. I'm dead. I'm dead. Keep up the great work. Oh, thank you so much. No! We got caught in the room. Ah! like mashed potato and like a it's kind of like a mincemeat kind of casserole kind of thing it was good it was very very good um how you doing shall we welcome back as well and grave welcome back as well and dubs how's everyone doing all right so we have our next boss is uh the waspish the most waspishy bug the waspishy fishy 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 <laughs> there's the, the most waspishy bug in the backyard as you guys know it's time for us to go do the wasp queen now so let's go and see if we park it we could, go, we could go do some more fighting. I'm um, almost there. Max, uh, Max, he's ready for you in a great position too. No! No! I'm... Really? Really? You just want me to go and just be like... I was like, oh... <laughs> just like, no! No! Let's, uh, let's just not. It's, okay, it's kind of too late we already did it, but... Hey Charlie, welcome to the stream. You've got to twerk here, to work here, and shake your butt for Charlie. Because if you twerk it high enough and you shake it real good, then everybody's gonna say surely. Wait, what? Don't call me Charlie Cole. Look at my butt, because it's really big and rounded and makes you say, hey, hey. so twerk here to work here, and shake that Charlie butt. Say what? <laughs> Uh, Italian says, uh, by the way, I was able to shoot the race especially yesterday. I struggled with it, but it turned out well. Nice, dude. Yeah, he can be a bit tough, especially at the end. But yeah, you can, you can do it. I, 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 had a, I had a feeling you'd be able to Being funny about the Patreon, I think it used to be the Pebble Foundations. I think it did. Yes, indeed it did. Well, guys, you've got to twerk here, to work here, and shake your butt to the left. Because if you took out a left with Miller Rock Game, then we're going to go to the right. But wait, there's not that much room in this cave. But look, we can twerk it forwards like this. Ha ha! Twerk it, to work it. Uh, the words of smithing station? Oh god. What? Bitch, what? 
Maybe it'll be chill, guys. You've got to jerk it. To work it when making stuff off a smoothing station. Because if you jerk it high enough and you like a fabulous spheres, then you're gonna find them all in the nation. When it's moving station in our nation. And it's gonna make our soul say, God damn it, god damn it, jerk it. What to work it? What? Hey, okay, that's the thing, but. <laughs> to help cheer her up. You've got to twerk it, to work it, to cheer up Larissa. Because if you twerk it hard enough when you shake that butt, she's going to find it really funny. So Larissa, you've got to smile and feel better very, very soon for us. So we got to go and twerk it, to work it, and shake that tiny peat butt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Fox. You're welcome. Okay, that's not good. He's dead. Okay, got him. Right, come back up here. Eat this. Okay. Well, Weaver's got involved in the fight. That's fine, we'll kill him now. We can get some... Uh, we might need a second spider chunk anyway. Yeah, that's what I was trying to avoid, but there we go. Luckily, I had the gorilla bars for now. Okay. Right, come on, old Weaver. Just... Don't even try you. Right, now we should get him. Another one. Come on then. Come on then. Got him, right. Illuminati! Oh, there's a dog up here, what the hell? He's oh, my protector. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the only one with funny noises. Okay, oh, it's bad. What? You pitch? What? Seriously? Well, guys, you've got to turkey. Alrighty, guys, I'm back. Hang on a sec. Let me just make sure I'm all caught up on chat and everything. Hopefully, everything's still good. Thank, thank you, everyone, for hanging out while I was gone. Uh, this is, uh, I want to, okay, no, I'm caught up on that side of things. Make sure I'm caught up on the other side as well. Um, so definitely just like, bruh. Hang on. So, Grace says, uh, I won't lie. You two like to, you like to, she like to bend over backwards for us. I think, uh, I thank you for it, but, uh, you got a follow for life. She's got, so, she's got such a crush now. You guys are, you guys are stuck with <laughs> Guy Green says, uh, not streaming, but belly hurts. Uh, I wish I, I wish I could turn Raze off. Okay, I read that lot over there. Uh, kind of says, uh, last two Bluey episodes here had me in tears. I'm batting, I, I'm batting this heartwarming ass cartoon from the TV. Ran over. <laughs> kind of like, kind of like, it shouldn't make me cry, but it made me, I'm not crying. There's a great, hang on. Um, and Dubs says, welcome back. Thank you, Dubs. Kind of says, um, uh, which, uh, <laughs> which, which nut is the angriest, the pistachio? <laughs> and, uh, kind of goes, ah, bless her graves. Uh, kind of, kind of, kind of says, I bawled my eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like I can just imagine I like, see this episode with some heartwarming stuff. This guy is there, just like. <laughs> oh my god! I can't, I can't I can't imagine Carnage bawling his eyes out though. Like I I don't know I, don't, I just don't see it. <laughs> but it does it would like it would it like I, I I don't know I don't I just I just I just don't see it. But anyway, let's go and get some science shop unlocks because we do now have another five thousand science to spend. So yeah, the picnic table one actually gives you access to the mint mace um and we also get the uh upgrade to a scabby scanner that gives us the molars as well so if you're looking for molars this is a really good one for now uh we're just gonna get the mint mace one uh so we're gonna go get that one uh, i've got 3200 left so i can probably buy another one so let's see i'll probably buy um we got buoyant foundations there or we got the oh actually let's buy the juicy mushroom sandwich because then we can go befriend the ant queen right so we'll go and do we'll go and do that one um Let's see, uh, Kai, Kai says, uh, Kai says, watch Lion King with me. <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> it's like, the, 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 one, the, one, the one thing from Lion King is just Simba. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got a drink order. Yeah, we need to refill our drink canteens as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna buy a couple of things from the science shop here. Let's go do these. And yeah, I guess we can start working on other quests as well. And then we should be pretty good. Uh <laughs> Grace says, uh, after I figured out she, she, she had a crush on Max, I brought up you to her. I asked her if she had a crush on you as well, and she turned even darker red. <laughs> oh, bless her. <laughs> that's, that's so fucking cute. <laughs> 
Uh, let's see. Uh, Kai says, uh, Kai, is that, is, uh, Kai says, is that the singing voice, Grave? <laughs> no, we, we, uh, the singing voice, like, like, like Coffee Queen's amazing singing voice that she, that she should totally, that she should totally amaze us all with. Um, Kai says, uh, Kai says, I'm not sure if, uh, oh, sorry, Coffee Queen says, not sure if you know, uh, what crush means here in the UK. I thought I mean I thought I meant the same thing over in the over in the states, right? Uh, Cover Queen, I think it's the same. Yeah, I, I, th I think I think it's the same thing, isn't it? So yeah, uh, I think I think so. Anyway, uh, let me make sure the side of things is still working too. It is. Okay, cool. Right, I'm all, I'm just making sure I'm all caught up and everything. All right, so yeah, one thing we need to do is make uh, was make nachos, wasn't it? That was one of the meals it wanted us to make. Um, so to do that we're gonna need to we're actually gonna need to get some gnats and turn them into jerky for that and the other thing is we need to make a we need to build a grinder didn't we so let's go get one of those made just for this temporary little base i know i say temporary base like by temporary base i mean like for the first half of the game is this where i this is where i am so we'll go make one of those and then we'll put that together there you go another 350 raw science and it wants us to make the plant fiber doesn't it yeah so we can use essentially anything we want but we i think it wants us to make plant slurry right so that is going to require regular plant fiber which we don't have any so i'm gonna have to make we need three plant slurry as well so we use one piece of eelgrass turned to three and then that should be good now the other thing we need to do of course is uh you know hunt a load of gnats as well because you know we always got to always, always, always got to hunt these nets. So yeah, we need to get a little of those. Uh, we'll drop the beefers and the stingers in here if we can, which we can. And then I do need to analyze like the sour lumps and stuff. Is there any other things I need to analyze here while I'm while I'm at it? Um, pollen is like a natural thing, so that can go in there. Chocolate and stuff can go in here. Fuck it, no, raise our phones. White. Okay, on. What? <laughs> Sorry, boxes. <laughs> well, guys, you've got to twerk it. Do you work it? And shake that butt for Razor. Because if you're shaking up hard enough and you're shaking good enough, then the assistant manager is gonna use his taser up your asshole. And it's gonna make you go, ooh, ooh, ooh. what? Turk it, what? Do you work it, what? And shake that. This is a puzzle, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, it's like, what's the sound when the what's the sound your character makes when the assistant manager uses his taser up your ass? Ew, ew. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where that came from. Just like uh, there's, there's, uh, a ra uh, razor Funk says, Funks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Kai's just laughing at me now. It's not funny, Carnage! <laughs> okay, yeah, it's kind of funny. But it's not funny, Kai! Fuck it, it's fine, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I see. I see what, the bee fuzz actually can go in the box with the other... I think I made a box just for, like, mite fuzz and stuff. Yeah, it can go in here. Uh, we'll put all that in this box instead. So we can keep, like, all the fuzzy things together. <laughs> we may keep all the fu uh, All the fuzzy things must be kept together. Excellent, excellent. And then we should have these now, and we can make now three plant stories, right? So we get these, and then three plant stories, and that will be what we need for the next quest. All right. And now we're going to go and see if we can hunt a couple of gnats so that we can turn them into gnat jerky on the jerky racks. And then hopefully with all that done, we can make nachos, right? And that'd be good. Um, do you have a repair tool yet? Uh, the health bars appearing on some of your stuff concerns me. <laughs> I've not actually made one. I probably should, but I've just not made one. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Everything is everything is fine. It doesn't matter. This is, it's, it's, nothing's breaking. It's okay. It's not like I accidentally lobbed my spiky sprig at like every object in my base. You know, it's like I, I don't, I don't, I didn't do it. <laughs> um, kind of says, uh, at least it's not Aussie, Aussie Michelin or Baby Boy. <laughs> then, then, silence, Carnage. <laughs> Still, I still don't. I still don't know why Karate even came out with that though. He's <laughs> like, like, calm down, baby boy. Wait, why did I say that? Uh, oh well, baby boy. <laughs> uh, then, then, then the mouse voice like, is this my voice? <laughs> I'm so intimidating. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna wait here for the gnats to show up because yeah, we should get a couple. Uh, should we should get a couple of them flying over here in a minute, and then when they do arrive over here. Essentially, we can just kill these guys really easily, and we should be good. So that's the uh, the slurry now crafting up, which is good. Uh, so there's baby man, little baby man, little baby, 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 baby man, baby man. Uh, so he, do he, he doesn't even know why that's the why that's the best thing. I know, right? That's the funny thing. And uh, Rizmox is like, uh, it's all breaking, chaos, run for your lives. <laughs> uh, or na natural Candice. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Or, or, or if they if they have some typos, natural Kermahe. <laughs> 
Hey, hey, you, you heard of, uh, you heard of El Natural, come on. <laughs> it is almost as bad as El Chupacabra. <laughs> All the sheep in the background just like, meh, meh. <laughs> uh, right, where, where is that set? Anyway, they should be, they should be showing up at some of it. They should, they should be here any moment now, any minute now. Like, like, I know they're gonna, they're, they're gonna show up soon. Let's see, they'll, they'll probably fly over in a minute. Um, let me go down this way, see if I can... See, because they they fly from the wetland area over to here, so let me see if they're gonna show up. I'll, I'll walk like this way and see if we can kind of hear them flying over. Because yeah, they they usually end up down here. If not, we can just do it next day and get them during the day. Because uh, otherwise, I don't see them right now. Uh, there's two plant slurries. Other than that, it's decided they're just not gonna fly over. Hmm. Hi. Die. <laughs> <laughs> a die rhymes with high. Okay, um, I'm not even sure whether. Not even sure where they are. They usually like start flying over from like the from where like the rash figurine is. They fly over from there and then they come over here. But I mean, I know I kind of mass murdered them on like day three, but they should have respawned by now, surely. Uh, there we go. Uh, I should change the name to uh, to, to Natural Carnage San Diego. <laughs> okay, are they here now? Let's see. Uh... Oh, yeah, 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 they are showing up. Okay, they, they are coming over there now. I see them. Right, I see them. I see them. I see them. I want to see Stupid fat Nazis. <laughs> Stupid bastard meaty Nazis. Knocking me off the trash. <laughs> right, here we go. So let's go get ourselves a few nets and stuff. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have made a stuffed... Uh... I should have used the stuffed aphid to get the uh, bonus drop, shouldn't I? But it's alright. It's not like I need loads of these, just like a few. There you go. Yeah, we, we just need a few, so it's fine. Uh, there you go, another 350 raw science, nice. <laughs> right, here we go. Wait, can I get a couple more? Wait, where are you going? No, come back. Go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I, lo I, lo I love the sound of that when you, when you kill them. It's like, ooey! <laughs> They also used to make sounds when you like uh, punch them as well sometimes, but they I think they removed some of the sounds that the Nats used to make because they, they'd have like a really low sound when you would punch them. They'd be like, they'd be like, ooh, <laughs> yeah, you'd like punch them once, they'd be like, ooh, and they'd be like, ooh, <laughs> yeah, so, so, some of the some of the sound design in this game is so good, though. Like they, 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 I, I've got to say they nailed it with the sound design, right? Sorry if it was like really bright there and now it's like super dark, but you know, whoa, spider. Come on then. There you go. Yeah, so, <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go grab this one. Yeah, I need your spider venom, so. But yeah, we can go befriend the ant queen as well. <laughs> oh yeah, no, we need the oven first before we can make it though, don't we? Unless we can make it on the um. Is the ant cream recipe made on the oven or is it made on the cookery? Um because honestly I think they I think they need to change it so it's made on the cookery, if I'm honest, but I don't know if it's a uh, thing here. Uh where is the it's probably under this one, isn't it? Uh let's see. Is it on the cookery or on the oven? Uh Brew Mother BLT is on the oven. Ah, oh, okay, it is on the oven. So we can't even befriend the ant yet. Yeah, we can't we can't even befriend the ant queen yet. Ah, oh, that's a shame. So yeah, you can't even befriend the first Red Ant Queen until you get the oven, which honestly I think is kind of a bit backwards, considering like the strategy sum you get is tier one, right? That's a honestly, I think that's a little bit backwards. I think the I think at least the regular recipes need to be made on the cookery. Because, you know, it's a sandwich, right? I get I get why the boss items are made on the oven, because you know that's a much later game thing and you shouldn't be able to make them early. But yeah, Coco says loading it up. <laughs> Coming, it's gonna play grounded! Oh my god! Yes, Queen, yes! That's <laughs> all, all I have to say. Alright. Let's go and put these guys on the jerky rack. There we go. So we need to make... Oh, I did that one. So yeah, we need to make some nat jerky first. So we'll go make those. And aside from that, do I have everything else I need to make for the nachos? Um, I think so. Let me... I'll check in a minute. Let me get the plant slurry, because I think the next thing is to get a pet, isn't it? So let's see. So nat jerky, let's see, that requires, yeah, nat jerky, acorn bits, and we need, oh, we need grub sludge for it as well, okay. So we've got to go hunt some grubs as well. So while that's, actually, let me, um, I'll tell you what, let me sleep through the night so we get the second dream sequence, and then we'll go hunt some grubs for the grub sludge. Right, here we go. Ted, go up here. Ted. 
Come on, come over here so I can see you. <laughs> I know, I know when you're up to mischief, little doge. Body mass readout is an acceptable range. The skin fold degradation is minimal. Specimen vitals are stable and holding. Looks like we've done it. Great job. We everyone. did it. Let's set up three more trials for replication. Why three more trials? There's a 15, uh, sorry, huh? The, party, the defense department has arrived early to discuss Project Orc. The director needs you to be present at the meeting. <sighs> Not sure what's worse, our director or a three hour meeting with the military. Yep. Right, there we go. Nightmare visions. I was the subject of a various science experiment. To what end? Orcs are minions of Lurk and Shriek. The quest becomes even more mysterious. The quest is very mysterious. Yeah, now I can go talk to Burgle about that as well and see what else he has to say too, which is awesome. The Car Queen is living outgrounded, oh my god. Okay, let's see. So let's go find some grubs, because I need some of them. Uh, we need grub sludge, right? So that's what we need to try and get. There's a grub right there. One grub. Thank you. Grub number one. <laughs> what is behind door number one? Grub number one. What is behind door number two? Grub number two. <laughs> what is behind door number three? <laughs> well, who knows? Could it be grub number three? Okay. I hear another one. Uh, where is it? Uh, there you are. Hello there. Hello, grub number two. Oh, yeah, so we'll try and get as many grubs as we can and as many as we need. Because with all these, then we can go make the nachos that we need to, and that will then give us the uh, completed quest. And then we just need to befriend a pet, right? And then after we do that, then we're pretty good. Right, let's see. Uh, is there any more over here? Uh, I hear one over here somewhere. We need more acorn bits as well for this, so... Make one over there. I think we only, do we only have to make one, or do we have to make, like, loads of these? I'm not sure how many we actually have to make. Let me actually check my quest here. So, we need to do craft nachos. Yeah, it looks like we only have to craft one, so we don't need, like, a load of grubs, but I guess we can just get a load of these anyway. Just to help us out a smidge. There's another one. Thank you very much. Gotcha. Alright, what else is down here? Can we find any more? Uh, yeah, we're, hey, get, we're getting hungry, though. We're, we're getting hungry, though. Right, is there any over this way? Sometimes there's some over here too. Other than that though, that'll probably be enough for what we need. So yeah, I don't think we need to get that many more. Yeah, I hear one more. There it is. All hail the overpowered rock grub! He can bore through stone, he is that strong. And then he's dead, so no one cares. <laughs> I found the one grub that has bypassed the theory of evolution. He is stronger than all his other counterpart grubs. And now he's dead. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me just check on that side. Uh, oh, my thing is not showing again. Uh, before I before I know, I think if I want to try, I can add them. Hang on. Um, wait. The, the the flavor is great in this game in general. Like you don't hold E to drink water or tap E to pick stuff up. You slurp water. You you slurp water and nab items. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> Sorry, I missed that one there. Uh, my uh, YouTube bot decided to be like, nope, we're not going to read chat messages again. So I do apologize about that. It's been uh, it's been stupid. Must be one of those stupid bots. <laughs> You're stupid. You must be one of those stupid people. <laughs> Alright, let's go craft the stuff that we need then. So we now got the jerky we need. We now got the gnat stuff that we need as well. So I will take all these. There we go. Very nice. Very nice, very nice, very nice. There we go, loads of those. And now we can go on this thing and craft the thing we need. So we can actually use our cookery for the very first time. Hey! So yeah, nachos is what we needed to make. Great, that's Lavania. We don't want that one. We want... Yeah, that shows. Gives us well fed, and it also gives us full defense. Very nice. Okay, so that requires one, one that, one that jerky, and then two of the others. Okay, that's fine. So we'll ju I'm just gonna make one for now, just to get the raw science, because the other stuff, like, not really too worried about. And then we can just put the, we can just put the grubs on here. And then the rest of it, we can like just let them go bad to turn into spoiled food. Uh, all right, is that everything? Let's see. Can I put anything away? Right. So grub sludge needs to go in the. 
smoothie box. I thought I'd get one behind, but I guess not. So yeah, Grubstudge needs to go in the smoothie box. There we go. And then fresh Billy Hogs needs to go in the food box. I need to analyze these sour lumps as well, because that will give me some more stuff. Um, let me see. Uh, so there you can start the uh, you can start the meal recipes and cancel it and keep the and keep the quest complete. See, I don't I don't mind like keeping the meal though. It's okay. Um, if we uh, if we if we keep the meal, that's okay. Right. Once again, guys, because my chatbot is being stupid, let me uh, let me refresh it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I'm having this many issues with it, honestly. But yeah, it's being a little bit uh, it's being a little bit strange. So yeah, I do I do apologize about that, and I have to keep like stopping and refreshing it. But you know, it's gonna be it's it's gonna be one of those days. Like like the past few days, I think it's been okay. But it's just one of those days where it's like playing up a little bit. Um, and I think I think it's on Streamlabs's end more more so than my actual bot itself. Um, so let's go and do Twitch chat early. Let me just give myself some more test messages again and see if that works. And there we go. So, doo -doo -doo. Uh, so we'll just go run some tests and see how we go. Um, and how you doing, uh, Grey Reacts? Says I got a question for you about your modding series for Seven Days to Die. If you don't mind answering, nope, not at all. Um, go ahead and ask if you're uh, going ahead and ask whatever. It's all good. Sorry if I missed you coming in there. My bot is just being stupid. Um, so let me just run some. Uh... Let me run some test messages here. Yeah, there we go. Now it's, now it's picking it up again. I don't know why it's doing this weird issue, though. I don't know. if if it, is the is the stream over there, like, cutting out every now and then? Um, I'm wondering if it's doing that or something, because I, I I don't know. But, yeah, I wonder, I wonder if it's, like, doing that or something. But there we go. Yeah, sorry if I have to keep, like, interrupting the stream and that for, to fix that random stuff. But sometimes it just happens. It's technical things. Um, I wonder if it's also because I'm using the uh, multi-RTMP plugin and it's, like, cutting out somehow. I don't know, but it's definitely smooth. Like, the stream is smoother today, but the chat is, like, the chat is getting cut out randomly instead. So we've kind of got, like, a bit of a trade-off going on here. <laughs> All right. So let's go grab these. Grab these. There you go. Get some water then. And then I can put the other... Th this other food here I just put in here so it goes bad. There you go. Because, you know, rotten food will then be used for farm plots and stuff later. So that's fine. Okay. And um, we should be pretty good. And uh, so I, I typed a message earlier that, that, that disappeared after I switched... Uh, from top from top messages to all messages. Hmm. I don't know if that's the problem as well. But that's a bit weird as well. Uh, do you have any weapon related mod beginners guides? I'm trying to mod a knife into the game to help the knife class in Seven Days to Die, but I couldn't find a weapon related one. I tried for five. I tried for five hours last night. Um, are you trying to get a new model into the game as well, or are you just trying to like essentially reuse a knife model with different stats? Um, if it comes into like new models and things like that, and like getting those into the game, I the the XML series only covers like the XML side of things, but not like how to work in Unity or anything like that, and get any of that stuff in. Um, to do that though, you're best off looking at. Um, there's a guy on uh, YouTube. He well on on Discord he goes by the name of Zith uh, X Y T H, but on YouTube he goes by David Taylor, and he has Unity tutorials based on like how to get the model into the game. Now, if you're only worried about the XML side of things, um, and to actually just like reuse a model, uh, just trying to reuse the bone knife with different stats and an icon. Okay, so what your best thing is doing for that then is, I would just copy the entire bone knife entry. So copy like where it starts with item and then ends at slash item. Just copy everything between those two and then ap append it into your items. So just go append X path items, put the copy of the bow knife in there and then close your append tag. Then just change the name of that item that you've copied in there. So you can call it like, you know, instead of like melee weapon knife T0 bow knife, it could be like melee weapon knife T what T0 modded bow knife. Or so, you know, just, just change it to something different. Um, then for the icon, um, Essentially, you need to, if, if you're using the modlet template, there's a folder in there called Item Icon Atlas. Um, and in there is where you put your icons. And the icon has to be the same as the item name. And then all you have to do, since you've copied the item over, is just change the stats of that item um, afterwards. So once you've done that, then you can then just, you know, change all the stats over, make it do any other things you want it to do, like have more damage or, you know, maybe swing faster. Like all the stats are like under the passive effects on the item. And then once you've done that, then it should just register in game after that. If you're trying to reuse like the bone knife icon and just use the, just give it a different color, for example, you can use uh, you can use the custom icon property. So you just go property name equals custom icon, um, capital C and capital I for that. And then essentially the value of that property, just use the name of the original bone knife and it will copy that icon into your new one 
Uh, I tried that, but it kept giving me errors each time. And I did also do the icon main the same as the name with the part in as well, but I had to give it another jab. Um, if you want to, um, then if you're still having trouble, uh, you can always join my Discord if you want to, and I might be able to help you. Uh, I might be able to help you on the Discord side of things. Um, um... So yeah, I will. Uh, hang on, let me give you the uh, let me give you the Discord link. Hang on a second. Um... There we go, this one. And yeah, if you want to join my Discord there, um, I might be able to help you on there if you're still having uh, if you're still having problems on it. Then have a look through there and uh, let me know in the modding section. You can always you can always send me your current model as well, and I can have a look at it for you. All right, so what were we doing? We were uh, blah, 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 blah. we are going to go to get a pet, weren't we, to get one of the quests done, and then we can start heading over to maybe the Black Ant Lab after that. Maybe see how we go. And uh, how you doing, Raven? Welcome in. How's it going today? Uh, keenly Discord for me uh, on on mobile. Um, that link should work right there as well. Um, I think I think that that link will just take you directly to. It's like a direct invite link to the Discord server, so it should uh, it should link you through there in the in the chat. Um, if not though, if you go to, onto my channel about section and stuff, you should be able to find it through there as well, or in the description of any videos, you should be able to find my Discord link in the in the descriptions as well. So if you find it, if you find that, you should be able to join it from there. Uh, Dave says uh, Max is an old hand at seven days modding. How are you, brother? How you been, Dave? I hope you've been keeping well, dude. <laughs> it has been a little while, hasn't it? I hope, I hope everything's going well. Okay, let's see. Actually, can we can we tame this aphid over here? I wonder. Let's see if I can. Maybe if I put like a if I drop a one of these plant things down here, maybe he'll take it. So yeah, to tame a pet, just like drop some uh, drop some stuff down here. Uh, so yeah, aphids like plant slow, right? So we're gonna essentially move move away from this thing, and we're gonna see if the aphid comes over. If not, then uh, yeah, looks like he's actually stuck there. Oh wait 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 wait, nope. Maybe he'll come over and have a look. Okay, let's see. Is he gonna eat it? Yeah, he's actually eating it now. Let's see. Is he gonna is he gonna become our pet or is he just gonna eat it and run away? Sometimes they'll become your pet and other times they won't. Let's see. So he's eating it. Hey, we actually got ourselves a pet aphid. Very nice. No, no, no more sorry for you. But there you go. We got ourselves now a pet aphid. And he actually has his own inventory as well, which is really good. Now, in all versions of the game now, the um the pets cannot die, which is really good. So yeah, they can uh, they they don't they don't die anymore, which is super nice. Uh, Raven says, "Not too bad." What about you? I'm doing all right, thank you, Raven. Glad to glad to hear you're doing pretty good as well. <laughs> what you've been getting up to? How's your weekend going? So, Coffee Queen, have you lo have you loaded into grounded now? Uh, Dave says, uh, "Good mates, uh, M Mel's is uh, M Mel's is still about. Mel's is still about. Okay, how? Yeah, I hope Mel's has been keeping uh, keeping good as well. I haven't heard from her in a while either. <laughs> but yeah, glad to you doing well, dude. Now, for anyone on the on the red side of things, if like you send messages and I don't respond, it's probably my bot just being weird. Um, so yeah." And uh, it does says coffee box stream. I, I, I try. I tried to. Uh, I tried to. I tried to push uh, coffee box stream, but she said uh, says uh, no coffee queen stream. But uh, uh, Grace says no coffee queen stream. But will she hop into VC? Um, and uh, and uh, we got Grey Rex says uh, says uh, added you. I uh, wouldn't let. Uh, wouldn't let. Uh, wouldn't let. Wouldn't let me message you. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, you can put it in the modding section on my Discord as well. Um, and then I'll be able to get to. It. I'll be able to get to it from there as well. I might have to friend you on it as well. Um, all right, let me talk to Burgle real quick. Hello, Burgle. Hello there, acting science manager Burgle at your service. How can I help you today? All right. I had another dream, Burgle. Ah, more of your fragmented memories. Let us stack them together like the ingredients of a burger. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. I like burgers. They are a common side effect of the shrinking process. The memories, that is, not the burger metaphors. Which are simply how I am programmed to understand the world. <laughs> Burger says, hashtag, uh, or, uh, but, 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 no, Grave Story says, hashtag support Joel. Everyone supports Joel. Seven Days Alpha 22 is now going to be the 1.0 release so we can jack up the prices. And we're so excited. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Cover Green, and Cover Green says, uh, Cover Green says, yep, yay! Cover Green's ungrounded. My beautiful one is ungrounded. Hooray! <laughs> um, so yeah, what are you doing, my love? Are you, in, are you now in your world? But yeah, if uh, I don't know if Coffee Win wants to come in VC, but if you do want to come in VC, then uh, I can I can go into the VC thing as well if you want me to. Uh, okay, How come on, Vega. All right, scientists were experimenting on me while I was tiny. If they were following the ominous practical science manual, it is likely they were documenting side effects of the shrinking process, of which there are a few. 
Short-term memory loss, constipation, dehydration, among other minor ailments. Hey, Shelby, welcome to the stream. How are you today? But as for the long-term side effects, nothing to worry about, my friend. You are looking fresher than a non-frozen meat patty. Hey! <laughs> Thank you, Dust, giving Shelby a shout-out. Very much appreciated. Kukarin says, uh, I'm in my mode, yeah. Just, uh, just, 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 empty, just emptying inventory. Oh, okay. I bet there's a lot of bags over there, because I've died so many times in your world, haven't I? And uh, Shelby says, Dad, stop following me everywhere. <laughs> How you doing, Shelby? I hope you're doing well. Uh, something about a Project Orc. <laughs> ah, fuck, who did that? Is certainly not something that Dr. Tully How dare you, Razor Bombs? <laughs> hmm. Prominent requires its scientists to use code names for their projects. Eventually, the marketing department gets involved to spice it up. Razor says, Shelby showed up, gotta do the sneeze. <laughs> Dust says, how can I follow you if I'm there before you? <laughs> that, that, that's the thing, though. Shelby is in a remix yard, so the logic makes sense. <laughs> and, uh, Shelby's like, Dubs, <laughs> I heard one scientist just used American state names in chronological order. Laughing out loud. What a magnificent scheme. <laughs> Laughing out loud. But I digress. Whatever Project Orc is, the name does not sound good. No, it doesn't sound... I really use some good grilling right about now. Yeah, the name definitely does not sound good, does it? Right, let's get some more quests as well, because we now can get some new ones. Right, so where we at? So we need to kill an orb weaver by exploiting its spicy weakness. Only spicy kills count. Uh, we also have to increase damage against an insect by marking it as a foe, uh, by using its mounted bug uh, thingy. And we've got to do... What else have we got? We got to uh, oh craft jerky, uh, craft jerky snacks. Okay, so that's fine. We can do that as well. Um, Lord Volderdoves, she's trying to hide the fact that she's following you around. I know, Regro. <laughs> she always says, "Hey, you aren't wrong." <laughs> uh, let's see. So we got to do that one. So we got we got a couple of a uh, couple of new quests to do. Uh, how much size do I have now? I now have two thousand fifty, which probably means I can buy that. There you go. Another purchase from the science shop, done and done. So remember, guys, to 100%, you do need to get everything from the science shop. Um, apart from, like, special things like the Easter special stuff or anything like that. But everything else you do need to get from here. All right, so we can analyze the salad. So that gives us repair glue and sour arrows. And we also get now uh, access to the antlion armor. Very nice. And then we can do this one here, which will give us the roly-poly leg plates. We win! There you go. Right, so yeah, I need to eat some food as well because my character's getting a little bit, uh, a little hungry. My character is getting hungry. There you go, and let's go drink these ones. But yeah, we now have a we now have a pet aphid, so that's good. So yeah, he can now uh, he can now follow us around everywhere. So yeah, and the pets are the pets are invincible now, so we don't have to worry about those. Uh, we don't have to worry about those now. So yeah, what was it? what are the other quests I had anyway? Let me just check that. So we had to mark a foe, which is an easy one. Build a mounted bug trophy is another one. Uh, cry f uh, five jerky snacks and increase damage against the orb weaver. Ah, wait, was that my pet one? There you go. Uh, oh, that was my pet. I thought pets were invincible now. They said they changed it so pets were invincible in woe mode. I guess that change didn't happen then. Okay. I guess they didn't make that change even though they said they did. Okay, well. My pet lasted all the five minutes. Oh, well. I'm, so I'm sorry, pet aphid. I know your life was short-lived, but it's okay. I can eat you now. Okay, well, yeah. My pet's dead. Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, um, my, my, my pet aphid got killed and we got ourselves a pet memorial. <laughs> There we go. Well, we got a pet memorial, so you know, you know what? We're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to mark a spot for him. What if I could keep that aphid as a pet. No, Pete, you can't keep that aphid as a pet. Yeah, they, they said they'd made them invincible. Um, I think, uh, I think the pets are coming invincible was only for medium. No, that's the thing. At Pax, they said they were, they were gonna do it for woe as well. But I guess they didn't make that change. All right, so here we go. Here lies, uh, here lies aphid, the pet aphid, who probably would have had a better life if he'd have not been my pet aphid. But he tanked a hit from a spider, and for that, we respect Aphid, the Aphid. <laughs> Rest in peace, Aphid, the Aphid. It was nice knowing you. And, uh, and uh, we got a very welcome to the stream. How you doing? How are you doing? Well, thank you so much for popping in, by the way. How's it going? Um, and yeah, so uh, like it says, uh, was only a medium. See, I thought they changed it to well because I remember the I remember at PAX they said something about that. They were just like, oh yeah, pets are now going to just be invincible for all game modes. I, I don't know if that was in the patch notes or maybe they just like decided not to do it in the end. But yeah, okay. At least at least now at least now I know that pets aren't. Because I was thinking, yeah, if pets are if pets are invincible now, 
like that'd be really good because then we get like extra inventory but yeah if they're not if they're not invincible then well uh well yeah uh let's see i'm working on a uh, a playground map where it's like a quest oh very nice yeah i like making playground map the playgrounds maps they're fun uh so what kind what kind of uh what kind of quests uh what kind of quests are you going on in this playground map tell me more about this playground map and in particular how much you can play on the ground in this map <laughs> all right uh wait why am i putting the chocolate and the sour stuff in there that doesn't belong in there <laughs> wait <laughs> wait that's not rain uh right it goes in this one here but yeah we actually we did, we did find some chocolate which is good sour lumps can go in there as well uh candy coolets can go in there and uh, what else we got here? So yeah, we got some. Uh, so, so yeah, I guess. Uh, I guess it's time for me to. Uh, actually, I will tell you what, I can. I can turn my aphid into a jerky snack to get a bit of my quest done. There you go. <laughs> there you go, aphid. You can become a jerky snack. Uh, some enemies, including bosses, will target certain pets. Uh, so it's kind of op, honestly. Ah, that's true. Yeah. Um, and that, that's because I don't. I don't want medium. They are invincible now as well. But yeah, I guess on Womo they just decided not to revert the change. But oh well, it's fine. It doesn't really matter. Uh, as, as, long, as long as I know now that pets aren't invincible, so that's a good thing. So yeah, at least at least now I won't, again, uh, once again, I will not bother with the pet system then. Maybe apart from getting like the pet ants, because, you know, they're obviously they're the new ones, so we may as well get them. But yeah, note to self, don't even bother with the pet system. It's, you know, not not going to not gonna help us out at all. Uh, so yeah, I need to make two more. I need to make five jerky snacks tonight, so I got to get two more of them for jerky snacks. And then we need to make like a wall mount and go from there. Marie says, uh, so you start in, uh, 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 let's see, in... In hospital in your base with other people and your goal is to uh, is to kill the threat okay uh let's see um oh yeah just so you know Marie, i know you're over on the uh, on the red side right now if uh you put chat messages and i don't see them my uh my chat thing has been acting very weird today and sometimes just like not posting what happens in those chats so yeah if that happens then i will i do periodically check um but yeah sometimes it might I might miss stuff um so yeah just just bear that in mind so yeah i'm not if if it happens and you like say something and i just like don't respond to it i'm not ignoring you it's just my boss being stupid um <laughs> so yeah it's, it's it i've had to like reset it like three or four times today so it's just uh it's, it's one of those days it's one of those days where the boss you know they, they have a mind of their own they have a mind of their own and i don't like it right so i need to find two more bugs to turn into jerky so where will we find those i hear a weevil over here so where are you weevil you're over here there you are. All right. One weevil. Thank you. And did that just give me one? Uh, wait, did that give me one or did it give me several? Uh, probably just gave me one, didn't it? Yeah, I did. Oh, I heard Aphid. Aphid! Come here, Aphid. Ah, come here, you little shit. All right, where's he going? Uh, he's up there. Hi. Got him. Haha. <laughs> and you too will join Aphid the Aphid to be turned into jerky snacks. So, yeah. Yeah, we, we we just got our pet aphid. It was called aphid, and then uh, then all we were just like decimated it in one shot. So uh, yeah, aphid the aphid is dead, <laughs> and we now have a pet memorial to aphid the aphid. And kind of like friend of me. Uh, so you got any ideas? Uh, any ideas I could do for my quest? Um, hmm. That's the thing. Like there there have been a couple of like. I, I there've been a couple of like different maps that I've seen that have got like uh, there's what there's one called Legend of the Five Kingdoms which is just like you know there's these five kingdoms that are under attack like the first one's under attack like by Mance and stuff like that and you have to like go through and like save each of the kingdoms and stuff like that so it could, you could uh, you could do something like that maybe um, I'm honestly not sure because yeah like coming up with like new story elements is kind of difficult because like when it comes to like the playground stuff you can't like put your own notes and things in like that so like the so the story elements you can come up with are kind of like unless you're willing to do npc dialogue which takes a long time in playgrounds to actually do it it's possible but it takes a long time because you've got to like do it with quest markers and stuff like that it's difficult to come up with like a long form story that you can like keep the player aware of because like there's no notes or anything you can put down in playgrounds for them to collect and stuff like that so it's it's actually very difficult like play, playground stories are very difficult to do um and quests like that but yeah i would say like you know something like that just like you know this is in danger go save that and, you know so like you know the very the very basic stuff though you could do like easily in playgrounds i would say um but other than that honestly not too sure like i'm working on a playground as well with like a couple of quests in although it's a map for coffee queen so i can't really say what it is because then she's gonna hear what it is and you know if I and and she said that she didn't want to know about what it was until like later on, so yeah, I I, I cannot say, I cannot say what it is, but yeah, that's uh, that's the thing, <laughs> that is the thing. All right, so yeah, I think what we're gonna do then is we've managed to do most of the uh, most of the stuff over here. Oh wait, no, no, wait, before I go, before I go, there's one thing I do want to do, one thing I do want to do, and that is to 
essentially go to i'm going to go to the sandbox a little early than i usually would uh usually i would do the black ant hill first and then go to the sandbox after that once i got the black ant sword because you know the black ant sword is really good in the sandbox but the dagger is a decent weapon and you know the bleed the bleed damage is going to be good as well but yeah the 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 black ant sword in the sandbox and in the haze is like a really good weapon oh yeah hi spider goodbye spider so yeah we're actually gonna jump back around here oh yeah i'm a clover ninja no, I'm not a clover ninja. <laughs> I fell off. Shit. <laughs> I'm a failed clover ninja. Um, and we got a super cool ad. It says uh, how to get how to get coziness. Um, okay, coziness essentially is essentially based on the types of furniture and stuff you have in your base, right? So when it comes to uh, when it comes to that, when you go to your if you go to crafting, you can see like there's the regular crafting stuff and the building stuff, right? You'll see that uh, everything you add to your base has a, there's a tiny bit of coziness underneath so it shows you like the defense and the coziness of each thing so like things like walls and floors add like a tiny little bit of coziness so it's not much right but what you want to do is in your base like workbenches and workstations do add a little bit so they add like a little bit more um but the best thing to do is essentially put furniture in your base so every every unique item that you have in your base so every different thing will add a bit of coziness so if i have this light and i have this light then they'll combine to add a bit of coziness to the base um but yeah kind of says so multiple words are the same thing don't stack they do but very slightly like if you if you build i think in order to get uh say if i built like one light if i was to if i wanted the same amount of coziness again i would have to build 10 more of them i think it's only a 10 percent uh what level of coziness do you have i've not really built much right now so i think i only have level one right now if if, if that i'm not even sure let me see um it should show me down here somewhere yeah let me see yeah i've only got coziness level one so essentially i've just built like workstations a couple of these stuffed bugs though this is probably why i've got it so yeah stuffed creatures armor stands but yeah furniture is what will get your coziness higher quicker and as you get higher levels you'll also unlock new furniture so you can also build if you found any of the statues in any of the labs these actually give you a lot of coziness as well so if i was to build a couple of these this would probably boost my coziness by quite a bit um so yeah Build build one of each of these. That will help. Um, uh, bottom right and the bottom right above the action. Uh, so it's a, it's, a, it's ten percent. Yeah, ten percent for duplicates. Yeah. So if that means yeah, if, if I built one armor stand, I'll get like hundred percent coziness for that armor stand. But then the second one will give me ten percent of that, and then the third one will also give me that ten percent. So that'll give like so three will give me hundred and twenty percent value. So I need eleven to get two hundred percent, right? And then twenty one to get three hundred percent. So yeah. The first item gives you a lot, and then any subsequent ones of the same type will just give you a tiny bit. But yeah, essentially just build furniture and stuff like that. You got like these vases and stuff you can add to your base. Uh, the weapon, actually, the weapon wall mounts is something I needed to do because um, I needed to mark my foe, didn't I? Um, so I guess we'll just do a might one because it's it's easy to make. Can I put one like on my workbench here? Just kind of can I can I put one like on here uh, or like on the back of it as a temporary? Can I use this as well? It, 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 it let it go somewhere then. Um, hang on. I'm just gonna like put it like wherever it let it let it go. Uh, there's, there's like a tiny little spot there I can put it on. Oh wait, oh, let me put it on there. There we go. I'll put a might mount on the side of that. There we go. Nice. And then interact with it. Get another raw science. There you go. <laughs> I just I just wanted to do that just to get the raw science out of the way and get the quest done. Um, let's see. Pay attention to the the little sway they do, sort of uh, upwards, uh, back and forth, right before starting that three eight combo. Um, hang on. Let's see, Marie says, uh, Marie says, I'm happy, Max. Good, I'm glad you're happy. <laughs> but yeah, I've only got level one right now, so yeah, it's not very high. But yeah, if I if I was to add more furniture, it would, it would get a little bit higher as well. But I think the uh, the radius is about six uh, grass planks away, so you, you have to build it all quite close together. If you have a log mosquito, it will get stunned and fall to the ground. Yeah, that's I, yeah, it's, it's nice that they do that now, because they never used to, and it used to take a few before they'd actually fall down the first time. But yeah, if I was to add, like, say if I was to add this aphid statue, right? So look at my cozy meter on the right right now it's kind of you know just a little bit over level one so if i was to add this guy and then we just put that there and then we build it there you go watch the meter now as you can see the meter now has gone up a little bit and when that thing gets to full it will then give me the next one right so if i add the weevil one right here uh there you go you can see once again it goes up a little bit so yeah, you can see these statues actually get you quite a lot and and it's a good way to get to level two quite early um if I was to do maybe, I don't know, have we got enough for a dry grass petition? Yeah, we do. Uh, or can I get the, or can I do the koi one? Because the koi one will definitely get me there. Uh, no, I haven't got enough acorn tops. So I guess I could do, maybe we could do the abomination totem as well. That might get me, uh, that might get me something. Uh, so maybe if I did, maybe if I did this guy right here, 
and I don't know, let's put it like there. Add that guy. Let's see, does that get does that get it up? Okay, so the abomination totem doesn't add that much. So that one's not as worth to do. I, I think the abomination and the ant totems don't do very much. Uh, the vases require bug rubber, right? So that one might require unless I can like switch to one that doesn't require it. Yes, yeah, so this one just requires clay. Okay, let's do let's do a couple of these. So if maybe if I do that one and like I don't know, that one and this one. Maybe if I was to do those two. Let's build both those. Ah, oh, that that one does require bug rubber. Okay, let's get a little bit of that one. Easy enough to get. It's just like acid and bug rubber is just like acid and sap, isn't it? So there you go. There you go. That'll make you go. So you can see the vases and stuff don't add very much, but some items do, right? A good item that will add a lot is actually the uh, there's a koi there's a koi chair that does add quite a lot to it. The berry chair also adds quite a bit as well. Uh, but yeah, if I was to get like the koi chair, which I can't get because I don't have enough bones, so I guess we'll use the berry one. But yeah, the koi chair is a good one to get a lot of comfort as well. But say if I was to add the berry chair right here. Uh, let's see if that does it. Does that now tip me over to level two? Uh, not quite. So yeah, so, so so some of these don't add that much, and you will need quite a bit. But you can see the meter slowly goes up as I add more furniture. Uh, it says uh, I got the pinch whacker now. So <laughs> murder time. <laughs> but yeah, I think the uh, I think the fireplace also works pretty good as well. But yeah, essentially just build furniture, and then your coziness will slowly go up. Uh, but yeah, I think every different stuffed bug gets you a bit of coziness as well. I think stuffed bosses give you the most. Um, any other creatures that I want to make a stuff fair enough to like get more out of them because that'd be kind of useful if we can. Uh, stuff grub and tadpole don't really do anything because we've already got the aphid. Uh, why don't we make a why don't we make a stuff wall spider? There you go. We'll, make, we'll, we'll add a stuff wall spider to our base because we've killed a load of them and you know it'll make us feel it'll make us feel good about killing things. There you go. Stuff wall spider. There you go. Add that one. Let's see, does that get it? Yeah, look, that raised it very, very slightly again. So yeah, as you can see, it's like the stuff bugs are again a very slight raise. It's not a huge amount, but you know, they it all adds together, right? So as you add, as you do more and more, it'll all add together. If I get uh, maybe a basic chair as well, uh, I'll put a basic chair like next to that one. There you go. Maybe maybe a uh, maybe a basic one off. Oh, that one needs grass planks. Never mind then. <laughs> so yeah, let's see what else we can maybe maybe add to it. Uh, I, I, I think the hearth adds a lot as well. That one adds, uh, that one's one of the best ones. So yeah, not really going to work right now for my base, but you know, if I had a hearth there and add it, maybe that'll do it. There, there we go. And as you can see now, my coziness is now level two. Once you get to level two as well, you also get the hauling hero mutation as well. So there you go. So that's, that's essentially how you can raise it and get the, uh, get the coziness to go a little bit higher. So yeah, if you're looking for coziness, that's the best, the best way to do it. All right, and we got one of these now, so let's go get one of these. And I think I'm just going to eat that because it's going to go bad otherwise. And then we got some water here. No water filtration tablets needed. But yeah, the more like the and the more stuff you like cram into one spot, the higher your coziness gets. So as you can see, yeah, this is not really not really a, not really a very good base. It's just like like I said, I usually like when it comes to base building, I usually wait till later to really build anything like significant because I end up like starting down here and I'm just like, yeah, I fancy like moving to another area. So yeah, I end up, and then I end up like moving like elsewhere. But yeah, once you get coziness level two, it will also unlock new furniture for you as well. So as you can see now, I've got access to like the ant candles and the spider candle. Um, I also have access to shelving now. So I got the acorn shelf and it will give you a few other bits and bobs as well just at the end. So yeah, as you can see, it, it unlocks a little bit more for you to use as well to make getting to the next level a little bit easier as well. And uh, let's see, that says, um, says, uh, says, uh, says, uh, says, uh, says, uh, fine, hit that RD, uh, uh, RT, RTD2 scream. Oh my god. <laughs> and, uh, and then it says, uh, water. Yeah, I've always run out of water, aren't I? Um, where he says, uh, POV, the school, the school bully bullies, uh, my girlfriend. Two seconds later, bully hears the broodmother boss fight music stars. <laughs> uh, Pete's life on the edge of dehydration and the pond. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, he's like, he's like right where water is, but he's just dehydrating. He's like, there's no water in here. Uh... <laughs> okay, can I add an ant candle maybe to like one of these areas? There we go. I guess I can like add an ant candle as a light source, can I? So yeah, I'll put, a, I'll put a little candle at the end. There you go. Yay, there we go. Now, now, we, now we have a bit more light in here. And as you can see, you know, that's raised my coziness up a little bit more as well. So there we go. Um... <laughs> Doris, like, <"Ugh." laughs> How's it going, Doris? Welcome in, dude. Um, let's see, make sure I'm all caught up on the chat here as well. Um, but yeah, super cool answers. Thanks, you're welcome, dude. Thank you so much for popping in, by the way. I hope you're enjoying your... Uh, I'm hoping you're enjoying your first forays into Grounded, by the way, and I hope it's going well. Because, yeah, it's a, it's, a very, it's a very fun game. Um, let's go put a light in the middle here as well. Actually, let's, let's put a light, like, right here, behind this slot. 
There you go. We'll move it like here. There you go. Now our base is uh, not, not, our base is a little bit more cozy. Like not that it's actually a building or anything, but it's a little bit more cozy. You know, you sit. You know, that's a that that that's a that's a nice cozy image right here, isn't it? You know, you, you're sat in your chair and uh, then then there's like the spider sneaking up behind you, just like. Yeah. <laughs> there, you go. So, there, there we go. <laughs> um, there we go. And we've got uh, we got a follow from uh, Lord Dran R. Thank you so much for the follow. Very much appreciated. Uh, guess what's uh, guess what's next to my bed and grounded? I have no idea. Uh, a stuffed ladybug. Uh, I just found a bunch of things in my base for max coziness, uh, not gonna lie. Yeah, that's the thing, like, to get max coziness, yeah, just spam a load of stuff, like, close together, and then you'll get it pretty easily. Um, but yeah, it's, it's hard to get max coziness while trying to make your base look good. Like, the two systems sort of work against each other, because the range of certain things isn't that high. So yeah, they, they kind of work against each other a bit. All right, so let's go get our spider webs. So yeah, I'm gonna get my spider webs here from the spinning wheel because I want to uh, I want to go and connect the sandbox to the picnic table as well. Because um, remember, we saw that zip line on the picnic table that leads into the sandbox, and that's where we're gonna go in a minute. Uh, but first of all, let's sleep so we can get the third dream sequence. So here we go. Let's sleep through this one. Uh, an abomination totem. Yep. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, because we found that last time, didn't we? Um, right here we go. So now we're gonna sleep till morning. Hurry. Right, dream sequence number three. You scary. Dr. Schmechter, these kids... Director. Uh, Director Schmechter. These specimens are the breakthrough we've been looking for, just like you predicted. We're close to eliminating the raisining problem. Our team was up all night recalibrating the spacer. I see. Of course, my hypothesis was correct. I hope all of you remember this moment the next time you question my methods. Yeah. Now then, <laughs> what progress has been made on covalent space expansion? How did Dr. Wendell Tully, a lifetime failure, best the brightest minds at Ominent? Yes, sir. Uh, we're still working on that formula. I know it's been months, but the embiggen process is far more complicated and dangerous than we predicted. Ah, uh, too bad for you, little ones. Prepare the specimens for termination. Uh-oh. Not termination! This isn't what I signed up for. There you go. And uh, Mary says it watches me sleep. Her Schmechter is weirdly ominous. I know, right? <laughs> Prepare the specimen for termination. <laughs> All right. This director Schmechter was the person experimenting on me. But why? The scientists mentioned something called raisining. Could this be connected to Dr. Tully? Maybe Burgle knows more. Hmm. Well, looks like we're going to go have to talk to Burgle. Right. So, I know you guys mentioned repair tool earlier, and I probably should make one, shouldn't I? So, let's go make one of these if I can. Uh, repair tool, where are you? I need one. Uh, there we go. One of these. There you go. I don't know if that was even a quest, but yeah, it could have been. Uh, no, that making a repair tool is not even a quest. Okay, uh, but yeah, there we go. Now I can uh, now I can repair my stuff. There you go. There you go. We don't like have to be concerned about health bars anymore. Three. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's go grab those. All right, is that it? Is that everything? Uh, yes, I think that's pretty much everything, isn't it? The repair. Okay, there we go. Right, so we made it. There you go. Uh, we made it. We made a repair tool. Everything's uh, everything's fixed now. Don't have to worry about it breaking. Uh, I do need to repair my weevil shield, but that's fine. Uh, we can deal with that in a bit. Uh, so I can go in there, and there we go. Right, everything is fine. We need to eat and drink though. Nice and clean. So let's go sort that out. There we go. And I need to find some kind of food to cook. And I think I hear tadpoles under me, so we should be pretty good. And uh, David, uh, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Says, uh, what's uh, what what's e what's even new? Um, well, the ant queens in the in the regular new game is new, and then uh, new new game plus is the main uh, the main thing for this new grounded update. So essentially, like all the bugs and stuff get infused with raw science. Um, you have uh, you can actually infect one of the ant queens in a regular game, and then in the next dimension that you travel to, there'll be there'll be infected ants where the the ants would usually be uh new weapons there's tier four weapons now there's lots of stuff uh says i know i still i still got a few achievements yeah that's the same they added a few extra ones as well uh Schmechter reminds me of a cross of an idiot and one of those 60s styles special agent characters <laughs> uh marie says uh Schmechter, why is he just sitting there me someone's abomination toes and they beat the hell out of him <laughs> it's like so it's like hey Schmechter. um all right so let's go wait for this thing to um Let's go with this thing to cook up, and then we can move on after that, and we should be pretty good. 
And uh, Yuri says grave, exactly. <laughs> Alright, there you go. That looks good. And done. Excellent. Right, so now i got some food. We can just eat that, and then we'll be on our merry way. Just close your eyes and imagine it's a flint powder. Alrighty. So yeah, we've uh, touched the... Uh... We've touched the statue for luck with the bugs and everything, so that's fine. We got the extra damage. We got to go speak to Burgle as well for part of the quest, so let's go do that. And then we can also get some new quests as well while we're at the ASL. So we'll go ahead and do that as well. So I'll make our way down to the. Uh... I like how this thing has still got like purple smoke coming off of it, even though like it was like 21 days ago that it was like. <laughs> it's like, man, this raw science is some smoky shit. All right, so first of all, let's go do ASL stuff. We can get three more quests. There you go. So we got uh, craft berry leather. Oh, does it not count? Oh, I guess we have to craft it manually, don't we? Um, yeah, and then kill the old weaver with a spicy weakness, and there's a couple others over there. I'll see them in a minute. But yeah, berry leather is one of them. That's that's going to be really easy to do. Uh, Marie says, uh, I'm, still, I'm, still, I'm still a bit sad she sank. Um, says, Ugh, more items means more for the museum. Exactly, right? <laughs> All right, can I see you? Good morning. How can I help you today? All right, uh, I'm remembering more from my dreams. How can I be of assistance? It was about someone named Director Schmechter. Director Schmechter, the head of the science division, oversaw Dr. Tully's projects at Ominent. Dr. Tully's disdain for Director Schmechter was even more than his disdain for soggy french fries. They had many disagreements over the years over the direction of the science division. If Schmechter is involved with this, I can assure you he is up to no good. That is what Dr. Tully would say. I have never met the chap, and so must reserve judgment. Hmm. Well, I had the word reasoning. Reasoning is an advanced form of dehydration and an unfortunate side effect of the shrinking process on humans. It appears to become worse with each subsequent use of the spacer. Even without prolonged use, it is a degenerative malady that has no cure at this moment. At the time of his disappearance, Dr. Tully himself was keenly experiencing the side effects of reasoning and was actively working on a solution. That research is currently on hold. Good news for you, however. Ocular analysis indicates a normal number of folds on your face for a human of your age. Hooray! <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we, we, we I like how he's like, ocular analysis! <laughs> it's, it's just like, essentially, from what I can see... <laughs> I love how he fucking calls it ocular analysis. I love that. Uh, <laughs> he he Burgle's just trying to say Burgle's just trying to sound smarter than he is, you know. He's he's <laughs> Alright. So yeah, I got the um wait, did I take the silk robe with me or did I not? I didn't take the silk robe with me. God damn it. I think I probably put it away in a box by accident. Okay, let me go grab the silk robe because that we need twelve of these to connect the picnic table to the sandbox, and then we will have a way to go into the sandbox. Although we can't do everything in the sandbox yet until we've done more in the Black Ant Hill. So the sandbox is your first early tier 3 area. So the creatures you find in there will be late tier 2 and early tier 3. So you have to be uh, you have to be a bit prepared for it. But it's not too bad. And uh, I will show you how to fight those creatures when we get there. Provided I don't, don't just die a horrible death, of course. Which I probably will. Uh, but, you know, this is, like I said, it's, it's been a while. Uh, right, so there we go. So 15 of those. So we need 12 of these to go into the sandbox. There you go. There's a few ways into the sandbox. One of them is actually through the Black Ant Hill, but I'm going to show you the zipline way first because it's the easiest way to get in. Um, apart from building, you can obviously build if you want to as well. And honestly, I'll probably end up building a way in there as well just for convenience because, yeah, it's, it's a lot easier to... Once you've built something to get inside, it's a lot easier just to go in that way rather than have to, you know, climb up the picnic table, get all the way to the top of it, and then, you know, make your way in that way. So, yeah, it, it's, it's definitely better to build a way into it, um, if, especially if you're going to go there frequently. And honestly, you're going to be going there quite frequently because once you've done most of the stuff in the sandbox, there is actually a couple of other things that you're going to go in there for, namely uh, the resource candies that you can actually dig up in the sandbox because every day more of them spawn in there. So you can like treasure hunt in there. So it's a really good a really good thing to go to. Um, and uh, we've got uh, Lodran says, I always go through the anthill. Yeah, the anthill is like, once you know the route, it's not too bad. I guess it also depends like where you are, but I tend to I tend to like use the picnic table first, then build my way to it, and then if I happen to be in the anthill, sometimes I go in that way. But because I only visit the anthill like once or twice, it's like I don't really go it that way that often. Um, I can't burgle. I, and says I like how burgle says that. <laughs> <It's a> Spectre. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's funny how he says, it, isn't it? And uh, Marie says I miss I miss the Titanic. <laughs> I can imagine, imagine Burgle trying to sing the Titanic. 
But he, but he, he'd make it about burgers and grilling. He'd be like, "When you're grilling b -b -b burgers <laughs> and flipping and grilling," <laughs> he'd, be, he'd probably do something like that. <laughs> and then he'd be, then he'd, then he'd be like something to do with like, um, he'd be like, "Hearing an analysis indicates that my voice f -f -f fucking sucks." <laughs> oh, hello, Stingbug. Goodbye, Stingbug. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to deal with you. Why? Why must you make me suffer? Right, there we go. <laughs> I don't wish to suffer. I wish to live a long, healthy life. <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna go back over here. Oh no, he'd probably sing it about his dreams about electric beef. Because <laughs> you know, apparently Burgles always wanted to dream about electric beef. God knows why, but you know. Well, I guess he's like a cooking robot, so you know. Mom and your beetle here. Oh, hello. Hello, Bombardier. Oh, I need to actually, you know, get out our weapon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ha you missed. Firing your dirty green acid butt juice at me? I don't think so. Hi there. There you go. He's probably die on his own. Hi. Got him. Yay, we win. I'll take those Bombardier parts, though. There we go. So, yeah. So one way you can get to the sandbox is by building. I might actually just do the building route now, but I'll show you where the zipline is on the picnic table as well, just in case you guys missed it. I know a lot of you who are like playgrounded before know where it is, but just in case you don't know a way to get in the sandbox, I will show you like that as well. But yeah, first of all, I'm going to build a way into here. So the easiest way I found to build into here is to actually start right here um, and build between like this eye and the and the right claw of the sandbox right here is the easiest way to build in. Uh, me and Max are about to destroy Spectre and the assistant manager. Uh, <laughs> this is for the Titanic. But I punch a hole through the assistant match. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to chop this stuff down first. There you go. Actually, let me make a new mutation loadout as well. So yeah, let's actually talk about mutation loadouts, which we haven't really used yet. You actually get four different loadouts that you can switch between at, at will. So for example, you can have a combat one, and then for maybe for my last one, I'm going to make my last one like a harvesting loadout, right? So maybe I'll put like hauling hero on, uh, grassmaster, rock cracker, then maybe this guy and I don't know what else is going to be good. Like cardio fan. Like this is like my now this one here is like my gathering one. So by having this on, I'll be able to gather stuff quicker and carry more. Right. So I can and then I can swap between these mutations at any time. We can like you can see like I'm on current on loadout D. And then when I finish this and go back into combat, I can swap out, back out to loadout A. Right. Uh, Kai says uh, Kai says daredevil in case you fall. <laughs> Yeah, Daredevil would probably be a good one as well for this slide out, honestly. Alright, so let's go get some grass as well. Plus, also by doing this, we'll hopefully get Grassmaster next level as well. But yeah, we're gonna build some uh, we're gonna build some stairs and a way up through here. And see how we go. Right, here we go. Dun 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 dun. There you go, we'll just like chop down a load of grass and we can collect a lot and we should be good. But yeah, by getting that comfort higher level, we actually get to use uh, the hauling hero mutation, which essentially gives you like five more grass, uh, five more grass plank carry capacity, which is really, really good. But yeah, now we can start to clean all this up real quick. So let's go just like drop this stuff kind of like all down in one spot so we can just pick up the stuff that we need. Should really use a pallet here, but you know it's fine. We're just gonna we're just gonna dump the resources that we kind of want to keep together, and let's go pick up some grass. But yeah, as you can see now, I can carry ten grass planks instead of five, and that's because I got hauling hero level one, which is good. So I'm gonna probably dump the grass over there. I remember in the old days of grounded, where the maximum stuff you could carry at any one time was like, I, th I think the maximum you could carry at any one time in the old times of grounded was ten. <laughs> whereas uh, whereas now 10 is like yeah you can you know you're, you're you're just getting into being a hauling hero right now but i think the maximum you carry is now like 90 or something uh it says uh max can i build it can i build the titanic on your pond <laughs> if i ever open up my world sure you're more than welcome to uh let's see let's go over here that'd be that'd be kind of an interesting one to build wouldn't it uh <laughs> Right, hold on, let me grab this one, grab this one, and we'll grab all the extra grass here. Yeah, we're going to need quite a bit of this, I think. Um, and then we can just drop all this off nearby, and then we can plan out how we want to build our way in. But yeah, I will still connect to the zipline as well, just so I can show you where it is. But yeah, then from uh, from that point onwards, we can then just build our way in there. Hmm. 
actually, I wonder. It's probably a really stupid idea, but I've never done it before. What would you guys say for maybe, like, this series only? Because I've never done it before. And I probably never want to do it again after this moment. <laughs> but what would you guys say if I was to build a sandbox base? Like, do you reckon I should do that? Like, maybe in the oasis part? Like, where all the water is? Would that, would that be something you'd like to see at some point? Like, after we get the oven and that? We could build a sandbox base, maybe? If you guys want to see that. Or or would you prefer me just to build, like, a base in an area that's easier to build in? It's, like, it's kind of up to you. Because I've never done a sandbox base before, so... You know, it's and obviously, like, it's going to be a bit interesting. Uh, Duff says, do it! Uh, <laughs> and uh, welcome back, Navy Dad. Welcome back. How you doing, dude? Uh, let's see. So, so I, can tell, I, I can tell you how many times Daredevil has helped me so much. <laughs> Guy says, uh, yeah, make a sandcastle base. See, I was, I was thinking, like, I could use the sandcastle, but the problem is, like, you can't really, like, when it comes to, like, building up in the tower bit, it's really restrictive on where you can build. I was thinking, like, if we were to look in the sandbox, I was thinking of doing it in, like, this area here, because you're like, or, may or may maybe this, I'm trying to think of the area that has the least antlion activity. I think this area right here has the least. There's, like, one that spawns there. So I was thinking maybe I could do it, like, there. Um, and uh, we got uh, Green Rain says uh, sandbox for sure. So, yeah, I might, I might do that. Because, yeah, we can have a base, like, right here. Um, maybe I could make it go over to the sandcastle, though. Um, and if I did that, then I could use the tower as, like, a point from the zipline. Uh, Kai says, uh, Kai says, you make the sandcastle. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, Ishmael was about to turn my brood mother boss onto into Nork when he comes out of nowhere and then, fr and then, uh, frisks out that then I rip it, then I rip his head in half and smash his screen. <laughs> and then he'd be like, you know you're not hurting me, right? <laughs> All right, let's get some more, let's get some more, uh, grass. And then we should have enough after that to essentially build what we need to. But yeah, the thing is, I'm going to have to, like, import a lot of the wee stems and stuff in there. So I'm definitely going to have to build something like this to, you know, get the grass and the stems over. I could, I could build a bounce tower as well and uh, use that to, like, zip line the materials over. Um, and honestly, we haven't really talked about bounce towers, have we? Like, they're, they're actually much less of a, of a thing now that we got the zipper. But I remember back in uh, back in the old days of Grounded, like, bounce towers were, like, the way you get around. Like, in to some extent, they kind of still are, but not as needed anymore. Weevil, you're walking through my grass. How dare you? That's what you get for walking through my grass. And now there will be grass up your ass. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, we're gonna make a uh, we're gonna make our way up here first of all. I'll probably yeah, I'll probably do like a bounce tower or so of some kind. Um and then we'll use that to kind of get up into the sandbox. Cause then we can like dig for treasure like whenever we need it. We we're we're close to salt whenever we need to get that. Um so yeah, honestly, that's actually probably a good idea if we tried that. We'll be close to essentially all the resources we needed. The only problem is we'd need to have we'd be restricted to like how we could get around because like we'd need essentially we'd need we'd need antline armor all the time, wouldn't we? So there is that as well. Uh could I not can I not just move that? Oh okay, I guess that's just stuck there for a minute. So then we do that. There we go. And then we can now can I move it? Uh oh, it's trying to work out what it's supporting. Hang on. Okay, let me let me move this somewhere else. Yeah, I want I need to move this out a little bit from where the base is, right? So from Okay, yeah, okay, now I can move it. Okay, there we go. So I want to move it like Yeah, so sometimes the game will kind of like bug out and it won't know how many things it's supporting. So I kind of need to move it there, don't I? A bit further away. All right. Now the good thing is now the stairs can just stack on top of each other like this. Before you'd need to build scaffolds to make it work, but you don't need to do that anymore. Um so that's a really good thing now. We just have to worry about... Like, I'm still going to build scaffolds and make it look kind of nice because, you know, it's going to be like a permanent thing in the world. But yeah, now you don't have to worry about like... Before you'd have to like build a scaffold, uh, at least one scaffold underneath the stairs. But yeah, that's not a thing anymore, which is really, really good. So yeah, we can just kind of build the stairs up here. We can get the basic shape of the structure done. Um, and then we can sort it out after that. So now I'm going to swap to grass floors. I'm going to build one there and one there. I can actually already hear an I can actually already hear an ant line up there. We need eight of these guys, then we'll build this up. And yeah, then I'll work on building the scaffolds after that as we go. And that one. There you go. And then we're gonna go the other way essentially from here and just build up that way. Okay. Sorry guys if you can hear snoring next to me. It's uh it's it's Teddy being he's snoring his head off right now. <laughs> Okay, here we go. It's, it's kind of funny when he sleeps, though. Right, there we go. We build another one, and then we build another one. 
Uh, oh wait, so now it's unsupported, huh? Okay. Okay, so okay, so now it's unsupported, and we need to build scaffolds. Okay, so have they made it so like? I think I think stairs are currently bugged, right? Because let's see, does it do it now? Uh, oh, it lets me do it there. Why? Okay, why does it let me do it there but not there? Okay, can I do it there then? And then we just fill that one in. Okay, that's really weird. Okay, so stairs do kind of work, but they also don't in that in, in that way. Okay, that's that's it's really weird. Okay, um, in that case, I'll build like a. I'll build like a support strut for this one then, um, which is fine. We can just do that. Yeah. Okay. So, so so it looks like the stairs are still a little bit bugged, but yeah, it's it's kind of funny actually. <laughs> it's like it's like wait, then we 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 do have support right here. Why why are you not letting me have support on here? And then the stairs are just like nope. So yeah, I get. I guess I'll just build some support struts here. Maybe, maybe they can only go up to a certain height. That's that's really weird. That's de that's definitely a bug. Um, kind of says. Uh, kind of says, says clip for obsidian. Yeah, that's that's definitely a bug. Yeah, thanks for clipping that, guys. Yeah, because look, now it works fine there. Look, see. So, uh, oh wait, no, it doesn't. Now it's not supporting there either. Um, huh. Okay. Um, unless, unless it's that stairs can only support themselves up to a certain height, which might be a thing, but you know that's not specifically stated and. So yeah, there might it might be just that it's like yeah you can only go may, maybe it's just like yeah you can only build a certain height with stairs and then they just stop supporting themselves, which in a way I guess would make sense, wouldn't it? But even so, it still kind of sucks because you know I want to I want to I want to be higher, damn it. <laughs> okay, so I build up to here. But yeah, as you can see, it's it's very quick just to build the way up here, right? It's not it's not going to take a long time at all just to build your way up to the sandbox. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I guess I'll, and, and to make this a bit nicer, I will actually build some support struts for it. Because I, like I said, I do want it to look nice, so, you know, we're still gonna, we're still gonna do our, we're still going to do the due diligence and build the, uh, build the supports and stuff for it. There you go, so we'll kind of bring this down to the ground there, there you go, and then we can kind of build up from here. Uh, right, actually these aren't touching the ground, are they? They've got to go down. One more. There you go. So yeah, we've got to actually build the support site right down there. There you go. And just throw that one there in it. There you go. Then we can build up the other support struts here. And that one. Okay, yeah. So for these lower ones, I'm going to have to like build my way up to it, I think. Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah. So yeah, I'll, I'll still build like extra support struts and everything and see how we go here. Uh, can I reach that one there? Oh. Yeah, I can reach that one. Can I reach that one? Okay, maybe if I go into first person, I can reach through. Yeah, so you can you can kind of go into first person to reach through certain certain ones, um, but it's not not like it. There we go. Got it. All right now, I can get some more. Yeah, it's actually easier to carry wee stems in first person. But yeah, as you can see, it's it's pretty easy to build your way up here. Uh, it says uh, Max likes having his stuff look nice, not a chaotic mess like I make. And uh, Marie says, uh, "I want to go do I want to go do my playground." Then go do your playground. <laughs> and I hope it. Uh, I whatever you make, uh, you know, at, at some point if you make it and publish it, then uh, you know I might even give it a go. Because I do like playing. Uh, I do like playing other people's playgrounds. So I might give it a go if you've uh, if you've made one. You'd say, "Hey, I'm going to publish it," and you know, we'll see what we'll see what it's like. Uh, right, there we go. So drop those. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so now I need to build some supports that go... So now I want some supports that come up this way. Uh, so we'll go do that. So we need to do uh, one there. Probably one in the ground as well for extra support there. And then we just essentially build this upwards. There you go. So... There you go. And another one. Um... Oh, is that one reaching up there? Yeah, that's kind of reaching up really high. That's fine. There you go. And then we'll just keep building up like this. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, let me make sure this is going on for me. It says, uh, I can't, I, uh, hang on. Uh, it says, uh, but I will say, I, it says, uh, I'll say the stream. I can't, I can't, I'm on PC only. I'm on PC too. So you can, you can, you can share your playgrounds through PC as well. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm also on PC Steam as well. All right, so we're going to drop down here so we can build this one. Yeah, we're going to have to, like, drop and build each one. There you go. Okay. Oh, did I drop on my... Did I drop on my planks and stuff? Yeah, I probably did. Are they all up there? They are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me that. Thank you. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> all right, there we go. So we got those, and then we need to add another one. Essentially, we're just going to do this, and we're going to, like, Grab it, drop down, make another one, drop down, make another one. Just essentially repeat that until we are done. So drop down to this one. 
place another one, walk to here, build it, and then place another one. There we go, build that one. Alright, there we go. Okay, we'll take a little bit of full damage there, but that's okay. Uh, there we go, that's fine. Right, now we've done that one, we need to essentially curve the stairs over that way, so I'm probably going to have to build support struts coming out this way, and then we essentially we curve the stairs over this way and make a bridge, right? So... Okay, so we will need a few more wee stems to make this work, so let's go do that. So, more wee stems, please. There you go. Uh, let's see. Uh, Yuri says, I'm playing a tank build. I've got Ladybug armor and a mint mace. Do I get Rolly Poly armor or Black Ops armor? Um, it depends. If you want to be more tanky, then Rolly armor will probably be better. Although Ladybug armor is still very good in the late game as well. Um, but if you want to use the charged attacks for the mint mace, uh, then I would go for the Black Ops armor. Although I'd say char charged attacks are very difficult to pull off uh, effectively. Like, even with the quick charge effect from the Black Ox armor, the charged, uh, the, the charged uh, attacks are still very difficult to pull off properly. It's doable, though. But yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a very, be prepared for a very different playstyle to actually take advantage of that armor. So yeah, if you, if you don't see yourself using charged attacks, just go rolly. Or, or even just keep the ladybug. Because ladybug, la I, I would even recommend in some cases keeping the ladybug, honestly. Because the Ladybug at least get like, yeah, the Rolly will let you tank more damage, but the Ladybug one will, like, heal you, right? So, uh, actually, I want to put that uh, that way. There you go. So, yeah, you, you'll, you'll tank more damage with the Ladybug armor. Uh, right. Can, so, can I can I actually just build on top of that one? Yeah, okay, so it's, it's unsupported there as well. So, I'm, I'm guessing then there's some kind of issue with the support struts coming on with these then. So, may, maybe stairs are only meant to support a few of themselves, and then they're just like, yeah, and, and after a certain point, they're just like, yeah, now, now 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 you build properly, otherwise, you know, no support for you. <laughs> so, let's get another one, and another one of these. There we go. So, let's go build the next one. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that's what's going on, honestly, but it, it could be a bug as well. Um, there you go. Or a, 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 unless it's an unintended feature, <laughs> which, again, it could be too. There you go. And once we get to this level, then we just essentially make floors that go across here, right? And then we're in the sandbox after that. There you go. So yeah, we just now use some floors, and then we've made our way up to the sandbox, and everything's good. So we need a little bit more grass first, because, you know, we're running out, so we need to get more. There we go. And then we'll grab all these. Uh, oh, I don't want the uh, wee stems, though. Just the grass at this point, and then we'll get wee stems later. Yeah, I probably should have used a pallet, really would have made my life a bit easier, but it's okay. All right, but yeah, as you can see now, we've got like a nice looking, uh, nice looking structure that's going to sort of take us up to the sandbox area, and then we can just kind of, you know, prettify it a little bit, and we should be good. So four there, eight there. Do I need to do another one? I think we do. Yep. Need to do another one. So let's go grab another one, and we are getting hungry and thirsty again, so... Need to go cook myself some food soon or something and sort that out. Well, I do have a weevil, don't I? So I can I can make a campfire over here and just cook that. Uh, thirsty wise, I think we just need to. Oh wait, there's actually mushrooms here as well. I forgot about them. Forgot about the shrooms. So yeah, we can get them as well. But yeah, I guess if we live in the sandbox, we're kind of close to mushrooms as well, aren't we? Um, and let's see, Yuri says, uh, I'll go with Rolly Polly armor. Yeah, it's probably probably the, probably the better of the two, honestly. All right, here we go. Uh, and can we do one more? Okay, no. So here we do like a, a half, a half one, I guess. So, because yeah, the, the the sandbox for whatever reason does not like to be interacted with for building. Like, the game will just literally say no, you can't do that. Um, whereas if we go for a half one like that, there you go, and now we're in. Nice. All right, so that's that. That's kind of like the support stuff done and built. Um, so now essentially we just gotta you know make it look a bit nicer. So we can use the Wii stems to do this. Uh, let's get some... We'll kind of make like a railing kind of thing going on. Because yeah, this, this, this is this kind of the structure I use, I use by default for these. So yeah, we can kind of do a... So essentially the way I probably am going to do this is we do... Let's get like a wall of some kind. So maybe the stem wall. If we can, yeah, the Wii stem wall here. And we'll use this to kind of go up like this. And then on the top of that is what we, is then when we use like the supports and stuff like that. So we kind of do this both sides. Uh, so we do that one and we kind of repeat it along here. Let me actually go in first person. It'll be easier to see. Uh, so let's go first person. There you go. We can kind of do that. 
and then there's going to be a wall on that side. And actually, do we want the wall there or half a block down? Eh. I don't know. Actually, we 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 could we could do a window wall here, a, wi a windowed wall here. So we can kind of like see out of it. Uh, so we'll do that. So we'll do like a window there, so we can kind of get a view out this way. And then the rest of it will just be walls over this way. There you go. And we'll kind of just do the same around this side and just sort of build up, build up over here, right? So then we do. Oh, excuse him. What? Who did that? <laughs> David <Navy> Nut. <laughs> Wait, was it David Nut? I don't even know. No, it wasn't David Nut. Who did that? <laughs> Yevly. <laughs> Sorry, David Nut. I, I, I didn't. I didn't mean to blame you there, but yeah, it was <laughs> Yevly. <laughs> Thanks for making me fart. <laughs> excuse me. I have uh, been eating a lot of uh, a lot of beans today, <laughs> so yeah, that uh, that that kind of happened. Uh, I, I I I do apologize for you know stinking all of you guys out on stream. It was. Uh, it was, it, it, it's my bad. It was like, it was like my bad. <laughs> Whoopsie. All uh, right, there we go. So we can do this side and this side. So there we go. So yeah, then we'll do, uh, we'll, we'll sort of make this look a bit prettier in a minute. But now let's just like build up what we can. And I need to drink as well. Tiny Pete needs to drink badly. There we go. So let's go and drink some of that. There we go. Uh, Slim says, uh, Slim says, always bleeding Teddy. <laughs> oh God, that's the thing though. Teddy, when he farts, Fucking hell! Just, just stay away. <laughs> it's like, I don't. It's like, it's like so, some, some of his farts. I'm thinking, I don't know what crawled up inside you and died, but I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, sometimes when he farts, fucking hell, he farts. All right, here we go. Let's uh, keep building up here. Yeah, I guess. Now we can just use some, uh, use some weed stems and stuff to build up here. And the, the good area here is it's got a lot of husky weeds. There's a really good area to like build on. I guess we'll just chop down more of these. But yeah, you get a lot of wee stems just from over this area. There we go. And let's go back into uh, first person. So yeah, so right, so right now it's going to look a little bit weird, but you'll see what I'm going for in a minute. There you go. There's another load there. But yeah, it's going to take it's going to take a fair few of these. Yeah, I was going to say, should I make a pallet? Uh, at this point, it's probably too late to do one, isn't it? So I'm too late in the build cycle to do it. Um... I picked up a bit of grass there. I don't want it. Nope. I don't want you. Go go away. Go over there. <laughs> no, I don't want you. Go away. How dare you. Making my life a misery, you stupid blanks of grass. All right. Uh, here's another one. Let's go chop this guy down as well. We'll need this. It says, uh, I bet it sounds cute. Though. <laughs> it, it, it sounds kind of funny, though. He does, like, really dry, airy ones. And all you, all, all you hear is, like... <laughs> that's, like that's literally all you hear. It's, it's just funny. Right, is that... Yeah, okay, we've got 10 of these. Okay, so we'll carry all these back over here. There we go, and we can keep building up. Keep building up a little ways. There we go. And this one. Very nice. And... <laughs> like, OMG. What? I mean, you are, you asked what they sound like, Yemli. Well, you kind of did. But then again, you kind of were just like, oh, I bet they sound cute. N not necessarily asking what they sounded like, but, you know, the the, the thought process was there, Yemli. Don't lie. <laughs> Yevly thinking, I wonder what they actually sound like. <laughs> All right. Let's go grab the rest of them. There you go. Ten more of these. But yeah, as you can see, like, we step walls take a lot of stems to build. Okay, this weevil's going up. There you go. Right, so we're almost at the top of this. I, li I like how the weevil is just like, yeah, you know, I'm going to go in the sandbox. I'm just like... I would tell the Weevil that's a bad idea, but you know what? The antlion's going to kill it, and then I'll get free food, so it's actually a good idea. Good idea, Weevil. Get out there. <laughs> Grave says, uh, now I ain't, no, Grave says, now I ain't sure if I'm working today. Are you, what, are you not Are you not working today, Grave? So, Coffee Queen, are you still, are you still grounding? And how's it, and how's it, how's it going, my love? Have you, have you done all your inventory stuff, and are you now, like, uh, I don't know, exploring and seeing if you can get your gold cards? Tiny Pete needs food badly. Don't worry, Tiny Pete, you will get food badly in a minute. There you go. Right, so yeah, we can, uh... Right. Hey, Weevil. I will take you. There you go. There we go. Grace says, uh, ain't heard from Kit in the last one... In, in the last two and a half hours. <laughs> and they might have gone off to do something else, I don't know. Alright, so, actually, let's eat some food real quick here, just to, like, stop me from starving to death. 
There you go. Right, and I'll probably make like a yeah, I'll probably make like a temporary campfire just down here as well. So we'll probably just make one over here just so we've got something to keep us going with. Okay, so we need what do we need? So we need one sprig, four stones, and some dry grass. Okay. That shouldn't be too hard to get. Uh, there's a sprig right there. There's okay, we only need one sprig, so that's fine. Uh, stones and dry grass. Okay, so we might not find any dry grass over here. Uh, oh, wait, wait, there's some here. Even better. Okay, so we got a bit of dry grass right there. Hey, Fid. One, two, three. There you go. And then we just need a couple of stones, which we should find over here. Yeah, see, in my card lock challenge, I actually built a base on these rocks, and it was really, it turned out really good. But yeah, I'm pro I don't want to do a base in the same location as I've done before. Because, you know, I, I always like to build, like, different bases every time. Because it's, like, it it's what make gives the game a bit of variance. Uh, Dove says, uh, one more time watching and my streak will be a month and a half. Says Dove. I know, right? <laughs> You're doing well, Dubs. Dubs is doing very well with that watch streak. And I appreciate it, dude. All right, let me make sure everything's caught up on that side as well. Uh, the arrow on the side of the wall blueprint is meant to point to the outside. I think it is, but honestly, I don't think it really matters. Um, at least for most walls, anyway, so it should be okay. And we have a Jody Mermaid Raid, I think. Let me see. It is a Jody Mermaid Raid. How you doing, Jody? Welcome in. Thank you, Dubs and Kindness, for giving Jody a shout out. Very much appreciated, guys. How was your stream, Jody? Were you playing some grounders today? Or were you playing some, uh, or were you playing some more uh, Sea of Thieves? Or what was, uh, what was, uh, what was on the Jody Mermaid list of things to do today? But how did it go? I hope it went really well. That's good. I was trying to get, uh, was, try was trying to get, oh, try trying for 100%. Ah, oh, okay. So what's left, what's left to do on your, uh, on your world then? For anyone who's just joined in with Jody as well, first of all, thank you so much for popping in and coming along with the raid. And if you don't know who the hell I am, I'm Max Force Gaming, UK survival streamer. I like grounded. We play a lot of grounded. So if you like grounded, you're in. Yeah, you're in. You're you're in a good place. Well, and apart, apart from when you discover that I'm a complete raven lunatic, then you know might not be as much of a good place anymore. But you're in a good place, and you know, <laughs> so welcoming, guys. <laughs> I hope everyone's doing well though, and uh, hope uh, hope you guys enjoyed the Jody stream. All right, so for this bit here, I'm gonna make like a, I'm gonna make like a, a bridge thing across here, and I think that'll look kind of nice. There we go. So we'll make like a a little railing bridge here. And then we need a few more. And then for the end bit there, I think we're going to have to use the half uh, the half railings, aren't we? Because, yeah, they added uh, new quarter walls here. So we can kind of use these, right? And then we can make those. And then we can make those do what we need to do. There we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, dude, it says, I'm excited to do New Game Plus. Oh, yeah, that's going to be that's going to be fun. Uh, I've tried a little bit of it, but I've not done it. F I've not done it like fully yet. So I've not gone. I've not gone through one full iteration of uh, New Game Plus yet. But, yeah, I've I decided that I'm going to start a new game. And we're gonna 100%. Uh, we're, we're essentially, just because I know like some new players are coming in on console and everything. And I think that you know, hey, it might be useful for people who are like looking to like do certain things, like how to do certain things. If you know what I mean. So I was like, yeah, if I do like a, a new 100% run, I can work through that. And then after that, we can just be like, hey, now we can uh, now, now we can you know go to New Game Plus and then explore it all together from this world, right? So yeah, I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be pretty good. Um, so yeah, because yeah, it's then then it's like you know then I can help out console players and then it should be uh, it should be good, right? All right, so let's go back up here. Let's fill in the uh, fill in this little bit over here. Uh, da, 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 da. Dun, 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 dun. Right then, this next bit we need to do. Right, so for this bit, I'm gonna do this and this. You'll see what I'm doing in a minute. And then we are gonna use the quarter heart, uh, the quarter uh, ramp blocks right here and here. And then after that, we're just going to use the regular uh, half ramps to sort of finish this off a little bit like this. There you go. And then that should look pretty good, I think. And this will make our this will make like kind of like our railing for the for the stairwell. And then I think uh, then I think we'd be good. And then yes, yeah, so it's a it's a rather it is a rather fancy stairwell, but just, there we go. Uh, but yeah, we got to add this on. Uh, we got to add this on both sides. Like we got we got we got to add it like to the underside as well. So we got to like do here. To kind of finish off the to sort of finish off the look of it um at least at least on the front side maybe maybe on the back side doesn't really matter so much but on the front side at least we gotta add this i guess i guess we'll do it on the back side as well because you know people are gonna see it from the back as well at some point so around this side essentially we do the same and then we sort of add it over there like that and then we'll have to we'll have to kind of like scaffold our way up there to do the rest of it but yeah, now I can go get the other ones, and we should be pretty good. Kind of says, uh, well, I count Twitchiverse looking for grounded PvPers. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, yeah, let's help new people come to ground, and I'm kind of just like, let's kill the new people so I can get better at PvP. <laughs> 
<laughs> Kai's like, I can no longer PvP on the sea, so I'll PvP in the ground. <laughs> Yarhar. <laughs> Uh, let's see. And uh, Grace says uh, you should be scouring the multiverse, looking for the for, for the you of another universe. That would be your best and hardest opponent, guys. <laughs> yeah, because because it could be because then even if you lose and you're fighting yourself, then you also win, right? You're like, yes, I win, but no, I lost. But then when you're like, no, I lost, you're like, ha, but I still won. Ha ha, screw you. Yeah, I still won. Bitch. <laughs> Kai says, I am the Alpha and the Omega Natural Carnage. <laughs> All hail Lord Carnage. <laughs> King of the Watershed, the Turner of Taps. <laughs> Jody says, uh, I'm a finished fighter now. I'll be, uh, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be here lurking away. Thank you so much for your like, Jody. Very much appreciated. Gogan says, Inventory Solid, done a few quests, but my belly hurts, so I stopped playing. Aww. I'm sorry, my love. Are you gonna try and get some rest? But I'm glad you I'm glad you came back into grounded finally. Cause like Gummy has been away from grounded for like ages and she's finally come back and started playing again, so I'm happy. I've been I, I I've been like begging Comic Queen for months to come back on grounded. I'm like, please come back to grounded. And she's like, no, I'm, p I'm pissed off with it right now. <laughs> I'm like, but please. And she's like, no. <laughs> like, please. And she's like, Okay, may, may, maybe I don't know, <laughs> and then uh, and then and then today she was like, I'm getting the itch to play it, and I'm like, yes, yes, a thousand times, yes. <laughs> okay, I gotta eat or die. Uh, did I? Hang on, did I cook the leave meats up? Yeah, I did. Hang on, let me get some of these. Right, let me bring these back, and then I can. Yeah, I, I I just gotta watch out for the ants here as well. Um, can I just drop these a minute? Right, let me eat one of them. No, yeah. <laughs> I like I like the sound when you like eat eat the food. It's like <laughs> Someone almost like the noise I make when I'm in bed with Coffee Queen. <laughs> so the guy keeps going to be there like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for the watershed now as well. <laughs> oh my god! There it is. Kai says, uh, "Kai says, uh, why don't you build the? Uh, why don't you build a hunt the fox arena?" I could, I could do, I could do something like that for like a playground map, couldn't I? Um, yeah, or like a, or like a grounded Hunger Games style thing. See, I wish we, I still wish we could have more players though, because like a grounded Hunger Games thing in playgrounds would be like amazing to try and make. I'd love to try and make one of them. Uh, Comic Con Green's just laughing. <laughs> just Comic Green says, uh, "Just watching stream and chilling." I'm glad you're chilling, baby. Yeah, you need to, you need to relax as much as you can. And I'm glad, I'm glad you are. So thank you for relaxing, my love. And I hope you feel a little bit better soon. Yeah, uh, Comic Queen has been like, uh, she, she's just been like crocheting and just like kind of relaxing in, in, in the bed for a little bit. And she looks she looks so cute when she's relaxing in bed. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Grab those. And then we can build up here. But yeah, seeing her like all snuggled up in the covers and everything it's, it is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> Guy says, uh, one has to complete a set of tasks while the other three try and stop you. And yeah, yeah, so, so that would be pretty good. Yeah. Says, uh, says, Pineapple Man has been defeated by a cooldown. <laughs> He's right there, just like, fuck! <laughs> yeah, as you can see, this area this area is good for building anyway, because it's got a load of Wii stems. So yeah, I guess, like, transporting them to the sandbox, especially when we, we get the larger stem pallets, is going to be pretty good. Kai says, uh, Grave, you'll be defeated by a sword in a few. <laughs> this is, this is like, Kai, 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 Kai's just, like, timing him out. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go up here. So I gotta build the rest of these. Here we go. There we go. So we've got a few more to get and then build up. And that'll be the way to the sandbox all done and done, which is gonna be awesome. Uh Grace says, Oh well, I'm not unbeatable, just unkillable. <laughs> says <laughs> Grace like Grace like, I am the Lich King, nothing can kill me. 
In fact, if anything does kill me, it actually makes me stronger because then I just survive off my own body juices and then reabsorb myself into myself. And then, yeah, then I come back as a stronger Lich King. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Kai's, uh, Kai, Kai, uh, like, now, now, children. Kai's like, he started it, mum. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can imagine, like, the look of indignation on Kai's face. <laughs> Kai says, you're both grounded. <laughs> Am I grounded, Coffee Queen? <laughs> you, 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 can, you can ground me too if you want. Okay, so we'll spider on me. <laughs> Poison. Where did you come from? Were you coming down my stairs? <laughs> <laughs> Owie! That was me! <laughs> why, why are you here? <laughs> he, he came out of the sandbox! This is the wall spider from the sandbox! He literally came down my stairs to say hello! <laughs> God! <laughs> <laughs> I just heard him. I, I thought it was. I thought it was below me. Hi there. Oh, no, no, I got him. <laughs> Goku says that was funny as. <laughs> <laughs> says a sure thing, man. Proceeds to uh, pr proceeds to go out of the, uh, out on the town anyway. <laughs> like, like he literally came down from the sandbox to come and kill me. I've never seen him do that before. That is the. F I think that's the first time I've ever seen a wall spider literally come out of the sandbox just to be like, hey, um, I'm gonna. <laughs> the, he's pretty much like, hey, thanks for thanks for the access to the new hunting grounds. So he, he's like, I, I I built this bridge and now he's like, I am free. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know why he would do that though. That's, that's actually hilarious. Guy says, and now it's clear forever. Forever! <laughs> just, scared the, just scared the crap out of me. I was like, because I thought I was like, okay, here it was. I thought it was like down there. So, or like it was in like some, like somehow got behind like the struts and I've not seen it walk in there. So I was like, yeah, it's probably just down there. We'll be fine just to build this thing. <laughs> Next minute. <laughs> it's like, so the fuck did you? come from <laughs> don't know why it showed up there of all places uh, that's funny all right i need to make this and then we need to kind of jump to that yep now I'll make our way along here there we go and done all right i can delete that one all right there we go we now have our little way into the sandbox right here yay there we go we win okay so yeah, there we go. So yeah, I left a bit of a mess behind, but that's okay. There we go. So yeah, that's uh, that's how I like to build into the sandbox. Just like a little stairway each direction, and then you know just go up from there. Um, actually, I could probably make the base end of this a little bit nicer as well. And to do that, all we can do is just get like, just so like this bit here is sort of covered over to look consistent. We can just do this, right? So we can add that there, and then do the same with that side and then just sort of cover it over there there you go yeah we can we can make that look a little bit nicer but yeah i i, I guess it stands to reason that if the weevil started to go up the stairs then the big creatures were gonna like start going i wonder if an ant lion is gonna come down from there at some point like it wouldn't surprise me if an ant lion is just like yeah hello no uh, <laughs> just, just like just like shows up down here and scares the crap out of me i guess there's only one way to find out <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see right uh there you go and then we can sort of do the same thing on the bottom here There you go, right, let me make sure that I'm also not missing chat on the other side as well. Um, nope, okay, we're good. I'm not missing chat on the other side. Nothing's come through there, so that's good. Yeah, I'm... I'm if, if you want to want to, like, pause my game and stuff, it's just because I'm... I had to... Because my bot today is, like, just not delivering chat from both sides consistently. I had to check just to make sure everything's going through, okay? Um, let's see. Comic Queen asks, would you rather work a job you hate and retire in 10 years or work 40 years doing your dream job? I just say 40 years doing the dream job because then you'll be you'll be happy all that time. Because the, you, never, you never know, like, you might die before them 10 years are up, and then you'll be sad for the last part of your life. Do you know what I mean? Um, Kai, says I can't, Kai says I can't wait for the compilation. 
Ah, uh, yeah, I had, I, had to, I, had to, I had to get, like, some of the best clips and, and compile them. The, I think the main problem with, with the clips is I've got so many twerking clips that it's just, like, very samey. So I probably have to, like, go through and delete some of them. Um, like, some of the ones where they're just not as good. And, like, just keep the best, best ones. And then that will make it so that any clips I have are more consistent. And then, yeah, we can make a compilation of that. Uh, yeah, he says, uh, I'm going to kill the ant queens again. I just like hoarding their parts. Um, yeah, Lee, just use the, use the duper. Use the super duper, then you don't have to kill them again. You're better off, you're better off infecting them, um, if you're going to do it again. But yeah, you may as well, you may as well just use the super duper for the parts, right? <laughs> he, was, uh, he was like, no! <laughs> He's like, I don't want to use the super duper. I'm going to kill the ant queens again. I want to kill them! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, let's be, let's be like, you could use a super duper, but then it's like, no, no, <laughs> absolutely not. That is a stupid suggestion. Only a moron would suggest such a thing. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I point blank fucking refuse. Uh, Gogan says, uh, nothing, but I forgot what I was doing on Grounded 2. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> As uh, so another thing, I do, I do the uh, I do the ten years just because I'd hate the job doesn't mean I'd be sad. No matter whether I like the task, taking care taking care of your family always makes me happy. I mean that's I mean that's true. But honestly, like if you think about it, like when it comes to like how much you work, that's like a third of your a third of your life, isn't it? And you know, I get I get yeah you know, be, but there's there's, there's going to be times where it's just going to be like oh I fucking hate being here kind of thing. You know what I mean? And I would hate to feel like that for ten years. Like, I felt like that for, like, two years at the job I used to work at, for, like, the last bit, because everything just got so boring and dull. Like, at first, I really liked working there, but then it was just, like, management pretty much lost direction of where they wanted to go with everything, and, like, we were kind of just, like, sat there just doing stuff that we knew that in the end wasn't going to matter, and it was just like, oh, fucking hate this. <laughs> uh, he says, I already used their parts to make the new one. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you've got to... Yeah, because I would say, like, once you kill an ant queen, dupe one of its parts at least, um, or dupe each of the parts once, so that you can then, you know, use them later on for, like, the stuffed ant queens and stuff. Uh... Hi. How are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Wait, why did that be sent me flying? <laughs> okay. Right, do you mind? <laughs> the bees are like, the bees are like, he's back! The killer of bees has returned! We must end him! Okay. Hi there. Right, this guy's probably gonna bleed out and die. I just, I just, I just want to get to the picnic table to show the people where to build the thing. Okay. <laughs> I killed it with a perfect block with the poison. <laughs> that was, that was awesome. Grace says, "Hey, comic queen, give the people what they want and get better soon." <laughs> hey, Thomas says, "I've not played in ages. There are ant queens now." Yes, there are. There are three, one for each of the factions' events. Uh, Gogan says, uh, "Still no wolf spider gold gun." <laughs> Aw, don't worry, I've not, I've not got one in this game yet. So. And I've killed a fair few of them, but you will you will get them eventually, baby. Uh it says hashtag not gonna happen. And thank you. <laughs> and uh yeah, it says I really love the uh, I really love the fire ant queen armor. Yeah, the, the armor sets that they give you do look really good, don't they? I like them. <laughs> I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, let's go and uh get some juice drops for the uh Take it right. So yeah, so for any of you guys who want to get into the sandbox without building, so I've already built a way in just to show you that way. But if you want to get into the sandbox without building, there is actually a zip line um, that's over here. So if you go to the pin table and come to the field station, that's just over here. Uh, is there actually anything we need to analyze before I go in there? Uh, nope. So we're fine. So yeah, nothing we need to analyze. But yeah. Um, oh wait, is there a folder in here? Oh yeah, we missed this folder. Here we go. In building logistics. Let's go read this one. I totally, I totally missed this one. Burgle. Work continues on the logistics of embiggling organic material. There are so many factors factors that elude us still. If there's one thing I do know, Burgle, is that I need that sweet, sweet Java flowing. Brain bad when sip stop. <laughs> Brain bad when sip stop.
stop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like that. Hashtag, not gonna happen. Thank you. <laughs> Marie says, uh, I got a new uh, I got an idea for a customer. Oh, okay, hang on. Let me uh, let me refresh my YouTube chat real quick because it's again not coming through. Uh, give me a second, guys. Gotta gotta go gotta go refresh. Um, so bear with me while I just put my bot in gear. Uh, right. Hey, yay, stupid bot. <laughs> right. Let me just exit this and then we'll re-enter it and it should kind of kick it back into life again. Sorry, uh, sorry, Marie. Um, let me see. So we'll go Twitch chat Ule bot. There we go. And just use that. Right, hang on a sec. Let me just refresh this. Um, and then we'll just run some tests on it. Uh, let me just spam a few messages in it. There you go. We'll see what shows up. Uh, does it show up now? Is it gonna work? Uh, hello, but hello, but do you want to respond now? Maybe, maybe. Doop 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 doop. Do we get it? Uh, yeah, we got a doop doop. Okay, the bot, the bot is back. There we go. Okay, it's good. Right. Okay, it's, it's alive again. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Yeah, here's he uh, here's alive again. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Uh, yeah, Cocoa Queen says, uh, I hope so too. Uh, first it was flu, and now it's belly ache. I can't win. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. You'll get better soon. You will. And you know, I'll always, I'll always try my best to make sure that you get everything you need when you're not feeling so good. So I'll try my best, even even though you always say I'm alright, and you know, end up doing most of it yourself. I'll still try my best. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll still try it. <laughs> alright, so yeah, there's a zip line right here, and it will connect you to that one. And all it takes is twelve of these to build one over. And there we go. And that all will actually give us that'll actually give us four hundred and fifty raw science. So that's kind of cool. I don't know if that's like uh, to do with the uh, specific connecting quest. Oh, build a, zip, uh, build a connection between two zip line anchors. Quest number thirty six. All done. Um, so now we need to uh, craft berry leather, which is easy enough to do and raise the banner of burglar at weed killer peak so we've got to go up there at some point but that's fine um and then we also go up to we have to craft an omelant as well which is something we can't really get yet but once we've done the once we've done the assistant manager i think we'll be able to get the omelant after that um so yeah or the uh, the sandbox chip. So yeah, it's a little bit uh, a little bit of a ways off at the minute. Where it says, uh, "Here's my idea." So you wake up after a coma, but everything doesn't th doesn't seem right. Uh, spiders have taken over, and your goal is to kill is to kill the mother of the spider. Okay, so yeah, so it's like uh, it says like the the, the brood mother went crazy, and like yeah, the, all the spiders have taken over everything. That that would be pretty good. Hey, karate, welcome to the stream, dude. Sorry for uh, I missed you coming in there. It says, "Hey Max, hope the stream is going well, fam. It's going really good. Thank you, dude. How's, how have you been? <laughs> Here he is. He's so intimidating. Uh, Ruscape, uh, Ruscape. Whoa, crazy coincidence. But I just have to have exactly twelve silk grape on me. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, great. Says so basically, try to take it as easy as you can. I know it's hard. You remind me of my bloodline. You just can't stop doing stuff. <laughs> That's the thing. It's like, it's like can't be queen. You're like, you're like, bitch, you gotta fucking use me. You know, like, like, look, look at these titties. You gotta use me. <laughs> like, like, grab them and like make me do shit. <laughs> and uh, Craig's like, hey, Kogi says, exactly. I'm always busy. I know, but you could be less busy if you would utilize me more. <laughs> it's karate e says does. How goes it? <laughs> All right, let's go and make our way down the zipline. <laughs> And yeah, this will give us the access into the sandbox. So here we go. Hello there. And uh, Kai says, <laughs> I can't just click that. Yeah. <laughs> like, fucking use me, man. <laughs> All right. So now we are in the sandbox, right? So yeah, the best time to come to the sandbox is actually at night at, for your first couple of visits until you get um, until you get a special type of armor. And I'll show you why in a little bit. But yeah, here's our uh, here's our little way that we built earlier. So yeah, you know we got a uh, we got ourselves a little uh, we got ourselves a little way in now that's going to be a little bit quicker in the future. But yeah, the easiest way to get into the sandbox is actually just over here. Oh, and uh, aphid there's another aphid up here. But yeah, when you come to the sandbox, you're going to find your very first tier three creature, which is one of these guys. It the looks like he's uh, I don't know if he's coming after me or if he's going after the aphid. No, he's coming after me. All right, so yeah, these guys have a couple of attacks. They're not too hard to deal with, though. You just have to... They have, like, one kind of side swipe. And they also have a long wind-up attack, which is a bit harder to block, just like that. Now, when they're in the sand, they can also burrow under the sand, and then they can hit you from underneath. But uh, this, as you can see, this one right here, he's on the edge of the sandbox. So if you can lure them to the edge, then they can't bury themselves underneath. But yeah, that attack there is probably one of the deadliest ones. Now, spicy safety and other mutations won't prevent your damage from these guys. Because these guys do... I think these guys actually do chopping damage. So, uh, because they kind of, you know, chop with their mandibles. So, this uh, spicy safety will not... Uh, the, the burrow move is parryable too. It is, yeah. If you if you know the timing, then you can parry it. But it's very difficult to do it. 
Today is like a dream for me. Three new clips for my collection. That's almost unheard of. This <laughs> is great. Hey! Alright, so yeah, we can get this guy, and he will give us access to some antlion parts. And sometimes you'll also get an antlion pincer as well. So if you get the pincer, you want to save these, because there's a, there's a good weapon you can make with these a little later on. Um, but yeah, we're going to go and start making our way through here. So yeah, the Spider Fang Dagger, if you don't have the Black Ant Sword yet, which you probably should do before coming in here, but I'm coming in here a little bit early. If you don't have the Black Ant Sword, the Spider Fang Dagger or the Bone Dagger are your next best options because the Antlions are weak to slashing damage. And they're also weak to salty, but we can't take advantage of that just yet. So going to have to rely on the slashing damage. We can try the Pinch Whacker on them and see if it's good. So you can see this one. Because he's in the sand, he was able to dig down and then, like, strike where I was stood. But yeah, let's see if uh, what the Pinch Whacker is like on this. Is this any good? Pinch Whacker is kind of decent. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of Pinch, I Pinch? What? Maybe a little Pinch Roll, guys. You've got to work it, to work it, and shake my butt for my beautiful one. Because if you turn it hard enough, when you shake it enough, then she's going to want to look at my bum, because it's so big and round and very curvy. And it's going to make us all say, ee -ee, so twerk it, to work it, and ground me, coffee queen, ground me. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so the Pinch Whacker on this guy is not too bad. And bear in mind, this is unupgraded as well, so... You can see it stuns him pretty easily. So I guess the Pinch Whacker is again another good choice. Because the Antlions do get stunned very easily. But yeah, as you can see, they're not the they're not the hardest thing to take out. The the only the only thing you've really got to watch out for is that burrow attack. Because I think in WoW mode it can insta kill you. Um so, uh, there's certain there's certain way, points it can insta kill you. There you go. But yeah, I think the uh, I think the dagger does pretty good. I think your best I think the best way actually, if you don't have the black hand sword, is use the dagger and then switch to the pinch whacker afterwards. There you go, and then you can switch back, make it bleed, make it bleed, and then kind of kind of like use bleed damage to wear it down. But yeah, you there you go. So you can bleed it, bleed it, and then now these guys do resist generic damage, so. There you go. But yeah, as you can see, I managed to parry that guy. There you go. And we got him. Nice. There you go. But yeah, that's another thing you can do. Like, if you're if you're looking to use, like, a wear down strategy, uh, and lines are also weak to solve. They are. Unfortunately, you're at the minute. We can't take advantage of it. But soon we will be able to. Um, in order to do that, though, we have to actually have access to the oven. So yeah, there's uh, there's going to be a good portion of the game where you're going to fight antlions without the, being able to exploit the weakness. But yeah, eventually you'll be able to make a salty weapon, and then yeah, that'll uh, that'll take them out really easily. But yeah, easiest thing to do right now, if you don't have the black hand sword, is bleed it, then bleed it with something else, and then just try and stun it with something. Because yeah, they stun pretty easy. There you go. As you can see, I stun him, and then again, bleed, bleed, and then keep up the stun. Managed to block that one? Okay. But yeah, you can see they, they do take a bit to wear down, but, you know, the bleeds do stack up nicely. So that's another good thing as well. There you go. And there we go. Got him. I need to eat or die. Eat or die. Okay, so we'll eat some of these. There you go. So as you can see, I've got three pincers now, eight antlion parts. But yeah, honestly, for your first trip through the sandbox, you do want to get uh, you do want to amass as many antlion parts as you can because they can actually be used to make a new armor set, really, which is pretty good. Um, and yours is Sour Battle Axe. <laughs> yeah, Sour, Sour, Sour Battle Axe would be nice if we had it right now, but unfortunately, we don't have it at the minute. <laughs> it's, now, it's now called the Acid Edge, isn't it? They actually changed the name of it. Oh, look, we got some... Uh, there's an apple core here. We haven't actually harvested any apple bits yet, so... I do want to see if we can get uh, the fresh ones for human food smoothies, if this thing would stay still. Hey, fucking... <laughs> there you go, so we got some, uh, yeah, fresh apple bits here. Probably just keep hold of the rotten food and delete that later. But yeah, as you can see, it's uh, at the minute, though, it's nighttime. But when it comes to daytime, you're going to see why the sandbox is actually a little bit more dangerous. And we're going to back up here. All right, so again, bleed it. And then we're going to... Oh. Uh, bleed it, bleed it, and then pin track it. There you go. And then we can bleed stop again. We bleed it, bleed it, and then pin track it. Okay, I need to drink something. There you go. Hi there. 
So you can see, even the spiky spring in the sandbox is still useful. That's why I love the spiky spring. It's useful even into, like, mid-game. It's so good. Okay, he's gonna do one more burrow attack, most likely. There you go, got him. Back away. And there we go. Easy. Taking him out. <laughs> very, very nice. There we go. Um, so Marie says, uh, Marie says, can I have, can I have some apple, please? Of course. <laughs> I'll drop you, I'll drop you some right now. Here we go. There's, there are some apple bits. They are all yours. Rolling down the hill. The apple bits. They're rolling, rolling, rolling down the hill. Hey. <laughs> and we got a new follow as well from, uh, Phantom Jew. Thank you so much, Phantom, for the follow. Very much appreciated. Says, uh, thank you for explaining this, uh, to people. A lot of, uh, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people don't get it. I I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. And I know, like, like, we've got a load of new players coming from console now so yeah i think it's i think it's like like i said i'm doing i'm trying to do a series where it's like we'll start from the beginning so it's all gonna be up on youtube as well um man am i, am I playing on like low quality settings right now i want to see actually guys i think i had to switch to that because of uh i think i had to switch that because not for stream but because of a playground am i actually playing on like the lowest quality setting right now i have no idea actually let me see display oh no i'm not showing medium okay so I, I guess they oh okay i wonder if on medium now they made the cans like render out sooner because i remember that never used to be a thing so i guess they've uh lowered the draw distance on some of the cans a bit marie says uh, i need you to kill an antlion so i can make an antlion roast dinner that's fine we can go kill an antlion in just a minute uh says uh plus karate my old buddy old pal it's a baby ant why are you sending babies into battle <laughs> yeah karate you monster <laughs> Right, so now we have a pit ant lion. So these guys essentially are like the roaming ones, but they have 50% more health and they can do two other moves. Actually, three other moves. So the first move will be they'll throw ants at you while you're on the edge. Their second move, which I'll do in a minute, they'll kind of flick sand at you and they'll try and draw you into the pit. Now, if you don't perfect block this, it will provide a slowness buff and you can see he'll keep, he'll keep doing this until he gets pulled in. All right, now I can't really see anything because it's... Uh, it's uh, a bit cloudy. So yeah, now he has his regular wind-up move just like the surface one does. And then he also has a move where he'll like try and whack you with the side of his pincer as well. So yeah, he's got a few moves here. And then he's got his regular side swipe move just like the regular antlions do. So yeah, these guys, as you can see, are quite a bit more tanky. So again, just use the same strat. Wear it down, wear it down. So apply two bleeds to it. And then you can just use the pinch whacker to stun it, and it'll give you a bit of an easier time while he's bleeding out. And then we switch, and then we switch again. There you go, switch again, keep the bleed going, and then again switch to the pinch whacker. And you can see all you gotta do is essentially, until you get like a better weapon, just wear him down like this, and it works pretty good. But yeah, you can see that move there will actually hit you three times if you're not lucky. And unfortunately, I didn't block that move, so yeah. There you go, so we'll do that one. And then I just use the dagger to finish him off. There you go. Oh, that one actually, yeah. And you can see he does quite a bit of damage. But there we go. Managed to kill him. And there we go. That's all done and done. So yeah, and once you uh, kill the ones in the pits, they will actually lead you to a new area in the sandbox. So if you actually uh, harvest this guy, you'll see that the pit under him actually falls away. And then we can make our way down under here. Now there is another outline under here we're going to have to take care of. So I'm going to run in and then run back. And this is just a regular outline now, so again, we can just do... We can just do our same strategy, so we'll, like, you know, bleed him out, weaken him. So again, bleed him. Bleed him. And then weaken him. There you go. Oh, we stunned him out of his dig animation, even better. And then again, bleed him, bleed him. And weaken him. And you can you can see, like, we're, uh, we're getting through this guy quite quickly. There you go. And again, bleed him, bleed him, and then... Switch to your other weapon and then whack him. There we go. And then we'll do a lot of damage over time. But yeah, down here, you can actually find bonus materials. Like, you can find, like... And the stuff down here does respawn as well. There's uh, some sturdy marble down here. So we're going to get this one. So we're going to get the sturdy marble first. Here we go. So there's that lot. This one won't respawn, but down in this, in this particular hole, these mints will respawn down here. Now, next time they respawn, they might not be mints. They might be spices. They might be salt. And if you're very unlucky, they might just be pebblets. But every time you come down here, like, come down here, like, every few days or so, and this stuff will respawn. Just, even if they're pebblets, break them up, and it will encourage them to respawn as something else a little bit later. Um, do you know the sad hamster? The, the sad hamster meme? Um, not too sure, actually. Um, and uh, and we got found 
who says only only the uh yeah only the uh the salt and we handy yeah but yeah if it's if it's a pebble down here you can still break that as well um and that will then respawn into something else a little later on um Let's see, Coco says, uh, glad you're okay, Mouse, and me too, thank you. All right, so yeah, as you can see now, though, now it's daytime in the sandbox, we're actually sizzling. Um, so yeah, when you uh, come out to the sandbox during the day, it's so hot out here that your character will experience the sizzling effect. Now, earlier on in the playthrough, we actually got fresh defense, right? So fresh defense actually counters the sizzle until you get something a little bit better. So as long as you get fresh defense level three... Uh, we're actually going to take this one off and put this one on. This gives you a level three. It gives you 75% resistance to sizzle. So now you can see if I run out into the sun again, you can see that the sizzle meter is going up a lot slower, allowing me to last a little bit longer before I need to find shade. But to get rid of sizzle, there's two things you can do. Well, three things. The first thing is you can just go into the shade and just stay in the shade for a little bit, and then you'll see that the meter goes down. Second thing you can do is jump into water. If you jump in water, your sizzle meter will just go, go, uh, go straight down immediately. Uh, yeah, we do need to we need to find something to drink, don't we? So I'm gonna have to leave the sandbox. But the third thing you can do is if you're right at the edge of the sandbox, just step onto the red section in the sandbox, and that will also uh, remove your sizzle as well. So if you're like stood here and you're sizzling, and if you just like stand here, you can see that my meter goes down. The sizzle only applies within the boundary of the sandbox. As long as you're outside that, then it won't apply. But yeah, we need to drink something, don't we? Um, so yeah, it's a, it's it's an emergency. But yeah, let's go down here and. There you go. Let's go find. Uh, I know there's some drink over here. Hopefully, we can get to it in time. We've got 25 seconds, guys, to get to to get to some drink. Uh, unless we can find any closer by. <laughs> drink or die. Oh no, mushrooms! No, you're gonna. No, the mushrooms are gonna kill me. Fuck! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna die now. I'm I'm gonna die now because I'm not gonna get to that drink in time. <laughs> ah, crud. Uh, yeah. I am gonna die. I'm gonna, yeah, the stupid, stupid mushroom. Yeah, there's, there's drink just over here as well. Ah. <laughs> okay, uh, let's just reload from... Let's just respawn at a field station, because that'll spawn me on the picnic table and, and we can get our stuff back. Ah. <laughs> okay. Let's go down here and grab our stuff, and, uh, and, 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 yeah, what what I should have done is run across the top. Yeah, there's literally like a juice thing right over there. But that's the other thing as well. When you're in the sandbox, your drink will go down faster because you're obviously hot. Now, you can also combat that with the juicy mutation as well. So if you have found the juicy mutation, then you can use that to kind of get around it. Um, Big spider, be careful. Right, is there any is there any drink here? Oh, is it, did it just not spawn a drink drop here? Oh, I guess. Oh, wait, there's, and, and look, look at that. There's one right there. Like, none of the other grass had it, but now it's just like, hey, by the way, uh, there's one right here. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely want a canteen full of water before coming in there. That was just, I just happened to have nothing left in my canteen. <laughs> I stayed in there a little bit too long, but it's okay. Um, but, yeah, that's essentially the basics of the sandbox, right? So, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be hot and sizzly in there. Got to be careful of the antlions. But let's see. Um, let's see. Coco says, uh, Coco says, thank you, Alice. Uh Coco says, uh, that's good to hear, Queen. Uh, I can't wait for your streams again. Oh, yeah, we, we definitely want Coffee Queen streams back. Like, we definitely want them to come back. And uh, Coco, Coco, Coco is giving, like, the... Uh, <laughs> it's not like the Pac-Man ghost eyes. It looks like that. And Coco's like, I want that emote. <laughs> um, Yuri's like, rip. <laughs> yeah, it happens. It happens sometimes. That's the thing. Luckily, I'm not playing a permadeath. Otherwise, I'd have been, like, a lot more prepared before I went in there. Um, oh, and speaking of which, I didn't even get my stuff back, did I? Whoopsie! <laughs> okay, let's go get that. But yeah, that's like the ba that's like the basics of the sandbox, right? So I thought I'd show you that a little bit early, just so you guys know what you were going to get up against if you were to go in the sandbox, right? So we get we got a couple of things from there, though. We got some antlion parts and a few other bits and bobs. But unfortunately, we can't really take full advantage of the sandbox just yet. There's a couple of things we have to make first in order to really have... In order to really take advantage of, like getting all the resource in the sandbox there's a few things we got to make first um and that's probably what we're going to want to go ahead and do now so what we're actually going to do is i know we've already explored the trash area but now we're going to go back to that area and we're going to see if we can take the uh we're going to see if we can take out some black soldier ants and uh, why black soldier ants you may ask well you guys will find out pretty soon so first of all let's go try and get some water to refill our canteens as well just so we can you know be on the safe side okay I like how after I'm dead, I find all the water. I'm just like, yeah, there's one there, there's one there. <laughs> it's like, shit! <laughs> the, the game just literally wanted me to die, didn't it? It was just like, yeah, you're just gonna die now, like... And then when you, then, then when, then when my spirit like floats up into the air like a dewdrop, just goes, just like appears on the plant, and my spirit's like, fuck! <laughs> as it flies up into the air. 
Kurt Green says, uh, says uh, thanks, I think. Grave. Grave says, I mean, as much as I want to jump into this little rumble, uh, I'm going to wait until Coffee Queen is better. No fun, uh, no fun picking on the sick. <laughs> Yeah, uh, he means uh, he means that in a good way, Coffee Queen. He means he means that in a good way. Wendigo says, "Yeah, I finally got off of work, so I can watch you play grounded." Hey, how you doing, Wendigo? Welcome How's in, dude. Go? Right, let me make sure the other side of things is still working as well, because you know, uh, bot likes to bot likes to be bad. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, Spectre took my abomination totem. No. <laughs> okay, I think I'm all caught up then. <laughs> then you must kill Spectre and take back your abomination totem. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we're going to run down here. We're going to go to the Black Ant Hill now. Uh, we can also get to it from the sandbox, but we're actually going to go to it through the trash heap area. Uh, main reason being is we'll find a lot more black worker ants around here. Um, there's actually a red worker ant over here as well, funnily enough. <laughs> Just like hanging out here. Tech Kai says, Christ stinks! <laughs> Uh, let's see. What do you say? Yeah, finally, finally got off work. So I hope you had a good work day, though, Wendigo. Thank you so much for popping in, dude. Man, working on, working on Sunday, though. That sucks. <laughs> But yeah, at least, uh, at least you're off now and you can finally relax a bit, right? Gray says, I ain't heard nothing of the sort, carny boy. I think you need to stop listening to the clowns. <laughs> but Grave, if you tell him that, then that means he's going to have to stop listening to me. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can find any uh, black worker ants first, and then we'll look for soldier ants as well. But yeah, usually the usually the ants will start congregating around this sort of area, so we'll see if we can find a few. Um, but I stopped in here during my break just to make you talk with uh, no letters and uh, and say, so, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> it's like, hey, when to go? Then then, 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 the, then he gone. I was like, fine. <laughs> make me look like an idiot and leave then. <laughs> He's probably like, I don't need to make you look like an idiot. You do good enough job that yourself. <laughs> okay, so for this one, I'm actually going to put on an annihilator um, just so we can do more damage and have more defense against the ants. And yeah, here we go. But yeah, we use a spiky sprig on this guy because, yeah, these guys, uh, you're better off leaving these guys out because, yeah, it makes it a lot easier when they try and run away. Because, yeah, they'll, they'll run away and then just bleed out and die, so then you don't have to worry about uh, them escaping. Because, yeah, these, bla these black ants are oh, fucking not! Damn it, Queen! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, but yeah, these ants will run off, and as you can see now, they're, they they just bled out here, right? So there we go. We can just collect them from there. Uh, double weevil kill. There you go. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> God Green says, yes! <laughs> it's not funny! <laughs> Alright, but yeah, as you can see, some one of the ants did get away, but yeah, the, ble the bleed strat helps a lot when you're trying Black to fight ant, these guys. So let's go and... The other thing you can do, if you've only got one of them, you can, like, stun him. And then switch to a poison weapon, and then switch to the red ant club while the bleed happens. There you go. The red ant club will do significantly more damage as well to these guys. So, yeah. It's actually kind of funny. The black the black ants don't like the red ant club. They're not weak to it, per se, but it does do a lot more damage um, compared to other clubs of the same type. Nice and clean. But the spiky spring is good to get that kind of bleed effect on them. And then we just reset the bleed. There you go, just in case he needs it. There you go. And there you go. Right, gotta get the bleed on. There you go. But yeah, combining the spiky sprig and the red and the red ant club for these guys is actually probably better. So yeah, bleed them with the spiky sprig and then just continually whack at them with the red ant club till they die or run away and bleed out. So yeah, I, either way works honestly. Like the both both ways both ways are good. Oh, did they remove the rotten food here? There used to be a bit of rotten food here between the. Uh... Why'd they remove it? That was like. That made you. That made you search for a different way. If yeah, if there was no gas mask. Um, so, so you know, you, you know the outcome you got. That you got last sleep, I think. Uh, that 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 dream you got. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Go goes like, yes, crazy, crazy. Why? Why did they remove that bit of rotten food there? Like that introduced like a choice of like, oh, I probably want to go this way so that I don't get into the gas cloud. But yeah, they've just kind of got rid of that now. So, why did they do that for? I don't know. I don't know anymore. Right, so there's another work around here. There you go, and we'll just stun him. There you go, and we can. Yeah, you can see the uh, the red ant club is doing pretty good on these guys. A level five red ant club is working very well. 
There you go. And then we can stun this guy while he's uh, bleeding and poisoned. Right, would you... Would you... You are insignificant in my plan. Go away. Right, oh, now I got more coming in. <laughs> now we have more. Hi. Alright, so I guess we'll uh, bleed you out a little bit. That's something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands there only. And there we go. Yuri says, uh, "When you get when you get done with this world, are you going to go to New Game Plus?" Of course I am. <laughs> like uh, that's like that's like the the main thing about this other, isn't it? So yeah, definitely going that way. Right, hello, I didn't see you there. Hi there. There you go. Bleed and poison, and then we just run in with the red ant club and finish him off. But yeah, having that extra DPS like ticking over will essentially prevent any any of them from running away. Like some some of them will still escape, but most of them won't be able to get away from there. Kai says, uh, Kai, Kai says, karate got swept by a red worker and oh mild. <laughs> Karate's running at the Twitch chat, just like, wait, wait, where? What? <laughs> hey, everyone. Hey, baby. Maybe I've come down with some painkillers and run out. Oh, you ran out up there. Yay, it's Kelly Queen! You hear that beautiful voice in the background, guys? Do you hear that absolutely amazing, beautiful voice? And with the, with, with the woman with the most cute and gorgeous smile ever. Well, guys, if you are hearing that voice and you're wondering where you can find more of that beautiful voice and just more of an amazing, beautiful person in general, then you guys have to check out Coffee Queen. So here is a link to Coffee Queen if you want to go see her streams because she plays Grounded 2, she plays other survival games, but not only that, she is absolutely amazing at crochet. So if you want to see her make awesome some things you've definitely gotta you've definitely gotta go check her out because she's Aww. absolutely awesome and she's got a beautiful smile on her face right now hey baby thank you you're looking very cute over there i just wish you didn't have belly ache oh i know but it really annoying me mm, but hopefully tomorrow you'll feel better and then, and then maybe we can get a coffee stream i don't know I don't want to say yes, and I don't want to say no, because you know what it's like. Okay, guys, what we got to do? we got to, like, really encourage her so she says yes. So, guys, guys, encourage Coffee Queen to say yes. She's right here. Come on, come on, come on. In the chat, we got to, like, come on, Coffee Queen. Come on, Coffee Queen. Coffee stream. Coffee stream. <laughs> we, we, need, we, need, we need, like, some dance emotes and, like, a hashtag Coffee Stream. Come on, we can do it. And uh, Kai's like, say yes, Coffee Queen. Kai says, uh, Kindness can't talk. He hasn't won a fight in the VCW in weeks. <laughs> he's, just make, he's just making out random comments, trying to stir the pot, says, uh, says, says, <laughs> and uh, Kai says hashtag coffee stream <laughs> and uh cry says yes queen yes <laughs> all right let me see uh oh all right let me see where what was it in? i was fighting black white reds yeah so yeah we're actually right by the anthill here um and we're gonna want to go into here because this is where we're gonna start finding the soldier ants there used to be soldier ants on the outside of the hill like a couple of them but i think they've moved them inside the hill now so i actually hear one hang on oh is it up here where is it? Or is it further down? It might be further down. Okay. Uh... There you go. I'll just let you bleed out. Thank you. Right. Hi there. Anyone, anyone else coming for me? Nope. Okay. No one else coming for me? So yeah, let's go and see if we can find some black soldier ants. Um... Aha! You missed. Why am I saying yes, my friend? You're saying yes to an amazing stream. Yeah. Yeah, what what are you two gonna do a uh, 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 stream I together? Like I'm not gonna do it until I've done a full stream with you first. I know, but <laughs> I'll do that first. Okay. I mean you know, I mean if you wanna just like go and do one with karate, go and do one with karate. Like uh, that's, that's up to you, but I'm not I'm not stopping you. If you guys wanna co stream together, go for it. Like I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy either way, my love. I've missed co-streaming with you, but I don't want it to like stop you from streaming with other people. There you go. Give me that. Actually, maybe the pinch whacker will be even better on these guys as well. Let's see. Hang on. How does the pinch whacker do on this guy? Yeah, pinch whacker actually does pretty good on these guys too. Okay. So maybe spiky spring to pinch whacker will be better. Yeah, that's it. Run away. Run away. Right, is there that in the ground? I think there is. Alright, where are you going? Ah, you got stuck in the water. I think there's an ant underground. There he is. There you go. Do that, and then... Right, hi there. There 
There you go, got him. Nice. But yeah, essentially, like, switching weapons is a nice way to stack debuffs, as you can see. Uh, last BC3, th BCW, three, uh, the last three BCWs kind of shaking else. <laughs> These guys are like, just, like, talking back to each other. <laughs> you guys. You know. uh, let me see. Uh, Marie says, I think chat is bugging again. Um, uh, uh, hang on, Credit got swept by the the, 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 the newbie, Carnage didn't. <laughs> yeah, chat might be bugging out again. I'll have to try and sort that in a minute. Hark. There you go. So yeah, there is our first uh, our first soldier ant right there. So let's see if we can maybe take out this guy. He'll be he'll be aggressive by default. So, but he uh, unlike the regular soldier ants, this guy actually has a few more different attacks to choose from. So he has like the regular ones like that, but they also have some uh, faster attacks as well. Okay, there's one down. Nice. There's our first mandible. But yeah, as you can see, uh, oh. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, the, the Black Soldier Ants actually have a bit of a faster attack compared to the red ones. Let's see if we can get some stun on these guys. There we go. But yeah, he'll have like a very fast left, swoop, left swipe. And you have to be careful of that one, because that one uh, is a very qu quick attack and it hurts a lot. And as you can see, yeah, he's dealing a little bit more damage here as well. Um, these guys don't take... Oh, yeah, he does? Oh, well, they do actually take gas damage. Nice. But yeah, as you can see, he has uh, a couple of quicker moves compared to regular soldier ants. So you got to be a bit more careful with these guys. There you go. Got him. Hey, another load of ant mandibles and stuff like that. Doing good. Uh, Segment says, uh, seeing Comic Queen play New Game Plus will be awesome. I can't wait. I know, right? I'd love to see that. <laughs> All right. Let me... Uh... Oh, thank you, baby. Welcome. All right, hello, Black Worker Ant. How are you doing? All right, there we go. <laughs> there we go, guys. There was some singing. You hear that, guys? You hear that beautiful singing right there? No, come back. There you go. Right, unfortunately, our pinch racket is running out of durability, so we're going to have to upgrade it in order to repair it. So that's going to be something we need to... Oh. Yay! Brussels sprouts. Yay! Bye. Oh. <laughs> Coffee, Queen! <laughs> there you go, guys. You got a bit of a coffee song. Yay! We got a coffee song! Fucking yes! Alright. So here we go. We are back down here now. Let me see if I can break some of the stuff open. So we got some uh, marble here. There you go. And cry is like, oh yeah! <laughs> this is, uh, I put, I, I, I'm putting this button down, so give me a minute. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, while I'm here, let me re let me refresh my chatbot again if it's still bugging out. Because, yeah, it's been, it's been doing it a few times there, hasn't it? So, let me exit this one. And then we'll just reset it. And then we should be pretty good. Uh, yep, that's exited. And then we'll go and do... I'll go do a reset on that chatbot again, just to see if we can get that sorted out. Hopefully we can. Um... All right, let me see here. Is that now working now? Let's just go and double check. Uh, it says, uh, w w when you were testing, say, Schmecter sucks. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll do I'll do that then. There you go. Uh, can you see what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I can see what you're saying now. Yep, there we go. It's uh, I'm, I'm currently doing it through the YouTube thing. I have to see what's going on with that. Um, yeah, there we go. Now it's working. Uh, kind of says, for fuck's sake, stupid bot. I know, right? <laughs> it's, it's so annoying. But yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It'll, it'll, it'll work eventually. It's just something that, like, I need to find a different chat app that doesn't have that issue. So I'll, I'll look into, like, stream elements and see if that has one. And maybe, maybe stream, yeah, maybe stream elements will have one instead. Um... Not sure if they do a chat a chat aggregation kind of thing like Streamlabs does. But if they do, then I will look into that one. Alright, hi there. Hi there, worker ants, how you doing? Alright, give me that one. There you go. Oh, hello. Hi. Just like showed up out of nowhere. How you doing? What you want? What you want? There you go. He'll just run away now. There you go. Yeah, you can see. You can see why I like the bleed and poison strat on these guys. It's just so much. It's just so much easier. 
go. And down he goes. Yeah, just like swapping those weapons over makes it so these little annoying bastards don't run away from you, which is so so good it's so so nice uh yuri says uh, if you just stand uh, says uh if you if you if you stand right there they just keep coming oh that's the thing i want i want to kill a load of these things because i want to get a lot of black hand parts as should you guys if you ever come into the black hand hill just try and collect a lot of black hand parts because they come in very useful for actually a few a, a, a few things honestly oh oh i didn't swap my weapon out there you go Okay. Oh, looks like a piece of my armor broke. That's not good. Okay. There you go. That's going. Finish this guy. Yeah, I need. To, I'm probably gonna need to go back soon. But as long as I got a couple of mandibles from here, that's kind of what I want for now. Yeah. But your your first venture into the anthill, you don't have to like do everything in one go, right? And that's probably what that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do it all in one go. I'm just gonna be like, I just want to get like some of this stuff and then. You know, then we're good. But yeah, my uh, my Lady Bagama is pretty much broken at this point. So, has my uh... oh yeah, okay, it's my my chest piece is broken. Okay, but yeah, down here is essentially where you'll find some soldier ants. But as long as I got two mandibles, I think I'm okay. Have I got two? Uh, I've actually got four. Okay, yeah, we're we're more than okay. Okay, so we're just gonna head back now, and we are gonna oh hello. Right, there we go. Yeah, so without some of this armor, these guys are gonna be doing a little bit more damage. So. Got to be a little bit more careful, but that's fine. We can just get out of here now. So yeah, we're gonna have a long way to travel back, but yeah, now I can repair some stuff and we can analyze some more things on the way back. So there's a lot of stuff here. Maria says, "If I was there, I would save you. Uh, I, I would save you for. Uh, I would save you four bucks from Spectre." <laughs> but we don't have to worry about Spectre yet. He's like right at the end, isn't he? But yeah, that's okay. Cardi says, uh, th "There's one I downloaded the other day. That's a bot." that has a uh, chat involved for commands. I'm just too lazy to set it up, but I will eventually. See, what I need is a bot that aggregates the chat together from two or more stream sources. Now, I know Restream does that, but I'm going to be honest, Restream fucking sucks. Like, for the customizability, it's like, I don't know, you can't even make it play a sound when you get a new chat message through. So, that and that's kind of what I rely on to know when I've got new messages and, and stuff. Um... Plus, you have to log into it every three days with recapture, and that's really fucking annoying. It's just like I just want to, I just want to open my chat up and use it, and not have to log into the same system every two or three times. You know what I mean? So it's it has some major annoyances with it. But I know I know a lot of people use it, but yeah, I find it just like it has major annoyances with the way it works, and the fact that it tries to slap its branding across all your videos. Um, I don't I don't like it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I tend to avoid that one. But what I'm currently using is I'm using the Streamlabs one because Streamlabs kind of auto aggregates for you. Um, it kind of auto aggregates the chat for you as you're as you're playing. But it seems to work fine with the Twitch one, Don't even need to boil it. but when it comes to the YouTube one, it kind of just cra like, the, like the, the Twitch one is flawless. It just works. The YouTube one, however, doesn't always. It's a little bit weird. Um, so yeah, it's it's a bit of a weird one. But it's like I can't have two chats on a separate screen because I don't have a separate screen. So you know, I've got to like have an overlay on my game. But like, even if I did have a separate screen, it's going to be really difficult for me anyway because it's either I have two screens and no webcam because the webcam can only point this way and if i have another screen it needs to be here right so i can read the chat like there so i can't have a screen there and i can't move my webcam over that way because then it captures the rest of the room and you know obviously there's because i'm in the living room people are going past me and stuff and they don't want to be caught in the uh they don't want to be caught on the stream right so i'm kind of forced just to sit this way and have it like that and have it point in that way so they can't see too much more like the, the only thing i could do is like move my whole setup so it's like 90 degrees that way and move the camera back to where it was but then the problem is um because it's right by the window it gets a bit damp back there behind the curtain and that means essentially that you know then i run the risk of having my setup like get destroyed by damp so it's a bit of a it's a bit of a weird one honestly uh it says i want a new bot but i want to try not to have programs in the background while i'm streaming because i don't want it to show as slow my shit down that's why i set up with nightbot see nightbot that, that's the thing yeah Night, nightbot's good for like commands and stuff like that but it doesn't provide you with chat aggregation uh which is the thing that i really need <laughs> but yeah it seems that streamlabs is a little bit unreliable um because you know this is like the what the sixth time i've had to reset the the bot just to make it run um Use a, use an old TV for an entire thing. Kogan says uh, you can use my second screen if you need it. No, no, no. I don't want to take your second screen because you need that for you know you you need that for other things, don't you? So 
you know, I don't want to, I don't want to take any of your stuff. I will get a screen eventually, but I don't want to take anything of your, you're using because you know you need that for, you need that for your streams, right? So you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take that from you. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take your stuff because you need to use that stuff so that you can stream more. Um, but yeah, a bit, a bit of cheap ass little TV and hook it up as an extra monitor for chat. Yeah, I need to, I need to find something, right? But it's got to be like something that I can stack vertically on a on a mounting bracket. So I need, I need, yeah, I need, I need like a mounting bracket type thing. Um, is what's going to be the best thing? Because yeah, I've got, I've got one. Because Comic Con got me one like last. Well, it wasn't last Christmas, but the Christmas before last, she got me one. Um, but I haven't set it up yet because I don't have the I don't have the second screen yet. But yeah, it's, it can have two, it can hold two screens on the mount. So yeah, I just gotta once I get that other one, then I can put them on the mount together. But I just don't know how I'm gonna make it work with the the webcam and all that as well and the microphone. So it's it's, it's gonna be a bit of a weird one. Uh, its API has been down for like a year now. So uh, all the commands that used to work and used to fun we can't. It's so annoying. Yeah, I know. It's it's annoying when it like it's annoying when stuff like that happens. But yeah, it's it's the the only annoying thing is is like I gotta just like keep refreshing it. Do you know what I mean? Like if it would just like refresh itself and then like catch up on previous texts, it'd be okay. Green says, okay, saving for another screen. <laughs> no, I'll be saving for another screen. I honestly, I need I need the G I need the GPU first. GPU first, and then it'll be a screen after that. But yeah, I could probably, like I said, I, I, it only needs to be a small screen that I can mount vertically, and then it'll be, then that'll be fine. Uh, and, then, and then at least I can have both chats kind of together on that on that screen. Um, but yeah, I need to I need to figure out what I can do about that because it's a little bit weird. Kind of says, uh, kind of says, uh, ground patrol unit. <laughs> um, and Reese says, stink it bugged again. Nope, it's come through this time. Um, hang on, comes out of nowhere, uh, comes out of nowhere in the Omnita, and I just kill everyone. Then just grabs the, grabs the box shield over three teams, and uh, hang on, and, and, and just walks out like home, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it seems fine. Yeah, I got, I got that one. There you go. Uh, let's see. Guy Green says, uh, Guy Green says, you could just use an old TV. Cause that's the thing, I'm actually using an old TV for my main monitor right now. <laughs> it's, it's actually an old TV right now. But yeah, Comic Queen did buy me a screen for for Christmas as well. She got me like a, a screen and a mount, but because uh, because one of the coffee princesses needed a computer, I was like, she can just have my screen. But you know, because you know she needed the screen more than I did. You know, because you know you need you need at least one screen to use a PC, right? So I was like, yeah, she can have that screen, and then I'll just wait. Um, Kai, Kai says I use an old TV too. Yeah, it's it it works, and you know it is it is what it is. <laughs> it works, and you know it gets the job done. It it can't you know the, this t the, this screen cannot reproduce the color red. So like anything that's red looks orange on this on the screen, which is kind of funny. Um, and hey, Stephen Cook says good to see you on. Uh, good, good to see you on. Hope you're well. I'm doing pretty good. Thank you, Stephen. How are you doing today, dude? Thank you so much for popping in. It has been a while. Um, just a heads up, if you have posted any YouTube messages and I missed them, um, my chat aggregator thing is just having issues today so if anything I, I i'm periodically checking and just refreshing the bot if i need to but yeah just so you know if it happens i'm not ignoring you it's just that my bot is being shit so <laughs> and and if that happens my bad but yeah i hope you're doing well dude uh let's see um there you go so M M M marie is posting a sad face uh says that his his bot is shitting the bed as uh as as we say in america yeah exactly when they go exactly see it, it's it's fine on the twitch side like that's fine but on the other side it's just like it's kind of there but it's probably a difference in like the way the api works as well you know what i mean so it's pro it's probably to do with that as well but yeah but yeah, the, the new the new way I've worked in OBS now, I'm actually using the multi RTMP plugin. Um, I was actually using the vertical plugin to do a stream, but now I'm using multi RTMP because it actually saves CPU power um, by aggregating the uh, the stream buffer, which is really really good. So that's actually helping me a lot, which is really nice. Okay, so now we've got these, and I can analyze these three things here. Uh, Kogan says, uh, "I can buy myself flowers, <laughs> write my name in the sand." <laughs> Talk to myself for hours. <laughs> Say the things you don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can talk to myself for hours. Uh-huh. 
uh Chris says uh, obs is so good i'm surprised it's free honestly me too like i i i really am <laughs> you are you laughing at me cry <laughs> how dare you <laughs> It's fucking no, you know what? You know what? I don't blame you. I'm, I'm, I, I, I am funny looking. What? <laughs> All right, I think I need the third acorn chest for this stuff, don't I? So, let's go and uh, yeah, I'll have to scan those apple bits a bit later on. <laughs> Coming, Queen, you laughing at me as well? Damn it! <laughs> All right, I'm probably gonna put the ant parts in the separate box. So. Let me move all the red ant and the black ant parts from this box right here, and we will put those guys over. Wait, I've got some red ant heads in there. Yeah, any any like ant parts and stuff, we can just separate into this box here. Um, there we go. So yeah, ant parts. You guys can all just live in there for a minute. There we go. And now we store any extra. There we go. And then ant line parts now can go in here. See, we got ant line parts, ant line pincers. Uh, we need to cook up one of these or two of these, two weevils. Very nice. And plant fibers can go in there. Yeah, I have one plant fiber, guys. <laughs> one plant fiber. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> All right, so yeah, the other thing I need to do for the pin tracker, we need to actually uh, upgrade it. And Coco's like, bird! <laughs> bird! I don't see a bird! <laughs> <laughs> I, still, I still remember that thing in Valheim though when it like every time one was passed you just like bird and then I just saw the bird like explode as you shot it like that was that was good we're gonna have to play Valheim again uh, that was fun it's like elevator guys like no coffee queen <laughs> yeah, would it help if I animate it <laughs> <laughs> Guy says just one. They come in twos. I thought. <laughs> oh, she she just needs to do three in a row to make up for the for the missing one. <laughs> all right, so let's go repair all the stuff. There you go. Repair the hammer. Repair that. Okay, so yeah, now we can actually make some pretty good weapons over here. Guy is like dead. Uh, he says, uh, "I want to say hi to my uh, I want to say hi to my buddy. He's uh, he's on your base. Oh, you mean? Uh, hang on." Where is he? Where is he? That's the wolf spider. Where is he? Uh, you mean you mean him? There you go. <laughs> you can you can say hi to your buddy. There you go. There is the uh, there, there's the abomination to him. I was just using this to get my comfort up a little bit. <laughs> cry, 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 cry. It's just, it's just, they're just like no, I can't can't do this anymore. <laughs> All right. So yeah, let's go make some. Uh, I need to make some kind of meal here, but I don't know which one to do yet. Um, actually, no. Can we make uh, can we make fungus petro now? Um, Let's see. I don't think we can yet. I think we gotta. No, I think we've actually gotta buy that one, haven't we? We gotta buy the fungus batch before we can make it. Uh, so damn, she's taking her time. <laughs> take, take it. It's like, it's like, it's like it's, 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 it's just like, and then you're just like. <laughs> just like, just like, just like waiting for like 20 seconds to do the next one. <laughs> it's like, the tension. <laughs> it's like, you're like, damn. <laughs> All right, I need to uh, rebind my pin tracker to here because that's now a level one pin tracker, but there's level two. Yeah, I don't get why the icons no longer fade. Um, I wish the icons were still... Uh, I think that, I wish the icons would still fade when you didn't have something equipped there. Guys, uh, it's like, Grace says, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> He's like, he's like, he's like, nope. <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh my god, that's it. <laughs> he's, he's like, I'm dead. <laughs> all right, uh, let's make sure we're gonna. Uh, Carl Quinn says, slower the better. Marie says, POV. I have a, I have a lot of uh, boat larvae, uh, boat larvae and part, uh, beetle parts. Build a domination to uh, build, build an army of them. I mean, you technically could, yeah. You could build like a, you could build like a load of these things. Like, I actually used to have a, quite a few of these in like a little castle base I had once, because that was like one of the main, the only like stuffed creatures and stuff you could build. Like, in back back when grounded was like, you know, newer and in early access, you couldn't just keep building like all the different stuff bugs. Yeah. Some of them you just couldn't build at all. Like, for for the longest time, we couldn't build a, a stuffed wolf spider. <laughs> for like the longest time and then they added it and then we were just like yay we have we, we still build all the head mounts and the trophies but we couldn't build like all the stuff bugs all right let me look at quests and stuff see what we got here uh so kill no we by the spice sweetness oh yeah craft berry leather and then raise the amount of burger that we kill a peak okay we can so unfortunately it's gonna make us craft berry leather without using the jerky rack which is kind of silly um 
But I guess the game just really wants you to waste berry chunks. So, yeah, let's go craft three berry lines. <laughs> there you go. That'll give me another 450 science. Very nice. And I think we need to go buy burgles anyway so that we can see what else we can buy from the science shop. Because, yeah, I'm kind of getting low on the science shop. And then we're going to come back and we're going to make a couple of other very, very good items. And you guys will see what they are in a little bit. But first of all, we're going to go up here. We'll make our way back into Burgle and we'll see what we can uh, we'll see what we can buy in here for some science. I want to see if we can get Fungus Batcher though, because that's a really good food um, that gives you less stamina for attacks, which is very nice, a very nice bonus. So let's have a look in here, see what we can get. Uh, Kraya says, I'm super curious. It sounded pretty exciting, actually. Uh, tell Burgle to get me my lava parts. Burgle, get me your lava parts. <laughs> He's like, I don't feel pain, but ow. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So that's another one. Uh, oh, craft heal basser. Okay, that's that's another easy one. Um, so yeah, crafting heal basses is very easy. We've got everything we need for that. And then raw science shop. We need to buy this one. Yeah, spider slider, fungus bacho. Yeah, two two of the best meals in the game. Uh, spider slider because of the crit chance, and then fungus bacho because it's like so damn easy to make. So yeah, those are some good meals. And we just need to go get some mushrooms for the fungus bacho, and then we can make a couple of them. Yeah, Fungus Macho is like a crazy good meal because like the it is it's probably not as good as Spider Slider, but the fact that it's so easy to make and it gives you like it gives you like a lot of benefits for attacking like and and essentially it's like a combat type meal and it's so easy to make you don't have to like go out and like get nectar or any of that other stuff you you know you just find mushrooms that are everywhere and then you can just make it right so it's it's really nice to a really nice one to make. Uh, you better repair that armor. Yeah, yeah, I need to repair that as well. I totally forgot about that. Thank you for reminding me, Wendigo. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, 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 gotta patch myself up a bit. There you go. Uh, but yeah, we can repair the armor, make the, uh, make the meals and stuff. And then we can actually make a couple of new weapons and stuff now as well that we've analyzed those black hand parts. So let's go do that. So first of all, let's go to the oven. There we go. And then in here now, we should be able to make a uh, fungus patch somewhere. Uh, which one is it? That's Mac and Bees. Fungus Bash. Here we go. See, as you can see, like, it only takes, like, three mushrooms and toastals and four and four of the fungal growths. So it's actually quite expensive in terms of how many you need, but it's actually pretty cheap. Like, if you think about it, like, uh, Gogan says, uh, Miss Message from Mouse. Uh, hang on. Um, hang on. That world you were talking about the other day, Max. Um, that world you were talking about the other day, have you started it? Uh, the world I was talking about the other day. It, what, the, what, the, pl the playgrounds world? you mean or because i'm i'm making what i'm making them out for coffee queen but i'm not sure if that's the one you're referring to um or the new game plus world because that one is like a continuation of my card lock world but i'm not sure which one uh i'm not sure which one you're referring to and uh Kokun says um and Kokun says Miss specialized thank you baby uh i think that was the one i missed oh yeah it was yeah it was uh pv i see Spectre shrinking children again uh, me, you have been warned. There is nowhere to run. You will pay the price. I will take your life. <laughs> All right, so go and make a few of these. Make a few of them, and there we go. Uh, Cardi says, uh, yeah, you said you were making an adventure survival world in Playgrounds. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've, I've started on that. But, yeah, I, I've literally made, like, one area because <laughs> it takes so long just to make one area like it's gonna it's gonna take me probably months to make it but yeah i can't say too much about it because coffee queen says she wants it to uh she wants it she uh, initially she was like she wanted to come back to grounded and play that world um but you know now she's back now she's back in grounded anyway which is you know even better so that's very very good but yeah i was gonna make that so that she can have like because she wanted like another What's map with a story on it and I was like, okay, I can make that, but it's going to take a while. But yeah, it's going to take a long, long time uh, to make it. Says, uh, can, can we get, uh, can we get a preview one day? I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure. Yeah, once I've done a little bit more work on it, then yeah, I can, I can definitely give you a bit of a preview. Essentially, like the longest part of developing it is the dialogue with like NPCs and stuff like that, because like there's no dialogue gizmo. All you have to do is like use like a quest gizmo, then a timer one into the next quest one, into a timer into the next one, and kind of just like have it going back and forth like that and honestly it's horrible to try and program it because it's like you got to make sure that every timer is like keeping track of which gizmo you're working with and then you got to make sure that it just goes until you're done and uh, yeah it's a bit of a it's a bit of a nightmare i was thinking of using it with counters but for like longer longer ones it's uh for like longer dialogues and stuff like that it's a bit a bit nuts honestly so 
All right, so let's go repair the armor. There you go. So repair, repair, repair. And now we can make some cool new shit. So let's go do it. Uh, Kraya's like, yes, baby boy, yes. <laughs> All right, so we can actually make now um, a couple of new weapons. Um, or I should say one new weapon that I want to make, uh, which is going to be... Uh, where are we gonna find it? This guy here. This is the Black Ant Sword, and this is actually a really good weapon. It's actually if you if you get this before going in the haze, uh, you'll find your fighting with infected lava much much easier. So I definitely would actually recommend making one of these and just upgrading it to level five as soon as you made it because it's really really good. The other thing we can do uh, is we can actually finally get a shield upgrade as well. So we and and we can make the Black Ant Shield. So let's go get that one. It should be down here, though, I guess we get ourselves a black ant shield. Now, for whatever reason, it's a black ant shield, but it requires 10 red ant parts. Like, sh I think those two, honestly, should have been reversed, but uh, never mind. Uh, but yeah, we can make a, you can make a black ant shield as well. There you go. And that's a tier 2 shield. So essentially, a tier 2 shield gives you, like, a higher block meter. Um, so you can, like, tank more damage, essentially. And then the other thing we can make as well, of course, is the black ant shovel, right? Is the next one I want to make, which is this guy here. So... I was talking earlier about like some parts of the sandbox we weren't able to really do anything in with yet until we get a new piece of gear. And this is the piece of gear that you want to make. So the black ant shovel essentially is what's going to allow you to dig up all the treasure and stuff in the sandbox. Um, let's see. Uh, to, ab abominations, to, to, the abomination term diet is apples. <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, I'm the abomination. And it's like, you want an apple? And it's like, oh, yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we can actually uh, we can actually go and have this shovel now equipped where the acorn one was. There we go. And then yeah. So now we've got the black ant sword. Essentially, this is going to be better in the sandbox compared to the dagger. The dagger is like the next best thing. But if you really want to deal some damage in the sandbox um, early on, and especially in the haze, then this thing is like way better. And you know, you'll 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 see that in a bit. So I'm going to equip this guy to. Let me see what loadout do I want. So this is like my main loadout. And then this one's like my kind of combat loadout. I'll probably equip it in my combat loadout, and I'll probably switch my. Yeah, actually, I'll actually switch this to my main loadout, and then I'll switch my bow to my combat. I'm not really using the bow and arrow at this point, but I keep it on me anyway, just in case I need some utility. So yeah, I'll put that in the combat loadout. There we go. So yeah, now I've got some uh, some extra stuff, and we can now equip this shield right here. And uh, after that, we can remove the weevil shield, and we can just put this guy... Wait, where's the weevil shield? I did have it. Oh, it's there. It's, it's broken. There we go. So yeah, we can put the weevil shield back in there. There we go. And now we've got a bit of a gear upgrade, which is awesome. Uh, where he says, uh, there's only the ladybug and they, the, the, they, they changed the haze lab. There's only the ladybug and the two mites. Uh, it depends on the difficulty you play on. If you're playing on mild, yes, it'll just be that. If you play on medium, you'll get like, a, you'll get like I think like six or seven. And if you play on woe, you'll also get the lava. It also depends on the number of players as well. So the more players there are, the more mites and lava you'll get in that fight so if you have like a full four player loadout that room will literally just be filled and full of infected creatures and uh how you doing uh how you doing uh cool train welcome to the stream thank you so much for popping in and yevly welcome back yevly says uh the infused mantis is insane yeah i know kai's just having trouble with that one as well kai thank you so much for giving slim a shout out very much appreciated dude and uh, thank you so much for giving yevly a shout out as well thank you carnage uh, but yeah, crisis. Can't wait to see it. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely want to. Uh, I definitely want to go ahead and do that. Yeah, he says, uh, "Oh my gosh!" <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, the mantis fight is pretty nuts, isn't it? Um, let's see. Marie says, uh, Marie says, "Sniffs intensify." <laughs> but yeah, that's that, that's the thing. Yeah, when you play on woe mode in uh, in this game, you'll have a lot more to deal with in the haze lab. If you play on mild or medium, it's a lot easier. But yeah, I always says, "I keep dying." <laughs> um, your best bet with that mantis is probably to use like the. The, the poison and run strat so you poison it and bleed it then just hide behind somewhere until you know you can go in and attack it again when it like lands near you or something that's probably the best strat to use with the new game plus mantis because you have like you know because the you have like the little plant thing to hide behind right but yeah uh that'll be good but yeah but yeah how, how you been gold trainer how you been keeping well thank you so much for popping in and uh what what are you been what are you been getting up to have you just got into grounded or have you been playing it for a little while uh, let's see. Yeah, he says, uh, what if it has a fresh or sour power? Um, I think what, well, with the sour one, you just have to, essentially with the sour one, you just have to like back away quick enough before the orbs can stun you. With the fresh one, I think it kind of summons it at your location, doesn't it? So that one is a bit more difficult. Um, but yeah, the, the sour one, essentially you just run away from the orbs as quick as you can. Um, and it, you, usually they will summon those sour orbs on the same type of attack. So if you can, if you see it summon sour orbs, like say if it's got like, say if it summons it when it's doing its left claw 
claw swipe, then make sure whenever it does its left claw swipe, you start to back away on subsequent attacks, and then you should be able to, like, find the pattern. Uh, hey, Phone Fox, welcome in. Uh, Cotrain says, uh, I've been playing Grounded uh, since early access, like, four, five, Oh, okay, so yeah, you've been playing, like, since the very beginning as well. That is awesome. <laughs> so, uh, how do you, how are you liking the new update so far? And uh, are you also into Playgrounds, or do you just like the, or do you just like the main game? Um, all right, hang on, let me drop these. Hang on, where, where am I putting mushrooms, anyway? Uh, mushrooms probably, like, in one of these, on a thought. No, not in any of those. Okay, I guess I'll just put them in there. Just plant, plant stuff. There you go. <laughs> that can go there. And uh, thank you, Curtis, for giving Fur and Fox a shout-out. Welcome in, Fur and Fox. How are you doing, dude? Hope, hope everything's going well. Yes, it's... Uh, okay. I honestly don't like the Mantis fight. I Honestly, the Mantis fight is actually my favorite fight. Like, I don't, I don't know why. It's just my favorite boss fight. Like, I like the Infected Rube on the one as well. Um, and, and the Wasp Queen and the regular. I, like, I, I think I like all the bosses, honestly. But I think the Mantis is still my favorite. Uh, Fervox says, I'm doing great. Excellent. I'm glad to hear you're doing so well. Um, yeah, just a, just a um, just a heads up, Coltrane, by the way. If you post messages and I don't I, I don't see it or whatever, or I don't get back to you on it, it's not because I'm ignoring you. It's just because, like, my bot that's kind of, like, aggregating chat messages for me is bugging out today really badly and like every now and then it's just like not working uh for the for youtube so yeah it's just being a bit weird so yeah just uh if if i i i do check it like every like half an hour or so just in case like it stopped posting messages but yeah just uh, just in just in case i just don't want you to think i'm ignoring you or anything <laughs> All right, there you go. Oh, yeah, I should probably upgrade the sword, shouldn't I? But as you can see, the, uh, the the sword is actually pretty good, and it's a very fast attacking weapon as well. So yeah, very nice weapon to use. Hi there. There you go. So yeah, it's actually, this is actually pretty good. Yeah, once we upgrade it to level 5, though, it'll be even better. There you go. One dead wolf spider, and he's out of here. And Coffee Queen! Hi, Coffee Queen! <laughs> Coffee Queen's in two places! What? <laughs> there she is. Uh, how you doing, my beautiful one? Uh, the summoner set, uh, the summoner set can work to can work too with the lanterns as well. Oh, okay, I love the new update, and I play um, and I play the main game. Oh, okay, <laughs> uh, that's the thing. That's, and how far have you got a new uh, what uh, new game plus have you currently got to so far? I've got another world where I'm on like new game plus one, but I've not really done too much. There. I literally I literally just like went in to see what it was all about, and I was like, hey, this is actually pretty cool. And then I was like, yep, now I got to go, you know, do my do my main world for streaming. So yeah, I've got like two different worlds that I'm currently working through. Uh, here we go. Let's see, Marizo. <laughs> and uh, Phone Fox is doing, is doing great. And uh, hang on, let me just make sure I'm all caught up here. Uh, I think so. Uh, playing ground. Okay, let me grab this slot here. Now we can upgrade the Black Ant Sword, right? There we go. So we'll upgrade that to level five. There we go. So now this should be doing even more damage. And this is why I wanted this, so that we could, uh, so essentially we could more easily go through the sandbox as well. Um, let's see, and, bu and buff the summon armor to sleek. Yeah, because it gives your it gives your summons extra like extra effects, doesn't it? When it goes down the sleek path, which is really nice. So yeah, de def definitely go to sleek. Like the there's only two sets of armor. Well, may actually maybe three sets of armor that I would ever really go bulky on. Um, the first one is the koi armor because parry stun doesn't really help that much. Like it's a very weak effect. Um, so Koi armor would probably go bulky, especially because it's a light armor as well, so the extra defense on it really helps. Uh, do you mind? I'm trying to, I'm trying to go somewhere here. Alright, come on then. Come on, spider. I need to get my Blade Master mutation up anyway, so we kind of need to use the sword a little bit. Alright, there you got it. Yeah, th th that's why I like the black cancel though, because like you can, you can, you can literally just like you, you literally just destroy with this thing. It's so good. Um, right, I need to actually put, equip that back there, don't I? Yeah, you, yeah. The, the, the black cancel sword like fucking shreds through a lot of things. It's really nice. Because uh, new game plus one, but I'm actually on a new game plus two. Oh, very nice. I uh, think when you when you get like further into new game pluses, like you start getting uh, extra unlocks and stuff as well. Have you found any good like trinkets from new game plus one that you really like right now? Because I think I, I found I've only found one with two effects on them so far, but I know you can like sometimes you can even find them with three. But the the one thing I was actually using in New Game Plus at first was the fungal charm. Uh kinda kinda of, kind of says the armor buffs all summons. 
memories i got is that is that a knife and a spider <laughs> essentially yeah i'm literally just using like a kitchen knife on a spider aren't i <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, but yeah, we have we have Coffee Queen in two places. How are you doing over there, baby? Lollipops. But for anyone on the uh, on the red side who doesn't know Coffee Queen, she is my beautiful fiance. Well, technically, she's already my wife. I I just consider her my wife already. But you know, we're we're not officially married, but in in our hearts we are. So yeah, she's uh, she, she she's 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 my beautiful wife, and she's awesome. And Coffee Queen says, uh, Coffee Queen says, I came back. <laughs> Yay! Welcome back to the other side, Coffee Queen. <laughs> But yeah, just in case, uh, just in case you guys don't know Coffee Queen on the YouTube side, you really should check her out on Twitch. She's absolutely awesome. <laughs> She's absolutely amazing, and an amazing streamer herself as well. So you know, if you if you're missing out on coffee streams, you know you you know you're doing it wrong. <laughs> you're doing it wrong. <laughs> All right. So now that we have the um, uh, Marie's like Bob. <laughs> Bob, what does Bob have anything to do with it? Uh, kind of says uh, hashtag coffee stream. And thank you, kind of giving Coffee Queen a shout out, dude. Very much appreciate it. All right, jump over here, and here we go. Right, now we need to go. Oop, I, I fall, I'm falling off the waist a little bit, and and, and uh, now, now it's not Bob, it's Obo. <laughs> All right, so one thing we need to do though, now that we got the black hand shovel, you guys might remember there's I I said there was two molars under the picnic table, but we could only get one of them until we got a certain tool. That was the black hand shovel because one of them is actually under a piece of gum, and we can't get that until we use the black hand shovel on the piece of gum. And then we'll finally be able to go and get it, right? So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to go and uh, we're going to go and get that other. We're going to go get that other uh, milk molar. So yeah, essentially what you're going to look for is the footprint under the picnic table here, and there's a piece of gum right here. And as you can see now, we've got the uh, we got the shovel, so we can just dig our way through it. And as you can see, it takes a fair few hit, fair few hits, but there we go. Got ourselves some gum nuggets. Now, gum nuggets actually make another smoothie base, which uh, doubles the potency of the smoothie effects, right? So, or essentially doubles the duration of those of those smoothie effects. So, for example, every smoothie by default lasts two minutes, but if you make a smoothie with a gum base, it will last for four minutes. So, if you got a, if you got like some really important smoothies, like I don't know, like Boss don't Sauce or any of those other ones, like or like the damage resist one, like Human Food, Fuzz on the Rocks, uh, Liquid Rage, make them with the gum uh, because that will uh that will essentially give you uh twice the duration of those effects which is really really good and you definitely want to use the you definitely want to use that because it essentially halves your resource cost uh let's see it's, uh, and uh kind of says those three are the essentials yeah exactly <laughs> uh there you go and uh marie says i'm just i'm just seeing a load of signs now <laughs> Is that is that is that is that a trash sign? Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> yeah, when, when it comes to emotes and stuff, like I might not always be able to read them that clearly because my screen's resolution is kind of crappy. So I'll try my best. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna go back to the sandbox, and we actually can go in the sandbox, and uh, let's go try this. Uh, let's go try this black ant sword on the ant line, and you'll black see why. Uh, you'll see why I like the black ant sword on the ant line. Um, because yeah, we want to try and get some more ant line parts as well as some more black ant parts as well for later. <laughs> Hi there. There you go, and then we'll just get that one out. Oh, did I put my club away? I think I must have... Uh... Wait, did I put my club away or did I not? Uh... Oh, did I put my red ant club away? Oh, that's bad. Oh, well, I guess we're going to switch to the binge wacker then. Why did I put the red ant club away? I wonder if it got confused with that and the rotten red ant club. Okay, I guess we'll just put the binge wacker in slot number two then and we'll use that. But yeah, I'll show you why the, uh... I'll show you why the black ant sword is a really good thing to have in this biome in a minute. Kai kind of says, uh, have you started the sandbox space yet? No, I'm going to wait till I get the mushroom bricks unlocked. Um, and then once I got that, and then like maybe the big pallets from the upper yard. So I'll get the, uh, I'll, I'll work a little bit on the upper yard and get the, get the uh, pine cones so I can get the big pallets. After that, then I'll probably start properly working on it. Because yeah, we're going to need to do a, a lot of, a lot of digging for, you know, different resources and stuff like that. So yeah, a lot of digging, a lot of collecting. Um, so yeah, I want to, I want to wait till I've got a little bit more like base game done and a little bit further progression. Then we can start building the base and then it's going to be good. Right. Let me just check my mutations as well. Uh, have we got fresh defense on? Oh, I've actually got Ant Nihilator on. We don't need that on right now. We want to put on, yeah, I'll put on fresh defense for now because that will allow me to withstand the sandbox when it turns to daytime. Kai says, uh, you should at least make a wet bench. Oh yeah, I'll make a, I'll make a wet bench down here somewhere. I'll probably need one anyway to make certain things. All right, so here we go. Hi there. But yeah, as you can see, 
This Black Ant Sword is pretty much uh, tearing through this guy's health bar, so it's a lot better. It's not like the most amazing thing, but it's doing a pretty good job, especially if we combine it with these. And then you can see as, as, as I combine it through there, so look, we're literally melting him, which is really good. So yeah, for a tier two weapon against this guy, it's, uh, it's, very, it's very good. So yeah, I definitely recommend the Black Hand Sword for these guys, because yeah, you can combine them with like any kind of bleed out weapons, and there we go, they just, look at that, melt into his health. There you go. So yeah, essentially, like for, for the highest DPS early game, get uh like like I said, get a spiky sprig for the one type of bleed, get a dagger and have the assassin mutation equipped. So you can get assassin just by killing things with daggers, and then have that equipped, and then you use this weapon first, then this one, and then you then switch to the weapon type that they're weak to, and then your DPS essentially just goes through the roof. It's really, really good. Um I'm already sending lots of hearts. Yay! <laughs> so uh, uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll make a workbench over here. That's uh, that's something we can do. But yeah, now we've got this, we can actually open this little area up. And if we come down into here, we'll find probably another antlion, most likely. Uh, yep, there's another one. Okay, so we're going to back away here, get our sprig. Oh, yeah, he's kind of getting stuck there, so we do that, do that, and then switch to his weakness. As you can see, look, you just melt through his health. There you go, then parry, bleed, bleed, and start melting. <laughs> Look at that. So yeah, it essentially makes these uh, fights a lot quicker um, and a lot more bearable. Because the, mo the main problem that most new players will have coming into this biome is probably the length that the fights are going to take, especially if you guys are not aware of their weaknesses. So, that and that's the same for any tier 3 creatures. Essentially... Early tier three is like a war of attrition, essentially. Uh, I have the I have the antlion roost here. Yay! <laughs> but yeah, any any uh, anything is like a is like a war of attrition essentially early on because you're essentially you've got to deal with the fact they have absolutely like gargantuan health bars um, compared to most of what you'll see. All right, so there's another entry into the anthill. All right, here we go. One, and then we do. Oh, I'm using my shovel. That's not what I want to use. I want to use that one, and then we do. There you go, start melting through. There you go, so... Let him dig down again. But yeah, the poison also helps a little bit. Alright, so here we go. So we go one, bleed, and then just keep melting through his health. There you go. And just bleed him out. There you go. And then the bonus is with the spiky spring, sometimes you can get the stun as well, which, uh, which really, really helps. So there you go, there you go. Another antlion taken out. And as you can see, it, it literally is... Once you know how to parry, like, his main attacks. Like, you can see, I don't even try to parry this first one. I just run away, right? I just run away from that one. Hit, hit, and then just go for it. And then you can see, you just, you know, it's going to make the fight go a lot quicker. As long as you know how to parry this, like, his main attacks, then you're good. That one is probably the hardest one to parry right there. But yeah, the bleeds also help when he burrows underground. Because then you don't have to worry so much about, like, not getting any damage off on him. Parry Master also really helps for this fight as well. There you go, and we're back away again. All right, let's deal with that one first. Kill him off. Yeah, always, always pick the weaker target as well. If you get two or more of these guys, pick the weaker target and kill it quickly. Because um, when you get two or more of these, sometimes you can get uh, inadvertently stunned, and then. Yeah, then, then you're in trouble, because if you get stunned by one and then the other one comes in to bite you, you can just die instantly. Okay. Oh, that one hurt me a little bit. That's fine. We blocked it. There you go. Got him. And as you can see, he's out of here. Look at that. Guy says uh, slashing is also a sweetness. Yeah, slashing and salty. Early on, you won't get access to salty, but later on, you will. Uh, Coltrane says uh, the sandbox is my favorite part about grounded because it's the uh, because it's the easiest for me. Yeah, once you once you get to once you know the antlions, they're they're actually not that bad at all. Like at first, they're very intimidating because like they have like you know they have their surprise attacks. They leap out the ground and stuff like that. Like so, uh, in the beginning, it's like like yeah, they can they can be pretty intimidating. But as you go as you go along. Long, then and you learn it. It's, it they're actually they're actually not too bad at all. Uh, once you once you like learn some of their attack patterns and everything. So yeah, it's a lot easier to deal with in the end. 
But yeah, I do like the, uh, I do, I do, I do like it. <laughs> and, uh, Bruce, like, I have oil. <laughs> you have oil? <laughs> Alright, there we go. So, inventory inspection. Burgle, you watch enough cartoons to know the gag. The befuddled man puts his finger through an unexpected hole in the fabric. Welp, that's me today. The chests that have been jingling around in my dice bag for weeks to keep track of shrunken treasures jangle no more. Scattered to the four winds. The seven seas. Please keep an eye out. They could be anywhere. The perfect vessel for storing precious items. What a pity. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, looks like Wendell has uh, Wendell has lost his treasure chests. <laughs> I wonder. I, I wonder if there were marbles in those treasure chests. <laughs> Wendell's lost his marbles. <laughs> All right. So one thing you want to look for while we're while we're in here is uh, there's treasure spots. And as you can see, there's actually one right here. And you can see like a little glow. Uh, let's actually drink something real quick. But yeah, you can see like a little glow in the ground here. There are various ones of these around the sandbox. This is one such location. And as you see, if I start digging stuff up here, I'll actually get, uh, you'll get a random thing every time you dig one up. This time I got a spicy candy, which will give me four of the spicy shards, right? And speaking of which, did I actually analyze the spicy shards? I can't remember. Let me go check on that. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay, yeah, so we get four, we actually get four spicy shards out of that, which is really good. Uh, Reed's having pizza. Very nice. Kai says, uh, I really venture to the yard until, uh, I really venture to the yard until tier two. Uh, are you in the sandbox without uh, tier two tool? T uh, are you in the sandbox uh, without tier two tools? Bold choice. <laughs> oh no, I got tier two. I got the uh, insect tax, insect hammer, and you know we got the uh, the lady. like honestly yeah, like serious, when it comes to like venturing the yard, like I'd say tier one, the safest areas to be is obviously like this main area, the hedge, the pond. But then other than that, like the, I I actually go to the picnic table to get the molars and down here to the trash area because these areas aren't actually that dangerous. Like as as long as you just like run through the the worst you have to worry about is like the spiders here and a stink bug there and you know as long as you don't go directly under the table where the bees are you can literally just get all the molars in the trash area the black ants won't come after you and, and you know you just need a gas mask and after you and then after that then with tier two then you know on the picnic table in the haze kind of stuff so yeah tier two i kind of wait to go in the haze for that as well uh says uh don't listen chat the backyard is dangerous <laughs> hey country is gaming welcome to the stream how's it going and jekyll and hyde how are you doing as well thank you so much for popping in uh how do i get a lot of sturdy quartzite honestly j it just comes from finding it around the yard so in the early part of the game you won't find much of it like you'll find you'll find like one piece in the in the lawn mate cave under this laser you'll find one piece in there i think there's one piece in the red anthill and there's uh, I think there's two pieces of it in the uh, cave over here, the uh, the clover cave. There's two pieces in the clover cave that's kind of like around this area. But once you start getting into the haze and the sandbox and the black ant hill and these areas here, you'll start finding a little bit more over here. The most steady quartzite though is probably in the upper yard in the fire ant hill, but that's like much much later on. But before you get even get to that stage you'll probably end up being able to make your own uh, upgrade materials. So start collecting spider fangs, like kill the wall spiders and collect their fangs, because that will allow you to make the sturdy, uh, the sturdy whetstones as well a little bit later on. Um, lava cave, I don't think, ha I don't think the lava cave has one. Oh, no, actually, no, it might do where the field station is, or is that marble? Oh, yeah, yeah, la lava cave does have, yeah, you are right, there, there is one in the lava cave as well, yeah. And, uh, and in, in the, uh, in the ladybird lava cave as well in the upper yard, there's, there's a bit in there as well, isn't there? But yeah, you'll find a lot more of it as you start progressing through the game. Why the hell did I even chop that down? I don't even know why I chop that down. I just felt like it. I, yeah, I felt like it. Okay. <laughs> God. Uh, but yeah, up, yeah, up yard, yeah, uh, upper yard, and then under the un, under Castle Moldock. Yeah, the, you'll find you'll find the majority of it in the upper yard. But yeah, there's like there's like small smatterings of it here and there in the lower yard. But yeah, it's it's not a, not very common until you start getting past like the assistant manager anyway. But yeah, you can only start upgrading really once you've got past that point. So yeah, it's a little bit... Uh, the Four Leaf Closer has one of each of the six different upgrade rocks. Oh, is it one of each? Okay. Um, Country Rose says, doing good. Thank you, Max. And uh, let's see. Jekyll's... Uh, and uh, Je Je Jekyll and Country Rose, just in case, uh, just in case it happens... Um, my YouTube bot is being a bit nuts right now, and it's not always posting the chat messages from YouTube. So if there's a period of time where I just don't answer your messages, um, it's probably just because my YouTube bot is just deciding that it's not going to post messages again. Um, which unfortunately, there's not much I can do other than refresh the bot. But I am like, I am period, I am periodically checking it. So just, uh, just let me know. Uh, well, I guess. Um, I guess if you are on the Twitch side, then just let me know. But if not, then uh, I'll I check it every now and then anyway. All right, back up here. Right, so there we go. We go bleed. We go bleed, and then attack with the sword. But yeah, as you can see, now it's daytime, so we're starting to sizzle again, right? So we got to be a little careful as we do this. 
Okay, oh, then we go. Yeah, unfortunately, I only parried that attack, so we're gonna have to get the bleed off again. So we go, we go, bleed, then then we go, bleed, and then we switch. Once you get the tier three assassin mutation, though, like the best part about tier three assassin is it also makes all your other bleed sources do more damage as well, which is really, really nice. Um, where is the auxiliary chip? Um, hang on, it kind of says, uh, after this, a manager and the large treasure chests uh, around the yard. There's uh, there's, uh, there's one behind the sandcastle, actually. Yeah, there is. Yeah, behind the sandcastle, there is one. And we'll probably be able to get that pretty soon. But yeah, the auxiliary chip in the sandbox is in the sandbox lab outpost right in the middle. So you'll find an entrance near the middle of the sandbox here, and the auxiliary chip is in there. Um, but you will need the assistant manager keycard to get in there. So yeah, that's uh, one thing to bear in mind um, as you're doing it. Now, we're going to go and look for some more ant lions, and there's one in here. And I do want to go into this one in particular. Another hint for longer fights as well, if you stand in the shadow of an ant lion it will actually uh, prevent you sizzling. So if you uh, if you're going for the longer fight, then definitely want to stand in this uh, shadow here. And as you can see, I'm not even sizzling while I'm in this shadow. That's something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. And there we go. Bleed him, bleed him, and then keep attacking. Here we go. Nice, that was very nice. Kai says, what chips are needed for the upgrade recipes? Um, you need the one from the Black Ant Hill for the sturdy, qu for the, uh, for the mighty blobs. And then the one from the sandbox will give you the flavored ones. So the, the sour, the fresh, and all the other ones. You need the one from the sandbox. Then I think you need the one from the termite hill to get the, the other way to craft the sturdy quartzite, I think, or the sturdy whetstones. You need to get the termite chip. And then you need to get the stump chip for the jewel recipes, I believe, um, for for all the jewel ones. Um, so yeah, they're all auxiliary chips for the uh, for the for the main ones. After that, Ayer says, uh, Ayer says, uh, where, yeah, where, where is the auxiliary chip? Yeah. So yeah, the, you you'll need like yeah. So essentially, first of all, it's black ant super chip and sandbox one for you know your your kind of level six and seven upgrades. Then termite termite one over here will give you access to. That'll give you access again to level six and seven upgrades, but you'll be able to make the stuff yourself without finding quartzite. And then, yeah, stump lab is for stump lab is for the level eight and nine. And then, once you kill Director Schmechter, you'll get the recipe for the supreme stuff as well. But that's uh, that's after Schmechter only. Until then, you'll have to just use the quartzite and stuff you find in the world. There we go. So we're gonna back over it. Okay. Looks like I've uh, looks like some food I had went off, and we get thirsty as well. I got him. Right. So I need to drink again, don't I? I need to drink again. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, you, you you will constantly get thirsty in the sandbox. It like goes down so quick. Don't even need to boil it. There you go. So we'll just like drink a bit by drink bit by bit, and then we should be pretty good. Uh, kind of says, did you get all that, Yuri? <laughs> There you go, get a little bit of an early bleed on him. There you go, back a bit. Hi there. Hi there. How's it going, dude? And we're gonna back up out of here. Ooh, make our way away. Got him. And die. All right, there we go. Now we're good. So now that we've come under here, um, there is a few things we can find. Now, uh, Marie, you probably want to pay attention here because you were asking me about the other piece of the roly poly armor. I did get the leg plates earlier on the picnic table. Um, I don't think you were here to show for me to show you that one, but you did want to know where to get the chest plate, right? Um, says uh, why? Why is Bray already reading Twitch chat? Um, Jekyll says. Uh, Jekyll says, "How's it going? It's going well, thank you, Jekyll." Um, there's um, says Jekyll says, "I have some pizza, Marie." No, <laughs> it's just the order sometimes that things come through. Um, so yeah, I'm trying. I'll try and keep up as best I can. Like I said, bots being funny. And, you know, me being half blind too does affect things. So, you know, I'm doing the best. <laughs> so, yeah, um, you are you are on about the... Um, hang on, you are on about the... 
crusty roly poly stuff, right? So the chest piece is actually in this tunnel here. So the entrance to the tunnel, there's actually two ways in, but one of the entrances is like by the oasis here. And then the other one is in front of the sandcastle. Both of them will lead to the same tunnel, but essentially go to the middle of the tunnel until you see like a bit where you can kind of go around in a circle. So you can see I can like walk around this in the circle. And then what we should find, hopefully, unless unless they've moved it, which I don't think they have, or did they? Did they? No, they didn't. There it is. You'll see a little bag here and there's the breastplate right there. So that's where you find the last of the three crusty roly poly armors right there. But yeah, I'm doing I'm doing well. Thank you, Jacqueline Hyde. I hope you're doing well as well, dude. Thank you so much for popping in. All right, there's some science over here. So we'll grab that. Science. All right, here we go. And then we're going to grab all this stuff here as well. So this is uh, going to give us our first bit of salt, which is really good because we're going to need that for later. I'm going to switch to my uh, my harvesting loadout as well. So that'll make it a little bit quicker to bust through these uh, bust through these uh, boulders here. But yeah, you can get lots of... I think you can get 38 salt from each of these. You used to be able to get 40 because one of them would actually give you four... Would actually give you four crystals, but they nerfed it. So yeah. But if we're lucky, we might actually get the salt crystal from here as well, which would be really, really good. Uh, Yuri says, yeah, for the most part. Okay, well, that's good. I'm glad you got it for the most part. <laughs> but if you need me to clarify anything, let me know. All right, here we go. So let's go grab all these. All right, here we go. But yeah, sometimes the bot might not post messages in the right order as well. So I'm doing my best. Uh, here we go. Let's go over this one. But yeah, we're going to harvest all of these. There's lots to harvest down here. Yeah, he says, uh, my hands hurt from doing a, doing a 12 hour grounder stream yesterday. Oh, you did? <laughs> uh, like, it really hurts. Were you doing, was it all New Game Plus you were doing yesterday, Emily? All right. Grab that one. Uh, Kai says, uh, I went to sleep lurking and woke up with Yevs. <laughs> Yeah, he said, yeah, all new game plus. <laughs> so, so you're currently just fighting the Mantis right now. and try, or, or did you end up doing the Mantis in the end? All right, so let's grab all of these guys here. There you go. Uh, and yes, as Max pointed out, the, uh, the flash uh, the, the, uh, pointed out the flash here on the map. <laughs> there you go. Uh, let me make sure I'm all caught up here. Uh, Jacob says, uh, do it, everybody. You're doing a great job. Have you heard the seven days of nine news? They put, uh, they put a roadmap out now. Yeah, I have, and it's really weird. I'm not gonna lie, like, the roadmap looks kind of odd to me, because it's just like, okay, so they're gonna call this new release, instead of A22 now, they want to call it 1.0, right? So essentially, like, saying, yeah, this is, like, the full release of the game. But then it's just like, in the next release, they're just like, oh yeah, we're overhauling one of the systems. And it's like, but you're in a 1.0 release, like, that should be done before 1.0, right? Like, 1.0 should be like, okay, this is the this is the game how we want it in its state, and then after that you add stuff, but they're like, oh, now we're going to go back and change stuff that we sh had in alpha that we changed already. And it, I don't know, it just look, it looks it looks a little bit weird. Yeah, it's, it's really odd. Uh, doesn't Juicy help you keep your water up for more? It does, yeah, if you have Juicy, which I think I do, actually. I think I do. I think it's because I wanted my uh, I think it's because I wanted my assassin mutation on, so I'm kind of going through more water because I like I like this loadout in particular. But yeah, I didn't want to take off uh, I didn't want to take off natural explorer or fresh because you know I don't have once I get sizzle protection uh, from like antline armor, I'll then probably just use juicy after that. But yeah, until then I'm just like I don't know. <laughs> but we can actually find one juice drop in here. But yeah, it it is very odd. Cry says uh, yeah, and they take back. Um, let's see. And they took back uh, resizing some. Uh, they they took back resizing some things in playgrounds. Yeah, that's the thing they have done, haven't they? Like some like I think like people were using it to resize trigger volumes and things like that. And then, you know, we can't do that anymore to like make really small areas of tri of triggers or anything like that. So yeah, they've taken back a few things. But a lot of stuff in playgrounds is uh, is missing, uh, unfortunately. I'm having a bit of a uh, a, ga a gaming drought at the moment. I can't make up my mind what I want to play. Playgrounded is the playgrounded is good. <laughs> Play grounded, grounded good. And there we go. Let me try and stand in this guy's shadow if we can. Okay, we're sizzling a little bit too much right now. Okay. Let's see if we can like kill this guy before we sizzle to death. There you go. And the other cool thing is you can actually stand in the shadow of a dead antlion and it also uh, and it also removes your sizzle as well. So yeah, 
Uh, dead things also help remove your sizzle if you stand it within their shadow as well. Um, but uh, GTA 6 is what I'm really looking forward to. But it looks good. It looks great, to be fair. Yeah, GTA 6, I'm not sure when that's meant to be coming out, but it's probably still a little while away, isn't it? Like, what, 2025 somewhere or something? Or is it coming out later this year? I can't honestly remember. Okay, we're low on food as well now. Uh, let's see. Do I have a meal left over? Oh, I do. Here we go. Eat one of them. There you go. And then we can grab this guy right here. Uh, Yelly says, uh, just think of it as a bug. <laughs> uh, Marie says, uh, Marie says, I'm here for my credit card. <laughs> that headline stole my credit card. I must retrieve it. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go over here. There's actually another juice drop over here. We can just drink real quick. Uh, sort me out there. Okay. There's a couple more ant lines in the pits. Uh, we should be pretty good. Joker says, uh, something like that. I still enjoy, I still enjoy it on the vibe. I never played GTA 5. Like, the last one I properly played was San Andreas. Um... I don't know. I played I played like a couple of things of GTA 4, but I don't know. I don't for whatever reason. I think the way the way that the controls had all changed for GTA 4 compared to like what they'd always been. I don't know. It's sort of like I don't know. It's sort of like put me off it, honestly. Uh oh. Right, we gotta deal with this guy first. Yeah, we got uh, we got we got two guys here. This is bad. Right, I gotta get in the shadow. Okay. His shadow's not working. Okay, yeah, we gotta we gotta get into a shadow. Ooh. We're gonna die! <laughs> We're gonna sizzle and die! <laughs> okay, go, 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 go. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, shadow, shadow, shadow! There you go. That was lucky. Oh, there you go. Marie says, uh, what if uh, what if I did a sa what if I did a sandbox only? What, like, living in the sandbox? No, he's surviving there. That'd be really tough, because, like, no food really spawns in there that often. My partner follows the uh, the proper rules driving and stuffing at red lights. I drive on the path. <laughs> yeah, same. Uh, uh, and uh, Craig says, yeah, I can't wait for that. Yeah, something like that. I still I still, I still, still enjoy number five. Um, but that's, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I play San Andreas and really enjoyed it. Played a bit of four. I was like, eh, the controls just feel really odd and stuff. And, like, the way the new car mechanics were and everything, I was like, yeah, it doesn't feel as GTA-ish as it used to. Okay, okay, this guy is, like, now up here. Hi there. Right, hey there. How you doing? Can we, uh, return to our regularly scheduled program, please? Yeah, sometimes these guys will actually slide out of the pit as well. It's really funny when it happens. Right, let's try and kill this guy before the other one shows up. There we go. I can actually hear the other antlion attacking something nearby. There you go, got it. Nice. Now this one here will just open the same route down to that tunnel that we were already in. So this is the other entrance to that tunnel right there. Uh, Wendigo says, uh, so you're really close to, you're, you're really close to digging out that key. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we can, it's, it's like at three, three thirty. we need to go into the area, isn't it? The spicy arena is bad enough. Never mind living in it. <laughs> Marie says, uh, but yeah, you could, you could do a sandbox only. That, that'd be like, that'd be very challenging though, because like some water does spawn in the grass over that side of things, but it's very rare to actually, actually find it, to actually find it. So yeah, that would be uh, that would definitely be a challenge. But yeah, we are kind of close to getting the key, aren't we? Um, so we could we could go and do that because I can show you how to find it. Um, okay. Oh, hello. Right back away. Hey, okay, oh, I fell down here. Right, hello, Antlion. How you doing? Hello, Monsieur Antlion and Tillion. <laughs> He's like, I want to pinch you with my pincher. <laughs> right, hi there. Yeah, my uh, my water's too late for us down there right now. Right, come on in. Right, we can get rid of this guy. Okay, so essentially, in order to get the key, it actually tells you how to find it, or it kind of hints it in the sandbox lab itself. But if you're not in the sandbox lab and you want to get it early, 
what you want to do is look for this yellow shovel, right? And what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look into the ring of the shovel right here. So when when it gets to the afternoon, you're waiting for it to be at three thirty in the afternoon, right? And the shadow of the shovel here is gonna slowly but surely move around. Uh, okay, I've seen it. So yeah. hi there, Michael. Welcome to the stream. Good day to the Master Karate. Always a pleasure. <laughs> There's good day, Maximus. Always an answer. Hi there, uh, Michael. I hope you're doing well, dude. Um, but yeah, so this uh, th this uh, this shadow it will essentially slowly move, and it will slowly move over. But eventually, it will kind of come to an area somewhere it's around. Drink. It's like somewhere around here that it will come to. Unfortunately, uh, Tiny Pete needs drink badly. Um, but it's, so it's somewhere like around this area. So you'll usually find it if you get the shovel out. I think it's like up here. Yeah, if I remember right, it's like it's like somewhere up here. But the, sh the sh it depends which way the shadow is moving. Let me see. Can't really see. I can't actually see the shadow moving right now. Let's have a look. So yeah, okay, the shadow is going that way. So maybe down in here. It's it's somewhere very close to here. But if I don't get out of it soon, we're gonna have a repeat of what happened earlier. So I need to uh, I need to go drink. Uh oh, the headlines are angry. <laughs> All the headlines are angry. Okay, <laughs> I need to go. Uh, I need to go drink real quick, and probably try and refill my canteen before we come up in there. Uh, it says, uh, it says, uh, I, I, it says, I'm nearly batting it. It had, it, it had me in tears. It had me in tears, Michael. I'm nearly batting it. <laughs> Michael's like, what? A baby? <laughs> Actually, oh, we haven't got the zippy. I was gonna say I can zip back up to the picnic table and get the, uh, get the sink in there, but yeah, see if we can find some water around here. Um, hopefully we can. If not, I'll just slap some dirty water and we'll, we'll be, uh, we'll be done with it. Yeah, there's there is some dirty water just down here. So if I can't find any clean water, then we'll have to just slurp some dirty water for now, and then we'll work on finding some clean stuff. Yeah, we're gonna have to just slurp the dirty one. Okay, uh, let's just do that. Dirty water it is. Yummy. There you go. And oh, there you go. Now, now and, and as soon as I do that, then I then I find the clean water. There you go. Well, there you go. At least at least I'm full on water now. That's fine. Um, so we need to get some more. But yeah, I think I missed the uh, I missed the opportunity to get a shovel. I think you can uh, I think you can dig it up every uh, like even if it's not three thirty in the afternoon, you can still dig it up. But it's easier to find when the shovel is just like, hey, it's like right here. But as you can see, it's already fifteen thirty one, so we've missed it. But yeah, in the shadow of the shovel is where you have to dig. So it's not too far away from the sandbox lab. You can also do it in the AM as well. So even even at night time, you can do it like through the night because the shadow will be in the same place. So. It doesn't matter whether you do it at day or at night. It doesn't make a doesn't make any difference at all. Probably easier to do it at night, honestly, especially if you've not got antline armor. So that's probably probably the easiest thing, honestly. Um. So okay, okay. So the te the tease is on, right? Let me make sure I'm all caught up on this side of things as well. Um. Let's see, I need to refresh my. See, even even my chat on the YouTube side isn't updating either. Um. Uh, it says, uh, how can I get, uh, says, uh, you, you, pa you, pa you, says uh, you passed over it. I saw the shovel icon. Oh, I did? Oh, okay, never mind. It's fine. Uh, we can we can get it. We can get it in a minute. Uh, but yeah, to get food easily in the sandbox, essentially you're going to have to rely on the human food drops that respawn around the sandbox. That's like the only real way you can get it. Um, the other thing you could do, though, is you could make like some pathways into the sandbox from the outside to hope that some of the other creatures like find their way into the sandbox. Other than that, though... I get. I guess other than that, you got a couple of mushrooms in the black anthill to use, but yeah, your options for food and water in that biome are very limited. Um, they always got something you never expect, as Michael. Right? I think I need to refresh my. Uh, I need to refresh my YouTube thing, don't I? Because I think that's. Uh, I think that's going bad again. <laughs> I think. I think my. I think my bot is playing up again. Hang on, guys. Let me. Uh, let me deal with, and we'll see what we can do. So let me go. Close that one. I think it's like the. I wish it was like a. I wish it was like a refresh button, but I don't think there is. Um, so we can just have to. We just have to redo that, and then we'll go back in here, and then we'll relaunch it, and then hopefully, uh, hopefully, once we do that, it will uh, it will just show. There you go, and then we'll just I'll just run a couple of tests on it, and then we'll see how we go. Yeah, sorry about this, guys. <laughs> it just happens sometimes. Uh, let me see. Uh, one two three. Let me just do a let me just do a one two three message. Uh, just to make sure it works. There you go. Uh, one two three four five six. And Marie's like, wait, <laughs> it was it was shocking. <laughs> All right, so does it does, does it work now? One two three, one two three. Uh, there we go. Right, there we go. Now it's back again. <laughs> it's online again. There we go. It's fine. Right, but 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 has been fixed temporarily again, of course. <laughs> temporarily, of course. And uh, it says, uh, Marie says, I can't get the food drops. Ah, uh, yeah, because for that you'll need the uh, you'll need a tier two axe and hammer, right? So yeah, that's the only thing. It's like you're not gonna be able to get any of the tools. So like, I'd say you could do it, but you'd have to like allow yourself 
to like maybe just have a challenge if you have to live in the sandbox but you can venture out to get some stuff like so so like you can your your base has to be in the sandbox but you can venture out to get like tools and stuff like that and you know do the main game but you have to you have to have your base in the sandbox at least like that would probably be more more manageable right probably 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 the more manageable way to do it right so i got i got three drops now haven't i so let's go see if we can find the uh go see if we can find this key and then we will go and grab that key and then we can i can show you where the uh the recipe is as well uh kind of says uh so it says a while away why like halfway like halfway across the country <laughs> Mike says uh the australian embassy has been uh renamed for one day bluey house and uh and all done up and bluey and all the crew are there <laughs> oh my god <laughs> guys like nah <laughs> uh, this area is too hot for me all right so yeah luckily now though it is nighttime so or it's it's getting into nighttime so we should have an easier time finding this thing. But yeah, I think it's like around here somewhere that the that the key is. It's in it's on one of these little areas here. Let's see, because the shadow of the shovel kind of goes that way, doesn't it? Oh wait, I saw it there. There it is, right here. So yeah, as you can see, there's a there's a shovel icon right here. Very easy to just miss and run over, but here we go. If we dig this up, we'll find ourselves the melted moat key. And this will allow you to open the treasure chest that's located behind the sand castle. All uh, right, says I know how to do this. Hey, all uh, right, says I can't, I can't, I can't. It's, uh, he's like, I can't get the food drops. So he's like, damn it! And, all right, anyway, so we go over here, and if we make our way down into the water here, well, first of all, there's a couple of things we can find. There's actually some science in this bucket, I think. Yep, there it is, right there. So 500 free science. There you go. So if I do the thing uh, with Burgle to get to the sandbox, uh, so I do the thing with Burgle to get to the sandbox and then trash everything. You can do that if you want to. But yeah, you'll, see, you'll still need to venture out to get resources and finish the story, right? So yeah, I'd, I'd just say like make a base in the sandbox or something. Probably be a bit more of a, a bit more a bit more doable, right? Uh, so is that GG Australian Embassy? Oh, I looked it up, Michael, because I don't believe your bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Aussie Michael won. Aussie Michelone, bullshit incarnate. <laughs> All right. Once you open this chest, there is a thing in here. A note detailing how to make a particularly deadly weapon. This will be the uh, this will be the uh, Salt Morning Star weapon that we get. So now we can craft ourselves a Salt Morning Star once we get a few other materials. We still need to get the oven and a couple of other materials, but once we've done that, we'll be able to craft one of those, and that's going to be awesome. Uh, Michael, Michael says, hey, I wouldn't do that to you. Yes, you would. <laughs> See? Bullshitting again. <laughs> Yeah. Bullshitting again, are we, Michael? <laughs> All right. Us uh, says uh, I do have some respect, but not always, sir. Not not always, sir. Not much. <laughs> All right. There's also oh, there's a mixer over here that we can discover as well. So, uh, or did we discover that? Nope. We can discover the mixer. There you go. And there's actually some science up on this shovel as well. Unless they remove this one, they used to they used to be some up here anyway. Unless it's unless it's gone. Uh, no, it's still up there. So yeah, if we come up here. Uh, you can actually get out of the sandbox this way as well, which is kind of cool. But there's a bit of science here. To get this one, we're going to need to like stand on here and then jump over and grab it. There you go. And there is some more raw science just for us there. Uh, oh, Max, I took I uh, I took uh, I took Loz into here last night. <laughs> And uh, it says, uh, see, uh, she, she freaked. It was so funny. <laughs> oh, in, the, in the sandbox bit? Yeah, it, it is uh, It is funny. Like, I remember when I, I actually watched Yevely come into the sandbox for the first time. And the first the first time the ant line came up, like, the scream was hilarious. Like, <laughs> it's like, it's like I, th I think it's the most high-pitched scream I've ever heard Yevely do. <laughs> Hello. Oh, knock me over. Okay. Get up, beat. Hi there. Okay, run back here. Do it. Aha, you missed. Right, come on. There we go, got him. Hey, there we go. We win! <laughs> We are victorious. All right, so the only, the only other things I need to do is check out the last of the tunnels. Um, we could get some treasure, but we need to kind of come through here in the day. So we really want to come back through when we got antline armor, which is not going to be for a little while. Hi there. Hi there. You 
missed. Okay, let's go and take this guy out. Yeah, we stunned him nice though. Yeah, we can just like hang through his health there. Okay, oh, that one on the other. Okay, that was, that was lucky he chose that attack, otherwise he probably would have killed me there. But there we go, we got him. Hey, Luzzy says, uh, says, uh, oh, really? I freaked out. <laughs> How you doing, Luzzy? Welcome in. Marie says, uh, what is the best weapons which can be crafted only in the sandbox? Honestly, you still need spider webs to, you still need spider webs to craft a lot of them. But I was going to say the, the, the easiest one is probably just the Antlion Greatsword, because that just relies on Antlion parts. Uh, whack him, Lozzy, says Michael. So yeah, Antlion Greatsword is probably the only one that you could get, because like, for example, the Black Hand Sword requires berry leather, right? But then I guess if you allow, if you allow yourself to get the spiders around the sandbox as well, like, because the wolf spiders won't drop anything. Um... But you'll have to you'll have to get like the you'll have to get silk rope as well, right? Uh, holy, that's a lot of candy. Yeah, this this area is really good for it as well. You get a lot down here. But yeah, the two spicy one ones there don't respawn, but the other mint and spicy ones here will. But yeah, the uh, online great sword is probably the best thing you can use. Um, you can't even make a you could you can make pebble tools within the sandbox, but that's about it. Because yeah, the pe the pebble tools are uh, one thing you can do, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it, honestly. Because anything else, like you can't make the red ant club because there are no red ants around the sandbox. Um, you can't really, you can't even make an acorn shovel because <laughs> there's no acorns here either. So yeah, uh, this will be hard. Yeah, so I I say you're gonna have to allow yourself to, you're gonna have to allow yourself to like venture out to get materials if you know what I mean, because yeah, otherwise you're just not gonna be able to make anything. And that's just gonna suck, right? So yeah, you probably wanna you probably wanna rely on outside help as well from the sandbox. Just you know, do most of your stuff within there, right? So yeah, we're getting low on water again. No water filtration tablets needed. Okay, I wonder if we can find any other treasure around here. I probably need to wait till the next day before we really do. So I guess then um, we may as well go and start doing the Black Ant Hill, haven't we? Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you the... I could go into the Black Ant Hill this way, but I'm not going to go into it this way. I'm going to show you guys from the trash heap, because that's like where I think most players will enter it. Most new players are probably going that way. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll show you guys that way. Okay. Oh, help. Ooh. Okay, that, oh, that was lucky. I managed to get the perfect long then. Just, I just managed to get that. <laughs> Yeah, I blocked slightly too late and I got stunned. Okay, just weaken that one and kill it. Now back away. Okay, oh, I got two crits. Nice. <laughs> I win. Okay, just slowly back away. I was lucky. All right. Get it. Get it. Okay, here we go. Come on, then, you. Got him. Hey, we win. <laughs> Ray says, uh, I, um, says I'll allow the black, I'll allow the black ant hill. Can you show me where the, uh, can you show me where the sprigs can be found? Uh, yeah, the sprigs. Well, I, th I think you can get sprigs in here, I think. Let me just double check. But I think they're, uh, I think you can just find them over by the black ant hill over there. I think, I think there's some. I know there's like clover and plant fibers here. Are there sprigs here, though? That's the question. May uh, I don't know. Maybe there, maybe there actually aren't. Let me see. I thought there were though. Yeah, there are. Look, there's there's some sprigs right here. So essentially, right near the field station, uh, right here, you can find them on this like little island here. So yeah, you can you can find some of them here. So yeah, there there are sprigs here. I was I was gonna say I I thought there were, but I'm. That, but I was I, I was I had to think about it for a second then. Uh, Kai says uh, I don't know you Max. The game leads you here for the, the game leads you here from the picnic bench. But that's if you go on the picnic bench, right? But there are, there are two ways, and I can I can just show you both ways. It's not really a problem anyway. Um, let's see. Everybody says, is it possible to survive? I mean, I don't know, because, like, maybe on mild it will be, because your thirst won't go down very fast, but I think on medium and woe mode, maybe not. Because you're going to have to go outside the sandbox for, like, food and water and everything. Like, you could, you could probably get yourself a dew collector as well. That would help with the water side of things. Right. Do you mind? There we go. But yeah, other than that, yeah, getting getting food and stuff in here will be difficult because like there are no like bugs that you can just like cook, um, like aphids or anything like that. So that so that side of things will be a little bit more difficult as well. Hi. There you go, Perry. There you go. 
There you go. It's because I'm out of stamina. Come on, then. Come on, then. And then he should bleed out and die. Got him. <laughs> He's about to try to strike me, then he was like, Nyah! and then he just died. <laughs> it was like, haha. Um, says, is it possible to survive on the nasty or, or the nasty water if uh, they, they they can come? Um, the nasty, yeah, the nasty water though has the has the problem that it will lower your hunger. So that's the uh, that's the other problem, right? So you're gonna probably be spending most of your time at half stamina. If you try and do it, but yeah, it'd be, it'd be an interesting challenge for sure. Right, hi there. I got it. Hey, we win. <laughs> there you go. Uh, wait, chests. Yes, technically, so there, there. Actually, no, that's true. There is some meals in the chests. Yeah, that that's true. So meals from the chests. Yeah, that's uh, that's true. It depend yeah, so that that will also depend on luck to a big degree, won't it? Because yeah, not all chests have meals. Like usually they'll have like some candies in them though, so that might help a little bit. Okay, let's just run on here. Take a little bit of damage, it doesn't matter. We're just Use something to drink. gonna heal it off anyway. And tiny Pete needs to drink badly. But yeah, I'm gonna go through the black ant hill and we're gonna go uh, we're gonna go through this way. And uh, we'll go like the we'll go like the regular way through it. Uh says so uh, use yeah, use them wisely. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, yeah. You're going to have to use the meals wisely and hope they don't go bad by the time you need them. All right, let's go make our way over here. So we're going to make our way along. I should find something to drink along the way here because this this area down here has like, there's a couple of dew drops here. There we go. Don't even need to boil it. There's one right there. Very nice. And I hear a wolf spider here. Hello. Hi, wolf spider. How are you doing? Right, come on, then. Come on then. Come on then. <laughs> yeah, bugger. I got him. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. What are you gonna do now? Huh? Dead. He's fucking dead. <laughs> right there, guys. So we got the uh, got the wolf spider out there. That one has been dealt with. Right. Do I have any more food on me? Because I kind of need some. Uh, I do. There we go. Mm. Another piece of food. There we go. And now we can condense our loot together a bit. Right. Rotten food. Actually, I I kind of want to keep that. Hang on. Those are just regular apple bits. So. Yeah, I, I'll probably I'll probably get rid of those ones honestly if I need to. Um, right, so here we go. So now we need to come through here, and we're gonna go to the Black Ant Hill. So yeah, at least now it's actually easier to get to the Black Ant Hill. Now they removed the. Uh, uh, I can't even craft. I can't even craft a shield. Yep, you won't be able to craft a shield. No weev no weevils is there in that area. Like I said, the, your your best bet is to try and make a way into the sandbox, like from like the backside mostly, because like you you tend to get like weevils and stuff come around this area. So and, you, and then you can hope that stuff wanders in. So you have to like build. You have to like drop down here, build a way up, and then see if the see if the stuff wanders in that way. Yeah, I can't get that one, so I'm gonna smack the grass here. Okay, grab. Can I grab that one? There you go. So we are now at four drops. Okay, we're full four drops now. Nice. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go through the black ant hill. Uh, I do have a. Actually, can I make a torch? I don't think I can right now. And is that wait? Is there even any sap around here? I don't think there is even to make a torch because it'll help us. Uh, It'll help us see a lot better. Um, I think everything exists but the sap. Oh, no, actually, no. I think there is some sap, but we got to go up into the trash can to get it. Um, so, yeah, we'll go. Uh, we want to go make a couple of torches just so you guys can see a bit clearly, and we'll go from there. Marie says, uh, show me the, um, the the recipe for the shovel. Uh, which one? The acorn or the black ant shovel? Let me see. Because um, black ant shovel is just uh, all three of the black ant parts. Um, and that's going to be under here. I think black ant shovel. Yeah, so black ant shovel is just like, um, oh, it actually requires grub hide now. They changed that. Okay, so yeah, it, it used to be like all three of the different black ant parts, but yeah, now it requires grub hide, and I think that's because they want you to craft the acorn shovel first. They did something similar to that with the termite axe as well, um, which required feathers in order to craft it. But it used to just be all termite parts, so you could essentially skip the earlier ones. So yeah, the, that it used to be regular black ant parts, but yeah, for some reason now they turned it into grub hide because they were just like, yeah, we want to make it so that you have to use the tier one shovel first so yeah they, it's, essentially it stops you skipping the tier one shovel which is kind of a little bit uh <laughs> wait well <laughs> yeah so yeah you need to find grubs as well then to make that which i think uh, in, in some ways i understand why they did that but in other ways i think it's kind of silly like 
You know, if 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 people just want to go and skip ahead to the summer, just just let them skip ahead. Do you know what I mean? It's like <laughs> it's like it, it feels like a bit of like artificial gating for the sake of gating it artificially. But that's it. <laughs> right. So I think I think we can get can we get sap on these uh, twigs? Oh, are these some twigs that actually don't have sap spawns on them. Oh. Oh my. Uh, maybe they don't have sap on them then. I could have sworn we could get sap on these as well. Uh. Okay, no, these these ones just don't have sap on them either. Okay, so we gotta go find some. Uh, we gotta go find some other stuff then. Okay, well, looks like we're gonna have to get out of this area to make a torch then, and then come back. Yeah, sorry guys, I thought I had everything we needed, but I guess not. So we'll run back down through here. Oh, I don't want to go on that. That's gonna deal some gas damage. Eh, not that much actually. Oh, it's because I got fresh defense on, isn't it? So it's not gonna do not gonna do as much damage to me. But I right, come through here. Just gonna run through and hopefully we don't die too much to gas. There you go. So I'll just run through here. Right. Okay. So yeah, I need to find uh, I need to find some sap and there's like none around this bit. So we're going to have to venture slightly further afield. Working away here. Yeah. For whatever, for whatever reason, they were just like, yeah, no, sap, sap, sap doesn't need to be on these twigs, only on the other ones. Hey, King Flame, welcome to the stream, dude. How are you doing today? Uh, just a heads up, if I don't get back to you on YouTube or whatever, um, my bot's being weird, so uh, it doesn't always post all the chat messages. So sorry about that if that happens says and i need a crafting table the workbench you should be able to make because you can find sap in the sandbox and you can find the the plant fibers and everything in there or the the sprigs in there so you can find the sprig so you can make a workbench in the sandbox speaking of which i was going to do that and never did it though <laughs> sorry carnage <laughs> but it's fine we'll get we'll get one up there eventually eventually we will get one but for now well we won't get one <laughs> well crap uh right so let's see oh yeah here we go there's some sap right here there you go so i need a couple of these Couple of bits of sap, and then we just need some crude rope, and then we can make ourselves a torch, right? So I, th I think the torch requires two crude rope, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like chop down this bit of grass here. There we go. There you go. And then I think that'll give me enough crude rope and everything to make one. Okay, there we go. So now I can craft. Just so I I honestly, I know the layout of the anthill, but for anyone who's never seen it before, I want you guys to actually, you know, be able to see it properly. So yeah, for, for you guys. I'll make sure we have a torch and we can see where we're going. So, where is... There it is, torch. There it is. What am I short on? Uh, two sap. Oh, yeah, two crew rope. There we go. Oh, we need dry grass too, duh. <laughs> duh, we need dry grass as well. <laughs> okay. Well, we should, we should be able to find dry grass here. In fact, I think there's like... Is that one piece right there? No, it's grass. Okay. So, just a bit of dry grass as well. And then we've got everything we need. But yeah, I've got the I got the sap. That was the main thing. Uh, so, now we just need some dry grass. That looks like... I, that looked like dry grass, but I guess not. I guess we'll have to head over this way to find some. Because, yeah, there's, pro there's probably some around the haze area, isn't there? So that'll do. Uh, let's see. He says uh, he says it, needs a, it needs a meeting with the boss about doing your job. I know, right? Uh, it says, uh, uh, show me the outline armor recipe if you have it. Okay, outline armor recipe. And let me see. Do, 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 outline... Antlion armor, here we go. So antlion wide brim is antlion parts, but uh, silk rope, so you will need a spinning wheel, and then boiling glands, so you'll need that from a bombardier. Uh, the poncho is parts, pincers, and silk rope, so probably the easiest of the three to make. Um, and then this one is parts, pincers, and beefers. Again, this one, again, is one of the easy ones to make. Probably, probably the hardest one is this one, because it requires uh, it requires the boiling gland as well. Uh, can't craft that. You might be able to craft the spurs if a bee flies over the sandbox and you can like shoot it. But then again, I don't think you can even make a. I don't think you can even make a bow and arrow in the uh, in the sandbox because you got no uh, mite fuzz. Although you might be able to get the uh, you might be able to get some feathers to make the feather arrows. But then you also need uh, you, actually yeah. As if you're gonna allow yourself to use spider spider silk, you could um, you could technically craft the insect bow and then feather arrows, right? If you could, if you if you allow yourself to have like one workstation or something, then you know you could you could probably do that actually. All right, so now I can make a now I can make a torch, right? Uh, let's see if we can do that now. Maybe now I can do one. Uh, yes, we can. Okay, that's better, Harry. There we go. And I can't do a second one, but I think one torch is probably all we're gonna need anyway. Yeah, so, some of, some of the anthill is actually quite lit up, uh, quite well lit, so we should be okay. See, uh, I was thinking of doing uh, every every biome except the grasslands. So yeah, like upper yards, charcoal area, sandbox. Um, well, so the haze, I guess, would count as that. So yeah, so technically, yeah, and you can find spiders in the haze, right? And you can find spiders in the upper grasslands, unless you're also excluding that biome as well. 
Uh, so like, so like, uh, oh, so like only, oh, I see, I see, so like only the hedge. Yeah, see, at least in the hedge you can get spiders, and occasionally ants wander in there, so the only trouble you have in the hedge is the acorns for the, um, the spinning wheels, wouldn't it? That, that'd be the only problem you have in the hedge. Alright, so here we go, guys. Here is the black anthill, and we are going to equip the torch here, because we're going to need it, uh, at least for now. So, equip the torch right down into this spot. And I'm actually just going to delete these other things now, because I need some more room. So, we'll get rid of those and get rid of those. There you go. Everything else can just stay on me. There we go. Right, so now we're going to head down in here, and I can show you guys what we can find down here. Now, we've been down here a little bit to fight some soldier ants already. So, you'll probably... Uh, what if I did a, a red ant only? So, like, just live it, like, like try to live around the ant hill and stuff like that, and have to wear ant armor? <laughs> That'd be kind of tough, actually. All right, so let's see what we can find down here. So if we come down here, we should find there's lots of there's actually a lot of clay in here in the black in the in the ant hill. All uh, right, so we got some uh, soldier ants here. Hi there. Hi there. So again, for soldier ants, we just. You know, yeah. yeah for, so for soldier ants, we probably want to get a mix of. Uh, a mix of uh, stun and poison on them. See how we go. There we go. We'll get this guy down. There we go. Hey, 650 raw science. Nice, stun him. Okay, then we can do that one, that one, and then switch back. There we go. Hi there. And the workaround is just like, you killed my soldier daddy! <laughs> Right, come on in. There you go, stun him, stop him running away, and then we'll re-poison him, we'll re-hit him again, and then take him out. There we go, nice. Very nice then, yeah, so we will have to worry about soldier ants and stuff down here, so we're going to have to be a little bit careful. Um, Pick the table, let me see. You get as many beef as and black ant parts on the picture table. Um, I guess there's like spiders under and around it and a technically infected ladybugs. So if you allow yourself under the picnic table as well, then that would be more doable, I think. Still, the, still you'll still need to go get uh, acorns though. Because you'll need that for the spinning wheels. But you can find clay under the picnic table. So yeah, picnic table will probably be more viable. All right. So now we're going to go through here. So yeah, once you come through the Black Hand Hill, you'll get a choice of ways to go. And at this point, we can actually turn off the torch because we don't necessarily need it on now. But yeah, you get a choice of ways to go. You can go left or right. We're actually going to go to the left route first. And we're going to go up here. So let's make our way up and over here. Here we go. Uh, King Claim says, uh, Fox, when did you steal Thor's hammer? <laughs> Quite a while ago. <laughs> like, actually, uh, last stream, actually, we got it. Uh, or the stream before. Okay, so once you're up in this room, you'll actually discover the Black Ant Hill Lib. Here we go. Subterranean depths of the endless caverns. They found a most peculiar abandoned ruin. And of course, over here, we have soldier ants. So let's go deal with these guys if we can. Hi there. But yeah, again, apply poison and bleed to make your life a little bit easier. Okay, hi there. What do you want? Okay, stun him. Nice. Oh, that one actually got him from over here too. Nice. And there's that one down. Now deal with this one. There you go, two more dead soldier ants. And with that, we can probably repair our sword as well, can't we? Because that's uh, that's reaching the end of its life, I think. There you go. And we can probably repair the shield again. Yeah, repair the sword and shield. That's the good thing about the black hand shield while you're here as well. They're very easy to repair. Uh, if you did, uh, this is the, the hedge is easy. Uh, the, the pond only? Pond could work because you're near the oak tree, so you can technically get acorns from there. There's red ants around there. So yeah, that, that'll probably be one of the, well, that'll be one of the more doable ones. All right, so once you're in the uh, ant hill here, uh, you're going to need to come up to this rock. You will need a bomb to get to this first bit of the lab. So you will actually find more bombs in here, but I recommend you bring a few with you as well because they will be needed um, when you go through. So we're going to grab this guy. I'm going to drop a bomb into there. And that will open up the first part of the Black Ant Hill right, just right here. There we go. So there's two ways that you can kind of go. One way kind of leads to just a bit of a dead end. Not really anything to find over here. However, we can go over this way 
and you will find there's a couple of ways we can go. One way is behind you, another is in front, but we want to go to this area here with the biometric scanner first, so we'll go into here. Here we go. Uh, did you ever get the dead guy in the sandbox dug up? No, I haven't got that yet, but we can get that on a subsequent run, because I need to go to the sandbox lab anyway. So yeah, there will be like a snipey taste tea behind this door, so... It's a little bit of a little bit of a bugger to deal with because sometimes he can get you by surprise. But yeah, there we go, we got him. So yeah, I always back away from that door and perfect block, or try and perfect block as soon as I enter that one. And then when we come in here, we will find ourselves a new cassette tape. So here we go. Under siege, kind of says. Uh, I don't know if I hate the slab or the stump lab the most. Uh, I'd say the stump lab is worse. Virgil, I'd like to summarize the results of today's mixer. And then we press this button here. And that will open that door there in front of us. But let's go this way first. One and two were aborted due to mechanical failure. Anything else in here? Trial nope. three. There we go. Trial three was interesting. Wait. Virgil, what is that? It looks like a gathering of ants. Well, I can see that, but what... <laughs> Close the blast doors! Okay, we got another note here too. Alright, what does Wendell have to say after that? <laughs> it appears that the mixer has agitated some of the local fauna, so... Yeah. That's enough for today, Burgle. No, that's enough for the day, Burgle. Okay, uh, we now have the Mixer Trial Summary Note. Well, Mixer development has been a bumpy, bumpy road. I've successfully been able to produce a raw science concentrate, but the energy wave output is too strong for the containment field generator. It would seem that using a mixer in a single-use affair for the time being. I'll need to find a way to ramp up unit production for the yields necessary to pursue my resonification therapy experiments. To make matters worse, my laboratory has continued to be the focus of black ants. I suppose it has to do with the, ca the cacophony of those blasted machines at max power, or maybe something is luring them here. Anyway, as usual, the odds are stacked against me. <laughs> oh dear, Wendell. Okay, so we got some granola bars here. I want to see if there's like any new recipes and stuff in these rooms, because I'm sure there might be. And uh, plus, we can also find the black ant queen now as well, can't we? All right, and we got a new uh, new sub as well from uh, we've got uh, uh, e e Economides Silver. Thank you so much for the sub. Very much appreciated. Uh, he says, uh, "I feel like I, I feel like I forgot something." <laughs> uh, right, so we're gonna the, we're gonna go through here. There's gonna be some more taste teas over here. So let's go and uh, fight these guys. Hello there. There you go. Got that one. Aha. There you go. Taking down that one. Taking down that one. There you go. There's all those tasties taken care of as well. And we get three more bandages right there. And let's see what else we have here. There is a workbench and a field station right here. So we can analyze those salt chunks we got. And we can also analyze this stuff as well. That will give me the uh, Roly Poly breastplate. And we actually unlocked next level of brain power for the termite gear. Very, very nice. Uh, it says, uh, oh, yeah. All three of the other hills. Did, did, I, did I forget any? Um, are you? I guess you know, maybe uh, Moldock Highlands in the upper in the upper yard is probably another one uh, that you could try and do. All right, so I think that's everything in this room, and just I'm just making sure in these in this lab because like I'm not sure if there's new recipes for the like the Black Hand Queen uh, explosives. I wish there was a way to use them for combat. Explosives are cool. Yeah, you, I mean you can you can use them in combat in, for this one, but it's like. T producing them early on is difficult right so yeah it's it's only till it's not until much later where they start to become useful so yeah it would be nice if there was like a, a way earlier on uh where he says uh, i'm not doing grasslands or appiard ah, okay and in that case no i don't think you've missed any um all right so here we go so extra precautions let's go read its note burgle has been behaving strangely I have noted in some of our interactions that he has been taking liberties with my instructions besides his usual displays of incompetence but just the other day, I heard him humming a tune about grilling. He thought I could not hear him, but I did. And I have told him again and again to eliminate that unnecessary function from his programming. And yet still, I know he harbors secret thoughts of grilling. Oh, I was certainly right to isolate him from the experiments. One can only imagine how his malformed programming could be contaminating my research. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, what do you guys say? Uh, there's, no, there's an item on the table in there. Oh, did I miss one? Let's see. The security cameras are now Let me go check. The yard, and I've do, do, do. Did I miss one? Let me see. 
a little insurance that my progress on raw science enrichment doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Kai says, uh, I gotta get an early night buddy up for work. No appreciate you all. Alright then, Kai, thank you so much for your luck, dude. Very much appreciated. And hopefully we'll see you soon. And hopefully uh, you have a good day at work tomorrow as well, dude. Thank you, Wendigo. Let me have a look and see uh, what should I do first. Uh, I do the pond one first. Right, there was an item on the table here. Well, this this thing here, I don't think I can... Uh... Oh, was it on this table? Uh, I don't think I can interact with either of these. Uh, it, it looks like I should be able to pick that up, but... Uh, oh, no, no, I can't. I had to literally jump on here. Okay. Ah, here we go. Yeah, this is new. This is new. There we go. Um, Comic Queen, thank you so much for giving kind of a shout-out, baby. Very much appreciated. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I, I was, like, trying to interact with it from here, and it just wasn't letting me do it. I guess it doesn't support wide interaction yet. Um, but, yeah. There we go. So, there is a poison gum sandwich recipe. Here we go. Uh, it says, uh, remember, remember to build a loot chest. It says, uh, this is King Claim. Ah, uh, we, don't, we don't need one in here, because uh, we'll just uh, take it all back to base in a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. So, we've got a poison gum recipe. A recipe detailing how to cook the black ant queen's favorite food laced with poison <laughs> all right so yeah that's uh, that's one thing thank you wendigo i totally missed that but there we go that's one item that so that one's new um uh, that wasn't there before um uh, so that's the that's like the one of the new items which is cool nice and clean so drink that one and uh, it says uh mary says will you stream tomorrow um i'm not sure i will uh I will, i'll probably let you guys know in discord if i'm gonna go live or not so it honestly depends on what tomorrow brings honestly like i have no real set schedule at the minute so you know i just stream when i can when i'm able and you know when stuff isn't too busy um but yeah i'll try i mean i mean i'll try to but i mean i hope we get a coffee stream tomorrow because that'd be that'd be really good right right guys a coffee stream that'd be like amazing <laughs> so yeah that's uh that's 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 what i'm hoping for anyway <laughs> so yeah hopefully, hopefully if coffee queen's feeling better she'll do a stream because that'd be really really good because you know i miss i miss coffee streams and they are absolutely amazing. So hopefully we'll get some. Uh, Ray says, uh, Ray says, wish me luck. Good luck. I'm sure you can do it. All right. So now we're going to go through that A door that we unlocked earlier. And we're actually going to drop down here. And if we go through here, you'll, you should find that in one of these uh, little areas, there's a hole that we can drop into for this section of the lab. Now, as you can see, there's a load of raw science right there. Unfortunately, we can't grab any of it, which sucks, but that's okay. We've also got ourselves a couple more upgrade rocks. There's even some feathers in here, extra bombs as well. And we've also got an omelette as well. So that's another another meal you can eat. Um, I'm actually going to remove the regular apple bits and I will keep the omelette because that's a little bit more useful to me right now. Uh -huh. There we go. Right, so we've got some extra stuff from there. And there is a bed here you can set your respawn on. And then don't forget, the uh, there's a cassette tape right here. Uh, although, I don't think it wants to let me see it, does it, in, for, in third person? So here we go. we got Imminent Collapse. Let's have a re listen to this one. Dove says, uh, a door, you say? I do. Uh, says, uh, what will be the hardest hill to try and survive in? The Fire Ant Hill, most likely. Because <laughs> that's it. That's in Upper Yard, isn't it? So that'll be the Fire Ant Hill. All right, here we go. I don't need this now. Abnormalities in the readings, unexpected power fluctuations, raw science run rampant. All right, there's more uh, stuff back here. Mouthy robotic assistants. Yep. I'm so tired. All these new variables that need to be accounted for, they're ruining everything in my most desperate hour. All right, I can't fit that one grenade bar. It is all turned against me. Even as I walk around the backyard, I feel the walls of grass closing in on me, the tips of those green blades like daggers pointed at my heart. I see, no, I feel the unblinking, multifaceted eyes of the ants and spiders reflecting my misshapen visage, watching, always watching, and bearing witness to my failure. Perhaps it is time for me to lay down and admit defeat. Perhaps this is all the success that was meant for me. Perhaps it is enough. Alright, there we go. Now more tasties. Alright. I got it. And look at that, we got a barbarian level three. We win! Alright, there we go. So we've managed to get 300 more raw sides. Um what's harder? Black ant hill or red ant hill? Probably the black ant hill, honestly. Uh, that's probably the hardest one. Uh, of the two of them. All right, here we go. So security briefing. Here we go. It's become all too clear, foggy as I may be of late, that some upkeep is in dire need. Notes, blueprints, recording all foolishly out in the open. I never want to play tug of war with a soldier ant over important research ever again. I suspect even bigger forces are at work than just an upset colony. It's as though someone in the shadows is watching my every move. If I has somehow caught wind of the devastating capabilities of mixed technology, well, it's high time for real security around here. 
I'm suspending activities on the project while I beef this lab up a smidge. Plans are drawn for a repurposing of an old Roby's idea, the Grumbling Middle Management Unit. The heavy-handed programming leaves a room for improvement in the Attitude Department, and heaven forbid Burgle will ever have to interact with it. I can't, I can't begin to imagine the two of them blathering back and forth, let alone deal with any whimpering about installing leadership above him. He seems like the jealous type. <laughs> Cheering save me. Anyway, to work! <laughs> All right, so there we go. We've also got some more stuff in here. So another load of upgrade rocks, another omelette in here. I'm actually just going to consume that one. Okay, we'll just eat that one directly. And then when you get to here, we'll get another door, which will take us into the B area. So there's, uh, there's uh, Marie says, yeah, you're wrong. Think about it. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there's lots of food in the red ant hill. Um... Okay. Um, in that case, then, what? why would you think it's easier living in the black ant hill than the red? Is that because of the water, maybe? Like, I guess if you're on about, like, having the water stuff, then yes, perhaps. But then food might be more of an issue. I guess I guess it's either way. Uh, so you get you get a bed on the wet bench. I mean, that's true, yeah. That's true. So, yeah, if you're if you're looking for, like, utility. But then again, you've also got the tougher creatures without armor. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's the thing. So unless you're willing to perfect block every single hit, then you're going to get torn apart much quicker by the black ants. So that's the thing as well. Plus, you can't also get anything to prevent the, red, the black ants attack you so that's uh that's that's the kind of the thing that works against you like i was thinking more of like you know just living in general like you know like black how long will you last against like battle. a colony of ants like you'll last longer against the red ants than the black ants for sure hi there how you doing okay what do you want hey, come on then. You, you need a little bugger haha I'm wheeling Thor's hammer now, as King Flame put it. <laughs> and there we go, we got it. And Dubs say, yeah, Dubs is like a door, you say. I do say Dubs, I say a door. Plenty of door. How much door? Is it coat door? I don't know. <laughs> right there, so yeah, and we also get a lot of quartzite in here as well, so I do want to try and grab a load of this. But yeah, essentially, if you follow this route, it will take you back up to the main room, and that will then take you on through the lab. However, there is also a side path that we can take, and that's where we're going to go. Well, we're actually going to go through the side path here first. And we're going to see what we can find down here. Because there's going to be some more interesting things that we will be able to find. First of all, you can see there's actually, uh, if you look kind of carefully through there, you can actually see a milk molar right through there. Unfortunately, we can't get to that milk molar this way. However, there is somewhere we can go, and I'll show you in a second. So we're going to grab this first. And then we are going to turn, essentially, to the right right here. And if we go this way, you can see, once again, there's another place where we can put a bomb to blow up this rock. There's actually a lot of these in the sand hill, which is why I recommend you bring a few bombs yourself. So we'll go and blow this thing up. There we go. And now we should be good to go and deal with whatever's in here. So what do we have over here? There should be one soldier in up here. There you go. So let's go and uh, deal with this guy. Hi there. Okay, you kind of like nip me around the, around the uh, midriff then. That's fine. Owie. Stop it, you. There you go, got it. So one dead soldier ant. We win. We win! There you go. <laughs> and then we can also break this open as well. And there is our milk molar. As the first of four milk molars you can find in here. Uh, the haze, uh, how will the haze go? The haze will be the hardest. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. That's, uh, it, like, yeah, the haze will be the hardest, especially if you don't allow yourself a gas mask at the beginning. You're just going to die, aren't you? So that's going to be, uh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> that's going to be fun. Very fun. Uh, right. Can we get rid of anything that I don't need? I don't need, I don't need ant heads, actually. We can just get rid of these. Right, here we go. Now I got another one of these. How dare you strike me? There you go, right, just, just like that. Right, I can actually hear the Ant Queen down here. Kind of close to where she is, but for now, we're just going to keep the bleeding going. There you go. Right, there's one. There you go, get rid of this guy. All right, how you doing? But yeah, there's lots of soldier ants that we're going to have to deal with down here, so. But yeah, i got to try not to use too much durability on this thing. Okay, we got another, we got another ant head, didn't we? 
That's the only problem. I'm collecting like ant heads now and I don't want them. Um, right, here we go. So here's another one. Oh, there's, another, there's a few of them over here. Okay, only one of them has seen me for now. Right, hi there. Right, try and bring this guy over. Come on. Come closer. Come closer, my child. But yeah, we want to take care of all these soldier ants if we can down here. Because uh, that'll give us a lot of extra parts and stuff to repair our gear. I got him. Thank you. Right, there's another one that went up here, I think. Nope, there. Oh, wait, did one come up here? Oh, yeah, one's up here. Okay, ow. Oh, shit, there's one behind me, too. Okay, there's two of them. Okay, in that case, then, we're probably going to have to... Uh... Probably going to have to deal with these guys together. Right, one stunned. Nice. Right, come on, then. Right, that guy's done now. There you go. Right, try and get rid of that guy first. There you go. Right, here comes another soldier. Okay, yeah, both stuns. Nice. Right, he just fell down there. Right, okay, now more are coming up. <laughs> this guy's gonna come back up. Yeah, here we go. Here he comes. Hi there. Yeah, there's a lot of soldier ants in this area. There you go. Right, just be a little careful now. Because our health is there. Uh... Our health is getting a little low. There's one. There's two. Right, we're almost there. Got him. Uh, 500,000 raw science for the creature who kills uh, Pete Fox Gaving. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're, they're all after me now, aren't they, does? <laughs> there we go. Get rid of that one. And here comes the regular work grant. So this guy we can just kind of finish off a little bit easily because uh, he's not as tanky. There you go. Got him. Nice. So they go. Very good. Right, now we can get rid of any extra ant heads that we don't need. So there you go. So yeah, we're taking care of those guys now, which is awesome. There you go. That's better. <laughs> uh, Kingflame says, uh, I've been playing on XCOM 2. I was doing well. Then one mission left me drained of resources. No! Uh, I can't even return any ships. Bruh! I know, right? <laughs> even with the gas mask, I'm probably going to get torn apart. That's true. I might change the rules with the haze. Yeah, you probably should. Hey, Jake, if you know, he says, uh, what are you going to, says, uh, when are you going to start doing New Game Plus? Um, I'm going to be 100%ing this world, and then I'll be morphing this world into New Game Plus. So, yeah, might be a, might be a little while for now, because, you know, as you probably know, uh, getting 100%ing grounded does take a little while. Uh, Karate says, uh, Karate says, had a phone call. I'm back. Welcome back, Karate. <laughs> hope you, hope you had a good phone call. <laughs> it's like, like, yo, man, Karate on the phone, man. <laughs> Right, so yeah, there's uh, two ways we can go over here. So this way here will lead us to the Ant Queen, I believe. So if we go down here, we should be able to find the second Ant Queen and get a card for it. Uh, Riz, like, smash his head into the phone. <laughs> Alright, so we'll come down here. But yeah, how you doing, Jay? I hope you're doing well, dude. But yeah, I'll be doing New Game Plus after we finish the uh, main New Game and 100% of this world. So here we go. So there's, uh, as you can see, there's a Black Ant Queen right here. And we can actually get a gold creature card for interacting with it. Very nice. But yeah. You don't have to fight this thing. Essentially, you can uh, you can either feed it or you can kill it. So you know you can kill it with uh, we kill it with some uh, poison stuff. But as you can see, there's uh, there's an area in there with lots of uh, lots of upgrade rocks. Unfortunately, her big fat ass is uh, blocking the entryway here, and there's some rocks there that will probably only move after she's dead anyway. So if you want those resources, you'll have to kill her first. Um, unfortunately, we don't want to do that first. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wait for that one. What we are going to do, though, is we're going to make our way into... There's lots of food here, too. Look at that. We're going to make our way into this other room up here. Because if we go into this other room... Uh, speaking of which, I think I've got another... Did I pick up another ant head again? <laughs> again. Yes, again. <laughs> uh, probably. Hang on. No, I didn't pick up another. Oh, I must have I must have gone, like, over a limit on something, then. Uh, what have we got here? Fresh billy hog. we got mustard sprouts. I do want them for later. Eh, can, I get any... can I get rid of anything? Probably the... You know, I'll just get rid of this... Uh food here there you go get rid of that then we can get rid of the i'm not going to use that anyway, anyway am i so i probably need to eat another meal again in a minute so i guess we can just eat this omelette mm -hmm. there you go not bad that will save me a little bit of room there you go that's better right now we can uh, move around a bit um i can use raw science then the haze the hedge the pond and the sandbox 
All right, so here we go. So we got a couple of other things over here. So we got another note here. But before I get that one, I'm actually going to go out this way first, get the science. Then we're going to get this uh, stuff in here. Uh, we do actually get some spicy arrows here, but I'm not going to bother. Actually, I am going to get these now. Usually I don't get these, but I am going to get these now, and I'll tell you why. Because one of the quests is to kill an orb weaver using its spicy weakness. So if you fire a spicy arrow into its butt to kill it, it will count, right? So that'll be uh, that'll be a good thing. Uh, want to know why? <laughs> Go for it. Tell me, Marie. Why, why can you only spend it there? Uh, let's see. So a super chip protocol. Burgle, we've reached a critical juncture with Mixer Research, and there's a very important task I must entrust you with. As you're aware, your 12-slot memory core is capable of holding a variety of data cartridges. I need you to download everything you can and write key research and lab data, especially redacted, to the enhanced gold superchips and everything else on the grey auxiliary chips. I've been testing the superchips privately since the Hayes lab was with suspicions arose that the central data stores may not be safe from outside eyes for very long. Should anything ever happen to your internal memory, you'll need to be aware these chips exist for retrieval. So, file that amongst the deep pickle and mustard knowledge, or whatever. I will handle the security of the superchips. Your task will be to stash the rest. Please be careful not to get carried away. This isn't an Easter egg hunt. Oh, and please try to behave around the assistant manager. He has submitted several incident reports to me. <laughs> okay, I guys are just like the assistant manager, just like getting pissed off with Virgil. Um, right, let me see. Uh, because they are the only ones with a field station. Well, that's true, yeah. So, yeah, field station, you'll be able to spend the science in there, I guess, but... And, and you'll be able to analyze as well, right? So that's true. All right, so Roby's song. Here we go. Virgil transcription unit 90.5.1. Order number 43. Do it again, Virgil, for old time's sake. What's that, Dr. Tully? Play the old script. All right, so now we're going to go through this door. Right away. Hello, and welcome to Roby's classic automated burger shop. My name is Virgil. And here we got a mower. Hey. Taking your order today. <laughs> Perhaps I can interest you in your daily specials? My favorite is the Ruby's 0.375 pounder with cheese with a side of mammal style fries. <laughs> that will do just fine. Now we need another bomb. So where is that? Remember the Ruby Burger motto. Go there down there. Run away. Exponentially great. Wee -wee. Alright, so now once we come up here, we'll actually find another chest just up here. Um, let's see. Craig says, uh, so my guess is there was supposed to be a burgle fight or something of some sort because to just get his mask and spatula is kind of sus. <laughs> I mean, that's that is true. I mean, I was I was hoping we would get a burgle for that. That's what I was like as well. I said, I said that to you on Twitter, didn't I? I was like, oh my god, we're actually going to have to fight burgle and like, literally rip his appendages off and that's going to be fucking awesome. And it was just like, yeah, you just spent real science to get it. And I was like, ah. Oh. I, I was kind of disappointed, honestly. Like that that was like the probably one of the things of the update that was kind of a bit of a letdown. Because I was thinking I was thinking, yeah, you know, we get we get to like actually have like a, a and I was like, you know, they were talking about alternate dimensions, and I was like, yeah, so Burglar in an alternate dimension has his kill switch on and he's like evil and stuff like that. And then you have to you have to like fight him to get it and like in a new game plus. And I was thinking, yeah, that's that's definitely that, that I was like that like that that was like simply too good to overlook, do you know what I mean? So I was like, yeah, we we've that's gotta be it. And then it was just like, yeah, you just buy it. I was like Oh. <laughs> and honestly, like, the, the, it doesn't even seem to be, like, the mask doesn't even seem to be that good as an armor set, especially for New Game Plus, where everything can, like, one-shot you, it, it really doesn't seem like it's got a, a good effect on it. This guy says, uh, yeah, I know, I wish, yeah, but it's, like, I think it, all it does is it changes your vision to, like, monochrome or something like that, doesn't it? But yeah, now we've got that, guys, we're gonna go down this B door down here, so we gotta go through this way. And before we actually get to the end, there is going to be several other things we can find. The first being another area where we have to use some bombs. So, I'm going to put one right there. Something to drink. And then, if we run through this area, there's actually another one right here. So we're going to put one right there. And I'm also going to drink something because, you Don't know, Tiny Pete needs drink badly. There you go. Alright, so now we, we come into this thing. This is another thing that's not placeable in, pra in playgrounds as well. These, um... Oh, did they remove them? No, they didn't. They, they, yeah, the, these little, uh, these little, uh, uh, fungal clumps are not placeable in playgrounds. Um, I wish we could place these. <laughs> Wait, is there a weevil in here? There is a weevil in there. But yeah, uh, I, th I thought they, I th it looked like they removed them. I think they, I think they've replaced most of them. Uh, but yeah, they, those little fungal clump things are not placeable in playgrounds, which is a shame. Uh, if we come up here, though, there is another Mega Milk Mauler. So we're going to go get this one. Uh, did they bu uh, fix the bugs glitching into the sandbox? No, I didn't. I don't think they did. Uh, it says, uh, it says uh, it's a it's a it's a goose sack. Yeah. But yeah, it's uh, it's yeah, th th this thing they didn't. Um, 
Yeah, th th these things aren't placeable in playgrounds. I wish they were, but like the anthills. Uh, there is goo in the sack. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> but yeah, I, I wish we could place those. Um, but yeah, is it? Because I think this just gives you mushroom chunks, doesn't it? Hang on. Wait, no, we can't even harvest these either. So this is just. Uh, I swear, before we can actually harvest these as well. Are these just these are just cosmetic now. Uh, okay. But yeah, it's a shame we can't place those because that'd have been really good. But yeah, I can't place them ones. But yeah, now we're going to come down into this next room. Now down here, there's going to be a lot more soldier ants, so we're going to have to be prepared to fight. Uh, so here we go. Um, so we're going to go down here. And what we should find is a few more soldier ants down here. There is another mega molar down here as well. And well, that's a peddler. I didn't want that. <laughs> trash. No, no, don't trash that. I trashed the torch. Oh, well. It's fine. Black ants, look out. It's fine. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. We don't, we don't need to find much more anyway now. So now I'm just going to take care of uh, this uh, black ant over here. Hello. Let's just deal with this guy. There we go. We stunned him. And then we can just like poison. And then grab this one. Owie. How dare you. Right, there's one. Now we got two more here. There we go. Get the bleed on both. There we go. And now get the poison on both. And get the poison on the third one. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Owie. How bloody rude. Right, where are you going? I hate those fast attacks. There you go. Slowly just wear these guys down if we can. Hey, right, come on then. There you go, just wear them, wear them down bit by bit. There's one. Right, come on then. Not to dig us there. And last one. Got him. Hey! I think the thorns did some damage back there, guys. So we got all these ends out of the way. So yeah, before we proceed onwards, though, we'll come up here. There's another Mega Mo Milk Molar up here, and this is the last one. Uh, if Grounded <laughs> picks that bug, I'll be dead. Oh, come on! <laughs> All right, so come down here, and then we're going to make our way up and over to this side. And then, if we do that, we can get some raw signs here, and then we can finally press the big button. And this is going to open the door. There you go, and then we're just going to get into here. So this door is now open. However, as you can see, there's a big thing of glass in the way. Fortunately, all we need to do is use a bomb right here. We can blow it up, and then we can get inside. So let's go do that. So we're going to sort out our inventory again. Grab this guy. Uh... Throw a bomb down in that little crack there. All right. And here we are, guys. We are in the room. So before we go in here, we're going to make sure... We want to make sure we're, like, getting some heals. And we're going to want to make sure that our hotbar is in a good way. Because we're going to be going for a fight in a minute. So let's go put the... Uh, so this is my combat hotbar. I'm going to be putting some other heals into my hotbar here. So I'm also going to put in the... I should have some smoothies in here as well, right? I did find some, I believe. Uh, or did I? Did I? Yeah, we have, we have some uh, smoothies here. All right. So for this, we're going to need a specific set of mutations, right? So let's have a look at the mutations we got uh, access to. I would actually say in this instance, Barbarian might be a good mutation for this. Uh, but I'm not sure. How you doing, Potential Free Sauce? Welcome in, dude. <laughs> how's, it been, how's it been going? I hope you've been doing well. But yeah, I'm going to try a news loadout of mutations today. Um, so we're going to go Meat Shield. We're going to go Buff Lungs. Give ourselves some more damage. I'm going to put the Critical Hit one on. And then I'm actually going to put on, uh, believe it or not, I'm actually going to use Barbarian because I want to try the Pinch Whacker in this fight and see how it is. Um, now, this means that we're not going to be able to parry, so we got to bear that in mind. But then I'm also going to put on what other one? And I'm probably going to put on Cardio Fan as well because um, if we do that, then we'll get the passive healing, bit of extra stamina back. We don't need to be worried about running fast because, you know, we're going to be in combat. Um, my Pinch Whacker is kind of low durability, but, you know, we're going to try it and see what happens. Um, and we're going to see if this is any, we're going to see if this build loadout is any good. Now, remember, Barbarian stops you from perfect blocking when it activates so you know that's why we need the shield for this um i wouldn't recommend i wouldn't recommend uh trying this otherwise but let's see this this might work and this might not but yeah we got to go ahead and uh press this button right here and let's see what happens you press know, this one we're pretty good friends with and as you can see here is the assistant manager hello assistant manager there you go see so, yeah, we can't perfect block so we just have to rely on the uh we just have to rely on these um But yeah, while Barbarian is active, it also heals you too, which is really good. Okay. 
So yeah, let's see let's see if this works. And uh Chad says, What are you doing? Fighting the assistant manager. So yeah, this is the first, like, this is the first like boss of the game, essentially. So I'm just gonna deflect that back at him. Okay, I think we uh send him in order. Right, so once he does this, it's gonna activate a laser in the middle of the room. And then we're gonna get the R car coming in here. Right, take out the R car first. It's the advice I have for you guys, take the R car first. There you go, then take the phase T. And as you can see, we're slowly but surely healing up with our Barbarian Mutation, so that's kind of keeping me on top of healing. Alright, so lasers again. Here we go. So yeah, he will now start activating these lasers in the middle of the room for a minute. Okay, I think that one hurt me a bit. That's fine, we'll go under the laser. Alright, so yeah, my block meter is fine right now. There we go. There you go, just block it. Usually I would like perfect parry these back to get some stamina, but we're trying something a bit different this time. Okay, I stopped him using his attack. Right, here comes another Arca, so... There you go. Yeah, so again, take the Arca out first. Very important to take him out first. Because otherwise he will stun you into the lasers and you'll die. following this around. Right, there we go. Right, stay low. There we go. Right, there we go. His next tasties are down, and now we're going to go for this guy. Right, now you'll see he's actually going to use a blue spark on the end of his arm. When he does this, he's actually going to activate the pillars around the room. So you got to be very careful in this, in this last bit. Right. Oh, looks like uh, looks like I'm out of durability on my pin tracker. That's fine, mate. Guess we're going for Spiky's break. Okay. Oh, that one hit me in the in the noggin. Yeah, getting a couple of critical hits. Yeah, the Spiky's break is not going to do nearly as much damage, but it's okay. But yeah, once he does this move, everything around the edge of the room will activate. So you don't want to go too close to the edge of the room because otherwise you will get zapped. Your best bet right now is to stay in the middle. And when the lasers go on, you're going to essentially just follow the laser around and just stay ducked and just go under the laser. Now he will try and fire projectiles at you as you go, but now this uh, blue thing is off, we can go in again. Okay, there you go. Come back here, stay away. Again, use this thing as cover when you can. Because now it's going to be at the point where he just like spams attacks here. Yeah, he's just going to reactivate these leaves, unfortunately. So essentially, we're just going to... Essentially, at this point, we're just going to wait. Try and just, like, weave around him a bit. So what we're hoping for is he's going to get to a point where he turns this laser on. And this thing shuts off. There you go. Now. So, yeah, this, at this point, it's kind of like waiting for the right opportunity to attack him. And just like that... He's dead. There we go. We got him. Whee! And Daddy says, "Batch on ass, man." Crazy says, uh, "This fight ain't that bad on the Switch." I'm surprised. Is it actually? No, is it actually doable on the Switch as well? <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, but there we go. So yeah, actually, the barbarian build actually worked pretty well for this fight. So not gonna lie, that was actually pretty good. So yeah, now we switch back to our regular build, and we can go ahead and harvest the assistant manager. Here we go. He will actually give you a. Uh, he will actually give you a thousand raw science. He'll give you the assistant manager's key card, which will allow you to open this door right here, and he will also give you a gold card for the assistant manager as well Cry says uh yeah game hasn't crashed once too i'm impressed very nice um let's see and uh it says uh <laughs> like what are you doing but yeah the assistant manager as you can see his uh you know even even on woe you know with the right loadout the right armor you know i didn't i didn't even because of barbarian as well in this case i didn't even need to use heals which is pretty good you know, as long as you as long as you take the fight slowly and you do it carefully it's actually a it's actually a very manageable fight Obviously, the new game plus variant gets a lot harder, but, you know, that's the thing. So here we go. We've now got the uh, Mixer Relocation Program. 
Spurgle. Those blasted mixer devices are continuing to drive every creature in the area absolutely bonkers. We'll figure out concentrate collection later, but these must be moved far from here. I've drawn a rough map of potential locations up on the board. Each spot marked should be suitable for defense in the event the local creatures are just as huffy as our friends bearing down on the blast doors. <laughs> All right, so yeah, the uh, so the, yeah, the 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 ants were not to, the ants were not happy, but yeah, you'll see there is actually another door right over here as well. But as you can see, there is a icon with the, one of the mixers on it, and it says zero out of eight. So in order to even have this button activate, you need to uh, you need to go ahead and do all eight of the mixers around the yard, which we will be doing eventually. Uh, before we go to the upper yard, we'll do these ones. Uh, we'll probably do the lower yard ones before we head to the upper yard. Or at least before we like do like head in there like properly anyway. Now we can use this as a magic key card right here, and this will go and open this door, and we get ourselves a black ant super chip. Very nice. So that'll be that one, and then we also get ourselves a couple of other things here. We got ourselves a note right here. So let's go grab this one. The production of raw science concentrate has been, for better or worse, spread across the yard across the yard. Given the unseen hands that move against me, it seems that no precaution is too much. No suggestion from my paranoid psyche too preposterous. What a pathetic state of affairs. Overrun by an enraged ant colony, and here I stand, naked, naked, to the unblinking eyes spying upon my every move. Layers of abandonment and failure. Like a frumpy, naked, failure onion. D but who sheds a tear for us, Burgle? Is it the onlookers in the shadows? Is it whomever stumbles upon our toilings down here in the muck? This should please you all. Dr. Wendell Tully, humbled again. Well, enjoy your laughs, cruel winds of fate. But this onion has one more stink left to make. And sorry, old friend, but I'm going it alone. Deleting data stores and running lab lockdown procedures. Wendell, out. All right. So that's the last thing we can find in the Black Ant Lab, and I think that's everything that we need to get from there. And now we've got the Assistant Manager keycard as well, which is uh, another important thing that we're going to need to get to uh, a couple of the rooms in the pond. So you guys might remember, like, after we did the pond lab, there were two doors in that pond that we could kind of get into, but there was like a second layer of doors that required the key card. Now we can actually get into them. We can also get something in the Oak Lab as well, which is really, really handy. And I will show you that in a little while as well. So first of all, we need to head all the way back. And we're going to drop off some of the stuff. And we are going to start working on uh, our first lot of tier three gear, I think. We might have enough to make all the tier three stuff that we need. And essentially... We should be uh, we should be ready essentially at this point to actually uh, you know move to tier three and start doing some of the uh, some of the other cool things in the lower yard that we haven't been able to do yet. So yeah, we're get we're getting we're getting to the point, guys. We're getting to that point, and it's gonna be fun. But first of all, we're gonna have to head back, consolidate all our loot, sort it all out, and then we can craft our first set of tier three gear because we can we can now move to uh, we were able to craft it before, but now I've got some more antlion parts. We can actually craft ourselves the antlion armor, which we're actually going to need to progress up into the upper yard because there's an area in there that is going to be uh essentially like the sandbox but worse so we'll see that in a little bit but first of all we're gonna go and make our way back probably gonna end up fighting some mosquitoes on the way uh because these guys you know like to be uh like to be you know douchebags hello douchebag hi nice we win hang on There we go, got him. I win! <laughs> there we go, he's down. Got him. Right, so we'll take care of those mosquitoes, then we'll keep moving on. Take care, move on. There we go. Uh, where's the key for the chest in the sandbox? Isn't that the one that's in the pond? Or in the pond? Or no? Um, that one, oh, the melted moat key for the, ch for the chest, that one is actually in the sandbox itself. That's in the shadow of the shovel. So 3.30 p.m. or 3.30 a.m., doesn't matter which time. Then go into the shadow of the shovel and you'll find the key in a dig spot. So you just have to dig it up. Oh, owie. And once you dig it up, then you can get into the uh, into the melted moat thing. Uh, we do actually have to go back to the sandbox, though, because there is the, stay, there is the uh, sandbox lab outpost that we have to do as well, but we'll get there eventually. Hi there. 
Aha, now they're all dead. They're all fucking dead. <laughs> right, there we go. So all the mosquitoes taken out. Now I can continue running back. There we go. So looking good so far. So we're going to make our way back to uh, to home base. And we are going to hand in the super chip. Kai says, like, oh, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to hand in the super chip, make our way back. And we should be pretty good after that. And then we can unlock a few new recipes, especially the one that's going to give us the glue masher and repair glue, which means which means we can finally upgrade our armor beyond level five and we can actually repair all of our weapons that are upgraded beyond that level as well. Uh, I thought I was tripping because I know I got the other two. Yeah, it's in the sandbox itself. Uh, he says, thanks, Broski. You're welcome, dude. Yeah, in the sandbox itself. Um, so, yeah, look for the look for the shovel by the sandbox lab. It's the yellow shovel. So look for that one. Uh, wait till 3:30 p.m. or a.m. Whichever, whichever one doesn't matter. The shadow's in the same place. Follow the sh follow the shadow, the shadow, and dig in the ring. dead mosquitoes ah 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 you pose no threat to me anymore <laughs> unless uh well you don't pose any threat to me unless you decide to be bastards and gang up with 10 of you then maybe maybe i'll be threatened then but until then you show no threat to me <laughs> all right now i can make my way back looking good looking good and then we'll go hand in this burgle chip and then we'll see what we can do after that so here we go so almost back to uh almost back to home so let's go to the oak tree first. As a all beaver junior and a wolf spider over there. Not too worried about them at the minute. And oh, I was gonna try and use that clover to jump over there, but I guess we'll go the slightly longer route. There we go. And then back to the oak lab. And we can finally hand in the final super chip. So here we go. So one more super chip, guys. Let's see how we go. Alright, hello, Burgle. It is nice to see a friendly face around here. How can I help you today? I found the last super chip! Eureka! The last one you have found it! It is finally time that we can complete the embiggening cocktail recipe. Hand over the super chip and we can get you home. Processing. Of course, there you go. toenails! The tiny impractical spatulas at the end of human digits. Well, have fun collecting those! Ugh. And the final ingredient is... Oh dear. Now, let me just check my oh YouTube dear, thing real quick. Oh dear, oh dear. Hang on, is my YouTube thing failing on me again? Uh, no, it looks like... Oh, wait, maybe it is. He says, uh, I'm annoyed. He says, I want, want to know why. <laughs> uh, there we go. So, there we go. Yes, yeah, so it's uh, me. It's uh, not setting my YouTube message again. Hang on, guys. Let me, uh, let me sort that out real quick. Because, yeah, it's still, it's, still, it's still doing this thing, you, you bugger. Um... So let me just try and uh, let me just try and fix that real quick again, and then I'll be able to keep up with the YouTube chat as well. So do, 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 do. let's close this down again. Why is this? Uh, why, why are you? Why are you annoying, Marie? Uh, so we'll go ahead and exit it. Yeah, I've really got to find something that works better than this, haven't I? Uh, but that's fine. We'll just I'll I'll look at something a little bit later on. There we go. Twitch and open that one. There we go. Now it should work again. Marie says, uh, because I can only use uh, milk molars in the pond. <laughs> oh, yeah, until you get the insect hammer. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, so let's go do a test message real quick. And let me just try this again. Uh, King says, uh, it says uh, YouTube, uh, the YouTube button is on strike. I know, right? Stupid bloody thing. Right, it's, it's, got, it's got to get his button gear, though. No, I'm not sure why it does this, though. It's really, it's really strange, but there we go. Um... All right, so that looks fine though. It should be. Is it? Re is it doing it now? Okay, yeah, it's doing it now. There we go. Right, everything's uh, everything's working again. Uh, all right, there we go. So everything's fine. <laughs> everything's fine. Don't worry about it. All right, so we go. We got that one done. Okay, so. No, no, no! This cannot be correct. Chill, dude. Initiating refrigeration module. Ah, that is much better. No. Please allow me to explain the source of my very small planet. Uh, Cover Queen says, I'm going to sleep. I'm up early tomorrow. Good night, chat. Aw, okay, my love. Uh, Cover Queen says, uh, good night, Max. Uh, good night, my beautiful one. Thank you so much for hanging out and streaming me today, baby. And I hope you feel better soon. And have you taken, uh, have you taken some painkillers before bed? I hope you have. Um, hang on, guys. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be right back. I'll see you guys in just a minute. Yeah, I'm telling you. 
Tell me, baby. No. Tell me. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> guy is like, what the time? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so essentially we need to go ahead and uh, start putting all the stuff around these and Do getting the... <laughs> Oh my god, that was perfect. That was awesome. <laughs> I'm not doing that again. Oh, why not? That was great. Do it again. No. <laughs> Coffee Queen, can we get a... No. Oh, that was so fucking good. I like it. I'm still struggling to see what's holding out. Oh, is it that there? Is it that one right there? Oh, there it goes. There we go. Hey! Oh man, the lag. <laughs> the lag right now. Hang on, gotta, gotta clean some of this up. <laughs> the, the sheer amount of entities! It's raining saplings. Hallelujah, it's raining saplings from the trees. There we go. Got those guys. Okay, got loads that time. That's better. That's much better. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh queen! And because he's got so many points, he's like one Disgusting. of my <sighs> like older viewers. Yeah. So. Yeah, like, oh, it was no. just, <laughs> just fucking funny. <laughs> <clears throat> oh wait. Okay, I am super over encumbered. Um, so Robin, <laughs> I still need water. I, I, I may die. I may. I may die again. Oh my god. Wait, like. Okay, I'll tell you what happened, I right? Just fucking no, li listen, okay. listen, listen. I was drinking the dirty water over here, right? And as I was drinking, a poison dart frog jumped in front of my fucking cursor and made me pick it up. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Is that? Is that where you're going with? Is that? Is it, that it, 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 literally? So, so, so someone, someone, please click that. Someone, it please click that. Just jumped in my it mouth. It, it did. It literally just jumped in front of my fucking Gerza. So, so, somebody, please click right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop all my shit. Um, because I'm literally gonna die. Uh, again. Hang on. Let me drop all these. There is no watershed, can I just after nine o'clock? He's out of here. That's not good. He's dead. Okay, got him. Right, come back up here. Eat this. Okay. Well, we just got involved in the fight. That's fine. We'll kill him now. We can get some. Uh, we might need a second spider chunk anyway. Yeah, that's what I was trying to avoid. But there we go. Luckily, I had the gorilla bars for now. Okay. Right, come on, old Weaver. Just. Don't even try you. Right, now we should get him. Another one. Come on then. Come on then. Got him. Right. There's deep throat, no gag. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I guess that means I'll be good at taking dick. I, I don't know. <laughs> How you doing, Slade? He says, uh, I'm good, thanks. And you guys, I'm doing very well. Thank you, dude. <laughs> ah, some coffee to wash it down. There we go. <laughs> the little bit of Maxi. Things were said, sister. <laughs> well, <laughs> what do you mean? It was my <laughs> It was my who said. <laughs> Hi guys, I am back. Here we go. Like, let's continue, guys. Sorry about that. Just coming. Uh, just wanted to give Coffee Queen some uh, some good night cuddles and everything. So I'm now back though. Uh, King Clay says I played seven days of diet and other games. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to be having some fun tomorrow. Says Marie. Want to know what I'm going to be doing? Uh, I'm going to be doing a pond only challenge. 
Nice. Well, I wish you the best of luck. That does sound like that does sound like fun. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be good. All right. So so let's see. Please allow Virgil to explain the mystery of the very small panic. The last ingredient of the cocktail is marked as missing. I am not sure what to tell you. Dr. Wendell Tully purposefully wiped the last ingredient from my memory. My programming prohibits me from remembering the secret ingredient. Wendell never wanted it to fall into the wrong hands. He did not even trust me with it. The entire recipe is only in Wendell's noggin. And as I said, he has not been around for months. Sigh. Mm, processing. 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 Yeah. Chicken nuggets! Wendell's scabby! His scabby has tracking functionality built in. We should now be able to find out where he is with this information. Aha, uh -huh. that sounds good. Uh, says uh, you should you should be wishing me luck for the haze. <laughs> well, I wish you luck for all of your challenges, because, you know, uh, challenges for a reason, right? The extra memory you provided with the super chips is helping my processing. Sorry, I did not think to track Dr. Tully earlier. Ah, don't blame yourself, Burgle. It's fine. Allow me to connect to his scabby via my handy state-of-the-art radio modem to see what data I can pull from it. All right, go for it, Burgle. Connected to Dr. Tully's scabby. I will now start the download. Emory says, I'm going to get ripped enough. <laughs> Location X5432, Y74356, Z19666. Error scabby, prototype 0001A, power loss at circuit R23. Analyzing. Error code 324, subminiature axial lead resistor. Ominent model OC93412, failure. Call 555-0126 for technical assistance. Thank you. Hmm. Do you have a phone in there? A minor setback. I know that location. The scabby is at Dr. Tully's favorite chair by the shed, of course. You should be able to find him there. And take this replacement fuse to repair whatever problem he is having with his scabby. All right. He should be able to help you out with the ambiguous cocktail and get you home in no time. All righty then. Good luck. I believe in you. All right. Goodbye, Burgle. Fare thee well, brave adventurer. Yay. There you go. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> I can't even get grass. <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're going to have to allow yourself, like, to get around a little bit to get some of the resources. I'd say, like, as long as you're, like, on the side of the... I'd say, like, as long as you're on the side of the oak tree, like, before that little fence, there, there is some grass there you can get and some clover. So I'd, I'd say you should allow yourself for that, at least. All right, so now we can get some new quests. Here we go. So we need to upgrade weapon or armor to level 6. Very nice. And we need to go into this guy here. Let's see what we've got now. So we've got 8,000 science to spend. So yeah, this is what we want to get. We want to get all of this stuff here. So we need the glue masher. We need brittle whetstones and brittle plating so we can actually craft these things ourselves. And then this will give us the uh, the recipes for the mighty glob, the sturdy plating, and the sturdy whetstones. So we can actually start upgrading our weapons and armor even further. So let's go and do that. There we go. So we've still got 4,000 science left. So let's see what else we can get. Uh, we can make the lures, which not really too worried about. Uh, Omelants, which we need. Uh, we actually need black ant eggs for those. Um, so I'm not too sure on that one whether we should uh, whether we should get that yet. Let's see what else there is. There is the waft emitter as well, so we can trigger raids if we want to. Uh, if we you know we can trigger our own raids. Uh, we also have the buoyant foundations. Do we have like the? I wonder if we have like the thing for the black ant queen yet um, to befriend the black ant queen. I don't think we do yet, do we? Unless it's uh, unless it's this one. No, that's lures. That's the sign set. So yeah, we. Oh, excuse me, we can't uh, get the one to befriend the Ant Queen yet. Um, so that go in the, uh, yeah, go to the edge of the border and grab stuff. The rules had to be, uh, yeah, the rules, the rules had to be made to allow you to progress. Yeah, I would say so for sure. But yeah, okay, so we're going to leave that there for now. And we also got some molars, so hooray! So I'm going to go and upgrade my stack sizes. And then we've got three more molars here that we can use as well. So we are probably going to go and do, probably going to go and do the healing, actually. There you go. So yeah, because we're gonna need that for the uh, we're gonna need that for the upper yard for sure. There you go. So there we go. Everything now is done, and we can finally start crafting and upgrading some tier three gear, which is gonna be very very good. So that's what I want to do first. So let's see how we go. Uh, it says wait, Max. <laughs> uh, see what's in uh, see what's in range. Oh, actually, good thing you said wait because one thing we can actually do now that we got the assistant magic keycard is we can open one more door in the oak lab. 
which is right here. This is going to open another room, as you can see, with a chest in there. And then we're going to get some more upgrade rocks. Very nice. I actually get quite a few of uh, quite a few of these. And then finally, we get this guy, which is the zipper. So we grab this one. And what this allows you to do is go upwards on zip lines, which is really nice. So yeah, zip lines now you can travel in both directions rather than just one, which is very cool. So that's going to allow me to, you know, easily traverse whenever we build zip line systems or any of that stuff, which is super good. All right, so now we go back and let's see what we can do. Uh, says uh, you just help. Uh, says uh, wait, Max, you just you just helped me from yesterday. Hey, well I'm glad I can help. <laughs> All right, let's make our way back down here, and let's make our way across. Here we go, back down to this bit, and here we go. And Karate's, uh let's see. Cardi's been following for two years, 67 days. Damn! <laughs> that's a, that's a long, that's a, that, that, I, I was gonna say, Cardi, Cardi, you, are you okay? Do you need, do you need like, do you, do you need like, I don't know. <laughs> do you need, I think, uh, I think Karate's brain needs intervention to put up with me this long. <laughs> like, is everything okay, man? <laughs> no, I'm joking, but thank you so much, dude. No, I appreciate that. Uh, it's, it's been a, it's been a long ass time, isn't it? <laughs> and Cardi's like, damn! And uh, that does like, rigged. Uh, and he says, uh, the rotten fin flops. Oh yeah, you can, use those yep and that's that's something you can get pretty easily um you can get uh silk rope from the diving bell spiders as well so there's that so that works as well um let's see and and we've got uh sky the undying giving foliage as well uh two years 161 days Ooh. <laughs> there you go so karate is karate's in a close second there but there you go so yeah sky's been a little bit longer yeah, a few, a few months before Karate before Karate found me and started following me. So yeah, but that's that's good though. That's good. Man, it's actually amazing to to think how long you've actually followed some people as well, isn't it? Uh, it says uh, the, the 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 pond is a warm up, and let's see. Kai Queen says uh, following two years, one hundred and fifty six days. Ooh, Kai Queen like very very slightly behind Sky the Undying. So Sky Sky's in first, Coffee second, Karate third. Oh, that's very, very close. <laughs> very close right there, Coffee Queen. He's super close in second there. Slim is, let's see, Slim 2 is 168. Ooh! Slim comes in, takes first. Oh, ch uh, challenge runs are fun. I do do I do uh, Dome and Dark Souls too. Yeah, challenge runs are always fun. Uh, pond is stupid easy. <laughs> well, in that case, then uh, move on to another one. Uh, Sky says, "Dang, Slim beat me." I know that man. Sl Slim, Slim just coming in first. Then so yeah, Coming is like uh, Coming. Uh, Dub says, uh, "I don't want to show." Dub says, "I don't want to show you all up." <laughs> do it, Dubs. <laughs> Dubs like, no, no. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to. <laughs> Cries like, <"Ooh." laughs> Don't even need to boil it. Does like yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to show you love. It's fine. Um, or he says because you get all of the because uh, you, you get the most milk molars. Yeah, that's true. From the pond, you do get a lot, don't you? So that's uh, that's a good point. All right, let me see. Can I get some fungus patches again? We'll get one of these on the go. Oh, I'm out of uh, I'm out of mushroom drinks. Okay, so we need to get some more of them before long. But let's go make our tier three armor now. So here we go. So we're gonna make another armor stand. Hopefully, I've got enough sprigs for this. Uh, let's see. Let me put another one, like, back over here, maybe? Uh, I'll just, like, put it in the front here. <laughs> I'll put you right there. There you go. And then we can transfer our ladybug armor onto that. There we go. And now we need another armor stand. Uh, or now we need the next load of armor, which is going to be the antline armor, right? So now I can make, hopefully, all the pieces. I've actually got 50 antline parts, so I think we can. Um, let's see. And uh, Marie says, uh, what mutations do you recommend for my sandbox only? Uh, you will need the juicy mutation for sure. <laughs> uh, other than that, fresh defense, juicy. Um, although you can't get juicy unless you go around the rest of the yard. So I guess uh, fresh defense would be the main one. You could probably get like cardio fan and you could probably get grass master for, and rock cracker from being in there. So probably those ones. Because then it'll allow you to harvest the resources faster. Um, let's see. Um... Let's see, that was just like, uh, you know what they say, you save the best for last. And Karate's like, like, Karate's like, like, Karate's like, like laughing his ass off. All right, so let's craft all these things. There you go, so we can craft ourselves our first set of tier three armor. Very good. We actually got some raw science for that. And then we're going to make some, uh, we're going to do some upgrades with this as well. And this time we can actually make now, we can actually make the sturdy stuff as well. So we can make the brittle stuff out of uh, grub hide now, as well as these. So for, for now, we're going to need 45 of these. So 45 of them. And then for the sturdy ones, we're going to need six per armor piece. So we need 18 of these. So we need 18 of those. There we go. 
All right, there we go. And then we can start upgrading. So another um, another armor I would I would actually recommend going bulky on. You could go sleek if you wanted to, but the sleek bonus is only really useful in the sandbox. Um, I would actually go bulky on the outline armor because the sleek effect does give you lower thirst rain, which I guess is useful in hot biomes, but you're not always going to be in a hot biome for the most part. Like, I guess I guess for me in this instance, though, I'm going to go sleek because if I want a sandbox base, um, eventually, I'm probably going to need some sleek outline armor as my kind of, you know, my kind of everyday roaming around the base sort of uh, sort of set. So usually I'd recommend bulky, but if, you, if you're planning to make a base in the sandbox or live in a hot environment, then go sleek. So in my, in my case, I'm going to go sleek because that will give you a uh, lower thirst rate. Um, so we're going to go and do we're going to go and do that. So every every level of this gives you uh, five percent less thirst drain, which is actually pretty good. So we're going to do that and then we're going to do another one. So, yeah, we get the 50 percent slower thirst drain whilst we're wearing this now. But yeah, if you're not planning to live in a hot biome, then I would literally just live in in this one. Oh, wait, did I have to, oh, I actually upgraded that one to level eight by accident. Uh, whoops. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I I remember I had some supreme plating, didn't I? Yeah, I accidentally upgraded that one too far, but that's okay. It's uh it's all ready to go, and now we have ourselves antline armor. There we go, and this is all upgraded, which is very very cool. Uh, so if I somehow get antline armor, go sleek. Yes. Uh, sleek for the char. Uh, Doug says sleek for the charcoal pit. I mean. Honestly, it depends. Like, if you're going to live around there, then yeah. But if you're not going to frequent it often, I'd go bulky more so. More so. But you're probably going to swap out to another tier 3 set of armor anyway before long. Because Adeline armor is good for, like, you know, the Adeline armor is pretty good for, like, early tier 3. But late tier 3, you're probably going to swap it for something else, most likely. Because there are so many better armor sets for later. Unless you're a ranged player. Then you're probably not... You're probably going to keep hold of it until you get, like, moth armor or something. Or wasp armor. So... You know, like, I'd say Anline gets swapped out. Anline is one of the armors that, like, you wear because you kind of need it. But other than that, you know, uh, you're going to you're gonna swap it out pretty quickly other than that, I think. All right, so that's done. And now we can go and make ourselves a new weapon as well. So we've also got the Antlion Greatsword. And as you can see, this thing does take seven Antlion pincers. So it does take a lot of these things. But we can upgrade this to level 5, and that's going to be hitting a lot harder. Uh, there's trinkets for sizzle immunity in New Game Plus 2. Exactly, that's the thing. Antline armor looks uh, look, looks fresh, though. Uh, it does, yeah. I, I do like the look of the antline armor. Like, when it first came out, like, I actually, like, it was my favorite armor set when it first came out. Like, I was just like, yeah, I love this thing. And then, like, I think I liked the look of antline armor, but I preferred the defensive rolly armor. So, yeah, it was kind of like one of those things where I'm just like, this is cool, but you know, it's like I need the better one. <laughs> I think my favorite. I think my favorite armor to use in gen for general purposes is the Broodmother armor. Um, I think the coolest looking is probably the Antlion and maybe the Black Widow armor. I quite like that one. I know it's just recolored spider armor, but I think in black it does look really cool. Um, and probably the uh, the Black Strategist set as well. Um, Kind of says all the armors look down. They they do like every armor has its own like unique look, doesn't it? And I think they've done a really good job with it all. But yeah, you got yeah. Uh, says that uh, Lady Bogama is uh, Lady Bogama is the bane of karate. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I like I like Lady Bogama as well. Like it, it kind of looks like almost like almost like a chainmail set, doesn't it? In a way. Um... Or like how like how a chainmail would look without chains in a way like or something like that or like or like plate like or kind of like a mix of chain and plate mail in a way. But it's, it kind of looks like uh, gladiator armor. The sleek effect is OP. Yeah, it really is though. Kai says uh, for some reason the acorn armor looks uh, looks too dope to me. The only boss in the sand pit is the assistant manager. Says uh, says uh, yeah, that's that's the that's the only one. Well, technically not even in the sandbox. It's just in the. Uh, it's just in like the uh, what what do you call it? Uh, Black Ant Lab, isn't it? So kind of in there, but kind of not at the same time. All right, so now we're gonna go make ourselves uh, thirty of these. There we go. And with that, now we can upgrade our new our shiny new Antlion Greatsword. And that's now level five. Now, unfortunately, we can't upgrade it to level six just yet. But what we can do is we can also upgrade our Pinch Whacker another level. And that's gonna require two more brittle whetstones. So. Let's get two more of those. There you go. And then we upgrade. Uh, oh, no, that's going to require four, isn't it? Because we already upgraded it once. So, uh, Oh, I accidentally made five. Never mind. Uh -huh. There you go. Now that's next level and it's repaired. Very good. And then we can now start using the Antline Greatsword. We can probably put away the... Uh, what have we got here? Yeah, I can put the plating away. 
And I've probably got a whetstone we can put away. There you go. And I think we can now retire the Black Ant Sword as well. Because now we got the Antlion Greatsword. That's kind of just... The, the Antlion Greatsword essentially is the replacement for the Black Ant Sword. It is a two-handed weapon, though. So, you know, you've got to bear that in mind. So you might end up thinking, oh, well, crap. Because, you know, you might like to use a shield with it. But this thing is uh, going to kill things so much faster. It's worth just getting used to the... Uh, getting worse of it. I can't get the Prod Smacker. <laughs> oh, that takes a lot of effort to get that as well. Uh, rumor is, Karate Mouse has cats around just so something will chase him. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> There's uh, that little one hole for the eyes uh, looks dope. Yeah, I do, I do like that armor set as well. Is That is a good looking armor. Yeah, the, 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 fir the first like heavy armor you get for the acorn armor, it does look good. Alright, so now we're going to go eat the thingy here. Silly, but not bad. All right, and I think it's time for a quick return to the sandbox because there's a couple more things that we have Water to do tablets needed. over there. Um, plus, there's also a little bit of the Black Ant Hill that I didn't actually go through, and we've missed a scabby in there, so we need to go back and get that eventually. But for now, let's go grab all of these. Right, my canteen plus is full. All right, but yeah, now my thirst drain is going to be a little bit slower, so that will help in the sandbox uh, quite a lot, I think. So here we go. Let's go make our way back. But yeah, I'll show you the uh, I'll show you the outline greatsword, and uh, you know it's a pretty cool looking weapon, and it swings very very fast as well. It swings far it swings faster than any of the clubs. So yeah, it's uh, it's a very good weapon to use. Uh, what should be my main? Um, this is because you need to go you go they go across the map. Your main one in the pond, like. I mean, you probably want to get the bubble helmet hey, as soon as you can. And then the other piece would probably be the koi armor, wouldn't it? So bubble helmet, fin flops, and koi armor would be your main for a pond run. And then, you know, for venturing out from the pond, it'll be like koi scale, like the, the full set of koi armor. All right, so let's go back over to the sandbox. We're going to make our way back over there now. And if we find a wolf spider, I will show you the, uh, I will show you the awesome might of the antlion greatsword. Because it is a good weapon. I can also show you on the, on the uh, infected lava as well in the haze, but... Wait, actually, didn't we need to... We needed to do the We Kill a Peak thing there, didn't we, as well? We did. I can do that next time, though. That's fine. We can do it another time. And that's that's one thing we do need to do. But yeah, I'll show I'll show you the, this the, how good the sword is in a minute. It's really really good. Uh, it says as soon as I uh, it says uh, what as soon, uh, as, soon, as soon as I start the challenge, um, I guess you're near enough to the oak tree where acorn could be viable, or at least two pieces of the acorn, and maybe the either clover or red ant as your third piece, because you'll be able to get like mites near the there's there's some mites near the pond. There's like stink uh, and there's also like yes you know, there's, there's mites near the pond. There is red ants near the pond as well. So you should be able to get like one of those arm, one of those other armor sets as well. So I think that'll probably be your other, your other good one. And uh, Riz says, "Oh come on, what?" <laughs> All right. So now we need to make our way across. Here we go. So we're gonna make our way over here, try and get around the stink bugs if we can, and avoid the soldier ants because we don't need to worry about these guys. The red soldier ants are nowhere near as bad though. See, so yeah, we're gonna run through here. Just avoid the stink bugger lugs. The stink bugger lugger lugs. And then we're going to go to the sandbox. And we need to get to the sandbox lab outpost and maybe, maybe do a little bit of treasure hunting as well. Um, just to start getting our supplies of candy up. Because we're going to need to make some uh, upgrade uh, upgrade globs to actually put different types of uh, things on our weapons, right? So we're going to need to get that soon. Now, we don't have the recipe for that, but we will find that in the sandbox lab. So that's fine. We can find them in a minute. Long schnoz built for sniffing. So yeah, uh, let's go past this bombardier. Yeah, he didn't even see me. He just he just like turned around. He was like, huh? <laughs> he just didn't even see where I went. <laughs> All right, but yeah, as you can see, we've now got our full set of antlion armor. We're in a tier, we're in tier three gear now. So yeah, we're gonna be doing a little bit more damage to most things. Nice and clean. Let's also drink before we head up there. And let's go through the sandbox one more time and see if we can find some stuff. Um, let's see. I can't use the uh, like I can't use the resource scanner. There's uh, in the hedge only. I don't. Yeah, I don't think there's one in the pond lab, is there? Or is there? There might be one in the pond lab. I can't remember honestly if there's one in the pond lab. I'm not too sure. All right. So back to the sandbox. Here we go. And we're now going to go into the sandbox lab outpost and a little bit of the black ant hill that we missed. So let's go do that. So we're going to head down here. But yeah, let's see how good this sword is on the ant lines now. So, right back up here. Right, so as before, we're going to do our uh, bleed, and then bleed, and then... There you go. And as you can see, this thing, like, chunks through it. Look at that. 
Look at that. See? Atalan Greatsword. Really good. And look at that. We killed an Atalan with an Atalan Greatsword and we got a gold Atalan card. How good is that? Nice. So we do that. Then we do bleed. And then we do one, two, three. One, two, three. There you go. Oh, Rouse Downer. Okay. And done. Look at that. See? We're, we're, we're literally just like chunking through these Atalans now. So yeah, now I got now I got the sword, things are gonna be a lot easier. And now that we got the armor, we're gonna be having a much easier time in the sandbox as well. Uh I think it's in the room with the uh in the in the room with the dome. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so yeah, at least okay, so you can you can use a thing in the pond lab as well then. Alright, so yeah. Looks like some of the outlines haven't respawned yet, which is fine. Um, because honestly, I kind of just want to do some treasure hunting and stuff. So we'll just like kill the ones we need to. And there's the lab outpost down there. So again, we're just going to go one, and then two, and then we're just going to get our stamina back. Oh, okay, didn't uh, didn't register the hit. That's fine. Okay, back up it. There we go. And we got him. Nice. There we go. And hey, MG Dark Elf, thank you so much for the raid, dude. Very much appreciated. How was your stream? What were you playing today? Were you playing some grounded today? Uh, where he says, I can't, I can't, I can't activate it. Oh, yeah, because you need to be in the hedge to open it up, don't you? Well, crap. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, so no, no activating the resource thing for you. Thank you so much, uh, MG, for the raid, dude. It's very much appreciated. And for everyone who's coming with the raid and doesn't know who I am, I'm Maxwell's Gaming, UK survival streamer. Grounded is my main game. We play a lot of Grounded over here. So if you like Grounded, then yeah, you're going to find, uh, you're going to find a lot of it like right here right now <laughs> and we're actually doing a woe save right now and we've just done the assistant manager and we are now kind of using the assistant magic key card in all the different locations to get all the good shit so that's what we're doing right now uh arc it was a good stream oh you played arc today nice dude so what did you get up to in your, in, what did you get up to in arc dark elf all right here we go so we're gonna open the store there we go and we're gonna come inside here it looks like a popsicle I get the feeling it's not refreshing though. And as you can see, we got 100 raw science right here. We got ourselves a cassette tape right here, but I'm gonna, I'll listen to that one in a bit. Get a couple of uh, a couple more spicy areas here. I'm actually going to get all those. I'm going to leave the fresh ones. And then if we come into here, we actually get ourselves the exiled tape. Here we go. Mary says, uh, Mary says, I love grounded. Yeah, it's a good game in it. It's so it's so good. I cannot bear to look upon myself any Hello, longer. An auxiliary ship. There it is. I've become a monster. Inhuman, less than the insects that are my only companions now. I have become old, well before my a shrunken husk of man, a walking corpse like lurking strange, doomed to the execution of sex. Trudy was right all along, as she always is. And what the I'm a failure as a scientist, as a husband, and as a father. I have no choice but to remain here, living exiled in the backyard. I have diverted my remaining strength and will into finding a cure for this malady. This raisinification, if you will. It is my only hope now. All other research initiatives must be placed on hold, or it will be too late. It may already be too late. It is only fitting that I am so small. Tiny, minuscule, just like my legacy. Oh dear. When the love having a good day, is he? <laughs> Dekka says, uh, tame some water dinos, uh, explore to the ocean, and uh, explore the ocean summer. Build a boat. Nice. Uh, Marie says, uh, so what's the best armor I can find in my sandbox only? Honestly, <laughs> clover. <laughs> because if you're only allowing yourself to be in the sandbox, it's literally going to be clover. Hi there. There you go. Hi there. But yeah, if you're gonna allow yourself to go outside the sandbox a bit, then antlion. Um, there's uh, the, the crossy roller polar brush. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah. So yeah, you could you could find that one. Yeah, kill that antlion and you can get that at least. But yeah, other than that, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna be tough. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> it's gonna be very fucking tough. <laughs> yeah, antlion armor in the uh, antlion armor is definitely a, a, a necessary thing for this area. 
All right, here we go. Let's go ready. But yeah, Clover is going to be like your first set you can get because, you know, at least you got like Clovers and stuff in there. But yeah, maybe maybe Clover, then Clover with the Roly Poly Breastplate. And then if you allow yourself to venture out from it, then it's going to be... Then it's going to be like the Antlion if you allow yourself to venture out. Like I said, you could get the spurs of the Antlion armor if, you, if a bee flies over the sandbox and you can like kill the bee or something. But yeah, other than that, it's not going to be easy. <laughs> It's not, it's not going to be easy at all, is it? <laughs> let's, let's, let's face it. All right. So I think down here there's a piece of treasure we can dig up, but we might not see it until the daytime. Um, so we're going to go and have a look for some treasure around here and see what we can find. Uh, where is Clover? Clover is the same place in the sandbox you find Sprigs. Over there by the, uh, by the blue bucket, you'll find Clover down there as well. All right. So let's see if we can find ourselves some treasure. And I actually think I see a piece right here, actually. Uh... There is... Oh, there's actually two mini shots here. Where did they come from? Um, oh, is this an Easter egg here? Uh, a spectacular spicy shot? Nice. I think that's another trinket, isn't it? It is. So I think that one is... Um, I think that one gives us spicy damage on here. That's actually really good. Okay. So we don't have to worry about like upgrading our weapons with spicy if we don't want to. We can just use this to get extra spicy damage. So I think that was actually an Easter egg there. But it didn't spawn in properly for whatever reason. Oh, hi there. Oh, well, I want that one. Hi there. Oh, ouch. That hurt a bit. <laughs> Owie. Back over it. Uh, ah, you missed. Right, come on then. Got him. There we go. Right, so yeah, we'll see if we can... So yeah, that was, that was an Easter egg right there. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, I, I guess uh, if you got lucky with Easter eggs, you could also find some stuff. Uh, in the sandbox, but that's only going to be like for now, isn't it? When you get Easter, when you get Easter eggs. All right. So, oh, the sandlion's now back in here. He respawned. All right. Well, I guess. Uh, there you go. I guess I'll uh, fight you then. Aha! You thought you could use the smoke. The sandlion wants to play the smoke and mirrors game. All right, come on then. There you go, got him. But yeah, as you can see, this this great sword just like completely goes uh, goes through these. But yeah, now I got the full uh, outline of it. Look at my sizzle meter; it's hardly moving. Like, look at that; that is so good. So yeah, it's it's not it's not even like properly going up at all, which is super nice. <laughs> so you know, I'll take that. Uh, right, so let's go over here. There's some apple bits over here. I do need to get some of these. Uh, let's see, and because uh, it, it it doesn't change your weapon to to count as spicy as a flat plus 15 spicy damage per melee hit so it's better with it's better with faster swinging weapons i guess if you like you're using it with a dagger then it'll be it'll work out really well won't it okay we got a second one hit all right back a bit Hello. yeah so daggers have probably worked the best or spears i suppose would work really well with it too but then I guess you could also pair it with the Widow Armor from faster attack speed, or maybe the Sour Battle Axe it would work with as well, or the, the Acid Edge that's now called. Alright, hi there. Go on, Pete. Oh, we're out of water, that's right. We're out of water. Okay, so drink one of those. Okay, there we go. Alright, go on, let's go take care of this guy. Good job, Black Ant. Good job. There you go. Hello. There's a wall spider around here. We can take this guy out as well. Uh, so there's a water outline is weak to. Uh, sword type weapons, like slashing weapons, and uh, they're weak to salt as well. Slashing and salty weapons. So the black hand sword, a spider fang dagger, and the outline great sword, and the bone dagger are your three, are your four best options uh, to fight these. Salt morning star also does a good job on them as well. All right, there we go. Another wall spider down, and we win. Uh, so yeah, sla yeah, slashing salty. So yeah, any, any kind of sword will work really well. All right, so now we need to go grab this one. Hi there. Here you have some apple bits as well, just for human food smoothies later. Not gonna need them like right now, but for later we will. Try and grab all this shit before the ants take it. Hey, you took my shit. Yeah, so that's what I thought. Bleed. Yeah, you took, you took, took my apple bits, damn it. How dare you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Come on, then. Come on, then. Yeah. 
You want you want you want you want to keep you want to keep going? No, you want you want you want to you obviously want to die. There you go. Now bleed. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, even, even the Antlion Greatsword does pretty good on these. Like technically, you could probably take this uh, Antlion Greatsword into your system manager boss fight if you come to the sandbox slightly early. So that's a, that's like another option you could probably do. All right. So let's go see if this treasure has uh, come back over here as well, because I want to see. Uh, I want to start finding all the treasure if we can. Yeah, usually there's a treasure spot like down here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where it is, but I know it's down this little area here. Um, because I got wide interaction on it, might not, uh, or it might just, it might actually just not be here. No, okay, it's not respawning this bit. Okay, I know there's another one between these three cacti as well. Um, so sometimes there's one that kind of comes here. Yeah, there's one here. So let's go get this one. Okay, we got a salt club. Nice. I will be taking that. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> Hi there. Hello, Monsieur Antlin and Tillion. How's it going? How are you doing? Yes. How does it feel to be smacked with one of your own pincers? I don't think it feels very good now, does it? But you know what? I don't care. <laughs> uh, so they, they they resist chop, yeah. Um, but I think I think daggers though they do they do they they used to do chop, but I think they changed it now so the daggers deal slashing now. Ah, there's two of you. Even better. Okay, hey, we killed two at once, then. Don't you dare fire it. There you go, got him. Alright, is there another one down there? No, nope, that one got, that one has not respawned yet. Alright, let's keep looking for other treasure spots, because there's a few around the sandbox that we can find. Uh, there's a juice drop right here. Here we go, so you can go get this thing. Slurp. Thank you. <laughs> Slurp. Right. Let's see what else we can find around here. See, so, yeah, I know there's some like, I know there's like one. Okay, there it is. There is one over there. I think there's one over there as well. But yeah, let's get the one over here, so I can see it like right now. So you may as well grab it. Now another 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 tip for you guys as well. If you're in the sandbox and you find a treasure spot, what you can do is grab a grab some kind of small object and like a light or something, and then place it near where the treasure is. And then it will essentially mark out where it will mark out for the future where the treasure spawns, so you don't have to like look for the sparkles all the time. Hello. This time we got a treasure chest. Yay! All right. So what do we get from there? Uh, we can get rid of that. See, so yeah, we actually found a found a treasure right there. Nice. That one actually gave me a sunken bone. Interestingly. Uh, but yeah, you can sometimes get like extra spicy stuff from them, like mints, yeah, things like that. All right. So sometimes there is, is that one there. I just saw. Uh, Nope. Okay, sometimes there is one. Um, is this that line back? Sometimes there's one like around this little area here. Sometimes we can find one in this bit. It's not always here though. Because uh, yeah, they, they are random. Like the ones that spawn every day are completely random. So we gotta like have a look and see if we can find them. Uh, looks like there's none over here today. All right, so is there one down there by this food? Usually there's always one by each of the three food items as well. Uh, it says, uh, what? You got the sunken bone? Yep, I got a sunken bone. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty lucky, that one. Right, oh, hello. Okay, that one missed. Okay, let me stop Popaz while he's, uh, doing this thing. Aha! You missed, good sir. I got him. Oh, that was a lot of blood. Okay, so we got ourselves a hot dog right here. Let's go grab this guy. A bully hog hot dog. But yeah, there's usually another... There's usually, like, another thing down here that we can get. I can't believe we got, like, a... I can't believe we got a spicy trinket from an Easter egg. That's actually really cool. Because, <laughs> yeah, they, those things are, like, a 1% drop chance for... Uh, I think, I think actually, though, that one is that one is 2%, but still, it's very low. Right, let's see if we can see any sparkles down there. Usually, there's a treasure down in this area, but... Hello there. It might not be there today. I'm not too sure. And uh, we've got uh, Fail Voyage. Welcome to the stream. How's it going, dude? Thank you so much for popping in. And uh, we got Mox Elves. There's uh, Mr. Mr. Smart Art of the Chest. Oh, I did. Ah, crap. That's okay. Uh, two bone, two silk rope, two diving bell. Two bone, two silk rope, two diving bell spider chunks. Uh, the the bones and crow feathers from the from the chest save my backlogs for both of those items. Yeah, they they it is nice that you can find uh, find them in this area, isn't it? But yeah, oh, did, I, did I miss another one? It's fine though. Um, let me let me see if I can find any more. Yeah, the the sandbox is a is a tricky one to find the treasure in. It's like it's actually easier to see the sparks during the evening because um, they they come up a little bit brighter. 
Like, during the day, you can see them, but it's kind of hard to see where they are. All right, let's see. There's usually a couple over here as well. Let's see if I can maybe find one, like... Okay, oh. Got, uh, got an ant lion that wants to... Okay, that one that wants to fight down here. Hello. Oh, okay, that one uh, that one hit me directly. That's fine. Not today, good sir. I don't think so. Oh, okay, that one hit me too. Ow. Uh, I did not block that one at all. Not today, good sir. Give me my stamina. There you go. Actually, did the salt respawn yet? Uh, if it did, I'm going to collect it again. Uh, not yet. Okay, no salt has respawned. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Ria is, like, is, 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 is crying. Why are you crying? He's like, fuck. <laughs> uh, Yuri says, yeah, you get sunken bones, spicy candy, etc. from chests like that. Yeah, you get, you get like a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of good stuff from here. Right, so is there a treasure down here? Uh, sometimes there's one like in... Because when I saw a sparkle then. Uh, but yeah, usually there's a food item here and sometimes there's a chest around this one. I swear they've lowered the number of chests that spawn in the biome though. Yep, there's one right here. Okay, so again, what we're going to do is going to use a trail marker and just kind of put one nearby. So we know to kind of come back here and check for where this is. Because, yeah, the, like a lot a lot of these are easier for you, like, trail mark them for future reference. So, yeah, after that, we should be good. And then we need to find shovel, and we can dig this up. All right, what do we get this time? Oh, uh, mint junk. Nice. Okay, we'll take that. I will take the mint chunk. Is that good? Um, so is that a uh, diamond bell spiders aren't that bad. No, diamond bell spiders are okay. They only they only have one type of attack. So once you learn to parry that, it's pretty simple after that, honestly. All right. So yeah, usually around this one, there's actually two treasure spots around this one. There's like one on this little bit usually, and then one on the lower bit down here. But it looks like neither of these two spawn this time. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it looks like we got very unlucky this run. Because, uh, yeah, not much of the treasure has spawned at all this run around. But, yeah, I guess if we're going to be living in uh, in the sandbox eventually, uh, then we'll get access to plenty of treasure anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> all right. So let's see if I can maybe spot any more over there. So is, so the one over there is not there, is it? I don't think. So I don't think we can see any more. Is there any sparkles coming from over that way? I don't think so. Now, I know there's some in the sandcastle. Oh, wait, I think I just saw one over there, actually. I think I did see one. Hang on a minute. Was that a sparkle I just saw here? Right up here? Or was it beyond it? Let me see. I could have sworn I could have sworn I saw a sparkle. It could have been just a particle effect though. Hmm. But yeah, there's there's none down there, is there? Because usually there's one down there as well, but I don't think there is. Okay. I'm I thought I saw one then. Uh hey You're dragon, so welcome to the drink. dream, dude. How are you today? Clean. I hope you're doing good. I hope you've been keeping well. How's your day gone? Uh, let's see. There's, I also saw one. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I could have sworn I saw one then, but... Uh, hmm, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I, I said, uh, I could have uh, I, 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 I could have sworn I saw one. Hmm, was it a bit further beyond here? Like, down here, perhaps? Maybe? Okay, i tell you what. Can we get on top of this drink carton? It might give us a bit of a better view. Let's see if we can maybe see any sparkles around here. So I, know, I know for a fact there's some over that way. But it doesn't look like those things are spawned in. So, any over that way? I don't see any over that way. Oh, wait, was that one there? Hang on. But yeah, stand, standing up here is like a good way to spot them if they're around. Because, yeah, usually there's one down there as well, but I'm not too sure. Um, says so that right when you said that, right when you said that, you saw one? Oh, I did. There, there was one? Shit. <laughs> uh, to your left, I also saw one. Uh, let me just have a look. Yeah, you guys, let, guys, let me know if you see it, because I'm not seeing it right now. So that's the mixer over there. So there's a, there's a bee over there. Hello, Mr. Bee. That's the thing. I can only see like the middle third of the screen because you know I'm a blind bugger, so that's uh, that's the thing. Uh, it's like other way. Hang on. Wait, was that over there? I just did. I just see it there. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah. If you if you guys see it, let me know. I was gonna say. I swear. I swear. I did see another one. Could have sworn I did. Uh, let me see. Uh, let's see. Uh, one close to the yellow box. Let's see. Oh, down here. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see if I can maybe spot where it is. 
Is it down here, maybe? Uh, left side of the box. Oh, yeah, I just, I literally just saw it then. There it is. Yep, I see it. Good spot, guys. Well done. <laughs> yeah, somewhere over here, isn't it? Was it, like, here somewhere? Uh, I did I did see it. Hang on, let me get on the yellow box and see if I can see it easier. Ah, yeah, yeah, I see it. I see it. There it is. Right, right there. There it is. And, of course, that line comes out as well. Right, let me just dig once. There you go. Uncover the box. Well done, guys. <laughs> Good spot. Yeah, I didn't even see that. I was like, hmm, I know it's around here somewhere. <laughs> Right. How dare you interrupt my digging sesh? Right, there you go. Okay, don't destroy the chest. That is mine now. There you go. Right, we got it. Well done, guys. Right, so let's put another trail marker like right there. And then we can use our shovel and we can drink. Uh, we can dig. Drink. We can dig. <laughs> yeah, we. Yeah, we can drink the treasure, guys. Yeah, there we go. Uh, what else says, uh, uh, yeah, one, yeah, one close to the other box. There we go. Thank you, guys. Well done, guys. Right, grab that one. There we go. So what do we get in that? I've got a couple more, couple more mint chunks and stuff. I think in that one. Uh, a bit of salt as well. I think. Okay, not too bad. But yeah, we actually found the uh, the, the spectacular spicy shard. So that's pretty good. They, the, that used to be called the hot cha cha sham, but I think now they've had to rename it because of the uh, because of the stuff. Uh, one between. Uh, one of the places between the uh, place from where you watched and the yellow shovel. Okay, let me let me have a look. So we watched from over here, didn't we? So go towards the yellow shovel, and there's another one over there. All right. I was gonna say, yeah, I could I could have sworn I saw one along here. So it's like down this way. Let's see if I can see where it is. It like in that little dip there, maybe. Yeah, I see, I see it. Yeah. Okay. So this this is the one we must have seen earlier. So it's like in this little dip here, isn't it? Uh, like here. Is it on like the side of the hill or something? It's around. It's around here somewhere. But where I don't know. Let's see. Or is it at the top? Is it? Is it on the top bit here? Ah, yep. There it is. Right there. <laughs> there we go. Right, we've got it. Yeah, it's been. It's been a while since I've done the treasure hunting here. Right, so there it is. Right there. So put another one, like kind of close to it. And then here we go. Oh no, I actually need the shovel. Nope, that's the hammer. There you go. Switch to the right tool. There you go. Right tool for the job. There we are. Something to drink. There you go. <laughs> I thought this said like I was meant to help me not, not get thirsty. Nah. Don't even need to boil see. it. One well, between the place from where you watch and the shovel left. There you go. Yep, we got it. Well, guys. Okay, there there's another one. See, I know there's usually a few that is in the sandcastle over there, but yeah, the ones that are around around by the food areas, so like we're not here this time, so. Move along, Ant. Move along. I think that's pretty much everything here now. Uh, Crowley says, I wonder if Obsidian is still up for suggestions for adding things to this game because I still have a few minor things I like to add in Playgrounds. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I've I've already I actually mailed uh, moves about it. Um, a few things. Like, for example, you know that the little white mushrooms. You can't even place those as pickable mushrooms in Playgrounds. Like, you can place the objects, but not like the respawning ones with the stalks. So. So that's that's one thing I definitely need. They definitely need to add. You can't play thistle bushes. Uh, that's another thing they need to add. <laughs> so yeah, stuff stuff like that. They really need to. They really need to add into the game. Because that's a lot of like. There's a lot of ba like very basic things that you can't that you can't use yet. Like for all the things they've added, you think, oh yeah, we've we've added this, and there's like, nope, there's, there's still not a thing. <laughs> uh, oh, there's some uh, brittle marble and quartz here. Very nice. Uh, there's lots of uh, lots of food down here too, uh, like apple bits and all that. But essentially, what we've come down here for again is we missed one scabby down here. And that one scabby, essentially, is in here. But as you can see, it's kind of like blocked by some roots and we can't get through. So what we're going to do is we are going to get through. To do that, we just need to come up here. And there's actually a little bit of the anthill that we didn't really look through yet. So we're going to go through this last little bit. Because I didn't do a, I didn't do a complete guide to the anthill. I kind of just like did most of it after with the assistant manager. And then we kind of like left. But yeah, if we go into this little bit here, there's actually some quartzite in here. So you definitely want to grab all these. And yeah, this way you can find the mushrooms as well. There's a couple of mushrooms in here, I think. Um, yeah, there's a couple of edible mushrooms here. So a tiny little bit of food here. I think there there used to be a lot of quartzite in there, but I think they reduced it a bit. Um, okay, so yeah, essentially, to get to this area, that's where the lab entrance is, and then this is where we are. But yeah, in order to get to the other area, there's a little way up here. And all we got to do, essentially, is put a bomb down here. Soldier ant after me still? Yep, he's still after me. Okay. Alright, how does the antline greatsword do on this guy? Not very well. We're better off just using this. Hi there. 
yeah, better off just using this and then this. Because, yeah, these uh, these guys resist sword tie weapons, right? So. Oh, now here come uh, now here comes some more. I just want the scabby, okay? Okay, that guy's down. Okay, oh, okay. I'm uh, very low health. I didn't see how low health I was. Oh. Okay, there we go. Right, we're good. Use a healing item. There you go. That was uh, that was close. Oh. Hi there. I just want the scabby, damn it. Hi guys. There we go. Now health's looking a bit better. Hi there. Get rid of these guys, come on. Hey, he's gonna run now and bleed away. Okay. Oh, crap, there you go. Right now, this guy can probably die, hopefully. Oh, ow, ow, ow. I'm trying to block, damn it. Come here, you. Right, that other one's gone now, so just left with this one. Okay, here we go. Got him. There you go. Right, that's those troublesome lot out of the way. <laughs> Man, they just like they, they just wanted to gang up on me then, didn't they? Holy shit. <laughs> There's uh it's not even uh, it's not even huge shit to you. I've been begging low key. Yeah, I know, right? It's a, yeah, it's only like little things really that we really need. Okay, a couple more uh couple more just dead ant corpses here. There's another one. <laughs> Hi guys. Uh, okay. So yeah, now what we need to do is use one bomb at the end of this. And I think actually, coincidentally, we might have one left. Do we have one? Uh yeah, we oh actually we actually have three. Okay, so one right there. Drop it down, and boom. Nice. And then once we come down here, we can get ourselves the scabby. Here we go. We got the scabby. Yeah. That is the corporate issue scabby. Nice. Very nice. All right, you. You guys escaped from me earlier, but not today. Hi there. Yeah, I need to drink soon. Okay, right now we can probably use these on them to start chunking through the health of it. Hi there. Get out of there. Why are you running? Why are you running? <laughs> right, here we go. Got him. Knock his lights out. There we go. We win! Right, I need to eat some food as well, so... Just may as well eat these mushrooms that we got here. There you go. Very nice. So, you know, free free food right there. May as well eat that. And there's some more lower down. And then drink some water. And we should be good. No water filtration tablets needed. All right. And where is this other ant at? Where are you? I hear you running, little ant. I don't know where you are, though. Okay. Oh, there you are. Come here and die. Got him. <laughs> yes. The bleed. The bleed will end your existence. And I will be victorious. I win! Okay. <laughs> right, says, uh, says, I'm bummed we never got a HUD option too. I know, right? I wish we did. One change I don't like about this update is the fact that when there's an item missing from your HUD, it doesn't, um, it doesn't dim. So, you know how, like, if you had, like, say if you had, I don't know, your item in your inventory and you accidentally put it in a box, you still see the item in your inventory, but, like, the, the icon for it would be kind of, like, transparent. That's not a thing anymore. And I don't like that, because that makes it a lot harder to see if I've actually got the item or not. Like, that should not be a thing. Like, I don't know if that was, like, an oversight or something, but, yeah, that was, like, you know, for accessibility, that's a... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Crisis, you think it's there. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, like, for accessibility issue, like, that's moving... Like, Ground is, like, one of the most accessible games I've ever played, which is another reason I've liked it so much, but that one little change is, like, a big step back <laughs> for the UI. Hang on, was that a uh, thingy right there? Is it? Hey, there's another one here. There we go. Yeah, look at that. One more treasure on the way out. So we can go put like a marker like right here. There we go. And then once we got that, we can dig up from here. Here we go. Grab one more of them. 
There you go. Oh, it only requires uh, three digs now to break it to raise these to the surface. Nice. There we go. Nice. There we go. That's all done. So that treasure is found. And there's one more thing we need to find in the sandbox as well before we leave. Hi there. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, just block that. There we go. No worry about perfect blocking that one. I'll just get the regular block off. There. Ha ha. Right now I'm gonna back up slowly. And here we go. Got him. All right. Now, finally, there's one more thing we need to find in the sandbox, and that is actually right at the beginning of it. Um, so when you come to this umbrella right here, you'll see that there's a footprint in the sand right here. We're actually going to look in the footprint because what we should find, well, until we get rudely interrupted by an outline, but once we deal with that little bastard, what we should find is one more thing to dig. There you go, got it. <laughs> there we go, to deal with that guy. But yeah, we should find something down here as well. So as you can see, there's a little dig spot right here. Now this is a, I think this is a one-time dig spot, so you're only gonna dig that once, like the, uh, like the melted moat key. But if you actually dig up right here, you'll actually find a skeleton. <laughs> so we're gonna read this one, and as you can see, we've got some more things here. We've got a recon journal, we got an endless possibilities, and we got a biomedical badge. So let's go get the biomedical badge first. Then we'll read this one. Recon Journal for the Biomedical Engineer. Exodus Member E. Ferreira. Department Biomedical Engineering. Date March 20th, 1990. I wonder who else has made it this long. Nearly seven months now. The daily ducking and dodging of whatever the yard has in store as my mind and body withers and fades. We were the best and brightest. Well, most of us. I've no idea what the point of the intent is. Did we not deserve to understand the full picture? Well, certainly we deserve to know although we would never have signed on the dotted line just the same i do my little tasks i snap my photos and snatch the tapes Ugh, the tapes minor transcription errors tully you massive dunce doomed yourself doomed us all well i'll stay out here roasting in the sands observing that great plodding fool dr wendell tully coming and going as he pleases as he becomes no more than beef jerky haunting his backyard I should confront him, big or small. That blundering scientist flees across the desert, and the raisined engineer follows. All right, and then finally, we've got one more cassette tape right here. Endless possibilities. So let's see how we go. <laughs> Ominent practical technologies, Dr. Wendell Tolley, Science Division, log 88.05.29G. Oh, or is that H? H for safety. Final evaluation tests of the spacer are going well, though I have noticed some minor errors in transcription where a non-trivial number of particles are not being conserved. I have observed no ill side effects, but making a note to check that later. Making a note! <laughs> I'm still annoyed by Dr. Klein's attitude at the barbecue when I confided in him about my success. He was arrogant, as always, dismissing my breakthroughs in covalent spacing reduction questioning the very use of shrinking technology <laughs> what a ridiculous lack of vision world hunger overpopulation global warming just the tip of the iceberg the tip of the iceberg or is it the ice of the tipberg who knows <laughs> all right there we go we got a load of a uh, load of extra mushrooms there you go and i think we can head out there we go there you go. Uh, yeah, great. Like, yeah, you think it's there. I know, right? And it's just like, yeah, you think it's there, but it's not. All right, let me make sure on the YouTube side we're good. Um, I think we are. Let me just double check on that side of things because I need to. Uh, I need to be sure. <laughs> need to be sure. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, Little Marie says. Uh, so Marie says, uh, "What should be the hardest anthill to do? Red, black, or fire? Uh, probably the fire anthill. Yeah, it looks like my uh, YouTube bot has uh, gone crappy again. <laughs> my bad. Um, okay. But it's okay. I'm not going to be going for too much longer anyway. So we're probably going to get back to base. Put some stuff away, and then we can hand in this auxiliary chip to Burgle. Then probably sleep through the night to get the last dream sequence, and then after that we will uh, we'll probably end off after that, and then we can go find someone to raid. So let's go make our way out of here. If I make our way out of here, you're out of here. <laughs> Thanks for coming, but you're out of here. Ha 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 ha! All right, so make our way down here, make our way back to base, and then we should be pretty good. Then we'll hand in the last of the auxiliary chips. And then we can actually buy the... We can, Once we hand in the last auxiliary chip, we can actually buy the stuff as well. Cody says, uh, what's your thoughts on Wendell? Do you think he's a bad guy? I don't think he's a bad guy, necessarily. Um, I just think he... 
it's essentially he's he's stretched too far and he uh, be because of that like he, he got so caught up in his work that he started to hurt the people around him which coincidentally involved us getting involved in the whole backyard thing but i don't think he intended you know he definitely didn't intend like you know experiments to be done on kids and stuff like that Lynn, that, that that was schmechter who kind of spearheaded that side of things but you know but he does admit that the that part of that problem is his fault so he's accountable for what he's done so i don't think really he's a bad person because he is like you know he is apologetic for what you know you and the other kids have been through in the game so i don't i don't think he's a bad person I just think he, you know, he found a breakthrough and he was just like, this is like my big thing. This is going to get me like a Nobel Prize. You know, I think I think he saw like I think I think he saw a potential path to fame and he let it go to his head to the point where he lost his wife and kids almost. But, you know, I think, uh, yeah, he went he went too far where there was no. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. So, yeah, it's, if, and if it wasn't for the teens, then, yeah, he would literally have raisined away and Schmechter would have pretty much, well, no. But then again, Schmechter wouldn't have found the, uh, wouldn't, Schmechter probably wouldn't have found the, uh, the embiggening recipe, would he? So, if we hadn't have intervened, then Wendell would have died because he would have raisined away. Schmechter would have just still been looking for the recipe in his little robot. But other than that, like things would have probably stayed the same. Trudy would have left Wendell because he never he never got back in touch with her after she sent him the letter. So he would have, uh, you know, the kid his kids would have grown up without without him. Um, so yeah, and and you know all of the all the expedition members would have still died as well. Uh, let's see, took a good amount of tries to beat the mantis last night. I fear the wasp queen now. Um, oh, is that for New Game Plus? How you doing, Zero Chill? Uh, bosses aren't um, yeah, bosses aren't nice anymore in New Game Plus. Yeah, they're not, are they? <laughs> Craig says uh, he just wanted somebody. He just wanted somebody to believe in him. Yeah, that's true. That, that, that's true as well because he was so used to like being downtrodden at Ominent as well. So yeah, I think he was he was he was determined to like prove everyone wrong, wasn't he? Hello there. Hi, Burgle. How can I help you today? I found an auxiliary chip. Ah, more chips. Thank you. You're welcome, Burgle. Hand it over and let us see what I can remember. Hmm, much better. Check the ASL Terminals of Science shop for the new recipe. Alrighty. Goodbye, Burgle. Have an exponentially great evening. We will. <laughs> I like how he's like, uh, like, like, great evening. Uh, he says, I think you should check break. Yeah, it has. Um... I think it did, but it's it's okay. It's okay. I'm not going for too much longer anyway. But I'll try and figure out something for next time and see if I can you know make it better. Uh, I just got introduced to Mantis Junior. Was a very quick introduction. So like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Someone's mini mantises now, doesn't it? In the new game plus two, I think you start getting mini ones. So yeah, that's uh, that that's uh, fun. <laughs> All right. So we need to build a glue masher. We gotta go do a couple of other things. But for now. Here we go. We're going to go grab this one. And we now get access to things like the spicy globs and all that stuff as well. So there we go. So we got the spicy globs here. Um, there it is. And we also get now access to the yummy gum sandwich. The Black Ant Queen's favorite food. There we go. So there's the yummy gum sandwich. Very nice. And we've still got a little bit left. So I guess we'll go by the uh, omelet and case the antlion recipes. There we go. That'll be useful for getting the coltana later. After that, we've got molars to spend, but I don't think we can really do anything out of that. Okay, so now let's go and uh, sleep, and we'll see the last dream sequence for the uh, for the set of four. And that essentially concludes most of the things to do in the lower. There's still a couple of tiny little things we have to do, like find some scabbies and a few other things. Uh, plug up the haze is another thing that we're going to do in the future, but we're not going to do it immediately. And, I'll, and when it comes to showing you why, you'll understand why eventually. Um... But yeah, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you why I'm not going to plug it straight away. You will have to plug it for 100%, but not straight away. So here we go. Let's go and make our way into sleeping. There we go. A last dream sequence. Loving the Yoke Thunder day. Yeah, me too. All right, here they are. All tucked in with the outfits and backpacks they were snatched in. As requested, they're strapped and synced with scabbies for whatever they might run into down there. You do realize the director will have our heads if he finds out we're removing company property. Can you sleep at night with what this company's doing? We need to do something. Is Dr. Tully even alive? The field team reported him missing months ago. You are prolonging the inevitable. Wendell, wherever he is, is the only hope for these kids. I'll make the delivery to his yard discreetly. No one is even going to know. I hope you know what you're doing. 
Well, shit. <laughs> the vision is complete. I now know the origin of the briefcase and how Tiny Pete came to be. Things are sort of maybe just a little bit making some sense. All right. Knowledge is a beacon in the dark, brave traveler. All right. Well, there we go. There's the last dream sequence. And that is a good point to go ahead and end off, I think. So let's go see if we can go ahead and find somebody to go raid, shall we? Because I think that's going to be a marvelous idea. So let's see who is available. Is there anyone available for a raid over here? Let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, Marie says, uh, is this the end for today? Yeah, this is going to be the end for today, Marie. Uh, I'll probably be back tomorrow. If not, I'll, I'll let you guys know in Discord, though. Let's go see if we can find someone to go ahead and raid, shall we? Um, so let's see who is on. And uh, Patat says, uh, says, bye. Bye, Patat. Thank you so much for coming along, dude. I hope you have a good rest of your day. And everyone else as well. I hope everyone has a fantastic rest of their day. Um, let me see who we've got here. Is there anyone that we know playing Grounded right now? No, I don't think there is. At least at least I can't see anyone playing Grounded. Uh, anyone that any of you guys know who's playing Grounded, who you think I should raid into? Because honestly, I'm not seeing... Uh, I'm not seeing anyone right now. I see a few people. Uh, I see a few people playing Valheim. Um, but let's see. And uh, Dark Elf says bye, bye, Dark Elf. Uh, Shelby says uh, says uh, see you later, see you later, Shelby. Thank you so much for popping in as well, guys. Um, but yeah, I'm not really seeing anyone right now. Um, I, I guess that means we can maybe find a new grounded streamer, right? So we could maybe do that instead. Um, and then we could maybe send the love over to those guys, which might be a pretty good, pretty good one. And uh, so we got, um, we got uh, uh, Light Ray Max says farewell. Thank you, Max, for coughing along as well. And Marie, see you later as well. Thank you so much for coming in and keeping me company over here as well. Sorry about the issues you guys had in chat over there. Um, I will try and get that fixed for next time. We'll try and find something that aggregates chat a little bit better. Um, let's see. Uh, Travis Live says, uh, Travis Live says, raise yourself and keep streaming. <laughs> How you doing, Travis? <laughs> oh man, I wish I could, but it's like past midnight now and you know we got uh we gotta get up early tomorrow for school runs and stuff so yeah i want to make sure that i'm not like uh i'm like so i'm not like dead um oh is is sim live right now um can you post his uh twitch link into chat um can you yeah can you can you post his uh thing uh or, or average gamers play better po yeah post um Post Sims uh, Twitch link in the thing, cry if you can, um, and I'll see if I can get the raid set to him because I'm not sure if I'm not sure if it's just like just uh, similar or if he's got like any other any other things in there. Um, let me see. I'm actually I might be able to find him as well. Let me have a look on the. Uh, uh, let me see, sir Sim uh, Lot. There you go. Oh, it's it's got an underscore in it, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, this is it. This one. Let me just double check. Uh, yeah, okay, he's okay. Yeah, he's doing some new game plus actually. All right, okay. Then in that case, then we'll go ahead and raid. Uh, we'll go ahead and raid Sim a lot because yeah, I'm actually I'm not actually following him. Okay, I'm kind of surprised I'm not. I thought I was. Um, yeah, interesting. Uh, or average or average gamers playing grounded. All right, we'll go we'll go raid Sim then. That sounds like a plan. Um, there we go. Thank you, uh, thank you, Karate. Very much appreciated. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go we're gonna go raid Sim then. That sounds like an idea. But first of all, we gotta go ahead and give some shout outs. So first of all, we got one for Natural Carnage. There you go. So we're gonna go in there. Uh, Give Carnage a shout out right there. Um, we also have one uh, for D2 Dubs. So let's go ahead and give Dubs one as well. So one for one for the dubbage, and then we have one for, of course, the one and only Coffee Queen. Guys, if you haven't checked out Coffee Queen, you've definitely got to go check her out. She is an absolutely amazing streamer. She likes Grounded too. She plays. Uh, she's uh, just getting back into it again as well. By the looks of things, she actually went in her world today for the first time in like months. So yeah, it's so exciting. We might get some more coffee streams. So you've got to check her out. She's absolutely awesome, and she's the love of my life. A very beautiful woman, an amazing voice as well. Like her voice is to die for. I mean, fucking hell. The <laughs> guys, you don't know. You don't know what you're missing otherwise. You know. So let's see. We also also had uh, some raids today so i'm just gonna go give you guys a shout out as well so we had let me see we had a raid from uh chaos dragon so go check him out as well thank you so much chaos dragon for the raid a little bit earlier let me just make sure i'm not missing out any of the raids yet we had one from dark elf so again a shout out for you <laughs> here we go we're, get, we're, we're giving all the shout outs today because uh, we got a lot, a lot of raids today so thank you guys so much i also get into a habit of uh, doing this at the end as well so i'm i'm trying to get into good habits with all this as well so hopefully it's uh, good and we also had a raid from jody mermaid as well so guys if you haven't checked out any of these guys then you know these guys uh these guys are all good streamers as well definitely got to check these guys out so feel free to go ahead and follow them if you want to uh if you want to find some more awesome streamers let's make sure i actually got everyone i believe i did and then right i think we actually got a raid right at the beginning uh from it's just rosie as well so a shout out for for rosie as well that was uh, a long time ago man i've been streaming for like nine hours so yeah that's uh that's uh that's the thing um 
So shout out for it's just Rosie as well. There's one for there's one for you. And I think I think we got everyone, did we? Uh, yes. Oh, and of course, Mutant Art Cat as well. Um, so yeah, we, we, got, we got a lot of raids this time. So thank you so much, guys, for all the raids. It's very much appreciated. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Uh, Shelby says, Max, see you later. See you later, Shelby. <laughs> see you later, everybody. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and set up a raid as well. And we are going to... Oh, and I think, actually, one more. We actually got Metal Rock right at the beginning as well. Um, so let's go and give, uh, go, go give Metal Rock a shout out as well. So there we go. So we got, we got, we got a a load of people reading today. I do appreciate it, guys. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this raid started. So here we go. So we're going to uh, we're going to send a raid, and we are going to do Sir Sim. So let's go and get that. So thank you, Karate, for posting the link as well. Uh, so slash raid. We do this a raid. So similar and. There we go. Hopefully that's getting started with it. Yes, it is. There we go. So everyone's uh, everyone, we're gonna go find some similar. He's playing Granite right now, and uh, from what I can see, he's actually fighting some infused bosses. So this should be fun. I'm not sure what level of new game plus he's in, but yeah, it's uh, it's it's gonna be fun. And uh, oh. I just saw him get trounced by a by a mini mantis. <laughs> okay, you guys are gonna have fun over here. So let's go ahead and uh, send you guys over there. Thank you guys so much for coming along, and I'll catch all of you guys in the next one. So guys, until next time, bye.